He was originally a supreme deity in the immortal realm, but unexpectedly reborn and returned to earth. In his previous life, he stepped on the heavens and earth, standing in awe, horizontally pushing all opponents in the 100000 great realm of the immortal realm, but betrayed by his disciple, fall into a trap by mistake, trapped in ten levels of ferocious shock, carrying serious injuries, desperate to despair, he chose to die with a violent iron attack. Now that I have returned to my 20-year-old age, at this moment, he is sitting on a high-speed train, Luo Chen took a deep breath, and then close your eyes, carefully feeling the powerful spiritual power inside the body. But I found that hundreds of years of cultivation had completely dissipated. But fortunately, too much gold was able to survive. This life only needs to awaken the divine organs within the body, laying a solid foundation along the way. And then we will gather a few divine seeds hidden throughout the earth. If I get it, I dare to ask in this world, who else can rival it? At this moment, the phone rings. The person making the call is his ex-girlfriend Zhang Xiaoman. Zhang Xiaoman stated that, I'm going to the station with my mother to pick her up. Luo Chen frowned. Hang up the phone. In her previous life, she suffered from the cold looks and ridicule of her parents. She even cheated out of her family property and mercilessly abandoned her. Finally, he was severely injured by his rival in love, devoted to begging for a living. At this moment, a cold smile appeared on the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. You didn't care if you answered me back then. Now I will make you unable to climb high. Luo Chen put down his phone, glancing at the old and young people next to him. Unexpectedly, the girl suddenly stood up, blaming insults at him. Stinky loser. What are you staring at that painting? I'll ask you. Can you understand these millions of precious calligraphy and paintings? I'm afraid you haven't seen it in your entire life, have you? Luo Chen had a disdainful expression on his face. He was an immortal in his past life. What have you never seen before? The old man stopped the arrogant young girl. Don't be impolite, Schwanger. Then probe and ask little brother Luo Chen about it. You just stared at this painting and shook your head. Is there any high opinion? Luo Chen's faint answer is fake. The girl was furious when she heard it. Starting from. But the old man looked at Luo Chen with an unusually calm demeanor. Young people can eat indiscriminately. But you can't speak recklessly. My painting. But after being identified by several industry experts. So what? If I say false, it must be false. The woman immediately became furious upon hearing this. What are you pretending to be, kid? 13. Stop talking nonsense here. After speaking, he punched Luo Chen and left. Stinky loser seeks death. Luo Chen had already realized that this girl was also a practitioner. This punch almost exhausted all of its strength. I saw Luo Chen lightly wave his hand. A sharp and cohesive masonry wall blocked his fist. The girl's face was instantly shocked. The old man's expression changed greatly. Surprisingly, it was banned from inside and released from outside. Although Luo Chen has already been cultivated into a complete corpse, but there is still titanium gold protection. He doesn't even pay attention to ordinary people. The old man, looking panicked, stopped the girl Schwanger. Hurry up and get off the train. A young girl was cursing at the boy next to her. Stinky loser, don't talk nonsense here. After speaking, he waved his fist at the young man and left. How would he know? The young man in front of him was an immortal in his past life. The young man just raised his hand and gently waved it. A wall of air condensed by dripping water blocked the girl's attack. The old man next to him suddenly changed his expression. Internal shock and external visits. With a flustered expression, quickly stopped the girl. Say too, quickly step back. Then he quickly bowed to the young man and apologized. I'm sorry. Sir, it was just an old man who was reckless. You, adults, don't remember being a petty person. Don't be angry. The girl saw her grandfather's low figure, a face covered in circles. Why apologize to him? But the old man is an understanding person. People who can respect and let go in everything. Among the warriors, he is known as a great master level figure. In just a blink of an eye, he could take the lives of their grandfather and grandson. The old man didn't have time to explain. He took his granddaughter and apologized to the young man. The young man looked coldly at the old man in front of him. I suddenly felt that this old man was not an ordinary girl either. I had to apologize to the young man with a suppressed expression on my face. Sorry. Their family in Tongzhou City can be described as covering up the sky. I haven't seen anyone in my life yet. Can you make grandpa so low? The young man didn't argue with him even after seeing the situation. Just coldly saying, let's not do it again. 
The old man clasped his fists again to express his gratitude. Thank you very much, sir, for raising your hand. May I ask your name, sir? The young man replied. Luochin saw the old man take out his calligraphy and paintings. Respectfully handing his hands to Luo Chen, you just said that this calligraphy and painting is fake. Excuse me, sir. What is the basis for this? Luo Chen takes over calligraphy and painting. With a swipe, open it. Then I'll prove it to you. I saw a golden light flickering away in Luo Chen's eyes. Gently stroke the palm on the calligraphy and painting. In the next second, I'll tear the painting into pieces. Grandpa and son both looked surprised. This is a calligraphy and painting worth millions of dollars. Surprisingly, it was destroyed by Luo Chen like this. Just listen to a swish. Luo Chen picked up three falling fragments. The old man looked at him with a puzzled expression on his face. Luo Chen spread out the fragments on the table. Let him observe how these three ink stains differ. The old man shook his head, indicating that there is no difference. Luo Chen calmly said two flying ink spots, one overlapping stroke, but the ink marks are indistinguishable. May I ask what can be done? The old man suddenly realized. Turns out this is high-precision inkjet printing. It seems that I have indeed been fooled by someone. After speaking, he handed the scroll to a man in black. Let it be taken away. At this moment, he suddenly felt fear in his heart. This kind of calligraphy and painting is difficult for even senior appraisers to detect. Luo Chen could distinguish its authenticity with just a glance. This momentum is by no means comparable to that of an ordinary master. At this moment, the wooden box in the hand of the man in black caught Luo Chen's attention. So he called out to the man in black, Wait a minute, this wooden box. The old man saw that Luo Chen was very interested in wooden boxes. He immediately smiled and said, Do you like it? Take it. His actions surprised Luo Chen greatly. Even if he doesn't know that the wooden box contains divine seeds, it should also be clear that what this deity values is by no means ordinary. I didn't expect this old man to be quite generous. Luo Chen takes the wooden box. Simply put, this wooden box is indeed useful to me, but I never wanted to owe anyone anything. How about I promise the old gentleman something? The old man saw the situation. I don't intend to continue being polite either. Directly push the girl towards Luo Chen. Please accept my granddaughter as an apprentice, sir. This startles the girl. Even if you give the wooden box away, it's okay. Why did he even give away his granddaughter? The girl looked puzzled. Why does grandpa make me worship him as my teacher? Luo Chen looked at the girl in front of him. A hint of killing intent appeared in both eyes in an instant. This reminded him of the disciple who had betrayed him before. The old man on the train was so generous in his actions. Not only does it bring valuable wooden boxes, I gave it to this young man, and also give him his own granddaughter as a gift. I earnestly request Mr. Luo to accept my granddaughter as an apprentice. Unexpectedly, the young man refused without hesitation. No, he was a grand immortal in his past life. This girl reminds him of his female apprentice who once betrayed him. It's precisely because he was betrayed by his disciples. Only then will it fall to this point. The old man showed a cunning and cunning appearance. You have opened a golden mouth. This gentleman's words are unforgettable. Luo Chen sighed helplessly. Who makes themselves immortal? How can we not keep our word? That's it then. Just accept him as an apprentice. I'll take him as a disciple of sacrificing to the Ming dynasty. On weekdays, just refer to the teacher as your name. The old man saw the situation. I can only take it as soon as it's good. Pushing my granddaughter over in one go. Go and thank you, teacher. The girl said with a reluctant expression. Meet the teacher. Luo Chen shook his head helplessly. Dig your own pit. Even with tears in my eyes, I have to jump down. The train quickly arrived at Tongzhou Station. The old man said goodbye to Luo Chen with a proud expression on his face. Look at this. It's simply a burst of joy. The girl asked her grandfather with a look of grievance on her face. What exactly happened to you today? Looking at the entire Tongzhou city, how many talented and extraordinary people are begging to accept me as an apprentice? Why do you rush to make me apprentice to a stinky kid? The old man, on the other hand, had an angry expression on his face as he tapped his granddaughter. You know a hammer. This is the smoke rising from our ancestral tomb. We have a big relationship now. At this moment, Luo Chen stepped out of Tongzhou Station with one foot. He looked at this vast city of Tongzhou. My heart is filled with endless grief, anger, and sadness. In his previous life, he was cheated out of his family property by his girlfriend here. Mercilessly abandoned. And was severely injured by a rival in love. 
devoted to begging for a living. Even my own father couldn't escape bad luck. Suffer from the torment and abuse of this man in front of you. Thinking of this, Luo Chun unconsciously clenched his fist. Thirty years in Hadong, thirty years of Heishi, don't deceive young people into poverty. At this moment, someone on the roadside waved to him. This person is his ex-girlfriend Zhang Xiaoman. Luo Chen coldly greeted him. I saw the woman next to me, glancing at him with a disgruntled expression. Her eyes were filled with disappointment and disgust. These rural bumpkins are also worthy of being my son-in-law. Compared to the young master of the Chen family, almost one in the sky and one on the ground. Ruochen smiled awkwardly and said, Hello, auntie. Unexpectedly, the woman complained without hesitation. Okay, what's good? Young people nowadays are really lacking in quality. I've been waiting here for half a day. I don't know if we should say hello first. Zhang Xiaoman quickly comforted her mother upon seeing this, but the woman once again said angrily, What are you doing? Hurry up and get in the car. It's really annoying. The three of them quickly got into the car. Zhang Xiaoman meets Luo Chun, showing a completely indifferent attitude. The woman's intuition tells him, Luo Chun seems to have changed a person at this moment. At this moment, Zhang Xiaoman's phone rings. Open it and take a look. Unexpectedly, it was a text message from someone. Everyone, pull out your knives. Anyway, the editor can't keep up with it anymore. The car quickly arrived at Zhang Xiaoman's house. Luo Chen politely greeted Uncle Zhang. How could Zhang Xiaoman start complaining again? Don't nag there. Not cooking yet. Wearing an apron and acting like a lady. At this moment, suddenly someone is knocking at the door. Zhang Xiaoman stood up in panic and went to open the door. The person who came here is the Chen family young master, the former enemy of Luo Chen. This young man was originally an immortal in the cultivation world, but he was treated by his girlfriend's mother as a hick. Just arrived at my girlfriend's house. Enemies in love will proactively come to their doorstep, unexpectedly digging a corner in front of the immortal statue. Zhang Xiaoman had a panicked expression on his face. Hurry up and drive him outside the house. His mother, however, had a passionate expression on her face. Proactively inviting men into the house. The embarrassment on Zhang Xiaoman's face. My boyfriend is still at home. The man just entered the door. Just handed the expensive cosmetics to the woman. The woman laughed uncontrollably at the sight. Suddenly, the man's gaze condensed, leaving a glance at the falling dust inside the house. I saw Luo Chen standing expressionless and dumbfounded, but his eyes were full of killing intent. The man saw the situation and asked who this person was. Zhang Xiaoman's face changed dramatically when he cursed. With a sneer on his face, he said, It's Xiaoman's classmate. I just came from the countryside to prepare for a job. The man immediately showed a contemptuous expression. Secret heart theory. I turned out to be a poor rural bumpkin without a job. Next, I will shake hands with Luo Chen. Luo Chen didn't even glance at him. Then he turned around to help Uncle Jung prepare a meal. The man's hand hangs in mid-air, trembling with anger. This damn bumpkin doesn't give me face. Zhang Xiaoman also looked unhappy on the side. How could you do this? They're talking to you. Men are reluctant to let go. Just leaned in and continued the conversation. If brothers develop in Tongzhou in the future, if you have any difficulties, feel free to contact me. Luo Chen sneered coldly. Okay, man, see Luo. Chen is just an unemployed ground beetle. Then he boldly displayed himself, saying that my company's business is very good. Correct manpower. Zhang Xiaoman his mother. He even praised the man with an excited expression on his face. After hearing this, Luo Chen showed a cold smile at the corner of his mouth. And then he quietly unleashed his spiritual power. I saw a trace of spiritual power behind the man, just getting into his body. Then Luo Chen walked out of the room alone. Zhang Xiaoman looked puzzled. So I followed out too. Zhang Xiaoman explained to Luo Chen with a flustered expression. Me and that Chen Chao, just a friend relationship. Don't misunderstand. Luo Chen took a sip of his cigarette. And then, um, I let out a sound. The editor can tell the relationship between you two. How could the heavenly immortal master not see it? Zhang Xiaoman showed an indifferent attitude when seeing Luo Chen. I immediately felt something was wrong. So he launched the ultimate ultimate move. A shriveled corner of the mouth. Crying and saying, I know you're really good to me. But in this society, sincerity is far from enough. Chin Chao is a second generation official. Still the major shareholder of the listed company. I don't expect you to be as excellent as him. At least we can buy a house in Tongzhou. Luo Chen asked coldly, 
What do you want to express? Zhang Xiaoman wiped away the tears from the corners of his eyes, prompt Luo Chen. Isn't your father's factory worth a lot of money? Luo Chen's eyes instantly showed a hint of killing intent. He used this method in his previous life, cheated out all the property, mercilessly abandoned. In the end, he was severely injured by someone sent by Qin Chao. Luo Chen withdrew his arm from Zhang Xiaoman's hand. Lan Lang said, wait a little longer, but secretly sneering inwardly. The show has just begun. At this point, Qin Chao is munching on the food inside the house. Zhang Xiaoman's mother is holding the gift he gave her. I'm so happy that I can't close my mouth. Chen Chao's eyes suddenly became solemn, a great change in expression. The body began to tremble unconsciously. My stomach was purring incessantly. He pursed his but in pain on his face. Unexpectedly, this last level still got my hands wet. A powerful magical attack erupted like a volcano. Zhang Xiaoman's mother. For the last second, I still smelled perfume with satisfaction. The next second, my face will change dramatically, like a skull. Chen Chao is constantly releasing magical damage, and Zhang Xiaoman's mother is constantly losing blood. In the end, he couldn't withstand this fatal injury and fell to the ground. Chen Chao trembled and struggled to run outside the house. Zhang Xiaoman heard constant noises inside the room. Then he turned back to look inside in confusion. I saw Chen Chao with a face as pale as death, shouting to make way. Zhang Xiaoman was suffocated by the smell on her body and quickly covered his mouth. A sudden feeling of vomiting welled up in my heart. Luo Chen walked up to Chen Chao and sneered coldly. Your magic damage is quite strong. I'm afraid even the strongest magic resistance equipment. I can't withstand your big move either. Chen Chao glared angrily at Luo Chen. I saw him gripping his legs tightly. The body is constantly swaying left and right. Luo Chen's fingers lightly. A protrusion instantly appeared on the ground under Chen Chao's feet. Just listen to a snap. He just dropped a dog and ate shit. At this moment, his hands tremble. Direct nasal discharge. Helpless, he could only run away with his tail in his mouth, sobbing and tarting. Luo Chen looked at Chen Chao as he left. With a sneer on my face, I'll take this small interest for now. Luo Chen also did not stay at Zhang Xiaoman's house for a long time. His mother is lying on the sofa and wailing. Luo Chen did not ask Zheng Xiaoman to send him off. He walked out of the room alone. At this moment, the phone rang. It turned out to be a text message from my little apprentice. On the street. A taxi driver is soliciting a young man to ride. After being rejected by the young man, he actually cursed at him. Hey! What city do you still enter when you are poor and have no money? How could he believe it? The seemingly despondent young man in front of me, but the first generation to honor. Just because someone framed me, I fell into this trap. At this point, a yellow Lamborghini slowly stopped. Beside the young man, there is a hot and beautiful girl sitting in the car. This person is Yi Xuanxuan, the young disciple of a young man. The girl apologized and said, I'm sorry, teacher, I'm late. Luo Chen got into the luxury car amidst the driver's surprised expression. Unexpectedly, the driver continued to curse with an arrogant expression on his face. How could Ye Xuanxuan's temper endure such humiliation? Teacher, would you like to teach that person a lesson just now? But Luo Chen shook his head. Indicates no need. This is not Luo Chen's generosity. As an immortal, he, dignity is more important than anyone else. I saw him staring straight at the taxi. But a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. There will naturally be something else to do. Let's just watch the good play. At this moment, suddenly, someone came from behind. I took a photo of the driver standing on the roadside. He suddenly turned his head. Surprisingly discovered. A long-haired girl wearing a red dress. Standing behind me. The girl has a cute face. Coquettishly asked uncle. Can you give me a lift? There is business coming to our doorstep. Still a shy and lovely beautiful driver. Suddenly, he showed a narrowed expression. Of course you can. Yi Xuanxuan looked at the driver with a puzzled expression on his face. Teacher, who is that driver talking to? He doesn't have many people around him. I saw the playful expression on Luo Chen's face becoming increasingly intense, staring intently at that taxi. Just say it lightly, he's about to die. Yi Xuanxuan was suddenly taken aback. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth as the world was vast. It's also very exciting. One day you will discover. There are too many things that ordinary people find difficult to understand. Hearing what Luo Chen said, Yi Xuanxuan was momentarily taken aback. Endless fear instantly surged into my heart. Screen rotation. Came to the taxi.
The driver asked the girl excitedly, Where are you planning to go? I only heard the popping and cracking sound on the back seat of the car. Voice girl answers, Pan Long Wan Luo Chen and his little apprentice. I quickly arrived at the most luxurious hotel in Tangzhou. Yi Xuanxuang is holding a thick object in his hand. Walk up to Luo Chen. With a swoop, it was placed on the table. This is the threshold for the presidential suite. I helped you rent it for a month. Also, there are the keys to that car and a contract. Please take a look. Luo Chen picked up the contract on the table with a curious expression on his face. Open it and take a look. It turned out to be a stock transfer agreement. You're giving me a company as a gift. Yi Xuanxuang smiled approvingly at Luo Chen and said, Our Yi family also has quite a few industries in Tangzhou. This company is just my tuition fee. Please do not refuse, teacher. Luo Chen opened the contract and took a closer look. Unexpectedly, it was the company that Zhang Xiaoman worked for. It seems that this entrepreneur has really done a lot of homework. Luo Chen, who originally intended to refuse. When I saw the company name, I immediately changed my mind. Okay, I'll take these for now. In my previous life, I suffered from exclusion and bullying in that company. Even worse after being ruthlessly abandoned by Zhang Xiaoman. I never thought Feng Shui would take turns. He is looking forward to this life. What can those who look down on him do? Yi Xuanxuan respectfully bid farewell to Luo Chen. Luo Chen is holding the room card. Arrived at the entrance of the rented suite. At this moment, a woman's shout was coming out of the room. A girl with long hair slumped on the bed in the hotel, continuously crying and screaming, Guide Wang, please don't do this, I'm begging you. A blush appeared on her beautiful cheeks, clear and translucent eyes with tears in them. At this moment, a middle-aged man with a big belly and a graceful demeanor, coming towards him with his clothes off, with a lewd expression threatening the girl. Don't put on airs for me, wanna be the female number one. Today, you have to listen to me obediently. As he spoke, he opened his hands and rushed towards the girl. The girl had a panicked expression on her face. Quickly dodge, unwavering, shouting loudly, even if they are banned. I would rather die than comply. After listening to the man, the aura is even more arrogant. I don't know how many people are queuing up at my door. I can't even get in if I want to. Before the words fall, listen to a bang. The door is opened. The two of them looked at the door with a shocked expression on their faces. I saw a young man standing dumbfounded with his hands in his pockets. A golden light flashed away in my eyes. A middle-aged man looks like a young man in his twenties. Then he angrily cursed at him fiercely. Where are these wild dogs from? Dare to ruin my good deeds. Luo Chen walked into the room without saying a word. The man's expression became unusually arrogant upon seeing this, continuing to curse at him, who specifically let you in. Luo Chen walked coldly straight towards the sofa. Then he sat on the sofa with a swish. He is a magnificent immortal master. This kind of mole ant is naturally too lazy to answer. I didn't want to meddle in such a situation. But this is my own room. How can we allow others to act wild here? I saw him pull out his cigarette expressionlessly. The man showed no fear at all when he saw him. Then he pointed at him and cursed at the little bunny. You're quite talented. Do you know who I am? If you don't get out immediately. But Luo Chen didn't seem to hear it. I leisurely took a puff of my cigarette. The girl saw the man wanting to take action. He quickly shook his head. Signal Luo Chen to leave quickly. The man has become impatient at this moment. You didn't hear me, did you? Directly pick up the wine bottle on the table and smash it at Luo Chen. Since you're looking for death, I will fulfill you today. The girl quickly rushed up upon seeing the situation, holding onto the man's arm. With a panicked expression on his face, he shouted to Luo Chen not to be stunned. You go quickly. The man immediately turned his head and angrily rebuked the girl, get out of here. Lift your arm forcefully. Directly threw the girl aside. As a result, the girl collided with the cabinet and fainted. The man gave her a glance, angrily cursing. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen pinched the man tightly. My neck. One hand lifted the chubby guy weighing over 200 pounds. The man's expression changed greatly. A face full of panic. Not only did they not beg for mercy. Instead, continue to threaten Luo Chen. I warn you. Release your grip quickly, otherwise I'll make it hard for you to eat and walk around. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen's gaze condensed. A cold smile appeared at the corner of the mouth. The man is already trembling with fear at this moment. Luo Chen's spiritual power begins to release. The man exclaimed in panic, Do you dare to touch me today? I will definitely find someone to do it tomorrow. I haven't finished speaking yet. 
It was engulfed by a fire in Luo Chen's hand. Just hear a scream. The man turned into nothing in an instant. Luo Chen patted the dust on his shoulder. Lang Lang said, where else do you have tomorrow? He turned around and glanced at the girl next to him. He is lying unconscious on the ground at the moment. Luo Chen sighed helplessly. I didn't expect to be reborn on the first day. I just encountered this kind of trouble. Luo Chen filled the bathtub with water. And then I put the girl inside. I don't know how long it has been. The girl finally came to her senses. He looked puzzled about the situation before him. Immediately, a piercing scream was emitted. Luo Chen said coldly, shut up. The girl asked Luo Chen with a surprised expression on her face. Why are you here? What about Wang's father? Luo Chen answered coldly, you don't need to worry. Wait for the efficacy to pass. Get out of here immediately. A hint of embarrassment appeared on the girl's face. Someone drugged me. I didn't even notice it myself. Subsequently, the command to drop dust from outside the house will give you a maximum of 15 minutes. I won't say the second time. The girl's expression was panicked. No man has ever been so cold to her before. She murmured angrily about this person's attitude. This beautiful woman in a bathrobe in the room. I want to stay overnight here. He looked at the young man in front of him, filled with a hint of admiration in my heart. I didn't expect this seemingly college student to be so strong. Even Wang Fu, who weighs over 200 pounds, can handle it. How would he know? The young man in front of me is a distinguished generation. Immortal Lord Luo Chen heard the girl finish taking a shower. Surprisingly, I didn't even glance at it. And with a critical tone, he said coldly, You have exceeded the time limit. He just agreed with the girl. You must leave here in 15 minutes. The girl looked embarrassed upon hearing this. It's just my fault for washing too comfortably just now. Forgetting time. He smiled at Luo Chen and said, It's getting late now, too. My clothes have also been torn. I look like this. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen sat there without saying a word. At this moment, the girl's heart is starting to go crazy and replenish her brain. She won't just be so ruthless and drive me away, will she? With my beauty and posture. She should have expected me to stay, that's right. But what if she has ulterior motives towards me? Thinking of this, he shook his head shyly. What's wrong with me? Why do you think about what you have or don't have? The girl walked cautiously behind the boy. Can I make a phone call using your phone? Ask my assistant to help deliver a piece of clothing. Ruachin's face remained unchanged and said coldly, Before someone picks you up, please stay calm in the second bedroom. Don't disturb my rest. The girl showed a shocked expression after listening. I am a big star that many people admire. This young man is so indifferent to himself. Luo Chen threw his phone over with a cold expression on his face. Please remember that I won't say it again. The girl took the phone and quickly nodded in agreement. At this moment, I am once again crazily brainstorming. This young man is really a steel straight man. I didn't even look at me. But this guy still has a lot of temperament. I always feel like I'm. There is an irresistible drive. Luo Chen saw the girl stay put and not move. I immediately urged him to go over if he didn't want to. Don't disturb me if you have nothing to do. The girl angrily walked out of the room. How could you have been so angry at me for growing up so big? Other men flatter themselves before it's too late. Why does this young man treat himself so badly? Cold Luo Chen saw the girl walk out of the room. Just put it on the train. The old man gave himself a wooden box and took it out. Luo Chen is activating the spiritual power inside his body. Suddenly, a spiritual light emerged around the wooden box. With a whoosh. Open the plywood inside the wooden box. It's exactly what I thought. There is indeed a divine seed hidden in this wooden box. Thanks to the bravery of titanium and gold in the body. Otherwise, we will miss out on this extremely precious seed. The so-called divine species. They are all ancient powerful meteorites. The surviving gold foil imprint. Even the most inferior category. It can also make ordinary people awaken their divine organs. Moreover, this divine seed also comes with the heavenly eye divine power. Once the refining is successful, it has perspective function on its own. Now I am a full master of cultivation. Can only rely on the faint aura of two gold. Maintain the strength of the master. Want to start real cultivation. We must awaken as soon as possible. On this earth where spiritual power is depleted, it can only be completed through divine seeds. Rawachan eagerly picked up the seed hanging in mid-air. Take a closer look. Only then did I realize that the core of this seed had dried up. It seems that we can't use it yet. At this moment, someone is knocking at the door. 
the girl cautiously poked her head out, indicates that the assistant's phone number cannot be reached. Then he asked in a sharp voice, can we change rooms? I'm a bit scared sleeping outside. Luo Chen could tell at a glance that he was being cautious. The girl is clearly plotting against Luo Chen. If Wang's father comes back again, I want Luo Chen to shoulder the damage. The girl saw that Luo Chen had already seen through her own thoughts. Immediately switch to a high and cold posture. Don't talk nonsense, just say it's okay or not. No, Luo Chen's answer hit the girl's point directly. The girl sighed awkwardly. Don't believe in the charm of Lambert. I can't even handle a college student. Then he unleashed his ultimate move. Unzipped the towel in one go. Exposed his proud figure. Then slowly crawled towards the falling dust. If I had to sleep here, it's impossible inside. Inside the room, a sexy beauty is actually lying on this boy's bed. Unwilling to leave, the girl leaned towards the young man's ear, whispering softly, if you don't want to go to the second bed, so we can only sleep together here, the girl confidently thought to herself. With the charm of my bluebell, no man can refuse my request yet. After all, he is just a shy college student, but how would he know? This young man was a legendary immortal in his past life. At this moment, Luo Chen's face was sweating with nervousness. This mortal body is really troublesome. Seven emotions and six desires are difficult to freely control. Luo Chen shook his head. I asked coldly, aren't you afraid I'll take action on you? How did the girl's hair shake? A firm answer is certainly not afraid. However, in my heart, I was in a state of panic. I am a top-tier female celebrity. If someone finds out they've found a college student to be their boyfriend, how could the media have exploded? If it weren't for the fact that Luo Chen didn't act recklessly when he fainted, he wouldn't dare to gamble his reputation like this. Luo Chen shook his head helplessly, sigh at the line of the airway. After speaking, he got up and got out of bed. Girls see the situation, with a proud smile on his face. It seems that this method still works. He should have agreed to go to the second bedroom. So he turned around and charged towards Luo Chen who was leaving, smiling and saying thank you very much. Luo Chen slowly walked out of the room. The girl finally breathed a sigh of relief. How to expect the next second? The door opens again. Luo Chen actually walked back, handing a hair dryer to the girl. Then he coldly said, please blow dry your hair, don't wet my bed. The girl is holding a hair dryer, wet wipes all over the face. I saw Luo Chen walking directly to the bedside. Unfold the blanket. I turned around and lay down. I'll go to bed first. Don't talk nonsense. Leave the girl alone with a dark face and stay in place. At 3 a.m., the girl lay in bed with a face covered in circles. What exactly went wrong? What would be this outcome? I saw her face go crazy, but I dare not speak up. And Luo Chen doesn't feel that good either. Tang Tang Xianzun has also been messed up by this little girl. That's it, Luo Chen and the girl are back to back sleeping in the same bed all night. The next day, Luo Chen woke up hazily from his sleep. He turned his head and glanced at the other side of the bed, discovering that the girl had left at an unknown time. There seems to be something under the pillow. Ruachen opens the pillow. Take a look. It turned out to be a business card left by a girl. Turns out last night the girl's name was Lambert. Ruachen looked at another card. Surprisingly, it was a message written by Lon Bayer to herself. After seeing it, Ruachen. A burst of laughter surged in my heart. This girl is a bit interesting. She put on her clothes, glancing at the contract on the table. That's when I realized. The little apprentice gave himself a company as a gift last night. Ruachin holds the contract. A comforting expression appeared on his face. Why don't we go here today first? Screen rotation. Arrived at that company. The employee respectfully handed all the documents to Luo Chun. Mr. Luo, could you please sign here? In my previous life, I was subjected to cold looks and ridicule in this company. I didn't expect to become the owner of this company in this lifetime. At this moment, phone ringtone rings. It turned out to be a call from Zhang Xiaoman. At this moment, Zhang Xiaoman is sitting in this company. Discontented, he said over the phone. Don't be late. I recommended you to our company. Something went wrong. I lost my face. Don't come up directly after you arrive. At this moment. A short-haired girl walked towards Zhang Xiaoman. I gave her a hard pat on the back. Zhang Xiaoman was greatly surprised. The woman walked to the side. Show a disdainful expression. I heard that your boyfriend came to our company for an interview today. Zhang Xiaoman quickly hung up the phone. And then, um, I let out a sound. Unexpectedly, the woman revealed. A haughty appearance. 
People who can be liked by our family Zhang Xiaoman, at least it has to be worth tens of millions of dollars. Surprisingly, they came to our company to work. At this moment, the voice of another woman came from beside me. What family property is worth millions of yuan? Just a hick from the county town. A woman in yellow slowly walked over, continuing with a disdainful expression. He and Xiao Man are college classmates. I have already advised them to break up, but Xiao Man just doesn't listen. The woman in black took his words. Xiao Man has such good conditions. How could you find someone like this? Zhang Xiao Man suddenly felt ashamed. At this moment, Luo Chen was quietly walking in. A girl in the company was shouting insults at Luo Chen. What do you have to pull? If it weren't for Xiao Man, you don't even need to clean the bathroom. Luo Chen said with a cold and indifferent expression, thank you for taking the trouble. But it's not your turn to handle this matter yet. Zhang Xiaoman blamed Luo Chen with an angry expression on his face. Why do you need to come up directly? A small spray came up. With a fake smile on his face, he said. So you are Zhang Xiaoman's boyfriend. Then he looked at Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on his face. Look at this impoverished sample. As expected, it is exactly what Hu Xingxing said. Hu Xingxing continued to ridicule Luo Chen. You even need Xiaoman to help you with your work. Do you think you deserve him? At this moment, a man in a suit and leather shoes walked towards them. Zhang Xiaoman and Xia Langwa, quickly and politely greeted. Hello manager. But Hu Xingxing rushed up with a single arrow step, without any regard for image in public, directly penetrated into the arms of the man in black, asked with a concerned expression, Dear, what did you do yesterday? The man picked up a car key with a proud expression on his face, deliberately raising the tone to show off. Of course, I'll go to the forest store to pay the deposit. A car worth over 1 million yuan, no discount at all. Hu Xingxin looked excited upon seeing this, staring at the key. People around cast envious gazes. Zheng Xiaoman awkwardly clenched his hands. Immediately after, the manager solemnly announced with a haughty expression that I will treat you tonight. Everyone must go. Xia Lengua quickly cheered with a look of admiration on her face. At this point, the manager discovered Luo Chen standing next to Zhang Xiaoman. So he walked up and asked who this brother was. Zhang Xiaoman apologized and explained that this is. I haven't finished speaking yet. Hu Xingxing leaned into the manager's ear, glancing disdainfully at Luo Chen, whispered to the manager, Lanzi, listen up. Then he arrogantly said to Luo Chen, right. I am Zhang Hai, the sales manager. The HR department has already informed me. What can I do for you in the future? Just come find me. Luo Chen answered with a stubborn expression on his face. Okay, Zhang Hai is looking at Luo Chen, filled with dissatisfaction in my heart. This guy is clearly a country bumpkin. How can we catch Si Hua? Zhang Xiaoman then put on a cunning and cunning appearance. Take out a file from the bag. Although it's your first day at work, I'll still arrange a task for you. Let you familiarize yourself with the business. I have a major client now, looking for an image spokesperson. We talked to several artists before, but they didn't succeed. I hope you can give me a satisfactory result. People around C files. There was a sudden uproar. This big client is notoriously difficult to serve. Not only are there many problems, don't be too fond of complaining. Luo Chen took over the document. I flipped through it. I didn't expect this client to offer a high price, but you can also get some cash by the way. The manager crossed his legs. With a disdainful expression, he asked how Luo Chen was doing. Do you dare to take it? He obviously wants to give Luo Chen a boost. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen smiled slightly. Show a playful expression. I took over this matter. Xiao Langhua looked at Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on her face, let out a cold snort. Hu Xingxing even chuckled and chuckled. This idiot really doesn't know how to die. Manager Huo was surprised by Luo Chen's answer. Then he sneered and said coldly, disdainful and disdainful. Let me remind you, if you can't finish it tomorrow, we have to get out of here right away. Luo Chen smiled slightly and didn't need to worry about tomorrow. You can do it now. This young man, surprisingly speaking, you can call a top-tier star with just one phone call. Everyone heard his words, immediately burst into laughter. Is this kid crazy? Zhang Hai laughed and burst into tears. You didn't drink too much, did you? Do you know what a first or second-tier celebrity is? Xiao Langhua pointed at Luo Chen and mocked him. I thought you were just a poor guy. Unexpectedly, there was still some brain problem. Zhang Xiaoman was already trembling with anger at this moment. Feeling embarrassed by Luo Chen. I saw Luo Chen take out his phone and make a call.
Are you available? Come and do me a favor. I will send you the address immediately. Zheng Xiaoman trembled and bit his lips tightly. I can no longer tolerate Luo Chen's actions. Roar directly at Luo Chen, Luo Chen. You've had enough, but you're not ashamed enough. Then he angrily left here. Zheng Haijian's goal has been achieved. Whistle proudly. And then tell everyone to let it all go. Come back later to watch the play. Meet the big star he called. Outside the company building. Zhang Hai walked to the door with a happy expression on his face. The security guard immediately handed over a cigarette and asked Mr. Zhang about the situation. What can make you so happy? Zhang Hai arrogantly took the cigarette. Today, a mentally disabled person arrived in the department. I asked him to find an artist as an endorsement plan. He actually said, you can call a top tier celebrity with just one phone call. Just finished speaking, the two of them burst out laughing again. The security guard came up to Zhang Hai Hai and teased Daolin about being big. There are all kinds of birds. What if they actually call? Zhang Hai glanced at him. A cold smile appeared at the corner of the mouth. If he could call in a top tier star. I am popular with live streaming handstands. At this moment, a red sports car slowly drove over. The security guard asked hello with a smile on his face. May I ask who you are calling? Slowly roll down the car window. I saw a beautiful woman with long hair in front of me. Hello, I'm looking for. Unexpectedly, the woman's words came to an abrupt end. He just remembered that he didn't even know the name of that person. After the security guard saw the woman's appearance clearly, immediately excited and unable to speak, people are the famous superstar Lambert. In the sales department office, everyone looked at Luo Chen with a bad smile on their face. Zhang Xiaoman walked over to Luo Chen with a dissatisfied expression on his face. Immediately after, there was a fierce reprimand. What exactly do you mean? Are you deliberately trying to make me lose face? Luo Chen responded coldly with an ignored expression. How did I make you lose face? Zhang Xiaoman immediately roared at the scene. You disappointed me too much. With your limited network, you can still sign in to a big star. It's just a foolish dream. Luo Chen rebuked him with a strange expression on his face. When someone surnamed Zhang dug a pit for me, why don't you stop me? Zhang Xiaoman instantly became speechless. In the company lobby, Lambert looked around and walked in, surrounded by people looking for his signature. Zhang Hai and Hu Xinxin looked from afar with an angry expression on their faces. I don't even believe what's happening in front of me. But then there was a smile on his face. He doesn't even know who he's looking for. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Lambert is escorted by security guards. Entered the sales department office. Zhang Xiaoman saw the approaching bluebell. Shocked on the face, Bluebell suddenly stopped in his tracks. His gaze fixed on Luo Chen sitting beside him. Then he patted his hands against the table, complaining, I can be considered to have found you. This teenager. Just one phone call. We can call in the superstar Bluebell. I saw Bluebell staring intently at Luo Chen. A blush appeared on her shy face. Zhang Xiaoman couldn't believe what was happening before him. How could this be possible? With just Luo Chen's connections. How did they get to know each other? A magnificent superstar. Luo Chen patted the chair next to him. Signal Lambert to sit down. I have an endorsement plan here. If you can take it, give me a quote. Unexpectedly, Lambert's face showed a hint of disappointment. I thought Luo Chen was just looking for a reason to ask him out to play. But the background of this young man in front of me must be extraordinary. Since last night, Wang Fu never caused trouble for himself again. Luo Chen looked at Bluebell with some confusion. How did you come so fast? Bluebell Wang Er Yi Xiao. With a look of admiration, he joked at Luo Chen and said, When you call, I happen to be nearby as well. Are we very destined? Zhang Xiaoman saw that Luo Chen and Lan Bell were so close, muttering with a puzzled expression on his face. He just arrived in Tangzhou on his first day. Why did you have a friendship with Lambert? Lambert suddenly turned his head and smiled at him, saying, Beautiful woman. Can you help close the door? At this point, the company has already exploded. Crowded with people who came to ask Lambert for his signature. The news that Luo Chen called Bluebell over with just one phone call. It quickly spread in the company. Everyone cheered with excitement on their faces. Lambert is their goddess in their hearts. Being able to see one's own idol with one's own eyes. Don't mention how happy you are. Zhang Hai, on the other hand, drove away the crowd with an angry expression on his face. Still don't believe it's true. I should go in and take a look. What the hell is going on today? Just about to walk in and see what's going on. Unexpectedly, there was a loud bang. 
The face taken by the gate has changed shape. I saw Zhang Xiaoman angrily close the door. In an instant, a wave of jealousy surged in my heart. Big stars are amazing. How dare you treat me like a servant in front of Luo Chen? Bluebell agreed to Luo Chen's request in one fell swoop. I took on this endorsement. I'll have my agent prioritize your schedule later. Lambert answered so decisively. It really surprised Luo Chen a bit. Immediately inquire about the endorsement fee. Unexpectedly, Lan Bayer stared intently at Luo Chen, smiling and saying that as long as you promise me one thing, in terms of fees, they will be completely waived. Luo Chen was momentarily stunned. What's going on? Lan Bayer slowly approaches Luo Chen, show a cunning smile. That's me treating you to dinner. You cannot refuse. Outside the company gate, Lambert rolled down the car window, looking at Luo Chen with a reluctant expression. Luo Chen waved his hand and said goodbye to him. Bluebell watched as Luo Chen slowly disappeared from the rearview mirror. A smiling face that was determined to win appeared on his face. You can't escape. Luo Chen turned around. I just realized that I was surrounded by my colleagues. Colleagues respectfully pleaded with Luo Chen. Can you help me get a signature? And Zhang Hai was so angry that he was smoking as he looked at the embarrassed person who had gone far away, so he angrily cursed at Luo Chen. This kid is definitely intentional. Let me lose all my face. Hu Xingqing grabbed Zhang Hai and told him not to be impulsive. And then came up with a bad idea. How about finding a reason to dismiss him? But Zhang Hai fiercely said, Don't worry, I must retrieve this scene. Tonight's department dinner. Call on Kaiga. Give that kid some color to see. Wu Xian's heart and mind were in high spirits, and she quickly cheered. The price this young man paid for signing a female star. Surprisingly, she was just having a meal with her. This has caused the department manager to lose face. Tonight's dinner gathering. I will definitely retrieve the venue. Zhang Hai, with a face full of pride, led the department personnel. Arrived at the largest entertainment city in Tangzhou. Looking at this extremely imposing skyscraper. Everyone screamed with excitement on their faces. Mr. Zhang is really ambitious. Who invited us to eat here? Luo Chen glanced at them with a dull expression on his face. If you don't want to familiarize yourself with company personnel, he's not interested in coming to this place for leisure. At this point, Xia Langwa walked over holding her boyfriend's arm. Zhang Hai warmly welcomed him. Where have you made a fortune recently, Brother Kai? This, the muscular man named Kai Go replied with a proud expression on his face. I didn't do anything either, just making a living with brother Biao. Zhang Hai was instantly surprised upon hearing this. It's the famous underground boss in Tongzhou. Kai Gu pretends to be humble, quickly shouted in a low key. Keep a low profile and then approach Zhang Hai's ear to make fun of him. I heard that a tough guy has arrived in your department. Why don't you show me some experience? Zhang Hai points to Luo Chen, a face full of disdain and disdain. It's the boyfriend of Zhang Xiaoman, the country bumpkin who bears his flowers. Kai Gu snorted coldly, immediately put on a pretentious appearance. Look at me. After speaking, he swaggered towards Luo Chen. Ask in an arrogant tone that you are Luo Chen. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen glanced at him with a blank expression on his face. Turn around and ask if I am familiar with you. Then he scratched his head in disgust and walked away. If it's okay, don't get in my way. When Kai Gu behind him had an angry and frantic expression on his face. People around me dare not make a sound even when they see the situation. Kai Gu looked at Luo Chen who had gone far away. With a smirk on his face, this kid really has guts. Look, I won't kill you later. Zhang Hai and Hu Xingxin saw this situation. Full of pride. There's a good show to watch now. In the lobby of the first floor of the entertainment city. Everyone is toasting Zhang Hai. Congratulations to Mr. Zhang for bringing up the new car. Zhang Xiaoman finally couldn't contain his inner doubts. With a jealous expression on his face, he questioned Luo Chen and told me honestly. How exactly did you and Lambert get to know each other? Luo Chang didn't even glance at him. Cold answer, this has nothing to do with you. Zhang Xiaoman flew into a rage. What? Kai glanced at Zhang Xiaoman who was arguing. Immediately revealed a sinister and cunning appearance. Approaching Zhang Hai with a sneer, he said, why not? Let's go upstairs and have fun. Zhang Hai reminded him of Kai Gu with some worries. The scene upstairs. How come Kai's arrogant laughter is okay? I am very familiar with that scene of brother Biao. Just call Luo Chen up. You just wait to see the good play. Everyone followed Kai Gu to the second floor of the entertainment city. I saw the hall bustling with people. Hai Gu was surprised when he saw everyone around him. Then he spoke in a haughty tone. 
The upper limit of external chips is only 1000. It's not interesting at all. Why don't we go play in the inner district? That's where the excitement comes in. Hu Xingxing immediately looked at him with a look of admiration on his face. Haigu is really knowledgeable. Little Wave's proud hair flicked, of course. We often come to play. Zhang Hai gave Hu Xingxing a 50,000 yuan bank card. Let him try his luck. Zhang Xiaoman immediately cast an envious gaze. Zhang Hai walked up to Luo Chen and gave a cold smile. I don't plan to take Xiaoman to play either. Zhang Xiaoman is a bit tempted, so he followed up. Luo Chen stopped him in one go. 10 bets and 9 losses. Besides, this is a casino. Cade saw the situation. Charge Luo Chen with a taunt. To put it bluntly, isn't it just a lack of money? Still talking about being so tall. Little Wave is even more disdainful and clamoring. If you can't afford it, it can be frustrating. Zhang Xiaoman was provoked into anger and embarrassment, so why don't you go? I'll go by myself. Luo Chen once again blocked him from going. Unexpectedly, Zhang Xiaoman roared at her directly. This has nothing to do with you. Luo Chen sighed helplessly. Kai Gu saw the situation. With a smug snort on his face. This fish has finally taken the bait. This girl, caught in a trap carefully planned by two men. Zhang Xiaoman can't bear the ridicule of others. Unexpectedly participated in the gambling game. Little Wave reminds him. If the cards are not good, don't play along with them. This is obviously intentionally provoking him. Zhang Xiaoman pondered for a while. Then he timidly said, let's play cards together. Everyone sees that Zhang Xiaoman has been relayed. A proud expression appeared on the face. After the material is opened. I just realized that Zhang Xiaoman actually won this game. He suddenly shouted with joy. In just five rounds, Zhang Xiaoman's 3000 has turned into 50,000. Colleagues watching can win money when they see him. Finally unable to hold back. So he shouted excitedly at Luo Chen. Your little man is so lucky. Why don't we play along too? Luo Chen firmly refused with a firm expression on his face. When it comes to gambling, don't touch it. At first, it was just a lure they threw out. Unexpectedly, they still couldn't resist the temptation of money. He enthusiastically walked up to the gambling table. Watching colleagues leave, Luo Chen sighed helplessly again. The gambling game is going on time and time again. Everyone looked anxiously at the cards on the gambling table. The result is not as beautiful as they imagined. I never thought about it. Not only did I not win the money, and he also invested his capital in it. I saw a long-haired man with a cunning smile on his face. I'll bet all of this round. Everyone looked at him with a look of fear on their faces. I don't want to continue running. Cade walked slowly to the side of the long-haired man. With an angry expression on his face, he rebuked oldly. Are you playing with us? We want you to eat that girl in white. How to connect our Qian Yi? The long-haired man gave him a disdainful glance. So what? Equal treatment is my principle. Then he slapped the table and warned him to continue if he wanted to play. Go away if you don't play. Kaigo angrily pointed at the long-haired man and threatened, saying, You wait for me. He has already lost everything at this moment. Let Xialangwa go and collect some more money. No one else was spared. Ruachin slowly walked behind them. Reminder to stop quickly. You can't win. However, they are already deeply involved in it. In order to win back the capital, can only continue betting. At this moment, Zhang Hai walked over to Kai Ge's side. Complaining discontentedly, Kai Gu, what is the situation with your brother? Causing us all to lose a lot of money. Kai Gu directly picked up his veins in anger. Cut the crap. After a few rounds, Kaigu has lost all his chips again. At this moment, the waiter walked over to remind him. Could you please settle all outstanding debts? Kaigu instantly became angry with embarrassment. So he pointed at the long-haired man and cursed at you, you bastard. It must be a scammer. At this point, two black-clad men wearing sunglasses walked behind him. Sir, I am willing to gamble and accept defeat. Please don't cause trouble here. Kaigu shouted directly at them. Do you know who I am? I'm just following Biao Gu. At this moment, a murderous big man walked out. This person is the first swordsman under Brother Biao's command. He asked fiercely at the crowd. Who said they were hanging out with Brother Biao? Stand up and let me see. A big guy in the casino. Walking towards a man with a strong sense of righteousness. I saw him staring at Wang Kai with a fierce expression on his face. Wang Kai saw this person. Immediately trembling with fear. Trembling, greeting that person. Brother Dao, slapped me in the face. It hit Wang Kai in the face with a loud bang. 
Wang Kai was fanned by Brother Dao and flew five or six meters away. He trembled and struggled to get up from the ground, painfully stroking the swollen face, afraid to make a sound. Brother Dao walked up to him, threatening me, do you have the right to call me Brother Dao? You're really brave. Dare to brag and deceive under the guise of fighting Diao Gu. Everyone witnessed the situation. I apologize with a fearful expression on my face. I'm sorry. Sorry, Brother Dao asked them fiercely and fiercely. I heard someone was just here. Lao Qian. Wang Kai was lying on the ground, pointing at the long-haired man and shouting Brother Dao. It's that kid. Unexpectedly, Brother Dao kicked him again. Did I ask you? And then angrily rebuked the crowd. This is the cleanest venue in Tongzhou. Who dares to smash Brother Biao's sign? Zhang Hai's face turned pale with fear, and he absolutely dared not. This is all a misunderstanding. Brother Dao looked coldly at Zhang Hai and stopped talking nonsense to me. It's useless. He slowly sat at the gambling table. His eyes were filled with a murderous aura, threatening the crowd that you must continue gambling, not winning back all the lost money. No one wants to leave. But we don't have the money anymore. Brother Dao recklessly patted the table. Don't be afraid if you don't have money. You can borrow it from me. Just borrowing and returning. Everyone's faces turned pale in fear. How could this still be possible? Brother Dao saw that everyone had no intention of continuing to play. He clenched his fists and shouted loudly. It seems that you are not planning to play anymore. They are just a group of ordinary office workers. Where have you ever seen such a battle? Stared to pee directly by the situation in front of me. At this moment, a voice came from the crowd, borrowing me 100,000 yuan. I saw Luo Chen slowly walking towards Brother Dao. He didn't want to meddle in his affairs. But these people are their own employees after all. He can't just stand idly by like this. Zhang Xiaoman shouted in surprise that Luo Chen. Are you crazy? Others also reminded Luo Chen one after another. This money must not be taken. Borrowing 100000, you have to repay 300,000. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. What are you afraid of? You're afraid of winning back. Everyone suddenly looked shrouded in circles. How could this possibly be won back? Brother Dao sneered and asked. Luo Chen, you must think carefully, kid. Luo Chen answered with a firm expression on his face. Stop talking nonsense and deal cards. Long-haired man sees Luo Chen so calm. My heart also began to murmur. What's the origin of this kid? Then the licensing room dealt the cards to the two of them. Luo Chen crossed his hands on his chest. Simply speaking, full pressure. This young man didn't even look at the cards. I dare to crush all the chips. This surprised everyone present. Zheng Xiaoman clenched his fist in anger, Luo Chen, what are you doing? If you don't even look at the cards, you have to take them all down. Zhang Hai had an angry expression on his face, blaming insults at Luo Chen. Is this silly fork trying to kill me? Wang Kai shed tears of despair upon seeing the situation. It's completely over now. We all need to get in together. Brother Dao looked at Luo Chen with a bad smile on his face. Is there something wrong with this kid's brain? The long-haired man confidently lit up his cards first. He has a clear chance of winning this game. Then Lia Luochen held the card and smiled slightly. Then it slammed onto the table with a loud slap. Sorry, I won this game. Brother Dao's face changed drastically in an instant. What? Zhang Hai opened his toad-like mouth in surprise. This special item is also good. The little wave showed a contemptuous expression. This country bumpkin is just lucky. The long-haired man stared at the card's face for a moment. I am a master myself. How could you lose to a little kid? He reluctantly clenched his fist and came back. How come after a few rounds? Luo Chen never looks at cards, but every game is a steady win. Everyone looked at the piles of chips piled up in front of him. Cheer up. Luo Chen pointed to the chips on the table, asking coldly. These are enough to pay off everyone's debts. As you said before, can we leave now? Brother Dao's face was shrouded in circles when he saw this situation. This is really special. Damn it. At this moment, a voice came from behind, and everyone else can leave. Only you can't do it. I saw a domineering man. Walking slowly with a dozen bodyguards, Brother Dao turned around, immediately respectfully shout out to Brother Biao. Everyone saw this person. A look of fear immediately appeared on his face. This is the famous underground boss Hong Biao. Luo Chen looked at the person in front of him with great interest. Hong Biao stared fiercely at Luo Chen. Immediately instructed his subordinates to clear the scene. Brother Dao immediately obeyed and obeyed. 
so he walked up to everyone, command, except for that kid, you all get out of here. Zhang Hai bowed his head with a smile and thanked Brother Dao, let's go now. At this point, Wang Kai couldn't wait to pull the small waves, turn around and run, other people including Zheng Xiaoman, but with some hesitation, I stood still. Brother Dao roared at them when he saw this, but he didn't want to leave quickly. Luo Chen turned to them and said coldly, you guys go first, I'll be fine, they are just ordinary office workers, staying here is of no use. Immediately, Zhang Xiaoman urged the other two to leave quickly. In the underground parking lot, a colleague sighed with some chagrin. Are we too ungrateful in this way? Luo Chen only did it for us. Before the words fall, Zhang Xiaoman interrupted his words with an angry expression on his face. So what do we have? The other party is Hong Biao. The two shook their heads helplessly. I can only pray that Luo Chen and others have their own destiny. In the casino lobby, Luo Chen showed a playful expression. Are you sure you want to keep me? Hong Biao calmly lit a cigarette, and then put on a very friendly mold. Young man, don't be nervous, I am quite interested in my brother's exclusion, I just wanted to talk to you. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen sighed with a dull expression on his face. There's nothing to talk to you about. Brother Dao heard Luo Chen's words. Are you looking for death by directly cursing at your kid? Hong Biao stopped him in one go. Immediately, a murderous expression appeared on his face. Threatened to give you two choices, either hang out with me, either leave your hands behind and leave. Luo Chen heard Hong Biao's words, I couldn't help but laugh out loud, leave me both hands, I'm afraid you don't have this ability. This surprised Hong Biao a bit, I saw him suddenly become angry and embarrassed, it seems that you don't intend to hang out with me anymore. Luo Chen showed a sneer at the corner of his mouth and mixed up with you, what kind of thing are you? This young man unexpectedly rejected the invitation from the underground boss in one fell swoop. You want me to hang out with you? What kind of thing are you? Hong Biao suddenly became angry with embarrassment, not knowing what's good or bad. Ah Dao, give it to me. Brother Dao immediately rushed out excitedly. Compliance, Brother Biao. So he pulled out his military knife, raging towards Luo Chen. I have been displeased with you for a long time. A golden light flashed away in Luo Chen's eyes. At a glance, it was evident that he was stained with a bloody aura. It seems that you have a lot of lives in your hands. Ah Dao smiled smugly. It's too late to be afraid now. Please remember in your next life, not in this world. Anyone can easily provoke it. After speaking, he quickly rushed to Luo Chen's face. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen had a calm face and his hands were in his pockets. With a whoosh, it flashed behind him. Then he coldly said that you were wrong. There is no one in this world that I dare not provoke. Ah Dao was momentarily stunned. Looking back with a face full of fear, Luo Chen playfully extended his finger and gently touched it. Just hear a bang. Ah Dao was instantly bounced off and flew more than 10 meters away. Sitting flat on the ground unconscious, Luo Chen is moving his wrist. Helplessly shook his head. It seems that the golden scent inside the body needs to be used sparingly. Hong Biao was so angry at this situation that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. It's impossible to just hear someone shouting in panic. This kid must be a high-level warrior. Hong Biao immediately ordered his subordinates to say goodbye and panic. Advanced warriors also have limits. You all kill me. Everyone shouted and rushed forward together. Hong Biao nervously pulled out his phone. But unfortunately, they couldn't get through at a critical moment. At this moment, the surroundings instantly quieted down. He suddenly turned back. Only then did I realize that everyone was lying motionless on the ground. And Luo Chen is standing behind him at the moment. I saw a more playful expression on his face. Excuse me, have you connected the phone yet? Suddenly, a woman's voice came over the phone, Biao Zi. What's up? And Hong Biao, on the other hand, was too scared to speak. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen showed a cold smile at the corner of his mouth. It's okay. Please pick it up quickly. Hong Biao was taken aback by Luo Chen's actions. Subsequently, he informed the mysterious woman of the incident. Then I wiped my cold sweat and breathed a long sigh of relief. Turning to Luo Chen, there was another round of sarcasm and ridicule. Little brother, you do have some skills, but you won't be able to provoke anyone who will come soon. I saw Luo Chen with a dull expression on his face, saying, Is that right? Then quickly let them come. Hong Biao cursed to himself with an angry expression on his face. I really don't know the sky, Highland. The thick guy took out his phone. I plan to make another phone call. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen slowly leaned towards him. 
Holding his glasses, he smiled and said, Have you ever heard of 1000 to 7? Not long after, a big bald man came downstairs with a person. The bodyguard downstairs quickly went to say hello to Master Yu. Master Yu asked Sadao what exactly happened in the factory. I saw that person with a face covered in circles. How could they know what happened upstairs? Master Yu came up with a big slap in the face. A group of waste. Master Yu and his team quickly arrived on the second floor. I saw everyone lying on the ground in disorder. Master Yu's heart was instantly shaken. Who did Biao Zi provoke? At this moment, a scream of agony emanated from the corner. Hong Biao covered his face and shouted angrily. You wait for me. Tay, I'm dead today. The woman shouted loudly at the red mark. Label. The red label immediately burst into tears upon seeing the situation. Miss, come and save me now. Unexpectedly, this woman who was called the eldest lady. It is Yi Shuangxuan, the little disciple of Luo Chen. Luo Chun Jin. A slight smile at the corner of my mouth is quite clever. A young girl in the hall had a panicked expression on her face. Bowing down to apologize to a young man. Sorry, I'm sorry. The teacher's dog was not properly taken care of at home. I have offended you. Hong Biao suddenly dropped his chin in shock. How could he believe it? The young man in front of me is actually the teacher of the eldest lady. Yi Xuanxuan walked over to Hong Biao with a gloomy expression on his face, slapped him in the face with a loud bang, and then angrily scolded him, saying, You big dog bile. He is my teacher. Even my grandfather has to respectfully call him Mr. Luo when he sees him. Hong Biao was instantly scared out of his soul. A person who even the old man respects so much. Not just a typical big shot. Just listen to a splash. He knelt on the ground. Trembling all over, he hurriedly apologized to Mr. Luo. Sorry, I'm blind. I collided with you. I hope you can raise your hand high. Luo Chen looked coldly at Hong Biao. My own generation of immortal masters. Naturally, I am too lazy to argue with him. Then he walked slowly behind him. Yi Shuang Shuang Jian. Asking the teacher apologetically. Biao Zai. Luo Chen turned around and said coldly, since it's your person, let's leave it to you to handle. Don't ask me. Yi Xuanxuan immediately expressed his gratitude with a proud expression on his face. Not yet, Mr. Xia Luo, thank you for not killing me. Hong Biao immediately kowtowed and apologized to Mr. Luo. Thank you very much. Yi Xuanxuan suddenly remembered that there was something he hadn't told the teacher about. Then he immediately chased out. Teacher, wait for me. Luo Chen looked at the panting little disciple. With a puzzled expression on his face, is there anything else? I saw Yi Xuanxuang respectfully pull out a card. This is the invitation letter for the Tongzhou auction. Grandpa instructed me to take it to you. Luo Chen was momentarily taken aback. Why did you give me this? Yi Xuanxuang gestured and said, Teacher, do you remember the wooden box on the train back then? This aroused Luo Chen's interest. After all, he got the precious seed from the wooden box. He immediately asked the young apprentice, What does the auction have to do with that wooden box? Yi Xuanxuang quickly explained that, Grandpa, I see that you are very interested in him, so I would like to invite you to participate in this auction. That wooden box was obtained from there. Luo Chen immediately saw the caution of the Yi family at a glance, so painstakingly wooing him. I'm afraid we've encountered some trouble. Luo Chen took the invitation letter, turning around and sighing, I thanked Mr. Yi. Yi Xuanxuang saw that the teacher did not refuse. He shouted with a happy expression on his face. Then I'll come pick you up tomorrow. Luo Chen shook his head, no need. In the casino lobby, Hong Biao was painfully dealing with the wound on his face. After waking up, Ah Dao's face was covered in circles. That young man is really the teacher of the young lady. Hong Biao was thinking about what had just happened. A gust of coldness came from behind. Today can be considered kicking the iron plate. Immediately, he instructed Ah Dao to quickly prepare a thick one. Lily, we need to personally come to apologize. A big shot at this level. Even if we don't qualify to be friends, we must never become enemies either. The next day, Luo Chen arrived at the lobby of the Amaha Hotel as scheduled. He took out the invitation letter given by his young apprentice, successfully walked into the auction house. The venue was bustling with people. At this moment, Chen Chaozhang is standing in the auction house. The little chubby man next to him said, A new face has arrived today. Please ask Chen Chao to help find out which noble young master it is from. Chen Chaoyuan looked from afar, suddenly stunned. The new face in the fat man's mouth is exactly Luo Chen. I saw him looking fiercely at Luo Chen. Speaking of this person, I know him. 
Unexpectedly, the chubby man hugged him with a proud expression on his face. Young Master Chen is indeed well informed and knowledgeable. Can you help me introduce myself to you? Chen Xiao gave a cold smile, and this person is a hick. You don't need to know this ground beetle. The fatty man's reaction to Chen Chao. With a puzzled expression on your face, you look quite unhappy. Are there any holidays between you two? Chen Chao replied with an angry expression that it was this foolish fork. He's grabbing women from me. The chubby man's face darkened. Immediately rushed up and dared to snatch women from Chen Xiao. Brother, I'll help you with him now. At the auction, a chubby little boy is slowly approaching a young man. I saw Xiaopang approaching the young man's side, arrogantly asking the little brother. You look so unfamiliar. Who did you sneak in with? The young man is a magnificent immortal. This kind of scum is naturally too lazy to take care of. Fat people see symptoms, directly cursing at the young man. What kind of fool are you pretending to be? At this moment, Chen Chao walked up, Luo Chen, my friend asked you a question. Are you deaf or mute? Luo Chen didn't even glance at them. I just heard him lightly say that the wind is rising. Blow and wrinkle a pool of spring water. Luo Chen's words made the two of them look shrouded in circles. What kind of wind? Water, is this person having a brain problem? At this point, a big wave next to me smiled and the wind blew up, blowing and wrinkling a pool of spring water, doing weddings and affairs. Then he pointed to the fat man and laughed heartily, explaining that, what he means is it's none of your business. Luo Chen saw the situation. A cold smile appeared at the corner of the mouth. People who are ugly should read more books. Otherwise, if you get scolded, you'll have to find someone to translate. Chin Chao was immediately so angry that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. The fat man even patted the bench and cursed at Luo Chen. So few. I'm just talking nonsense. Believe it or not, I'll kill you, you bastard. At this point, a man behind him loudly asked what had happened. The fat guy pulled him over directly. Managerly, you came at the right time. This country bumpkin doesn't know how he got in here. Managerly looked at Luo Chen with a disdainful expression. Sir, I'm sorry. Please present your invitation letter. There are so many people here. Why question me? Managerly showed a sneer on the corner of his mouth. I know all these people. Of course not necessary. If we can't get the invitation letter out, I can only ask you to leave here. Luo Chen gave a slight smile. Really? Then he showed a playful expression. Hand over the invitation letter. What's the rush? Isn't that right? Managerly saw the invitation letter pulled out by Luo Chen. I'm really a bit surprised. Unexpectedly, the fat man snatched the invitation letter from Luo Chen's hand. You little rascal. I don't know where I stole it from. Just you poor country bumpkin. Why don't you hurry up and get out of here? Managerly stopped the two with a wicked smile on his face. Two distinguished guests. Please be calm and not impatient. You guys go to the VIP hall to rest first. I will definitely explain this small matter to both of you one by one. Fatty and Chen Xiao left here with a displeased expression on their faces. Subsequently, Manager Li looked down upon little brother Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on his face. I have already given you enough face. Whether or not you have an invitation letter today, we all have to get out of here. After speaking, a group of people gathered around with a fierce expression on their faces. At this moment, a sound suddenly came from behind. I see who dares to touch him. Everyone turned around to take a look. Yi Lao is slowly walking towards this side. The old man has a look on his face. Who gave you the dog's courage, scolded with an angry expression. How dare you drive away the distinguished guests invited by the old man. Manager Li was instantly flustered. Luo Chen breathed a sigh of relief at this moment. It's really a good time for Yi Lao to come here. Otherwise, it's too golden. I have to waste it on these ants again. Mr. Yi quickly went up to comfort Mr. Luo Chen Luo. Are you okay? When Manager Li heard the word sir, his face instantly turned pale. How could this kid make Yi Lao respect him so much? Yi Lao immediately angrily scolded him again. Something that doesn't have long eyes. Then he asked Luo Chen apologetically how to handle this matter. I saw Luo Chen sighing about the small matter of the airway. No need to move. So Mr. Yi entrusted Master Yu to handle this matter. Subsequently, Master Yu threw him out like Lin Xioji. In the auction house, a group of bodyguards surrounded a young man with a fierce expression. How would they know that this young man is a generation of immortal masters? Just as we were about to start, Yi Lao arrived in time. I see who dares to touch him. Later, Master Yu acted like Lin Xioji. Throw Manager Li out. At this time, in the VIP hall, 
Chen Chao and the chubby man drank red wine with a proud expression on their faces. Chen Chao's father reminded them to be more peaceful. Today, Mr. Yi invited a distinguished guest. Chen Chao smiled disdainfully and said, Don't worry, so important a person. We naturally won't provoke anyone. At this moment, two bodyguards walked towards them. Drive them out. The next second, three people were directly kicked out. Chen Chao's father approached Captain Hu with a puzzled expression on his face. What's going on here? Captain Hu is too lazy to explain. Just slammed the door shut. Chen Chao timidly asked his father. What's this supposed to be? His father slapped him directly in the face. A little rabbit. Who the hell did you offend? Chen Chao covered his swollen face. With a look of grievance on his face, besides Luo Chen, he didn't offend anyone. What is Ma Fei Luo Chen? The character then shook his head and denied it. How could this be possible? Think with your toes. This is absolutely impossible. At this point, the auction activity is as scheduled. What was just auctioned off were all antiques and artworks. This naturally won't interest Luo Chen. Yi Lao saw Luo Chen with a dull expression on his face and immediately approached him. Speak softly, Mr. Luo. Please wait a little longer. The person who needs to wait is coming soon. It's exactly what Luo Chen thought. This old Ji is putting in a lot of effort to win him over. There are indeed other things. Yi Lao Jian. Directly stating one's own purpose. If it weren't for your last time in the car, at first glance, it was evident that the painting was fake. I never doubted him either. At this moment, a middle-aged man walked apologetically. Sorry. Traffic congestion on the road. So I came late. Yi Lao glanced at Luo Chen. Luo Chen immediately understood. The middle-aged man quickly noticed. Young people around Yi Lao. Mr. Yi, this little brother is. Yi Lao spoke calmly and said. This is a friend I just met. There is also considerable sophistication in identifying antiques. I took this opportunity to invite you over. The middle-aged man looked at Luo Chen with a disdainful expression. Surprisingly, he is an appraiser. Immediately, my heart was filled with sneers. Teacher Yi is not an old fool anymore. Surprisingly, he found a young man who was still wet and wet as an appraiser. The middle-aged man spoke with a fake smile on his face. Say hello to Luo Chen. So it's a colleague. Disrespectful disrespect. Luo Chen is just a faint memory. Kind middle-aged man sees Luo Chen so cold and indifferent. I suddenly felt a little uncomfortable inside. With my seniority. Saying hello to him is considered a way to promote him. This kid didn't even say a word of flattery. Let's see if I can give him some color later. At this moment, the auctioneer solemnly announces the highlight of the upcoming event. Only a bronze ancient sword from the Eastern Zhou Dynasty can be seen. Came into view. The middle-aged man smirked as he saw the situation. Yi Lao proposed a suggestion. This thing must be real. The bottom price is not high. We can take a picture of it. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen on the side immediately stopped him. Wait a moment. There's a problem with this thing. At the auction, a young man quickly stopped an old man from bidding. Wait a minute, there's a problem with this thing. The middle-aged man beside him snorted coldly. Then he stood up arrogantly and said, Little brother, don't talk nonsense here. With decades of experience, I can still misread. Just listen to Luo Chen's cold answer to the fake. Tang Zhanghe suddenly showed a disdainful expression on his face. You little brat, dare to speak rashly in front of me. You can tell the truth from the falsehood with just one glance. Yi Shuangshuang sees this situation. A chill came from behind. Old Tai, are you familiar with the plot? At this point, Tang Zhanghe had already become angry and ashamed. If you really have this ability, I am popular with live streaming handstands. A playful expression appeared on Luo Chen's face. There is no point in arguing too much. Why don't you take a picture first? Then it will be sent for identification. Tang Zhanghe suddenly felt panic. I am the best appraiser in Tong Zhou. You still need someone else to verify it. Yi Lao Jian. A pair of silent and expressionless mouth twisters. Bidding. Immediately appeased Mr. Luo Chun Luo with an apologetic expression. Don't be angry. Old Tang has never seen this piece before in the appraisal process. Tang Zhanghe, listen up. Immediately put on an imposing expression. How dare this kid fight me. The old man eats more salt than the rice you eat. Subsequently, Yi Shuangshuang offered a price of 5 million yuan. I captured that bronze sword. Tang Zhanghe boasted proudly on his face. Yi Lao indeed has a keen eye like a torch. This precious sword. At first glance, it is a rare treasure held by the nobility. Luo Chen remained expressionless and speechless. 
This makes Huang Zhanghe very unhappy. He suddenly stood up and cursed the stinky boy at Luo Chen. Don't be disrespectful. It's only for Yi Lao's sake that he is so polite to you. At this moment, Master Yu leaned over to old Yezir and spoke quietly. Quietly talking about the next moment, Yi Lao clapped his hands and said good. But how do you explain this? I saw Master Yu holding an appraisal report in his hand. It prominently states that the identification result is fake. Huang Zhong and his face suddenly changed, how could this be possible? Everything that can enter here has been carefully screened layer by layer. Yi Shuang walked up to him with a burst of anger. Blame me me, I've already had someone investigate. This bronze ancient sword and the fake painting from last time. The delivery person is all you. You bribed the appraiser. And try to trick grandpa into buying it. Tang Zheng his legs are weak. Sitting paralyzed on the ground. With a panicked expression, he quickly pleaded with Yi Lao. Listen to me explain. Something happened at home. Urgent need for money. Yi Shuang Shuang was furious when he paused. Grandpa gave you 12 shops. Isn't that enough? You secretly raised a large amount of funds. What exactly do you want to do? Tang Zhengyi's trembling body hesitates to speak, I can't say. Yi Lao sees the situation, helplessly shaking his head, Lao Yu. Take him down. Subsequently, Yi Lao smiled awkwardly at Luo Chen and said, Mr. Luo. Laughing, Yi Xuan Xuan couldn't calm the resentment in his heart, Grandpa, we treat him well. Why is this person so narrow-minded? I saw Yi Lao sighing and expressing my understanding of him. I shouldn't risk myself for this little money. Someone must have bought him off through some means. I'm afraid it's an old rival from back then. Upon returning, Yi Lao immediately looked at Luo Chen. If necessary, we may have to trouble Mr. Luo to take action. Luo Chen had already anticipated that Yi Lao had ulterior motives. At this moment, he didn't say yes. I am the first generation to be honored. How could you possibly become someone else's thug? At this moment, the auctioneer begins to introduce the last item. 1.2 million square meters of property rights in Panlongwen. Luo Chen's face showed a puzzled expression. Panlongwen Yi Xuanxuan was very interested in seeing Luo Chen, so he leaned forward to remind him of this Dragon Bay. Real estate value can be worth billions, but now it has become a hot potato. After hearing this, Luo Chen looked puzzled. Why did Yi Xuanxuan continue to explain? That place was taken over by three developers. But on the seventh day after taking over, he died mysteriously. The construction team there also cannot escape misfortune. In just a few short years, it has already buried dozens of lives. What is puzzling is that, the deceased did not have any scars on their bodies. It is said that each corpse has a terrifying appearance. Extremely frightening. Speaking of which, Yi Xuanxuan leaned towards Luo Chen's ear. Whispering, it was just yesterday. There just happened a life. It is said to be a taxi driver. Hear this. Luo Chen touched his chin. I seem to understand something. At the auction. 1.2 million square meters of Panlongwen real estate. The starting price is only 1 million yuan. But no one dares to ask for it. At this moment, a young man spoke up and said, 1 million. I have just finished speaking. The auction house instantly quieted down. Everyone turned around to look at the young man. What's the origin of this young man? I dare to take this express delivery. Even the auctioneer was stunned with a surprised expression on his face. This caught the attention of a mysterious young woman on the side. I saw him looking at Luo Chen with a sinister smile on his face. If this person can survive for seven days, can you explain it to me? Yi Xuanxuan hurriedly stepped forward with a panicked face to stop him. Teacher, what I just said is not a joke. Even Yi Lao looked panicked. Mr. Luo, please think twice. Luo Chen stood up fearlessly and said, Don't worry, both of you. I won't be okay. Then he threw a card to the young disciple. There is one million in the card. Please help me sign the next transaction procedures on my behalf. Yi Xuanxuan was stunned as he held the card. Teacher, where are you going? Panlong Bay Dustfall Drive quickly arrived at Panlong Bay. He wants to take a look. What is the evil behind this terrified Panlong Bay? Just got off the car in Los Angeles. I was shocked by the situation before me. The entire property is shrouded in thick. In the midst of the evil energy. So with a gentle wave of one hand, Los Angeles. Dispelling evil chi is instantly dispelled by the spiritual power of Los Angeles. It's noon. The young chi is the most vigorous. I didn't expect such a cold and ominous aura to gather here. At this moment, a rustling sound came from behind. Luo Chen stroked his glasses, which was a bit interesting. Luo Chen is near the Pan Longwen building. 
The main body of the building has been completed. It should be inherited from previous developers. He looked at this building. I always feel like something's wrong. So he reached out his hand and gestured for it. Surprisingly discovered. This building has committed both the White Tiger Shah and the Lone Wind Shah at the same time. Luochen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. This place already has a Enlock soul. Surprisingly, he even committed several blood demons in a row. No wonder bloody disasters occur so frequently. At this moment, an old lady quickly shouted at Luo Chen. Young man, please don't go in. It's not clean inside. Luo Chen looked at the person with a puzzled expression on his face. I saw countless chains gathered under his feet. Is it Emperor Fulin? But I didn't notice any resentment at all. No wonder too much gold didn't react. I saw the old lady, feeling flustered in the bag, searching for something. Then he handed a piece of paper to Luo Chen. This is the blueprint left by my son. He was working here during his lifetime. If you get lost, you can go out according to this blueprint. Luo Chen took over the blueprint. Unexpectedly, it was found to be an engineering preview image. At this moment, the old lady suddenly disappeared into place. This made Luo Chen feel a sudden surge in his heart. He took the blueprint and carefully studied it. Then he resolutely walked into the building. Luo Chen just walked into the Panlongwen building. I was stunned by the situation in front of me. I saw a huge bloody formation come into sight, continuously making terrifying sounds. It seems that the feng shui evil committed by this building, it was intentionally done by the designer. And the purpose is, I'm afraid it's about creating the giant spirit formation in front of us. Luo Chen reached out his hand to try. I explored it a bit. In an instant, countless bloodlines crawled onto his hand and wrapped around it. Luo Chen saw the situation. A playful expression appeared at the corner of the mouth. Nine Sha Lianxin, traveling against the sky. These evil spirits are really acting recklessly. But when I met the immortal master, count them unlucky. At this moment, don't move if someone orders you from behind. Raise your hands up. Three law enforcement officers stood behind me at some point. This really surprised Luo Chen a bit. It seems that this matter is a bit difficult to handle. The lewd woman shouted at Luo Chen, asking, Who are you? Why is it here? Luo Chen's hands are suspended in the air. No response received. A man pointed at Luo Chen and angrily scolded him. Did you hear us talking? What are you doing in front of the air? The woman directly pointed a gun at Luo Chen. A murder case has just occurred in Panlongwen scenic area. The law enforcement officers have sealed off this area. How did you get in? At this moment, Luo Chen secretly thought to himself. With the residual scent of titanium gold, it shouldn't be a problem to escape now. However, I'm afraid there's not much left to deal with this great spirit formation. It seems that we can only act according to the situation. So Luo Chen sighed. Slowly turn around. Raise your hands, smiling and saying that I am just an ordinary supernatural enthusiast. Just come and shoot a few videos. Unexpectedly, the woman took out handcuffs directly. I am a law enforcement officer. Xia Jingjing needs your cooperation to conduct an investigation with us. That's it. Completed and taken out of Panlongwen building by three people. The group has been walking for an unknown amount of time. The woman suddenly felt something was wrong. Only then did I realize that I had been walking for almost half an hour. Returning to the original place. He muttered with a puzzled expression on his face. Clearly, we have been heading north all along. I didn't adjust my direction midway. How could it be impossible to leave? Luo Chen saw the situation. Sighing, you guys can't leave like this. There are a total of nine types of feng shui shot in Panlong Bay. Covering Chen Si. The remaining nine hours except for five or three hours. During this period, all glottis will close. Listen, woman. Directly rebuke Luo Chen. It's just futile superstition. You're young and you're talking nonsense here. I need to give you a good ideological education when I go back. I don't know how long has passed. The sky has gradually darkened. I saw everyone looking crazy, a road that can be walked out in half an hour. I walked for four hours and still stayed where I was. Where exactly is the problem? Luo Chen looked at everyone, shaking his head helplessly and sighing. This girl has a really stubborn temper. Sometimes once, those guys just came out. So he walked up to the woman. Extend your hands and quickly help me untie it. If you want to go out, do as I say. The woman is already hesitant at this point. At this moment. Suddenly, a strong light appeared. Surprisingly, it was a taxi, driving towards them honking the horn. I saw a middle-aged man in the car with a lifeless face, 
Smile and ask Latai who doesn't like you. Where are you planning to go? On a taxi, a middle-aged man with a deathly pale face asked, Old Ties, where are you planning to go? The black-haired man pointed directly at him and reprimanded him upon seeing the situation. How did you get in this car? What are you doing running around at night? The driver's cold and indifferent answer. Just finished delivering the guests. Just happened to pass by here. Come in and see if you can pick someone up on the way. Huang Fanon proposed not to take his car out. The black-haired man thought for a moment. It does make sense. So without hesitation, he walked up and opened the car door. Immediately yelling at Xia Jingjing for the old irons. Come on, get in the car. Luo Chen quietly walked behind Xia Jingjing. Whisper a warning not to go over if you don't want to die. That driver is not a living person. Xia Jingjing was so scared that she broke out in a cold sweat in an instant. The black-haired man showed no response to the crowd. Whispering, what's going on? Such ink stains. Immediately probe and instruct the driver to wait for a moment. He accidentally glanced at the driver's work permit. The name Zhang Lu is prominently written on it. The black-haired man instantly turned pale with fear. This person is the taxi driver who was killed in Panlong Bay. I only saw the driver. Turning back with a big grin, he said it was okay. Xia Jingjing is currently educating Luo Chen to stop feudal superstition. Suddenly, a scream came from behind. He quickly ran over to check. I saw the black-haired man sitting on the ground with a fearful expression on his face, and the driver crawled out of the car window. Just open your big mouth and pounce at him. Don't run, little brother. I'll give you a ride. Xia Jingjing quickly took out a gun and pointed it at him. Stop it. What are you doing? The driver turned his head around with a click, with a seductive smile on his face. He he, it turned out to be a pretty little girl. Xia Jingjing's body trembled with fear immediately. What the hell is this? At this moment, the yellow-haired man suddenly stood behind him, eyes emitting purple light. Exhale a mouthful of evil energy. With a swoosh, he extended his claws to Xia Jingjing. At this point, Luo Chen has already loosened his handcuffs. He sighed. Throw away the handcuffs casually. It seems that we should search for the divine seed as soon as possible. This feeling of being limited everywhere is really uncomfortable. With a sudden swoop, something appears behind me. Luo Chen raised his hand and suddenly turned back. At the next moment, he suddenly paused. Turns out it was the old lady from before. Luo Chen coldly asked what was the matter. Quickly speaking, the old lady pleaded with an anxious expression on her face. Young man, help those children quickly. Luo Chen shook his head helplessly. Unable to save the old lady, she flashed in front of Luo Chen. I don't want him to leave. Luo Chen scolded with an angry expression on his face. It's not morning now. If you don't want to be eroded by evil energy, quickly disappear. Unexpectedly, the old lady roared angrily at Luo Chen. You can understand all five fingers. There must be a way to save him. No more people can fold here. Luo Chen walked straight away. What if there is a way? I have no reason to hand over my cards. The old lady remained silent in her place. Just listened to a loud bang. Suddenly, a loud noise came from behind Luo Chen. Screen rotation. Came to Xia Jingjing's place. I saw him turn around and dodge the attack of the yellow-haired man. That's when I realized that I, my colleagues have also transformed into that terrifying appearance. The black-haired man was pinned to the ground by the driver, continuously shouting for help. Under Xia Jingjing's helplessness, fired a shot at the driver. The driver fell to the ground after being shot. He quickly ran forward and helped the black-haired man up. At this moment, those two people rushed towards them again. The black-haired man pushed away Xia Jingjing. Xia Jingjing sat on the ground with a painful expression on her face. At this moment, those two evil spirits slowly walked towards him. In the wilderness, two demons are slowly approaching a woman. The woman took out her pistol and shouted angrily not to come over. Helpless, he fired two shots with a bang. Unexpectedly, after a bullet hit an evil demon, but there was no response. The woman shed tears of fear upon seeing the situation. I saw a demon roaring towards me. Suddenly, a golden light appeared blocking his attack. The next second, the evil demon will fly to ashes and be extinguished. At this moment, Luo Chen was slowly walking towards the side. The other demon suddenly froze. Who are you? Luo Chen said coldly with an ignoring expression on his face. Give you three more seconds. Think back on the beauty of being a person in the past. Just finished speaking. A spiritual power emanates from Luo Chen's palm. That person instantly turned into ashes. Disappear in mid-air. At this moment, Xia Jingjing sat on the ground with a shocked expression on her face. 
Luo Chen turned around and said coldly, come with me. Unexpectedly, as soon as he reached out his foot together, he sprained and injured himself. Luo Chen saw the situation, helplessly hugging her head and sighing, this woman is really troublesome. So Luo Chen picked up Xia Jingjing with both hands, then galloping along the quiet path. Xia Jingjing finally couldn't contain her inner doubts. Who the hell is it? Where are your handcuffs? What's going on with those two people? What did you do to them just now? Luo Chen interrupted his words. You have too many questions. Xia Jingjing thought awkwardly for a moment. Then he spoke to Luo Chen and asked how we could get out. At this moment, Luo Chen Ma remained silent, looking back on what Tivlin said earlier. This is the place of the Nine Evil Extreme Camp, a large formation with a spirit gathering and soul locking effect. Anyone who dies in the formation will turn into a demon. When the number of demons reaches 90, the evil king will descend into the world. Originally, this formation was still half formed. How could there be a dragon vein hidden beneath this formation? Thinking of this, the two of them arrived in front of a wooden house. Luo Chen burst in with a bang. Xia Jingjing looked around in panic. Where is this? What do you want to do to me? Luo Chen looked out the window and answered coldly. Be quiet, don't go out if you don't want to die. I saw a purple beam of light roaring in the distance, breaking through the clouds. So Luo Chen activated the golden aura in his body, built a barrier for this wooden house. Later, Luo Chen warned Xia Jingjing. Don't take a step out of the room until dawn tomorrow morning. Xia Jingjing recalled her personal experience today. Is there really a supernatural force? Immediately asked Luo Chen where he plans to go. Luo Chen replied calmly, Go save your companion. At this moment, Xia Jingjing's shy face showed a blush. Will you still come back? Zhou Sha Extreme In Land. A purple beam of light pierced through the sky. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen walked out of the room with the divine seed in his hand. It seems that the earth binding spirit is right, although the internal organs have not yet awakened, but from the signs of the revival of this divine seed. Under the giant spirit formation in Panlong Bay building, there is indeed a dragon's vein. Nine evil spirit formation. Originally, it required 90 evil cubes to complete. Now, with the blessing of the dragon, it only takes half. As of now, 44 people have been killed. Only the last sacrifice, the evil king, is needed to be reborn against the heavens. The key now is to find that black-haired man as soon as possible. Ruachin. At this moment, we are accelerating our efforts to solve these demons in front of us. I hope everything can come in time. Inside the Pan Longwen building, giant spirit earthquake is emitting a buzzing fear, a terrifying sound. The black-haired man accidentally walked directly below the earthquake. I saw the blood color tremble. Standing tall is a huge coffin. The opening of the coffin is sealed with countless yellow fingers. Just hear a click. The coffin opening has been opened. A black evil energy emerged from inside. Black haired men exhibit abnormal nervousness. What the hell is this? At this moment, a black figure quietly appeared behind him. The picture turns to the inside of the wooden house. Xia Jingjing received a call from her father at this moment. On the phone, his father angrily scolded him directly. How dare you lead the team without permission? You are limited to coming back immediately within 30 minutes. Otherwise, even your leaders will be dismissed together. Xia Jingjing wants to explain, but the other person hung up on the phone. At this moment, her heart is filled with anger. Suddenly she turned around and looked at the door. For one's own future. She made up her mind to leave here. So I walked to the door and was about to reach out and open the door. Suddenly, a figure appeared behind me. I saw an old lady. Hurry up and grab the door handle. It's too dangerous outside. Never go out. Xia Jingjing was shocked upon seeing this. Who are you? The old lady is also looking surprised at the moment. This girl can actually see me. Is it what that young man did to him? The old lady slowly turned around. Xia Jingjing almost dropped her chin when she saw this. Trembling with fear on his face, he said how could it be you? Under the giant spirit formation, the black-haired man shouted in panic for help. I saw him being chased by an evil demon. Unexpectedly, another one suddenly popped out from behind the door. The black-haired man can only choose to fight against it, so he shouted and rushed over to fight with me and you guys. At this moment, the evil demon in front of me was instantly extinguished by smoke and ashes. At this moment, someone grabbed him from behind. I saw Luo Chen throwing him to the ground, dodged another sneaky attack. Then a golden light pierced through the demon's body, directly turn into ashes and disappear in mid-air. 
Luo Chen walked slowly to the coffin. Take a look. This evil king has accumulated nearly a hundred years through his young dragon veins. Only the last step is needed to gather the soul meat. Unfortunately, you stayed in the wrong place. Luo Chen took out the withered seed. A playful expression appeared at the corner of the mouth. This piece of land thinks I have it all. Nature cannot keep you, this evil and troublemaker, from the mortal world. Dragon veins should serve as the first nourishment for awakening the divine organs. So he reached out his hand. Place the divine seed in the great spirit formation. Instantly, the surrounding golden spiritual power surged. That divine seed quickly absorbs this rich spiritual energy. At this moment, inside the coffin, a purple glowing eye was staring at Luo Chen. Luo Chen took out his divine seed and placed it in the giant spirit formation. Countless golden spiritual power surges in an instant. The originally withered divine seed, quickly awakened by the rich spiritual energy. Meanwhile, the director personally brought people to Panlong Bay, searching for Xia Jingjing. Some people are starting to complain. He is a lady from a prestigious family. Such good conditions. Why bother around like that? At this moment, a demon suddenly appeared behind a man. Everyone was shocked by a piercing scream. After the person was defeated by the demon, quickly eroded by evil energy, countless purple pillars of light roared into the sky. Subsequently, over the Pan Longwen building, a bloody formation rose into the air. Under the Great Spirit earthquake, Luo Chen's face was filled with shock. At this moment, a black claw grabbed at Luo Chen. Luo Chen relies on the golden aura, immediately detects something. Then, he clenched his fists tightly. Bang blocked the attack. The powerful impact drove Luo Chen back more than 10 meters away. Then he stumbled and knelt on the ground with a thud. At this point, a corpse king wearing ancient battle armor slowly walked over. I saw his chest filled with energy all over his body. I am imprisoned here. For over 600 years, you can understand the separation of flesh and blood, the pain of lust bone sails. How dare you attempt to steal the power accumulated over 500 years? The crime deserves eternal death. After speaking, he rushed towards Luo Chen. Luo Chen immediately launched two golden aura in the body. Once again blocked the Lion King's attack. Just listened to a loud bang. Smoke and dust are rising everywhere. Luo Chen was once again shaken back. Directly hit the stone wall. The Lion King reached out his claws and sneered, If you wait a few days, come early. Maybe there's a tie between the two. Now I'm afraid I'll be buried here. At this moment, Luo Chen's face showed no fear. He stood up and gave a cold smile. I originally wanted to wait for the divine tomb to fully recover. Guide the awakening of the divine organs again. Since we encountered a rare test object. Just give this awakening power a try. Just finished speaking. A golden halo emerged under Luo Chen's feet. The Lion King made him burst into laughter. Now awaken the divine organs. It's just a foolish dream. I used to rely on the body of the Taiyin. It took over 30 years to complete. I saw Luo Chen's eyes tightly closed, reciting incantations silently. Countless golden spiritual powers surge around the body in an instant. My head was covered in black hair, but at the same time, all of it turned into white hair. The Lion King looked angry upon seeing this. Then he reached out his claws and violently attacked Luo Chen. Find and kill Luo Chen. Stay in place and don't dodge. He suddenly opened his eyes. Then he extended his finger to the Lion King. A sharp condensed beam of light shot out with a whoosh, directly cut off the Lion King's arm. The Lion King immediately looked shocked. This is impossible. Humiliating the body of mortals. How could the awakening be completed in an instant? The severed arm while speaking is reborn again. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth, so he decided not to try again. At this moment, the fierce energy inside the Lion King's body erupted instantly. Then he lifted his leg and fiercely kicked Luo Chen. I saw a golden light suddenly appear on the soles of Luo Chen's feet. Another sharp condensed beam of light suddenly shot out. Just listened to a loud bang. Flying sand and moving stones surging with momentum. The Lion King is repelled, colliding against a stone wall. Mero Yang Tru Chi. What the hell are you? Ren Luo Chen slowly walked out of the smoke and dust. I have already completed the awakening of the divine organs a thousand years ago. Break through the peace talks again. Foolish people talk about dreams. This young man completed his divine awakening in an instant. The Lion King's expression changed greatly. Sui Yang Tru Chi. Who the hell are you? Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. I am the heavenly master of the Tang Dynasty. Isn't it easy to complete the awakening of the divine organs? 
The Lion King, upon seeing this, had an angry expression on his face and was less proud than ever before. You just woke up just now, can release Tru Chi a few more times. After speaking, he rushed up and wanted to fight against Luo Chen desperately. Luo Chen waved his hand lightly with one hand, then a burst of golden light swept away. I saw the Lion King transform into a black mist and disappear in place. Luo Chen was momentarily stunned. Ghost Fantasy At this moment, the Lion King has turned into a wisp of evil energy and quietly dissipated. He escaped from the building with a proud smile on his face. I endured 600 years before I was able to be reborn. Only fools would risk their lives with you. Everyone heard a strange noise behind them, turning back one after another, who can only see where the Lion King goes. Everyone was engulfed by evil energy, quickly eroded into a demon. The Lion King shouted loudly, Wait for me to devour everyone here, let me settle the accounts with you again, and then disappeared into the jungle. Screen rotation, arrived inside the wooden house. Xia Jingjing recognized the old lady in front of her at a glance. He reported the case to Xia Jingjing a week ago, claiming that his son went missing in Panlong Bay for several days. In the end, in order to find his son, he was unfortunately killed in Panlong Bay. That's why Xia Jingjing came here to explore the truth. The old lady came forward and told Xia Jingjing not to be afraid, although I am dead. But unlike those demons, Xia Jingjing asked the old lady, Do you know what happened in Panlong Bay? The old lady apologetically replied, To be honest, it's true. The initiator of all this, before the words fall, just listening to someone outside constantly shouting for help. A man desperately knocked on the window. Let Xia Jin Jin open the door quickly. The old lady nodded, signal that he can save someone. So he opened the door. Hurry up and call the man to come in quickly. The man finally breathed a sigh of relief after entering the room. Finally saved now. Unexpectedly, one hand suddenly grabbed him from behind. At this moment, the Lion King has already rushed in with a fierce expression on his face. Xia Jingjing just realized now, that colleague turned out to be a bait. Then the Lion King tightly squeezed his neck, lift him up with one hand, suspended in mid-air. Xia Jingjing's face was filled with pain, and she was sweating in cold sweat. I saw him holding the Lion King's arm and turning in the air, immediately extend one meter and eight long legs, kick him fiercely towards his sensitive area. What shocked the Lion King with a look on his face? At this moment, Xia Jingjing quickly got up and ran away. See only, countless demonic claws transformed by evil energy chased after them. Just press him down to the ground and he can't move. The Lion King angrily rebuked him for seeking death. Immediately, a sharp sword condensed by evil energy shot out with a swish. Just about to hit Xia Jingjing, just listened to a loud bang. The old lady suddenly blocked the Lion King's attack with her body. At this moment, he was shouting a name, A Shang, in his mouth. The evil energy in this evil king's body is slowly dissipating. I saw a young boy crying loudly for his mother. It turned out that he was A Shang, the son of Appa who had been missing for a long time. Raised by my mother alone since childhood. But he spends all day working and has very little time to go home. During a visit to Panlong Bay accompanied by a leader. Received a call from Zhang Yi. I just found out that my grandmother is already bedridden. The stone at the foot of the seed suddenly broke. Then A Shang accidentally fell into the sinkhole. He lay in the sinkhole, blood flowing and unable to move. He doesn't want to die here like this. My mother is still waiting to go home on her own. At this moment, an evil aura emerged from the ground. Then he crawled into Ashing's body. Just listen to one sound, if you want to survive, must execute the will without will. Soul illusion. Naya Shang has already remembered all the memories. I saw his eyes filled with hatred, so he angrily cursed at the evil king, you bastard. You said that as long as we build the Nine Sha Tower, help you complete your rebirth. You give me freedom. Why did you kill my mother now? At this moment, the evil king gave a cold smile. Then he reached out and pointed towards the door. The real culprit is him. If it weren't for him, the plan to destroy class 5 has already regained its vitality. Mother-child reunion. Ashang turned around to take a look. I saw Luo Chen slowly enter the room. He believed the evil king's words. Immediately, his eyes whitened in anger. Just hear a roar. The body's evil energy surged instantly. The evil king is once again possessed. Xia Jingjing quickly grabbed Luo Chen and let's go. At this moment, the evil king's evil energy suddenly surged, immediately storming towards Luo Chen. Luo Chen gave a slight smile. This momentum is much stronger. Just when I thought you were a knife, 
After speaking, Luo Chen activated his spiritual power inside his body. Countless golden runes emerged in an instant. Just listen to a loud bang. A golden photoelectric light scattered the blood color. The evil energy directly reaches the body of the evil king. The evil king quickly erected a barrier to resist. He was suddenly shocked all over his face. What is this? Can burn the essence of my soul. With a scream, the evil king exploded and died with a bang. Luo Chen removed the aura of the imperial scripture. I saw that the evil king's aura in Ashing's body was slowly dissipating. At this moment, his face was filled with despair. Immediately, he fell to his knees with a plop. It's all too late for this. I didn't even have the chance to see my mom for the last time. Kill me now. Luo Chen Ma walked over silently. Immediately raise your hand to activate the spiritual power inside your body. I saw grandma appear in front of Ah Shang. Xia Jingjing looked shocked. He didn't disappear. Luo Chen explained that there is a giant spirit here. Great earthquakes naturally have the effect of giant spirits locking souls. Just a little traction. The dissipated spiritual body can be restored. But at this moment, Shang burst into tears at his grandmother. Sorry, grandma comforted her by caressing her, saying silly child. Zima, how could I blame you? You have always been a mother's pride. Mom doesn't have the ability to provide you with living conditions. Only then will it make you free yourself from the hardships of your family, and strive desperately. At this moment, grandma's body began to slowly dissipate. Ah Shang, you need to live well. Ah Shang burst into tears at his mother who had almost disappeared. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen walked over. Meeting mother and son is a common obsession between you two. Now the wish has been fulfilled. You should also make a choice now. After listening, Ah Shang took out a cloud of spiritual energy from his body. This is the Yang Qi I extracted, but it was not refined. Those infected demons can still restore life. Luo Chen reminds Ah Shang, after returning all spiritual bodies, you will also dissipate in the world like those evil spirits. You have to think carefully about it. Ah Shang let out a firm hum on his face, then kneeled down again to Luo Chen. Thank you, sir, for allowing me to see my mother again. I have died without regret. After speaking, the body began to slowly dissipate. Finally, Ah Shang reminds Luo Chen that during his coexistence with the evil king, I feel a mysterious force awakening, and this power is extremely similar to the master's divine power. Next, there may be more strange and terrifying things happening. Please take care, sir. National Goddess Blue Bell, in a low voice, proactively called Luo Chen. I saw a blush on his shy face. Is Luo Chen available tonight? I would like to schedule a meeting with you. At this point, Luo Chen is absorbing the newly revived divine seed. He said coldly without changing his expression, okay. What time and where will we go? Blue Bell couldn't conceal his excitement after hearing it. Cheer up. Then he pretended to be calm and answered at 8 p.m. tonight. Tian Yaju, never see you, never part. At this moment, Luo Chen tightly closed his eyes, quickly absorbing spiritual energy. The divine seed in front of us is also slowly disappearing. Suddenly, he suddenly opened his eyes. A golden light shot out with a swish. Suddenly, the time inside the house. It's like it's stationary. Objects within a hundred meters should be avoided at all costs. This divine seed already comes with the heavenly eye divine power. With the blessing of young dragon veins again, Luo Chen quickly refined and absorbed it. At the same time, he also gained perspective function. Luo Chen restores the restless spiritual energy in his body, turning his white hair back into black hair. He breathed a sigh of relief. Then he put on his clothes and walked out of the door. Within the company, Zhang Hai was looking around through the window with a panicked expression. At this moment, Hong Biao is standing downstairs with a group of people. Hu Xingxing quickly went up to inquire about Hai Gu. Are those people still there? Zhang Hai's angry answer is of course there. Dude, I've been squatting here for two days now. He wiped his cold sweat and looked at Zhang Xiaoman. Xiaoman, I advise you to break up with Luo Chen as soon as possible. Since something went wrong at the casino the day before yesterday, Hong Biao leads people to guard the company gate every day. Must have come to trouble Luo Chen. Hu Xingxing is adding fuel and vinegar. Luo Chen hasn't been working at the company these past two days. Must have been hiding. If Hong Biao finds out that you are his girlfriend, you'll be miserable. Zhang Xiaoman hesitated a bit. So what should I do? Hu Xingxin immediately came up with a bad idea again. Isn't today your birthday? You take the opportunity to get rid of him. If he persists in fighting, Hage took the opportunity to dismiss him. Zhang Xiaoman thought for a moment, immediately nodded in agreement. 
Luo Chen is driving on the street. Suddenly, the phone rings. It turned out to be a call from Zhang Xiaoman. Do you have time tonight? Have a meal together. Luo Chen rejected his invitation without hesitation. Not tonight. I already have an appointment. Unexpectedly, Zhang Xiaoman said with some anger. Tonight at 8 o'clock. Tian Yaju anyway, you must come. I have something to tell you. I haven't waited for Luo Chen to speak yet. He hung up on the phone. Luo Chen immediately fell into contemplation. Tian Yaju can't be so coincidental, can it? At 8 p.m. that night, the Tianya residence is bustling and crowded. At this moment, Luo Chen had already slowly walked in. After seeing Luo Chen, the stars welcomed him up. With a disdainful expression, he shouted at the top of his throat, Yo, isn't this the male lead of today? Why did you come empty-handed? The entire restaurant instantly fell silent. Everyone turned around to look at Luo Chen. Zhang Xiaoman walked over with an unhappy expression on his face. This guy actually forgot my birthday, but that's okay. Save me from having to find a reason to break up. Luo Chen asked coldly to Zhang Xiaoman. Today is your birthday. Small waves are visible. Laughing at Luo Chen, our company remembers her birthday. As her boyfriend, you actually don't know. Luo Chen finally understood. Turns out this is a Hongmen banquet. If I didn't want to save Chen Xiao through Zhang Xiaoman, the forces behind you will not keep you until now. Anyway, today I will play with you guys well. Then he apologized and said, I'm really sorry, I forgot. How about I go buy it now? The little wave directed another mockery at Luo Chen. All around here are big shopping malls. There's no roadside stall. Do you need me to lend you some money? I saw Zhang Xiaoman think for a moment. Speaking up, there's no need. Let's break up. Luo Chen answered without hesitation. Just finished speaking. Everyone was momentarily stunned. Even Zhang Xiaoman's eyes widened in disbelief. Immediately approached and asked Luo Chen what he had just said. Luo Chen answered me with a firm expression, saying yes. Zhang Xiaoman's face was instantly filled with astonishment as the leader. This is impossible. How could he be so indifferent? At this moment, he should be crying and kneeling down for me. Please don't break up, that's right. Thinking of this, Zhang Xiaoman was so angry that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. He never expected Luo Chen's answer to be so straightforward. So he cursed at Luo Chen and warned you, if it weren't for me pitying you, just because you're so poor, I will never find a girlfriend in my lifetime. At this moment, a voice came from behind. That's not necessarily true. Bluebell walked slowly downstairs with a smile on his face. In the lobby, a young girl walked down the stairs with a smile on her face. Everyone was surprised when they saw the situation. It's actually Superstar Lambert. How could he be here? Lambert gave a slight smile, but that may not be the case. No one wants to be his girlfriend. Xiao Langhua and Zhang Xiaoman looked at him with astonishment on their faces. Zhang Xiaoman shouted at him with an angry expression on his face. What exactly does it mean? Lambert walked away with a disdainful expression on his face. Then he approached Luo Chen and said, Luo Chen, I have something to say to you. He immediately snapped his fingers. The waiter handed over the microphone. Then a accompaniment sounded in the lobby. Lambert's actions really surprised Luo Chen a bit, who Xinxin almost dropped her chin when she saw this. Bluebell actually confessed to Luo Chen. Isn't it a dream? Lan Bayer looked at Zhang Xiaoman. I sighed helplessly. Didn't you just ask me what you meant? What I mean is, such a good man. I can't even catch up in time if I want to. You actually don't want it yet. You have really good taste. Zhang Xiaoman's face turned red with anger after hearing this. So he angrily rebuked Luo Chen. Are you already cheating on me? Xiao Langhua also pointed at Luo Chen and cursed loudly. A scumbag and a lowly woman. Luo Chen immediately gave a cold smile, then slowly walked towards Zhang Xiaoman. I saw a terrifying aura emanating from him all over. Do I need to clarify the matter between you and Chen Chao? Zhang Xiaoman immediately shouted at him not to. Immediately, with a panicked expression on his face, he dared not speak again. At this moment, Wang Kai shouted his surname Luo to Luo Chen. What kind of skill is bullying a woman? There's a way to fight against me. He walked up to Luo Chen. Keep shouting at the little one. Don't talk about me bullying you. I'll let you do it today. One hand can't beat me. Don't try to stand and walk out. Luo Chen shook his head with a dull expression and showed no interest. Unexpectedly, Wang Kai punched and charged directly. Go and seek death. Luo Chen sighed helplessly. What I mean is, vulnerable like you, the ant that still likes to make a fuss. It doesn't interest me at all. 
Luo Chen was just a punch. Just knock Wang Kai down on his knees, unable to move. Everyone was frightened and retreated at the sight. Zhang Xiaoman looked shocked, how could this be? Wang Kai used to be a champion of Sanda. Xia Langwa quickly stepped forward to help Wang Kai up. Then he shouted at Hu Xingxing and called the police quickly. At this moment, Zheng Hai pointed at Luo Chen with an angry expression on his face. Threatened that I am currently serving as the marketing manager. I solemnly warn you, you have been fired. Bluebell angrily rebuked Zhang Hai. Why is that foolish and strong hand that moved first? Besides, this has nothing to do with work. Zhang Hai put on a proud and forgetful appearance. Laozi is his immediate superior. I told him to get out of here. He has to get out of here. Luo Chen looked at him with a disdainful expression on his face. Direct superior. Can subordinates be dismissed without any reason? Then he took out his phone and handed it to Lambert. Give me a call. Just say I'm waiting for him here. Zhang Hai saw the situation. The arrogant aura is even more vigorous. You kid still calls for someone. Even if the heavenly king Laozi comes, he can't help you. At this moment, Xia Jingjing walked in. Hello, may I ask if the falling dust is there? Little Wave saw him wearing a uniform. Immediately rushed over. Your Excellency, law enforcement officer. That country bumpkin hit someone. Hurry up and grab him. Blue Bell. Immediately blocked Xia Jingjing. It's their villains who report first. Luo Chen is innocent. At this moment, Xia Jingjing's face was full of doubts. How could this big star be here? Surprisingly, he even defended Luo Chen. What exactly is the situation? Zhang Hai pointed at Luo Chen with a mischievous smile on his face. Anyway, no matter what, at least you have to catch him first, right? Unexpectedly, Jingjing's words stunned them immediately. This place is not under my jurisdiction. Besides, you have already called the police. Wait for other law enforcement officers to come and handle it. Immediately, he looked at Luo Chen with a serious expression on his face. I have more important things to do here. I saw him slowly walking towards Luo Chen. Say I want to stay at your place for a few days. National Goddess Blue Bell. Unexpectedly voluntarily confessed to a young man. Unexpectedly, just after confessing, Xia Jingjing was killed. He said to the young man with a firm expression on his face. I want to stay at your place for a few days. Just finished speaking, the entire restaurant instantly quieted down. Everyone almost startled their chins. This is too direct, isn't it? Luo Chen's refusal with a black line on his face. I don't seem to know you very well, do we? Xia Jingjing's appearance. Pointing at Luo Chen, I explained that I just wanted to stay by your side. Lambert scolded you with a jealous expression, did you make a mistake? Confessions also have a first come, first served approach, right? Xia Langwa suddenly petrified. My darling, two women vying for one husband. It's not too exciting. Zhang Hai's surprised whispering reminder. Who said he couldn't find his girlfriend just now? Zhang Xiaoman dares to be angry but not speak up. Are these two fools blind? Not even a job. Even if you're poor, you have to grab it. At this moment, one person flashed and ran to the ninth floor with a pinch shot. The man walked in with a panicked expression on his face. Sorry. Coming late, Little Wave's face was full of confusion. Isn't this the HR manager? How did he come? Zhang Hai immediately welcomed Diego upon seeing the situation. You came at the right time. The man walked away with a disregard on his face. Go straight to Luo Chen. Chu Shang Shaodao Luo Zong. May I ask for any instructions? Luo Chen pointed to Zhang Hai and ordered these three people to drive away. Hu Xingxing clenches his fists tightly. What kind of madness is it to curse at Luo Chen? What kind of thing are you? Why dismiss us? Zhang Hai hurriedly stopped with a flustered expression on his face. Then he approached and asked Digo about it. What did you just call him? Digo glanced at him. Cold answer, call him Mr. Luo. Is there any problem? Upon hearing this, Zhang Hai immediately suppressed Hu Xingxing. I was so angry that I drove an international game. Laugh, he's just a country bumpkin. How could it be possible? Before the words fall, the HR manager took out his phone and placed it in front of him. This is the company's equity transfer contract. Keep your dog's eyes wide open and see clearly. He's our boss now. Zhang Xiaoman looked at Luo Chen with a regretful expression on his face. Is this the real you? Why do we only reveal our identity after breaking up? At this moment, the group of three is trembling and afraid to make any sound. Digo solemnly announced to them. You three will take things with you tomorrow and leave. Hu Xingxing couldn't conceal his inner anger. So he roared at Luo Chen. Don't be too proud. We have nothing to do with you about this matter. At this moment, 
There's a sound coming from behind. Who the fuck is talking tough here? Everyone turned around with confusion on their faces. I saw Hong Biao with a group of people. Walked in with a fierce expression on his face. Zhang Hai seems to have seen the dawn of life. Immediately greeted with a smile. Brother Biao, Luo Chen is inside. Remove the sunglasses with the red label. Shout loudly. Everyone, prepare. Zhang Hai looked at Luo Chen with a sinister smile on his face. I can't cure you. Someone will always rule it out. You're dead today. Unexpectedly, Hong Biao took the lead and shouted slogans in unison. Luo Yin, we were wrong. Everyone was immediately shocked. What situation? Hong Biao walked up to Luo Chen. Grasp a card respectfully. Luo Yin has a little heart. I hope for forgiveness. Zhang Hai was as surprised as a thunderbolt on his head. Luo Chen walked away coldly with his hands in his pockets. Let's not do it again. Hong Biao couldn't conceal his excitement after listening. Thank you very much, Luo Yin. Xia Jingjing and Lan Bayer see Luo Chen wanting to leave. Immediately followed up. Wait for us. At this moment, a Dao walked behind Zhang Hai with a mischievous smile on his face. Who just said there was no end to talking to Luo Yin? Just a scream echoed through the entire gate. Inside the room, two young girls were startled and lay by a young man's side. Unwilling to leave. The young man's face was covered in black lines, full of helplessness. The indifferent four eyes of two young girls face each other, full of richness, the smell of gunpowder. Suddenly, the girls turned their heads and shouted at the young man, Luo Chen. Luo Chen sighed helplessly, what do you two want to do? Xia Jingjing spoke up first. I would like to stay with you for a few days. Lambert's face was filled with jealousy, accusing Luo Chen of everything he had said. Not familiar with you. Why are you staying here and not leaving? Xia Jingjing immediately turned her head to refute. I'm not the only one who's stuck here, right? Lambert put on a proud expression on his face. I have already made an appointment with Luo Chen. It's different from someone like you who came uninvited. Luo Chen saw the situation. Turn around and leave directly. You all go back now. Xia Jingjing quickly stopped Luo Chen and waited for a moment. Then he shouted in panic. After what happened to you last night, my body is experiencing abnormalities. What happened last night? Blue Belton was momentarily stunned. Xia Jingjing immediately explained that it's not what you think. Lambert muttered shyly, don't talk nonsense. I didn't think of anything. Luo Chen is not the kind of man who forgets his righteousness and looks, even in the same situation as last time. At this moment, Xia Jingjing walked up to Luo Chen, just unbutton the clothes directly. If you don't believe it, you can see for yourself. Blue Bell, shouting directly at him is really baseless. This trick even the old lady knows. I saw him eat, pull off the coat, rushed forward with a face full of madness. Immediately push away Xia Jingjing. Speak coquettishly to Luo Chen, brother Luo Chen. My chest hurts a lot. Can you also help me take a look? Luo Chen was speechless and broke out in a cold sweat. Xia Jingjing pushed him away with an angry expression on her face. Don't make any trouble. Luo Chen, please take a look. Luo Chen fixed his eyes and took a look. I suddenly noticed a black spot on his chest. Lambert looked puzzled as if you had a skin condition. Xia Jingjing cursed at him to make you sick. Your entire family has it. Luo Chen shook his head helplessly and sighed, you don't have to worry. It's just residual corpse poison. It will be gone in two days. Xia Jingjing. Some doubts, right. Believe it or not, it's up to you. I'll go to bed first. After speaking, Luo Chen waved his hand. Walked towards the bedroom. Bluebell looked at Luo Chen with a seductive expression on his face. The man I'm interested in is just extraordinary. Unexpectedly proficient in medical skills. Unexpectedly, Jing Jing rushed forward to stop Luo Chen. My business is not over yet. Then he asked Director Wang Fu with a serious expression on his face. Do you know? Luo Chen answered coldly, I don't know. I don't know. Unexpectedly, Xia Jing Jing directly took out her identification, Mr. Luo. The last place where Wang Fu appeared was in this room. I suspect there is a strong connection between you and Wang Fu's disappearance. We need your cooperation in the investigation. Blue Belton was momentarily stunned. What? Luo Chen slowly walked up. I saved you before. Can this be considered a bridge over a river? Xia Jingjing explained with a serious expression that this is called a clear distinction between public and private. If Chen sees the situation, a cold smile, directly pressed onto his face, revealing a playful expression, then you can provide evidence. Xia Jingjing was immediately speechless. She already brought someone to investigate this morning. I really didn't find any clues. 
but there must be something fishy about this matter. Thinking of this, she turned around and walked into the bedroom, plopped onto the bed. Anyway, that's where I left off. As a law enforcement officer, I have the right to monitor you. How can Lambert bear this anger? I walked straight into the bedroom. Then he also sat on the bed. He won't leave, neither will I. Luochen looked at the two with a black line on his face, helplessly shaking his head and sighing. This woman is really unbeatable when it comes to playing. Anyway, if you want to stay, just stay here. So the three of them squeezed into the same bed. Luochen sat quietly between two women and practiced. At this moment, suddenly someone is knocking at the door. Luochen walked over and opened the door. I saw the little apprentice rush in with a flustered expression on his face. Something happened to the teacher. Inside the room, a young boy and two young girls crowded on the same bed. The young man sat between the two and closed his eyes to practice. At this moment, someone suddenly knocked on the door. The young man quickly stood up and opened the door. I saw a young girl rushing in with a flustered expression on her face. Something happened to the teacher. Bluebell and Xia Jingjing looked surprised. Why do we have another one? Luo Chen asked with a calm expression what was wrong. Yi Xuan wiped the tears from the corner of his eyes, teacher. Grandpa, he. At this point, Bluebell and Xia Jingjing walked out with a curious expression on their faces. Who is this girl? Yi Xuan was stunned when he saw the two of them. Does the teacher usually play so smoothly? Luo Chen sighed. Long Long said. Finish speaking. Yi Xuan quickly bent down to answer that grandpa was attacked by someone, carrying serious injuries. Apprentice's courage. Please kindly ask the teacher to take action to save us. Luo Chen walked out without hesitation to lead the way. Yi Xuan is like receiving a sweet rain. As instructed, Lan Bayer and Xia Jingjing quickly chased after him. Wait for us. Screen rotation. Arriving at the Yi family. At this moment, Yi Lao was lying in bed on the brink of death. Yi Xuanxuang quickly walked into the house, Grandpa, the teacher is here. After Yi Lao saw Luo Chen, standing up in panic to greet Mr. Luo. How did you come? People around you quickly stop Yi Lao from getting excited when they see this. Unexpectedly, Yi Lao began to angrily criticize Yi Xuanxuang for being ridiculous. How dare this small matter disturb Mr. Luo? Because Luo Bian keeps coughing. Then a splash of blood flowed out of the corner of the mouth. Jean Mao next to him quickly advised Miss Yi Xuanxuan and Xuanya, Listen to me, Yi Lao's injury is too severe. Surgery is required. Yi Xuanxuan's refusal is not enough. Grandfather is already of advanced age. Not to take risks. At this moment, Luo Cheng sighed helplessly, except for Yi Xuanxuan. Everyone else goes out. Jean Mao was shocked upon hearing this. Why did Yi Lao stop him? Everyone, let's go back first. Everyone said goodbye in astonishment. Luo Chen then instructed Yi Xuanxuan to help your grandfather up. I saw a flash of golden light in his eyes and it passed away. At a glance, I could see the location of Yi Lao's injury. It seems that he got that one behind his back. The attacker exerted a dark force within the palm of their palm. Directly penetrate the bone. Damage to the lungs and organs. Fortunately, Yi Zheng Tian is also a practitioner. Otherwise, he might have died on the spot. Luo Chen activates the spiritual power inside his body. Placed between palms, I saw only a purple flame. Slowly burn out the palm marks. Yi Lao suddenly vomited blood stasis in his mouth. Luo Chen immediately regained his spiritual power. Instruct Yi Lao that his injury has been healed. A few days of rest can restore physical strength. After hearing this, Yi Lao, immediately grateful to Mr. Xie Luo for saving his life. Luo Chen is a bit puzzled. What exactly happened? I saw Yi Lao sigh. Su Xu Dao offended some people when he was young. Nowadays, some people come with great masters to seek revenge. Just yesterday, I was ambushed by that master. The bodyguard fired a shot to protect them, but they were completely injured. Finally, he severely injured me. Surprisingly, he even kidnapped Schwanger's third uncle. At this moment, Luo Chen's face was full of doubts. Even bullets do no harm to it. Yi Jing Tian explained that that guy has already achieved the inner cannon. External visits can naturally achieve. That day on the train. You are not Luo Chen lost in contemplation. It was indeed possible to block bullets through the imperial scripture at the time. But these so-called masters. What kind of practice is it? Thinking of this. Luo Chen showed a playful expression. Kind of interesting. Luo Chen immediately asked Yi Jing Tian about it. Opponent Lu Zua, Yi Xuan Xuan, third uncle. I think there must be conditions to negotiate. May I know if you can take me with you? 
Yi Sheng Tian reminded Luo Chen with a panicked expression on his face. That master is not an ordinary person. Mr. Luo must not be allowed to take personal risks. It's okay for Luo Chen to give a slight smile. Within Longtang Mountain Villa, I saw a burly man spitting blood from his mouth, banged against the stone wall. Everyone looked behind in shock. I saw a little bearded man shouting proudly, Who dares to come next? Everyone present had a panicked expression and dared not speak. At this moment, Yilao rushed to the scene with Luo Chen. On the arena, a master was shouting with pride on his face, Who dares to go up? At this moment, Yi Lao walked in with a mysterious young man. Everyone witnessed the situation. Who is that young man around him? Why didn't Mr. Yi have hair tail today? Master Hong Biao immediately respectfully reported the situation. Everyone has already appeared on stage, but they were all defeated in the battle. Looking at the entire Tongzhou city, no one can fight anymore. Then he leaned over to Yi Lao's ear. Speak softly. I heard that Mr. Lu brought a Muay Thai king from abroad. But I haven't taken any action yet. I guess I wanted to show off in front of you. Mr. Lu saw that Mr. Yi had already arrived. With a proud expression on his face, he instructed the big guy to put it on his head. Just win that guy. Just bring up as much as you want. The big guy replied in Thai, wrap it around me. At this moment, Mr. Lu had a small calculation in his heart. If my people mess with that old man on the stage, the position of brother Tongjo is my own. Little Beard sees big head on stage. Is there no one in the air to mock? Surprisingly, a foreign monkey was sent to die. The big guy glared at him with an arrogant expression on his face. With a whoosh and a blow, the heavy fist exploded and left. Little Beard effortlessly dodged. Next, the big guy continues to punch. But he retreated one after another with a disdainful expression on his face. The big guy is already angry and embarrassed, so don't hide. Unexpectedly, a little beard flashed, came behind him in an instant. The big guy fell to the ground with a loud bang. Everyone looked shocked. This is impossible. He didn't even show his hand. Why did you defeat that foreigner? Luo Chen saw this situation. A slight smile on the corner of the mouth, Tang Xianzuan. How could it not be seen? The moment when the doorway passes sideways. Double finger arch. The softest part of the neck stem. Such sharp and ruthless means. It has quite the style of Chinese martial arts. Little beard meets no one to fight. Then he continued to clamor and couldn't believe it. The vast city of Tongzhou, not a single one can fight. Yi Zheng Tian roared with an angry expression on his face. Morong dog thief, where is my son? Morong Xiong pointed behind him. Isn't that right? He's fine. I saw that Uncle Yi Xuanxuan was covered in bruises and bruises. At this moment, he is being bound up in various ways by someone. Morong Xiong sneered at Yi Lao with a disdainful expression on his face. As long as someone can defeat me, I immediately released the person. But with your bunch of trash, I'm afraid it's just a silly dream. Yi Jing Tian pushed Luo Chen up. It's not me who fought with you today, but this young man. Everyone laughed in droves. Is Yi Lao crazy? Find a furry kid to fight against. Morong Xiong laughed heartily at Luo Chen. Are you tired of living, kid? Now kneel down and beg for mercy. I can spare you from dying. Luo Chen walked onto the arena in an uproar. Morong Xiong had a disdainful expression on his face. I won't kill the unknown. Give you a chance to register your name. Luo Chen smiled slightly and asked me to put my name on the newspaper. You also deserve to be able to quickly cover your ears with lightning speed. Rushed in front of that person. What surprised Morong Xiong with a surprised expression on his face? Only Luo Chen's eyes showed a hint of golden light. Immediately lift the knee and leg. Directly hit the person in the abdomen. A peaking sound. Morong Bear was forcefully kicked onto the tower. I saw his blood flowing through his veins. Full body meridian spasm. At this moment, the entire villa suddenly quieted down. Even Yi Lao was stunned and speechless. Later, Hong Biao and Adao led the way in cheering and fought well. Luo Yan Nyobi. Everyone applauded and cheered. He's really angry. This little brother is so amazing. Luo Chen looked at Morong Xiong above the tower. Feeling a bit disappointed inside. I originally wanted to study this master's moves. I never thought it would be so vulnerable. As Luo Chen was about to walk towards the arena, suddenly, someone shouted at him to stop. A great master on the arena, unexpectedly kicked to the tower by a mysterious young man. Everyone above the building clapped their hands and cheered. Fucking awesome. This young man is so powerful. As Luo Chen walked towards the arena, suddenly, a voice came from behind and stopped. 
I saw the person lightly landing on one foot. With a loud bang, instant ground burst, dust flying in the air, an elderly person with both hands back to back, positive lapel power, the person who killed me, I still want to leave soon. Luo Chen gave a slight smile. So what? The old man turned around, announced solemnly to everyone present. Listen to me now. From now on, in Tongzhou City, everything has to listen to me. Red Label dares to be angry but not speak up. Who is this old gang? So arrogant. Mr. Lu waved his small hand. Call a man in black. Take down that old guy on stage. I never thought that Lu Xiaopang had actually played a dirty trick. I saw a sniper lurking above the tower. After receiving the order, a shot was fired with a bang. Everyone exclaimed in surprise. What is it that there is a sniper? I saw a magman bouncing towards the old man's brow. The old man suddenly opened his eyes. The bullet suddenly stopped in mid-air. Then he reached out his fingers and grabbed the bullet, and then suddenly turned around and threw it out. The bullet flew rapidly in a straight line, shot through Mr. Lu's body. Lu Lao fell to the ground with a thud. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth at the moment. Kind of interesting. Everyone has been frightened and trembling all over. Even 98k is hard to beat at all. This person is definitely a top-level master. I'm afraid the weather in Tongzhou City is going to change. The old man immediately turned around and looked at Luo Chen. Reveal a proud and forgetful appearance. Young man, at a young age, has such a natural disposition. True is not easy. As long as you join my sect. The revenge of killing a disciple can be written off in one stroke. Can Luo Chen burst into laughter? Take me as an apprentice. You deserve to ask between heaven and earth. Who dares to falsely claim to be my teacher, Luo? The old man became unusually arrogant after listening. It's simply shameless to talk big. The magnificence of heaven and earth. You little one. How can we imagine it? Just now you also saw. I can catch that bullet with a flick of my finger. Even a sniper gun wouldn't hurt me. Luo Chen sighed with a disdainful expression on his face. The mere silver candle fire dares to compete with the sun and moon for brilliance. I have never seen such a shameless person before. The old man was furious and wanted to die. After speaking, it's like a fierce tiger descending the mountain, leaving towards the Luo dust storm. Give your face, don't. No wonder my subordinates are ruthless. I saw Luo Chen's sudden sound flash beside him. Immediately raise your hand and smash it at the back of the person. Suddenly, a masonry wall appeared in the air behind him. Just hear a bang. Air explodes instantly. The old man escaped the attack and scathed. Ruachin was momentarily stunned. This guy really has two brushes. The old man boasted arrogantly on his face. With your meager strength, you also want to hurt me. Ready to launch a counterattack in the next moment. Take it to death. How did it end up like a speeding flash? With a whoosh, he arrived in front of him. Then he hit the old man with a heavy fist. Just hear a loud bang. A protective armor once again blocked the attack. The old man looked smug and mocked you, didn't you eat? Do you want me to order takeout for you? Such a soft power. How can you break my defense? Above the arena, a great master is shouting loudly. Such a soft power. How can we shake the old man? Luo Chen was repelled by a powerful impact force more than 10 meters away. Everyone's faces were immediately shocked. At this moment, Luo Chen slowly landed on one foot. He looked at the old man in front of him and felt puzzled. The move used by this person just now. It should be what Yi Jing Tian referred to as internal and external visits. But people who haven't even awakened their spiritual organs. How could there be sharp fluctuations on one's body? Perhaps it is. Yi Xuan Xuan asked Grandpa Yi with a worried expression on his face. Teacher, there won't be anything wrong, right? Yi Lao sighed helplessly. Looking at Mr. Zhu Shi Luo, it's probably more ominous than good. Hong Biao was even more panicked and broke out in a cold sweat. Luo Yen, you must hold on. The old man's face was full of pride, laughing at Luo Chen horizontally. Why are you so cowardly, kid? Why don't you kneel down early and beg for mercy? I might leave you a whole body, old man. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. I immediately patted the dust off my body. Are there a lot of your last words? The old man suddenly became angry with embarrassment, crazy with shame. I will shatter your body into pieces today. After speaking, he swept away towards the Luo dust storm. At this moment, Luo Chen secretly activated the titanium gold protective aura inside his body. In order to prove the speculation just made, today, I will take it seriously. At this moment, the old man had already taken off and flew in front of Luo Chen. Just listened to a loud bang. 
The surrounding spiritual power erupted instantly. Luochen disappeared directly into the original place. The astonishment on the boil's face. What happened? At this moment, he has entered the divine stone of falling dust. The next scene completely shocked him. I saw a huge sphere in front of me, emanating a terrifying aura. With a sudden roar, ball explosion, a figure appeared at the center of the giant ball. At the next moment, a white-haired man roared towards him. I saw his eyes shining with gold. With a domineering expression on his face, he said, Do you still dare to take me as an apprentice now? In the face of this force, the old man is as insignificant as an ant. At this moment, his face had turned pale with fear. Who the hell are you? Everyone outside the Divine Stone was discussing with curiosity on their faces. Why didn't the old man move? Won't you stop fighting? With a slight smile, Luo Chen relied on you, also configured to my own name. After speaking, he waved his fist at the old man and left. With a loud bang, it hit his face. The old man directly turned into accumulated powder and disappeared in place. Yi Xuanxuan's face shocked Grandpa. Teacher, is he still a human? Yi Lao widened his eyes in shock. Mr. Luo is so terrifying. It's really hard to figure out. Hong Biao saw this situation. A chill came from behind. Just one punch. Fortunately, last time Lord Luo didn't care about it. There was a burst of cheers in the villa. This little brother is so amazing. I saw Luo Chen picking up a green object from the ground. It seems like what I thought. The spiritual fluctuations generated by this old man. From this divine seed with defensive attributes. At this point, in a room, a man is reporting the situation to the leader. Sir, this is the basic information about fallen dust. Please take a look. The leader immediately ordered the flying dragon of Dao Bang. It must be completed within three days. A young girl is shyly looking at a teenager. Thank you very much. Thank you teacher for taking the initiative to save us. Schwanger doesn't know why to repay. The young man answered coldly. It's too noisy here. Let's find a quiet place to discuss. Yi Lao looked at the departing Luo Chen. Sighed. Mr. Luo has had such strength at a young age. Is it what the Yi family can win over? Guan Kuan next to him had a wicked smile on his face and leaned in his ear. That's not necessarily true. Isn't it possible to have pairs here? This figure is simply. Yi Lao stared at him with a terrifying expression on his face. Then he was given a throat lock. Make fun of Schwanger. Believe it or not, I pushed your tower. Screen rotation. Arriving at the small forest. Luo Chen said with a serious expression that I need 1 billion yuan. Yi Xuanxuan looked shocked. Is there a problem with the cold inquiry from 10 billions Luo Chen? Yi Xuanxuan quickly explained that there was no response. Your grandfather will definitely agree to all your demands. Do you know anything else? At this moment, Luo Chen showed a playful expression. Immediately organized the Pan Longwen construction bidding meeting. Time has arrived on the second day. A strong man is leisurely walking on the street. Suddenly, an off-road vehicle stopped in front of him. The man got into the car with an angry expression on his face. The woman in the car scolded and said, Did you take the wrong medicine, kid? Why are you so angry? The man shook his head helplessly and sighed. What exactly is that kid capable of? Su Xiaofei had to let us personally visit the house. The woman casually comforted and said that the leader did this. There must be a certain degree of. The rational man was completely angered. What's so remarkable about him being a stinky kid? What we're looking for is a warrior. Look at the appearance of this delicate and tender flesh. I can flip him ten times with just one punch. The woman said with a dull expression on her face. You can test it later and then you'll know. Dust in the room. At this moment, we are refining the divine seed we obtained yesterday. With the blessing of the dragon vein in Panlong Bay, this seed was quickly revived. Since the awakening of the divine organs, I have been using my spiritual power all along to compensate for the loss of titanium gold protective aura. But the spiritual power of this earth is too scarce. The spiritual power obtained from cultivation can barely keep up with the consumption. But with this seed that comes with its own defense properties, even if you don't use too much gold to protect your body, can also easily withstand the vast majority of physical attacks. At this moment, the doorbell suddenly rings. Luo Chen opened the door of the house, found a man and a woman standing outside the door. The woman asked with a smile. Hello Mr. Luo. Luo Chen asked coldly. 2R. The man looked at Luo Chen with a contemptuous expression on his face. Just this little brat. It doesn't seem like it can hold water at all. The woman continued to smile and said that we have the key. I need to negotiate with you. Can we talk first in the house? 
Unexpectedly, Luochen did not buy his account. Please answer my question first. The awkwardness on the woman's face at this moment. There are many people here with mixed eyes. Not very convenient to disclose. Then please go back. After speaking, Luo Chen will close the door to thank the guests. The man suddenly pushed open the door. You're quite arrogant, kid. Within the hotel, a strong man pushed open the door of a young man's room. The man shouted disdainfully. You're quite crazy, kid. There's a way for us to compare and compare. A cold smile appeared at the corner of the young man's mouth. Ho immediately turned around and waved to the person. Come on, the young man is secretly delighted at this moment. Just now it has been refined. Absorb the divine seed with its own defense attribute. Just take this person and try the effect. The woman behind shouted loudly, flying dragon. Not to be impolite. The man moved his arms with a proud expression on his face. Rest assured until the end. If I don't hurt him, it's just. After speaking, he waved his fist at the young man and left. I saw the young man standing motionless in the same spot. Just hear a bang. A masonry wall appears in front of the young man. Blocked his attack. The man's expression changed greatly. The next second, he was directly ejected from the room. Slammed into the opposite wall. The woman quickly apologized with a panicked expression on her face. Please show mercy, Mr. Luo. Phylon is now frightened and trembling all over. What exactly happened just now? At that moment, there was such a strong sense of impending death. The woman quickly turned around to scold Phylon and apologize. The man clasped his fists in cold sweat on his face. Just now, I was reckless and ignorant. I hope Mr. Luo can understand. The woman apologetically took out her identification and apologized. I didn't indicate my identity just now. Please give us another chance, sir. I saw it prominently written on the document. Communication Commander of the Jingnan Third Armed Forces. After looking at it, Luo Chen turned around and walked into the house. Come on in. After the woman entered the house, she indicated her intention to come this time. Mr. Luo. We would like to request your assistance in a protection task. Luo Chen rejected his invitation in one fell swoop. Fai Long was not interested and looked shocked upon hearing it. However, the woman's face was full of smiles, Mr. Luo. May I ask you a question? What is currently the most expensive thing in the human world? Fei Long handed a Huazi to Nuo Chen. Then he muttered curiously, Is it power? The woman calmly continued to say no. After speaking of order, he slowly approached Luo Chen. If Mr. Luo can complete this task, we will provide you with a, an identity that can control order. The piece of 10,000 words, will itself become order. After listening, Luo Chen smiled slightly, which was a bit interesting. At present stage, we do need an identity with sufficient permissions. This not only improves the efficiency of collecting divine seeds, you can also avoid some unnecessary troubles. Thinking of this, a playful expression appeared on Luo Chen's face. Tell me about your request. Female witness, hand over a business card for Mr. Luo to have a look. Only seen on the business card. The identity information of a girl is prominently written. After seeing it, Luo Chen looked puzzled. It's a student. The woman explained that this girl's real name is in Ningyu. It's Professor An's daughter from the Painting Gang Technology Institute. A few days ago, Professor An was on a mission, controlled by foreign forces. The project she is researching is currently the top secret of the Painting Gang. Its research results, locked in a specially encrypted server, and the password for the server. It is a gene sequence between tranquility and the body. This matter is very urgent. I hope Mr. Luo can agree. Luo Chen picked up his business card, asking without changing his expression how long the protection period is. The woman sighed helplessly, but to be honest, we suspect that there is internal strife among the senior members of the armed forces. So before we find out the mole, unable to give Mr. Luo a definite deadline, Luo Chen Ma stood up silently and left. After thinking about it, turning around, he said coldly, I'll only give you three days. After hearing this, the woman stood still with an embarrassed expression on her face. At this moment, his phone rings. The woman reluctantly answered the phone. Then he exclaimed in amazement. Inside the research institute building, a little lolly was tied up by a group of robbers. The lewd golden hair is shooting and shouting. Everyone, hold your head and squat down. Everyone exclaimed with fear upon seeing the situation. This is the golden hair command. Other accomplices, you take him to the fourth floor. I can be alone on the first floor. After hearing this, the accomplice picked up the girl and rushed towards the fourth floor. On the road, an off-road vehicle is speeding at high speed. 
Fei Long asked the boss with a surprised expression on his face. How could the tranquil fish be caught so quickly? The woman said with an angry expression, it seems that we underestimated the enemy's intelligence network. But don't worry yet. The other party hijacked Anning Rain and did not escape. They plan to crack it on the spot immediately. We still have two hours left now. Luo Chen followed the two of them quickly to the scene. The woman asked with a serious expression on her face, Mr. Luo Chun Luo, as long as you rescue Ningyu within two hours, the previously agreed terms will be fulfilled immediately. How did Luo Chen give a slight smile? The transaction is currently underway. A middle-aged man walked over with a disdainful expression on his face. Your third armed forces still have face. The woman and the flying dragon looked indifferent. Whether we come or not has nothing to do with you. The task of protecting an NGU is the responsibility of our three teams. Okay, okay. The middle-aged man put on a proud and forgetful appearance. Your people messed up the matter. My people are helping you clean up the mess. Are you still unwilling? Then he pointed to the two and mocked them, saying, You are just a bunch of trash. Inside the Research Institute building, personnel of the first armed forces cautiously walked into the corridor. At this point, a woman suddenly ran over from the end of the corridor. The man pointed a gun at him when he saw the situation. Stop, who are you? The woman cried out in panic. Don't shoot me. I took the opportunity to escape. Please help me. How to expect it? That woman is wearing a time bomb behind her back. Just hear a loud bang. The entire building suddenly emitted thick black smoke. Fortunately, the soldiers used explosion-proof shields to block the damage of the explosion. Just about to continue executing the task. Suddenly, a man in black appeared, raging towards them. Just hear a bang. Everyone was instantly repelled. Everyone looked surprised. What kind of strange force is this? Even the explosion-proof shield can be broken. So everyone raised their machine guns and started shooting at the person. Unexpectedly, that person has already rushed to the front of the team. In the blink of an eye, everyone was instantly killed by him. The middle-aged man outside the building learned about his subordinates. The entire army has been destroyed. Suddenly froze. Then angrily, he slammed the intercom to the ground. My subordinates are asking us what we should do next. The man rebuked with an angry expression on his face. Hurry up and transfer people. Task failed. Everyone has to get out of here. At this moment, there's a sound coming from behind. Why bother brother Quan? I saw only a middle-aged man. Walked in with a yellow skin guy. Look who I brought in. That person is the location of the 8th level sect leader. Rescue scene. A yellow skinned old man. The falling dust of the gun shouted wildly on his face. Even a child with only yellow hair deserves to be compared to an old man. Away on the side introduced with a proud expression on his face. The time for this task is very tight. So I have invited an expert for everyone. Phylong stared at the yellow man with a blank expression. Who is this old man? Lu Quan rebuked with an angry expression on his face. It's just reckless. He is the land of the 8th level sect leader. Red guy, how dare you trash speak up. The woman was shocked upon hearing this. Is this old man a descendant of the 8 extreme sect? This Bajaman is one of the three major dance factions. With the help of the 8 extremes fist civilization painting gang. It is said that once trained, it is enough to capture dragons and subdue tigers. Huan Pi Lao looked at Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on his face. No wonder the old man you Zudai robe is such a mission. How could it be a novice child like you? What can be done? A playful expression appeared at the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. Do you mean you can handle it? The yellow skin guy laughed heartily. I saw him arrogantly commanding away. Bring me a pot of good tea. Immediately, he muttered to himself with a look of two on his face. Ancient Guan Gong Wanjiu slashes Hua Xiong. Now, I, Hong, pour tea to save the people. After speaking, he bravely walked into the building without hesitation. Inside the Research Institute building, L is holding a gun and guarding the hall alone. Huang Fatigue slowly walked past at this moment. You're the only one. L gave a ignored smile on his face. Killing you is enough. Away extends his hand outside the building. Finger touched the tea. Then he muttered with a puzzled expression on his face. This tea is completely cold. Why hasn't Hong Lao come out yet? Lu Quan said with a firm expression, don't worry. What problems can Hong Lao still have if he takes action? At this moment, a figure emerged from the building. I saw Hong Lao flashing and rushing towards me in a hurry. Lu Quan looked shocked. Why is he the only one? The yellow-skinned man knelt down on the ground with a thud. 
he shouted at away with a panicked expression on his face. Hurry up and call the medical staff for me. At this moment, the woman looked worried and instructed Mr. Luo Chen Luo. Now there is less than an hour left. Please be extra careful. I saw Luo Chen ask coldly with a domineering expression on his face. Do we still need to leave a living mouth? Inside the research institute building, Luo Chen walked fearlessly into the corridor. At this moment, L walked out of the corner. With a disdainful expression, he mocked Luo Chen. Do you all like going up one by one? Huluwa saves grandpa. I saw a cold smile on the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. The fourth floor of the research institute building. At this point, password parsing has been completed by 80%. A young man boasted proudly on his face. It seems that our speed is even faster than expected. Jean Mao sighed. I agreed with two to report every three minutes. It's been four minutes now. But there was no movement. They would never have thought of it. L was lying on the ground with a face of fear at the moment. I saw a golden light flickering in Luo Cheng's eyes. Immediately activate the internal perspective function. Then the entire building took refuge in front of him without a trace. Luo Cheng quickly arrived on the fourth floor. The robber was shocked upon seeing the situation. Immediately, he shot and strafed at Luo Chang. Unexpectedly, a masonry wall suddenly appeared in front of Luo Chang. Block all bullets. The man began to shrink back with a look of fear on his face. Is this kid a top master? At this moment, the bullet in front of Luo Chang remained stationary and suspended in midair. Luo Chang gently with one hand, a wave of bullets, with a whoosh, returned to the original path. That man instantly turned into a fan, disappeared in place. Luo Chang pushed open the door and slowly walked in, resting unconscious in bed at this moment. At this moment, a figure jumped down from above. I saw Jin Mao holding a dagger in his hand, thoroughly thrust towards Luo Chen, outside the building. The yellow-skinned man was sneering arrogantly at the moment. I can't even save my husband, still counting on that little brat. I'll leave my words here. Even if my senior brother comes, he may not be able to save it. Then he came up with a bad idea again. I have a foolproof plan. I don't know if Wei is willing to listen. After hearing this, the woman looked at him with a puzzled expression on her face. The wanty guy continued with a mischievous smile on his face. Since confidentiality cannot be disclosed, why don't we blow up the entire building? After hearing this, the woman scolded with an angry expression on her face. There are still hostages inside the building. Moreover, our rescue personnel have just entered. Huan Pi Lao let out a cold snort with an ignoring expression on his face. Save that weak little boy with a surname. I'm afraid I've already gone down to meet the king of hell. However, Lu Quan believed that what the yellow skin guy said was right. Once secrets are leaked, endless future troubles. Immediately ordered his subordinates to prepare the rocket troops. In front of the research institute building. At this moment, an Italian running machine is being set up. The middle-aged man ordered the gun to be fired. Just hear a loud bang. A rocket quickly shot towards the building. At this moment, a bright light appeared in front of the building. After the rocket was blocked by a gas wall. Burst instantly in mid-air. Everyone looked shocked. What is that? A figure suddenly appeared in the thick smoke. I saw Luochen slowly holding a little lowly on the ground. Yellow-bodied man sees the situation. It's impossible to scream in disbelief. An opponent that even the old man couldn't subdue. How can he handle a little kid like that? Then the soldiers walked into the building. Immediately report to the enemy after investigating the situation. After annihilating all the people, everyone cheered with joy. At this moment, the woman asked Luo Chen with a puzzled expression on her face. Mr. Luo, what I need? Luo Chen threw him a USB drive directly. The woman immediately handed it to her subordinates upon receiving it. Quickly find a machine to investigate the content inside. Away sees the task completed. Urge Hong Mao to leave quickly. Unexpectedly, she was blocked by a woman on her way. Stop. Lu Quan saw this situation and shouted with an angry expression on his face. What do you want to do? The woman held the USB drive in her hand and said coldly. What are we going to do? A way should understand in his heart. Collaborate with overseas forces. Stealing confidential information from Huabang. Still want to leave. I saw a way with a panicked face and a cold sweat on his face. At this moment, Huang Pai Lao's face roared wildly. I don't understand what you're talking about at all. Get out of my way. Then he pointed at Luo Chen and angrily rebuked him. Don't think you're relying on this brat. You can ride up to the head of my level 8 gate. Just listen to a snap. Luo Chen slapped him directly in the face. 
Huang Pi Lao lay on the ground and threatened directly. Damn you, how dare you insult me? Aren't you afraid of bringing trouble? Luo Chen said coldly. Hogan, you also deserve it. The yellow skinned guy saw the situation, pointing at Luo Chen and cursing loudly. Huanko Pediatric. Don't be too arrogant. I will definitely spare you at level 8. Before the words fall, with a whoosh, his other arm also moved home. At this moment, Fei Long handed the phone to Luo Chen. Mr. Luo, your phone number is. The person on the phone is none other than Luo Chen's father. On the other end of the phone, Luo's father scolded him directly. What exactly did you do wrong? Why did Xiao Man come to me to accuse you? I will be at Xiao Man's house soon. Get the hell out of here. Luo Chen frowned. Hang up the phone. In his previous life, he was cheated out of his family property by Zhang Xiaoman, mercilessly abandoning Loba. Forced to do nothing but deliver the package, Luo Chen was even disabled by his rival in love, making a living by picking up waste products. Unexpectedly, in that winter, Luo Ba froze to death outside. Thinking of this, Luo Chen unconsciously clenched his fist. Since this life has already started over again, he must reclaim everything he once lost. At this moment, the commander asked Luo Chen with a surprised expression on his face. The leader wants to talk to you about the compensation for this task. Luo Chen interrupted him directly. We'll talk about it later. Take me to a place first. The woman asked in some surprise. Are you in a hurry? Luo Chen answered coldly. Drive now. The young man in the car. Unexpectedly invited by the domestic armed forces as the chief instructor. Unexpectedly, the young man refused without interest. Commander-in-Chief Su Lingchu continued to explain, We need your guidance as a warrior. It's a special forces unit called Blood Shah. These people have far more physical functions than ordinary people. Blood Shah, like the foreign forces that hijacked an Injiu, all through the mysterious power brought back from Kunlun, the super warriors trained. Upon hearing this, Luo Chen was immediately taken aback. Immediately, a playful expression appeared on his face. Kind of interesting. He only found out after entering the immortal realm in the previous life. This earth is not as simple as it appears on the surface. If what Su Lingchu said is indeed true, there is a high possibility that there are amazing divine species hidden in this Kunlun Mountains. Thinking of this, Luo Chen replied with a firm expression on his face. But revenge comes at another cost. After hearing this, Su Lingchu's body trembled instantly. Do Mr. Nalo have any other requirements? At this moment, Luo Chen's eyes showed a hint of killing intent. Help me investigate a guy named Chen Chao. I need to know all his information. Luo Chen quickly arrived at Zhang Xiaoman's house. Zhang Xiaoman's mother opened the door with a disdainful expression on her face. What to press with one force? Hurry to get reincarnated. Luo Chen remained silent, quickly walked into the house. Since Luo's father passed away in his previous life, I have never met before. At this moment, Luo Chen rushed to his father with an excited expression on his face, grasping his father's hand in one go. I finally saw you. Luo Chen's actions really surprised Luo Ba a bit. Stinky kid, what's wrong with you? This has only been separated for half a month. As for being so excited, how could Luo Ba know? It took Luo Chen thousands of years to meet this side of him. Luo Chen calmed down the excitement in his heart. Answering something has caused you a lot of trouble. At this point, Luo's father began questioning Luo Chen about the tea he asked you to bring last time. Did you give it to Uncle Zhang? Zhang Xiaoman's mother immediately snorted coldly upon hearing this. It's okay to mention this matter. My first time visiting my girlfriend's house. I only brought a few bags of broken tea leaves. It's not embarrassing either. Luaba saw that Luo Chen did not answer. So he angrily hit him, stinky kid. That tea is worth 6 to 12,000 yuan. I won't let you swallow it, will I? After hearing this, Zhang Xiaoman's mother immediately regretted leaving her intestines bruised. 6,001 or 2. Are those two bags worth at least 100,000 yuan? Surprisingly, he made me throw it away as garbage. During lunch, Dad Luo and Uncle Zhang are happy and cheerful, talking about the marriage issue between two young people. After three rounds of drinking, the two suggest finding a good day to arrange the marriage. What do you expect when it's settled? Zhang Xiaoman warned with a his mother look of anger. Why don't we have to buy the wedding house first? Let's talk about these more. Luo Chen remained silent beside him. My dad already has a fondness for Zhang Xiaoman. Plus, he and Uncle Zhang are close friends. So I was just thinking that the two families could become in-laws. Even if we expose Zhang Xiaoman now, my dad wouldn't believe it either. 
he can only find ways to expose himself. At this moment, Zheng Xiaoman was looking at Luo Chen with a smile on his face. I muttered to myself in my heart. As long as we take care of his father, it can save Luo Chen. Although I dumped Xin Xiao, who had been hanging for so long, it's a bit regrettable. But compared to Luo Chen, what's the point? At this moment, Luo Chen glanced at Zheng Xiaoman. Immediately, a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. At the bidding meeting for the Panlong Bay project, Yi Shuangxuang's face was full of spring light as he aimed at a young man. Welcome teacher Dao, please follow the regulations inside, so please come by yourself. I saw Luo Chen talking to his father on the phone. Wait until I finish the task, looking for you again. At this point, Mr. Luo has already arrived at the sales office of a certain property in the south of the city. Zheng Xiaoman and his daughter took him to choose a house. Zheng's mother looked disdainfully and asked Luo's father-in-law, How do you like this set? Dad Luo scratched his head awkwardly. This place is too expensive, how about we go take a look elsewhere? Zhang's mother's face suddenly changed, and she still thought it was expensive. Zhang Xiaoman quickly grabbed him. Comfort, let's take a look again. The three of them arrived at a high-end residential area in the development zone again. Zhang's mother angrily said to Luo's father-in-laws, Both Xiaoman and I have set our sights on this final set. Let's do it ourselves. The waiter quickly handed over the contract, sir. Hello. After the discount, the total price of this suite is 8 million yuan. After hearing this, Luo's father was shocked as to why it was so expensive. Zhang's mother saw the situation. With a nose on his face, he angrily scolded him for being too expensive for 8 million yuan. You've been posing like a bird all the way. Just tell me whether to buy or not. Just your son's company. Can't afford to buy a house. Dad Luo was momentarily stunned. What company is it? After listening to Zhang's mother, go straight at him and curse at him, don't play garlic for me. How could you not know your son's company? Zhang Xiaoman quickly stopped the situation upon seeing it. Maybe his father really doesn't know. How come his mother turned around immediately? To scold you in front of him is clearly to be tricked by that kid's tricks. Just like him, he can still start a company. No one even wants to clean the toilet for people. How can Luo's father tolerate others scolding his son like this? Are you speaking too much? Zhang's mother immediately refuted my excessive behavior. You don't even look at your own virtues. I can't even afford a house. I still want to marry my little man. It's like a toad wanting to eat swan meat. At this moment, a man walked over. I said this elder sister. Your speech may sound too unpleasant, right? Take a closer look. The person who came is Hong Biao, a staunch fan of fallen dust. After seeing Zhang Xiaoman, with a surprised expression on his face, he widened his eyes. Unexpectedly, Zhang's mother pointed at Hong Biao and roared angrily. Who is it, big sister? His son falsely claimed to be running a company. What is this kind of person who is not scumbag? At this moment, a voice suddenly came from behind, Dad. I saw Luo Chen slowly walking towards them. Hong Biao saw the situation. With an excited expression on his face, he pounced on it. Lord Luo, why did you come? Luo Chen answered coldly. I'm here to find my dad. Hong Biao glanced at the middle-aged man next to him. Immediately understand, come here. And then he leaned in directly. Lord Luo is my lord. You will become my grandfather in the future. Zhang Na asked with an angry expression on her face. Who is this stupid fork? The waiter answered with a smile. Of course, this is Mr. Hong Biao, the CEO of our company. Zhang Na looked shocked. What? Hong Biao instructed the waiter. This woman actually said that my grandfather can't afford a house. Can you help him investigate? Who is the owner of the new project in Panlong Bay? After the waiter listened, placing the phone in front of him, the red label shouted angrily at him. Scoop your dog's eyes wide open. It is clear that Luoya is the owner of the Panlong One project. Zhang Na's face was shocked like thunder on top of her head, sitting directly on the sofa, speechless. He would never have thought of it. The once poor boy unexpectedly transformed into a millionaire. Luo Bot asked Luo Chen, the stinky kid, with a puzzled expression on his face. What's going on here? Luo Chen sighed helplessly. I will explain this to you later. Actually, Xiao Man and I broke up long ago. Zhang Xiaoman's thunderous roar erupted in an instant. Luo Chen national goddess Lan Bayer just finished bathing and changing clothes. Just received important intelligence. I saw her best friend reporting Bell to her like a thief. I saw the dust fall. Bluebell couldn't conceal his excitement after hearing it, shouting loudly, really, where is the person located? Development Zone Sales Processing
Luo Chen explained awkwardly to his father that in fact, Xiao Man and I broke up long ago. Zhang Xiao Man instantly roared at him. Luo Chen immediately rushed forward, put on a pitiful appearance. It was indeed my fault before. Can it be seen from all these years of love? Can you give me a chance? Zhang's mother changed her previous attitude. Smiling at Luo Chen, Xiao Man apologized to you. Don't be angry anymore. Luo Chen said coldly without changing his expression, get lost. The mother and daughter were immediately shocked upon hearing this. Zhang Xiao Man immediately ran out crying. Zhang's mother saw the situation, directly cursing at Luo Chen. How many stinky money is amazing. You can never find such a good girl in your life. At this moment, a familiar figure brushed past Zhang Xiao Man. I saw Bluebell pretending to be surprised and shouting Luo Chen loudly. I can even touch you here. Do we have a strong connection? Then he asked curiously, are these two? Luo Chen calmly answered that this is my father. Upon hearing this, Lambert looked shocked. Then he walked over in three steps and two steps at a time. Hello uncle, I am a good friend of Luo Chen. Yulan Bell. Luo's father scratched his head with a puzzled expression on his face. Isn't this a big star that often appears on TV? How did you become a friend of this stinky kid? Bluebell said to Zhang's mother with a mischievous smile on his face. So this is auntie, right? Your Luo Chen family is really excellent. It's like always showing a loving and indifferent attitude towards me. Luo Chen quickly walked up to remind him. This is Zhang Xiaoman his mother. Zhang's mother snorted coldly with a disdainful expression on her face. What's wrong? Which pot doesn't open and which one can be picked up? Blue Bell. Your daughter was really lucky before. Being able to find a boyfriend as good as Luo Chen. This sentence directly hit Zhang Mama's vital point. I saw him angrily running out of the sales office. Don't regret it. Luo Chen could tell at a glance that Lan Buyer was being cautious. Are you intentional? Bluebell saw the plot and exposed it. Immediately put on a fierce and fierce appearance. Then, with an awkward hee hee smile on his face. Do I have great acting skills? Uncle, come and evaluate it quickly. Luaba is already laughing uncontrollably, very well. This little girl is really interesting. Luo Chen shook his head helplessly. Surprisingly, I was able to contact my dad so quickly. Later, Lambert took the initiative to become a tour guide, excitedly taking Luo's father to stroll around the mall. I also bought a new outfit for each of these two gentlemen. At 6 p.m. that evening, the three of them arrived at Haotai Restaurant. Dad Luo is sweating coldly as he looks at the menu, isn't it too expensive? How about we switch to another place to eat? Upon seeing this, Bluebell smiled at Luo's father and said, Uncle, just now, it was agreed upon. This meal is my treat. Luo Chen also stopped his father and let's eat here. Then Luo Chen walked out of the private room. At this moment, a bald guy walked over on a video call. On the other end of the phone, Chen Xiao complained with a face full of unwillingness that I said fourth master. Can you stop talking about videos? I'm at the red romance massage. The bald guy smiled with a flattering expression and said, okay, I'll come over and play with you later. After watching the video, Chen Xiao suddenly stood up and shouted, wait and so on. Can you move the camera to the side? Take a closer look. Luo Chen is standing behind the bald guy. I saw Luo Chen instructing the waiter. Just give me the documents directly. No need to send it in. After Chen Chao saw Luo Chen. Be so angry that you grit your teeth and gnash your teeth. The bald man asked Mr. Chen. What's wrong with you? Chen Chao roared at him angrily. It's the kid behind you who stole my woman. I, Chen Chao Chang, am so big. Who has ever experienced such anger? Then he angrily ordered the bald guy. Coincidentally, he arrived at your territory today. You must argue for me. The bald guy said it's not working on the surface. But it's possible to give him a little shade. Within the private room, Lambert, with a face full of spring light, helped Loba pick up the vegetables. At this moment, Luaba's phone rings. Then he took out his phone and walked out. You guys eat first. I'll take a call. On the other end of the phone. I only heard someone anxiously shouting that director Luo had an accident. Our batch of goods is missing. At this moment, a waiter walked towards him carrying red wine. In a luxury restaurant, a waiter is carrying red wine. Walked towards a middle-aged man. I saw the waiter intentionally bump into the middle-aged man. Then the red wine fell to the ground with a loud bang. The waiter directly cursed at him. You old thing. Blind, walking, playing with mobile phones. Dad Luo quickly apologized upon seeing this, little brother. I'm sorry, I didn't pay attention. Unexpectedly, the waiter pointed at him arrogantly and scolded him angrily. Who's so special?
You're a little brother. Luo's father quickly explained with a look of grievance on his face. Let's speak clearly. I stood here without moving. How could I bump into you? Before the words fall, the waiter's arrogant demeanor is even more vigorous as he farts on you. I'm walking well. Can we still collide with you? At this moment, a big wave walked up with a disdainful expression on its face. This place is high end. How could a restaurant let such a country bumpkin in? Can he afford this outfit alone? It's really lowering the level here. Let's shake our heads and sigh helplessly after falling down. It's better to have one less thing than one more thing. So he took out 100 happy beans and handed them over. Can't I accompany you yet? Unexpectedly, everyone burst into laughter upon hearing this. Who are you sending here? Any dish here is worth hundreds of dollars. Luo's father's inquiry about Qixing Shang. How much do you say you want? The waiter gave a disdainful cold snort of 1,000. Luo's father suddenly exclaimed in shock, 1,000. What is so expensive? Bring me your liquor list and I'll take a look. The waiter refused his request in one fell swoop. Don't talk nonsense when you don't have time. Hurry up and lose money. At this moment, Luo Chen slowly walked out. He walked up to Luo's father's side, asking with a puzzled expression what was going on. The waiter saw the situation. With a wicked smile on his face, he said that this old man doesn't have long eyes when he walks. I bumped into the young master. I even smashed something. I asked him to lose money. Is there a problem? Luo's father quickly explained with an innocent expression on his face. He hit me himself. Lambert suggested that we pull out the surveillance footage and take a look. Unexpectedly, the waiter put on a proud and forgetful appearance. The surveillance footage was already broken. Upon seeing this, Lambert walked forward and said, How much does it cost me to compensate? The waiter answered 5,000 in one gulp. Luaba angrily rebuked him after hearing this, saying it was 1,000 just now. Why did you change your mouth again and ask for 5,000? Lambert could tell their intention at a glance. You are clearly deceiving people. At this moment, Luo Chen walked up with a gloomy expression on his face. Staring at the waiter coldly, he said, Call me the one in charge of your affairs. After a while, the bald guy led a group of people, walked over with a fierce expression on his face. Who dares to disturb me for dinner? Luo Chen pointed at the broken red wine on the ground and asked coldly, You need 5,000 for this thing. The bald man gave the waiter a fierce glare. And then, with a hypocritical smile, he explained, Sorry for the inconvenience. It was the person below who made a mistake. Then a sound effect appeared at the corner of his mouth. This cup costs 5,000 yuan. Add the wine in the glass. I want 100,000 yuan. Blue Belton exclaimed in surprise. What? Dad Luo asked with a panicked expression on his face. Luo Chen Chen Chen. What should I do? I saw Luo Chen comforting his father towards him. It's okay, you go with Bell first. The waiter saw the situation with a fierce roar on his face. Who specifically asked you to leave? Have you asked fourth master? Before the words fall, Luo Chen lifted his foot and kicked him fiercely. Just hear a bang. That person was kicked out and flew more than 10 meters away. Luo Ba quickly stepped forward to stop Luo Chen. Stinky kid, stop hitting people with your hands. So many of them, you will suffer losses. Luo Chen turned around and instructed Lan Buyer to take my father first. Lambert quickly promised his uncle. Let's go. At this moment, Bluebell looked at Luo Chen with a frightened expression on his face. I saw him with angry eyes wide open on his face, exuding a terrifying aura all over. It seems that Luo Chen is really angry this time. Luo Ba left with a worried expression on his face. The bald guy on the ninth floor ordered his subordinates to stop picking up customers on the third floor. Immediately after, a knife came up from the ground under his command. Bald guy pulls out the knife, and then it was thrown on the ground. Do you dare to touch me, kid? I advise you to obediently destroy one hand. In addition, we will compensate 200,000 happy beans. Otherwise, you won't be able to walk out alive. A bald guy with a group of people in the restaurant. Surround a young man. The bald man threatened with a mischievous smile on his face. Be obedient and pay for one hand at your own expense. In addition, an additional 200,000 happy beans. Otherwise, you won't be able to walk out of the door of Howda alive. A cold smile appeared at the corner of the boy's mouth. Oh, it's a bit interesting. The bald guy said fiercely upon seeing the situation. Unable to understand human language, how would he know? The young man in front of me is a magnificent immortal. At this moment, the boy exudes a terrifying aura all over his body. I saw his eyes sharp and sharp. Lung Leng said he knew who you were talking to. 
The bald guy laughed contemptuously when he heard this. Oh, you're quite crazy, kid. Who did you hang out with? The little attendant beside pointed at Luo Chen and cursed angrily. Where did you get that confidence from? Fourth master is the leader of this street. The bald guy waved his small hand. The surroundings instantly quieted down. Immediately, he put on an unhappy expression in this city of Tongzhou. Not many people dare to talk to me like this yet. You can just call and call someone. Even if the heavenly King Laozi comes, he cannot be saved. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Since I enjoy causing trouble so much, I will accompany you all to play today. I saw him gently lifted with one hand. Suddenly, three golden shining spiritual talismans appeared on the palm. Then the spirit talisman flew around with a whoosh. At this moment, Yi Jing Tian is working overtime in the office. A spiritual talisman suddenly appeared in front of him with a swoop. Yi Laodun had a panicked expression on his face. What is this? I saw the spirit talisman quickly burn out. Subsequently, a few big characters appeared in mid-air to eliminate the restaurant. Bring people quickly to complete the project. Meanwhile, Hong Biao and Guang Kuan have also received the call for completion. Following that, all the big shots in Tanjo City are urgently deployed. A large number of people and vehicles rushed onto the streets in unison. Yi Xuanxuan asked Grandpa Yi with a worried expression on his face. Teacher, there won't be any trouble, will there? Yi Jing Tian sighed and felt relieved. There's nothing Mr. Luo can't handle yet. Thinking of the situation just now, Yi Lao's heart was filled with fear. Shangga Shuli, surprisingly able to transmit spiritual talismans. Such spells. I have never heard of it in my life. Mr. Luo's true strength is probably unimaginable. The situation of Tongzhou City quickly caught the attention of the domestic armed forces. Su Xiao muttered with a puzzled expression on his face. Most of these people are related to the Yi family. Is it under Yi Jingtian's command? Seeing the situation, do I need to call in to inquire about the situation immediately? Su Lingchu refused and said no. Call Luo Chen. Eliminate restaurants. The bald guy is all ready. I'm getting impatient waiting. The waiter saw the situation, pointing arrogantly at Luo Chen and angrily rebuking him. Dude, it's been 10 minutes now. What about the person you called out to? The bald guy showed a look of wanting to be beaten. Don't worry, I'll give you another 3 minutes. Otherwise, this account will have to be repaid by your father and woman. A playful expression appeared on Luo Chen's face. Is that right now? A roar echoed from behind. Who dares to bully me, Luo Yi? Get out of here for me. How terrifying it is for the young man in front of me to become angry. He gave a command. All the big shots in Tanjo City are urgently mobilized. A large number of people and vehicles rushed onto the street towards him. At this moment, a roar came from behind the bald guy. Who is so bullying me, fallen leaves. Get out of here now. The bald guy looked behind him with a shocked expression on his face. The whole person was stunned in an instant. See only. Hong Biao walked over with a group of people with a murderous expression on his face. The bald guy saw the situation. I was so scared that I fell off the chair and fell to the ground. Hong Biao pointed an iron rod at him. With a domineering and cold expression, he asked if it was you. At this moment, Luochen's phone rings. The person on the phone is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Su Ling Chu. Brother Luo, is something wrong on your end? Luo Chen looked at the bald guy trembling in the corner. Cold answer. Someone bullied my dad. What do you think I should do to solve it? Luo Chen hung up the phone directly. Su Lingchu suddenly felt a burst of excitement. Who is so bold? How dare you provoke Mr. Luo? Immediately, he instructed his subordinates to notify him. Never get involved. But we must do a good job in the surrounding security work. At this moment, Guan Kuan awkwardly scratched his head and walked over. It seems like I'm still late. Everyone was instantly shocked. Surprisingly, even the big brother from the development zone has come. Wang Kun walked up to Luo Chen. Apologetically speaking. Sorry, Lord Luo. I'm late. I hope you can forgive me. Luo Chen coldly answered no. Daji immediately looked at Guang Kun with a face. Looking at the bald guy with a gloomy expression, who doesn't want to die. Dare to provoke Lord Luo. The bald guy's face was panicked and he was sweating cold, Kuan Gu. Unexpectedly, Guang Kuan went up directly and gave him a big slap in the face. Who knows you so well? What kind of onion are you? Dare to call me Kuan Gu. The bald man covered his swollen face and dared not make a sound. At this moment, his heart is filled with despair. Chin Chao, that foolish fork, even sent me to death. One Guang Kuan can depose me. Not to mention the red label. 
It seems that this time, it's really a dead end. At this moment, Yi Lao arrived at the scene with Yi Xuanxuang. I'm really a bit curious about it. Who exactly caused Mr. Luo to be so angry? The bald guy's eyes froze when he saw this. What exactly is the origin of Mr. Luo? Surprisingly, even Mr. Yi came to look at him equally. I saw Luo Chen as if death had descended. Standing in front of the bald guy, is it a total of 100,000 with a glass and wine? The bald guy quickly explained that it wasn't. Lord Luo, please listen to my explanation. Luo Chen gave Hong Biao a glance, command to bring out the surveillance footage. From the surveillance video, it can be seen that, it is indeed the waiter who falsely accused Luo Ba. The waiter is already trembling with fear at this moment. He pointed at the bald guy with a panicked expression and explained, he asked me to do it. It's none of my business. I saw Luo Chen's eyes condensed. Stare at him. The waiter exclaimed in pain in an instant. Immediately lying on the ground unable to move. Everyone looked at Luo Chen with a frightened expression on their faces. Killing people from afar with just one glance. What kind of monster is Lord Luo? The bald guy saw the situation. Scared, he quickly cut out and begged for mercy. Lord Luo, spare his life. They are all small and immature. I saw Luo Chen looking at Yi Lao. Excuse me, everyone. Smashed everything in the store for me. Yi Xuanxuang quickly agreed to be willing to serve you. Following that, Luo Chen ordered the bald guy to wait until it was smashed clean. Must be renovated to its original condition within seven days. Then everyone will smash me again. Everyone responded with peace of mind, Lord Luo. Ensure completion of tasks. The bald guy's eyes are too dull to speak, so it's okay. Just keep your life alive. Debo saw everyone leave. Immediately breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, I wasn't held accountable for it. Unexpectedly, a sharp pain suddenly appeared on his face. Just a scream echoed through the entire restaurant. Luo Chen led all the big shots from Tongzhou City, leaving Haotai Restaurant. At this moment, his phone rings. Open it and take a look. It's the information about Chun Chao sent by Phylong. After reading it, Luo Chen fell into contemplation. After investigation in the previous life, it was found that my father was harmed by someone. The perpetrator was employed by a person far away in Haidong, a guy surnamed Chu, due to his prominent status. The law enforcement agency dared not investigate further. At that time, it was speculated that this person must have a significant connection with Chin Chao, according to the results of the armed forces investigation. Indeed, that's true. Thinking of this, Luo Chun unconsciously clenched his fist. In this lifetime, this deity will make you pay for your blood debt and blood. Luapa saw Luo Chen walk out of the restaurant, quickly pounced on it, examining Luo Chen's body with a worried expression on his face. Stinky kid, are you okay? Luo Chen smiled slightly and I'm fine. You can rest assured. The next day, Yongji County bus station. Luapa complained with a disgruntled expression, Stinky kid, I want you to come back. You must come back. She wants to come with you, Bell. Why did you refuse? Subsequently, he scolded Luo Chen, who was such a good girl, with an angry expression on his face. You probably didn't miss it, did you? The audience is all waiting to eat your wedding candy. Luo Chen chuckled, men should prioritize their careers. Luo's father stared at Luo Chen with a wicked smile on his face. Answered dad honestly. What exactly happened during the time in Tongzhou? Luo Chen sighed. Then you need to tell me about my mother. After listening to Luo's father, immediately swayed and walked away perfunctorily. Why do you suddenly feel a little dizzy? We need to hurry home and rest for a while. Luo Chen saw the situation, staying in place with a face full of black lines. The father and son quickly arrived at the factory in their hometown. A golden-haired man immediately shouted excitedly at Luo Chen. Luo Chen, why did you come back? This person is Yang Minghui, the youngest son of Luo Chen. At this moment, a girl with long hair walked over. His name is Zhang Pan Pan. It's Luo Chen's childhood friend. Also a secret crush of Yang Minghui. After graduating from college, I started a business by relying on my family's resources, and also became a major customer in the Luaba factory. At this moment, Zheng Pan Pan apologized and explained to Luo's father, so the last batch of lost goods, he sent someone to pull it away, just because the pickup person forgot to register. Only then did it cause an uproar. After Zheng Pan Pan saw Luo Chang, he greeted Luo Chang with a joyful expression on his face. You're back too. Long time no see. Luo Cheng chuckled for a long time, haven't you seen him? Yang Minghui, the beautiful woman, witnessed the incident. With a face full of jealousy, he leaned towards Luo Chen's ear. 
threatened that if you dare to have an idea for him, I'll go under your bed with a knife at night and wait. At this moment, Luo Chen pondered silently. Yang Minghui's confession in his previous life was rejected by Zhang Pan Pan. At that time, I thought, it's just because of the huge disparity in family conditions between the two of them, but now it doesn't seem that simple. From my perception, Zhang Pan Pan is a person of cultivation. At this moment, Yang Minghui wants to give away Zhang Pan Pan, but he refused it all at once. Yang Minghui scratched his head awkwardly. Ruachin walked up and sighed helplessly, saying Minghui, I advise you to give up early. How to expect it? He answered with a firm expression on his face, kid, you know a hammer. Even though Pan Pan has tormented me a thousand times, I still treat him like my first love. Screen Rotation On this evening, Zhang Pan Pan complained with a dissatisfied expression, saying to all senior brothers, whatever supplies are needed, please feel free to give instructions. Don't take it without permission anymore, to avoid revealing one's identity. Then he walked up to a man and, greetings to Master Zhang in front of Chu Shang. I saw that person with a gloomy expression of remorse and hope. You're right, all of you give me some peace of mind. Later, Master Zhang solemnly announced to several people, tonight's original plan. Execution ceremony. You are all ready for me. Inside the Luajia factory building, Aunt Lu, who was cleaning, quickly stopped Yang Minghui. I found a mobile phone in the lounge. After Yang Minghui took the phone, discovered that it was exactly what Pan Pan had left behind. I saw a message prominently displayed on the screen. Before 7 o'clock, Yang Ning Valley Well. Yang Minghui suddenly shook. Who the hell is it? In the evening, I still invite Pan Pan to go out. So he rushed over there with his phone in hand. In the wilderness, a girl and an old man, standing by an ancient well. I saw the old man holding up his hands and silently reciting a spell. A blue light suddenly hummed out from the ancient well. The woman's hands clasped together to activate the spiritual power inside her body. Then his long hair meandered slowly into the ancient well. At this moment, Yang Minghui rushed towards the side with a strong sense of righteousness. Never let others take Pan Pan away. Suddenly, his phone rang. The caller has officially fallen into dust. Yang Minghui quickly explained, panting heavily. Pan Pan's phone has fallen with me. I need to send it over. You order the dishes first. I'll be there soon. At this moment, a scream came from afar. Yang Minghui was immediately shocked upon hearing this. That's Pan Pan's voice. Then he explained the situation to Luo Chen. Hurry over there. I saw Zhang Pan Pan lying beside the ancient well with a painful expression on his face. Under the ancient well, something is pulling his hair. Master Zhang gave a serious command with a serious expression on his face. You must persist. Unexpectedly, a shout disrupted his attention. Pan Pan saw Yang Minghui being caught in front of him. Scared to the point of numbness on the scalp. Oh my, what kind of strange and eerie art is this? Zhang Pan Pan was shocked upon seeing this. Why are you here? Yang Minghui asked him with a worried expression on his face. Pan Pan, what's wrong with you? At this point, two men in black slowly approached Yang Minghui. Upon seeing this, Zhang Pan Pan quickly begged Master Zhang for mercy. He is my friend. Please let him go, please. Unexpectedly, Master Zhang scolded with an angry expression on his face. Who asked you to interrupt something? At this moment, a man in black angrily waved his hand casually. I saw a huge soldier spirit appearing in midair. Anyone who dares to disturb Master Zhang will die. Then Bing Lingxua thrust towards Yang Minghui. Upon seeing this, Zheng Pan Pan quickly got up and ran towards Yang Minghui. Immediately after, a violent ice cream was shattered. Zheng Pan Pan pleaded with Master Dao in panic on his face. Dear senior brothers, please let him go, please. At this moment, several blue silver grass suddenly emerged from the ground, controlled his legs. Immediately after, the blue silver grass grew rapidly. Wrap his entire body around him. Zheng Pan Pan screamed at Yang Minghui with a panicked expression on his face. Don't worry about me, hurry up and leave. A small flat head immediately releases a spell upon seeing the situation. It's already too late to want to leave. I saw a hand that had transformed from soil, pinched Yang Minghui's neck tightly. Then he was carried up in mid-air and unable to move. Master Zhang walked slowly over. Angry rebuked Dao for using only a few utensils to fight against the challenger. Yang Minghui scolded him with a painful expression on his face. What kind of monsters are you? Master Zhang witnessed the situation. Extend your finger and gently touch it. A spiritual power instantly appeared in mid-air. Anyone who has seen this place will die. 
At this moment, a call came from the side. Yang Minghui. At this moment, Luo Chen was walking towards the side with a displeased expression on his face. I saw a slight smile at the corner of his mouth. I've finished all the lamb skewers. The boss is still waiting for you to pay the bill. Yang Minghui saw this and shouted at Luo Chen loudly. Run quickly, Luo Chen walked over without fear. Why do we have to run? The agreed treat. You can't fool around. A long-haired man with a cold snort on his face and nose. Yoha, there's another one who's going to die. Master Zhang pinched Zhang Pan. An inquiry with a mischievous smile on his chin. This kid is also your friend. Do you want me to let them go? Zhang Pan Pan desperately nodded and begged for mercy. Unexpectedly, Master Zhang let go of his hand. Threatened to let them go. You just need to kill one person. Let another person leave this seat. Then he let Zhang Pan Pan down. Choose either. Don't say that this seat didn't give you a chance. Yang Minghui kept struggling and shouting. If you want to kill me, just kill me. Let Luo Chen go. Zhang Pan Pan was trembling all over. Tears streaming down my face. At this moment, his heart is filled with regret. It's all me who caused them trouble. Luo Chen walked over with a disdainful expression on his face. Little old man, I'll give you two choices too. Master Zhang was momentarily stunned upon hearing this. I saw Luo Chen say with a domineering expression, either kneel down immediately, either they all die for me. This young man, I don't even take these cultivators seriously, either kneel down immediately, either they all have to die. Everyone was immediately shocked. What? A long-haired man directly cursed at him. Rural village husband, dare to blaspheme the gods. A playful expression appeared on Luo Chen's face. Even if the gods are the heavenly sovereigns of the immortal realm. I don't take it seriously either. The man gritted his teeth in anger after hearing this. At this moment, Master Zhang waved casually. A gas whizzed past Luo Chen's side. Luo Chen's hands were in his pockets, ignoring his face. Just listened to a loud bang. The big tree behind me was cut off by gas blocking my waist. Zhang Panpan's face trembled with fear all over his body. It's over now. Angered Master Zhang. We all have to die here. Yang Minghui's eyes widened with surprise on his face. Is this still human? In Luo Chen's eyes, this is simply insignificant. You can cut off your eyes from the air before your strength rises. It seems that this person is indeed an entry-level cultivator. On this earth with sparse spiritual power, it is truly rare to have such cultivation. But when I met my true self, you're also unlucky. Master Zhang sneered at Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on his face. Smiling, one can still remain calm and composed in the face of danger. Should I say you're brave or have a brain problem? The playful expression on Luo Chen's face became even more intense. How about we give it a try? The long-haired man fiercely roared at Luo Chen. Foolish things seeking death. After speaking, the person punched Luo Chen and left. I saw Luo Chen standing dumbfounded with his hands in his pockets. Then he turned around and easily avoided the man's attack. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Since you are in such a hurry to reincarnate, then I'll give you a ride first. Speak up, Luo Chen gently lifted his palm. Slap that person's face hard. That person was directly thrown into mid-air by a fan. The entire head was forcefully sucked by Luo Chen. Then the blood pump fell to the ground. Everyone saw this situation. Instantly, Flax froze. Master Zhang felt fear upon seeing this situation. Is it a great master? How could one possibly enter the realm of a master at such a young age? The other three immediately put on a show of teeth and claws. Kill him together. Master Zhang, with a panicked expression on his face, quickly shouted stupid. Fast rewind down. At this point, the three of them had already swept their bodies and arrived at Luo Chen's front. Luo Chen's gaze condensed. A touch of golden light flashed away in a flash. Then he suddenly looked up. Cold snort. It's too late. In an instant, blood splattered everywhere like goose feathers before my eyes. Everyone was instantly shocked. What saw Luo Chen's eyes full of killing intent with a wicked smile? The three of them have turned into a pool of blood flowing in all directions. Yang Mingwei widened his eyes with a frightened expression on his face. Is this person in front of me still Luo Chen? Zhang Pan Pan was even more surprised. The cultivation of the four senior brothers is far above mine. Luo Chen was able to instantly kill him just by looking at him. Master Zhang calmed down his inner shock, slowly walking towards Luo Chen. Martial arts master. Very good. Then he launched a fierce attack inside his body. Looking at Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on his face. Being young can lead to such a high status. It's truly surprising. 
Unfortunately, you encountered A. Seeing him gently lift his arm, an ice cream condensed instantly in the air. Even if you are a master, what can you do? After all, it's just a secular force. It's not worth mentioning in front of true power. Ruachin burst into laughter upon hearing this. Do you know what true power is? Master Zhang suddenly became angry with embarrassment. Then let you have a good experience before you die. After speaking, he raised his arms high and shouted loudly, 10,000 miles frozen. Immediately, a piercing chill howled away. Wherever you go, the air instantly condenses into ice. Yang Minghui and Zhang Pan Pan shouted loudly with a frightened expression on their faces. I saw two people on their bodies, quickly covered with a layer of crystal clear ice. Then it was completely enveloped by cold ice. Unable to move, Master Zhang snorted coldly with a disdainful expression on his face. This is what you brought for yourself. Suddenly, a figure appeared behind the iceberg. Is this your true strength? I don't know where you got your confidence. Master Zhang was immediately shocked upon hearing this. Just hear a bang. The iceberg exploded instantly. The next scene completely shocked him. A huge ice dragon burst out of the ground in an instant, immediately emitting a suffocating and terrifying aura. I saw Luo Chen standing on top of the dragon head, slowly approaching him. This young man is riding an ice dragon, slowly approaching an old man. I saw the young man with a domineering and cold expression say, either kneel down, either die. Then the ice dragon opened its big mouth and let out a roar. The overwhelming momentum instantly caused the surrounding earth to shake and shake. Master Zhang exclaimed in panic as he looked on his face. Unexpectedly, the awakened one. Then, with a thud, he knelt down to beg for mercy from the gods. God, spare your life. I saw him trembling all over at this moment. Cold sweat DC. Such a young awakened person. It can be said to be a true deity. Luo Chen dispersed. Ice dragon slowly lands on one foot. Immediately, he said coldly to Master Zhang, starting from today, you are my servant. Master Zhang was immediately surprised upon hearing this. Shi Shi Se quickly cowed out to Luo Chen and thanked him. Met the owner. Met the owner. At this moment, not to mention how happy he is in his heart. Not only did they not bury themselves here. Still getting such a great chance. If I could get some guidance from the gods. Maybe there's still a chance to awaken in one's lifetime. Luo Chen ordered with a dull expression on his face. Where is it cool, where is it staying? I'll come to you if there's anything I need. Master Zhang quickly agreed. So he walked down the mountain in a gloomy manner. Luo Chen then raised a bonfire next to the two young boys. Yang Minghui quickly regained consciousness. After seeing Luo Chen, he looked frightened and couldn't speak. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Am I so scary? Yang Minghui looked embarrassed and remained silent. Luo Chen saw the situation. Get up and continue to tell them that it's getting late. You guys hurry down the mountain. Then Yang Minghui helped Shang Pan Pan walk down the mountain. So let's go first. Pay attention to your own safety. Luo Chen waved his hand and said goodbye to them. Looking at the backs of the two of them, Luo Chen sighed helplessly. A friend who used to play from childhood to adulthood. Now I also feel resentful due to fear. This sense of distance is not what I want. If you want your heart to be perfect, you still need to gain experience in this mortal world. Thinking of this, Luo Chen glanced at the ancient well behind him. I just feel an extremely cold force, hidden in an ancient well. Even the current falling dust dare not easily provoke. Screen rotation. Arrived at the Chu family in Haidong, Chen Shaozheng bent over and stood behind a man. How go, I'm afraid they will soon find me on the head. Now only you can help me. Chu Yunhao shook his glass thoughtfully. I heard from my teacher before that. Mr. Shun Han's uncle's name is Luo Chen. Is it the same person? Then he arrogantly said, What are you panicking about? Who doesn't know about those guys in Tongzhou? Who dares to touch me in the Chu family of Haidong? Chu Yunhao's friend. Can you bring that person's information? Give me some household chores first. If he has free time, he will do it for you as he pleases. Chen Xiao was momentarily stunned. Is it Su Ao, the top expert in Haidong? Later, Chen Chao's face showed a faint smile on Luo Chen's face. You just wait and see. I will definitely kill you this time. On the Yangji County Expressway, Tang Ruffin looked at the back seat with a wicked smile on his face. Su, today is just a delivery of war letters. Why do you need to come over personally for such a small matter? I saw a burly man in the back row. A cold snort with an angry expression on his face. This kid surnamed Luo. Hurt me, Uncle Hong. And even provoke my disciple. I have to give him some color to see today. Inside the room, 
A young man is sitting cross-legged and practicing with his eyes closed. Suddenly, a bamboo tube shot in from outside the window. I saw him gently extend his finger and clamp it in place. Suddenly discovered a letter tied to it. After hearing the sound outside, Luo's father quickly asked his son about it. What happened? Luo Chen stood up and answered to his father outside the door. It's okay, it's just that something fell off. Dad Luo knocked on the door, but no one answered. So he walked in with a curious expression on his face. I found out that Luo Chen was no longer inside the house at this time. This is a restaurant. How did this kid get out? At this point, a group of people are waiting for Luo Chen in the small forest. Luo Chen walked over fearlessly. I saw a burly man approaching to inquire. You are Luo Chen. Luo Chen asked without changing his expression. People from the 8th level gate. The big man gave a proud and cold snort, which was good. I am the 7th disciple of Feng Tianlei, the leader of the 8th level sect. Su Ao, immediately, he gritted his teeth and threatened. If you don't want to endure the pain of three swords and sixteen strokes, just kneel down quickly and beg for mercy. Be obedient and break your legs. Follow me back. Knocking on the sect leader. Luo Chen asked coldly with an ignoring expression on his face. Who gave you the address? Su Yao saw the situation, roaring angrily at Luo Chen. Can't you understand human language, kid? I ask you to break your own legs. Kneeling to redeem oneself. Luo Chen widened his eyes in anger. Who exactly is it? Information for you. Su Yao suddenly became angry and ashamed, and your mother wanted to die. Since that's what I want to ask, just go to the king of hell and ask enough questions. After speaking, he punched Luo Chen and left. Luo Chen stood in place with an ignoring expression on his face. I saw him gently extend his palm. Easily blocked Su Yao's attack. Everyone's expressions changed greatly. Just listen to a snap. Falling dust gave him a slap in the face. Su Ashua's large body was directly fanned away. Friction with the earth at zero distance for more than 10 meters. A crack instantly appeared on the ground. Then there was a loud bang. Su Ao collided with a big tree. The tree trunk was split in half by a powerful impact force. Everyone sees this situation. Instantly, Flax froze. The strongest dancer in Haidong, Su Ao. Surprisingly, he was slapped to death by a young man. Who dares to believe this when it's said? I saw a few people hugging each other with frightened faces. Hua Chen patted the dust on his hands. Immediately, with a domineering and cold expression, he asked the question just now. Can you answer? Tang Rufeng was frightened and retreated one after another. Answered in a trembling voice. It's a person named Chen Chao. Then he hurriedly explained with a panicked expression on his face. Information in the hands of the school. It's all from him. It has nothing to do with us anymore. Luo Chen's gaze condensed. Suddenly stunned. It's Chun Chao's true self again. I haven't found him yet, but he automatically came knocking on his door. Tang Ruffing saw the situation. Quickly handed a letter of war to Mr. Luo Chen. We are only under the command of the 8th level sect master. Those who came here to deliver war books. Please spare your life, sir. Luo Chen took over the battle book with one hand. Then he gave him a fierce glare and left the battle book behind. Hurry up and leave everyone behind. With a surprised expression on his face, he quickly thanked him. Thank you, Mr. Luo, for not killing me. Watching the three people rushing away, Luo Chen fell into contemplation. It seems that we need to take our father to Tanjo City as soon as possible. Then he lightly waved his hand. Just listen to a loud bang. All traces disappear in an instant. At this moment, Luaba suddenly appeared in the behind him. Stinky kid, surprisingly. Under the park pavilion, Luo Chang, explained to dad what happened during this period of time. Luo's father shook his head with a skeptical expression on his face. Are you saying you spent 10 yuan? I bought a sunflower book from a mysterious old man, and then I practiced the spell in half a month. Luo Chang's mouth curved with a hee hee smile, isn't that outrageous? How about I make up another one for you? Luo's father sighed helplessly. I knew you wouldn't tell the truth. Luo Chen asked with a sad expression, would you be afraid? Luo's father glanced at Luo Chen with a worried expression on his face. Immediately patted Luo Chen's shoulder, smiling and comforting the stinky kid. As long as you're still Luo Chen, always be my precious son. The strongest dancer in Haidong, Su Ao. Surprisingly, he was slapped to death by a young man. Who dares to believe this when it's said? At this moment, Chen Chaozhang was talking to Chu Yunhao on the phone with a smug expression on his face. Upon learning that Su Ao had already rushed to Yangji County to pacify Luo Chen, suddenly burst into ecstatic laughter. 
I'm afraid Luo Chen has already gone to report to the king of hell. At this moment, all the lights at home suddenly went out. Chen Chao looked around with a panicked expression. What's going on? Is there a power outage? I only heard the sound of a lighter coming from behind. Chen Chao exclaimed in panic, who is that? I saw Luo Chen's expressionless face nodding on Chen Huazi. Chen Chao saw the situation. Pointing at Luo Chen and threatening, are you a human or a ghost? I warn you not to come over. Luo Chen's gaze condensed. Coldly speaking, in order to make your death more interesting, I have put a lot of effort into it. But why are you so eager? After listening to Chen Chao, angry, fuck the dagger on the table, even if you're a ghost. I'm not afraid of you either. After speaking, he jumped up with a leap, thoroughly thrust towards Luo Chen. Just listen to a clanging sound. The dagger fell to the ground. Ruachin grabbed his arm. Chen Chao suddenly let out a painful wail on his face. Let go of me quickly. He just turned around. I should have realized that I am not dreaming. Surprisingly, Luo Chen is still alive. I saw Luo Chen suddenly release his hand. Then he punched him hard in the face. Then Chen Chao trembled all over. Fresh blood flow. He not only did not beg for mercy, he still fiercely threatened Luo Chen and said, How dare you hit me? Do you know who my brother is? He is the young master of the Chu family, who is a formidable figure in Haidong. Even if you have the support of the Yi family, it's also hard to escape death. Luo Chen gave a slight smile, interrupted his words. Then he said with an indifferent expression on his face, instead of meaningless howls here, it's better to calm down and think carefully. Luo Chen walked slowly to Chen Chao. I took a puff of smoke. Have you ever thought about it? Why a country bumpkin with no background? Can you make the big shots in Tanjo stand up for me? After hearing this, Chin Chao's face was filled with fear and his hind legs continued to move forward. What exactly do you mean? A playful expression appeared on Luo Chen's face. Didn't you say that the Yi family was covering me up? Why can't you imagine that I'm covering them? Chen Chao's face turned pale with shock. What? Then he pointed at Luo Chen and roared, It's absolutely impossible. Don't scare me here. I believe your boyfriend is leaking electricity. Stupid. Luo Chen leaned in front of him and gave a slight smile. So you never understand one thing. Just finished speaking, a bright light suddenly appeared above the head. The surrounding scene instantly turned into a terrifying hell. Chen Chao looked left and right in panic. Where is this? At this moment, Luo Chen has already transformed into his own primordial spirit. I saw a glimmer of gold in his eyes. You never knew. What exactly are you facing? Chen Chao saw this and quickly begged for mercy not to kill me. I beg you. Unexpectedly, the skeletons around him instantly covered Chen Chao's body. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. Don't worry, for you. Death is just the beginning of suffering and torment. In this endless cycle of nightmares, enjoy yourself, Chen. Quickly submerged in endless darkness. In reality, his eyes are lifeless. Sitting motionless on a chair. Inside the Tongzhou Sea Moon Hotel, Luaba looked dissatisfied and irresponsible. Luo Chen's stinky kid. Where did you just go so late? Luo Chen pointed to the bag in his hand. He he, just smile. The things from my hometown can only be shipped over tomorrow. Didn't I go buy some daily necessities? At this moment, Luo Chen secretly thought to himself. Although Chen Chao has already been disposed of, but leaving my father alone in Yangji County, still not at ease. Under my hard and soft persuasion, father finally agreed to stay in Tongzhou as a permanent resident. Luo Chen smiled and asked his father about it. Did you just have something to say to me? Dad Luo scratched his head, hesitated for a moment. Then he stuttered and said, You didn't always want to know. Is it about your mother? Upon hearing this, Luo Chen was immediately taken aback. I have never seen my mother since I was young. Every time I ask my dad, he stutters and perfunctorily handles things. It's the first time you've mentioned it to me today. I saw Luo's father take off his glasses, saying with a serious expression, but before we know the truth, you must agree to me. Don't rush to find him. Inside the room, Luaba has finally revealed the mystery of Luo Cheng's background. Twenty years ago due to job changes, Luaba has been transferred to the provincial capital Haidong, promoted to the law enforcement department in less than two years, becoming the youngest consul at the time. It is precisely at this time that Luaba met Luo Cheng's mother. Two fell in love at first sight. The relationship was quickly established. At that time, everyone's thinking was relatively conservative. So the two can only get along in an underground relationship. It's been like this for about half a year now. 
The relationship between the two was eventually discovered by someone. After this matter spread, Dad Luo didn't care at the time. After all, the two have already made a marriage agreement. Unexpectedly, things are not as simple as we thought. At that time, Luo's father finally found out his mother's true identity. Surprisingly, Luo Mama is from the Shen family in the capital region. That's a super family that can have a global impact. Marriage of family children. It's impossible. Allowing an outsider with no background to intervene. Luo's father paid a painful price for this. Not only did he suffer the loss of his beloved, still promising and progressing, but unexpectedly, Mom Luo is already pregnant. After putting in a lot of effort, Luo Mama finally managed to escape. Afterwards, the two quietly returned to Yangji County. More than eight months later, Luo Mama gave birth to Luo Chen. I thought Luo Chen's birth would bring a turning point. So the family of three took the initiative to go to the Shin family. Unexpectedly, the Shin family not only did not accept the three people, but also, instead, he ordered Luo's father never to see Luo's mother again. Otherwise, it will be a dead end. That's it. Luo's father raised Luo Chen alone. Mom Luo, in order to protect them, has no further news. Thinking of this, Luo's father sighed helplessly. My only remaining thoughts now, it's about raising you to adulthood. Even though I am plain and indifferent, I am already satisfied in this life. Luo Chang looked at Luo's father. His eyes were filled with a hint of surprise. I didn't expect my father to have such a tortuous past. Then Luo Chen said with a firm expression, Dad, you can rest assured that our family will definitely reunite again. No one can stop it. Dad Luo put on his glasses. I shook my head helplessly and waited for the time to come. I will hand over your mother's name and photo to you again. Luo Chen saw the situation. Asking dad with a serious expression. Where is the Shin family's sphere of influence closest to Tongzhou? Luoba answers Haidong. Screen rotation. Arriving at the eight extremes gate. Tang Rufeng is reporting the situation to an old man. The main battle book of the leader has been delivered. Luo Chang stated that he will definitely attend the appointment. The sect leader asked coldly, has anything else happened? Tang Rufeng replied hesitantly, I haven't returned to the sect leader. After hearing this, there are no elderly people. A cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Zero Hualong went to the northwest. And my eight extremes gate, being provoked by others. Now going out of the mountains can be said to be a legitimate statement. This is really a blessing from heaven. The entire Haidong will soon submit to me. Within Tongzhou City, Haidai Restaurant has been renovated in Syrian style. Hong Biao is currently on the phone reporting the situation to Luo Chen. Lord Luo, the task you instructed has been completed. How should a bald guy surname Su handle it? At this moment, the bald guy is lying on the ground bound in various ways. Yi Lao glanced at Hong Dao behind him. Inquire with Mr. Dao Luo, how to say it. The message conveyed by Hong Biao approaching Yi Lao's ear. Then a scream broke the silence around him. Later, Yi Lao sternly ordered everyone with a serious expression on his face. Pack up your things. Immediately follow me to Haidong. A young man at the station just got off the train, just being approached by a girl. I saw a beautiful woman with long hair, waving at him with a joyful expression on his face. Hello, little brother. Can you do me a favor for my sister? Then he approached the young man with a shy expression on his face. Their phone runs out of battery. I don't have any cash on me. So the boy took out his phone directly after listening. Do you want me to call a car for you? Unexpectedly, the girl quickly refused. No, no, no. I just wanted to ask where you're going. If you're on the way, just burn me for a ride. The boy said there was no destination. So it's okay to go anywhere. The girl's face turned red after hearing it. Suddenly, the whole young man became strong and robust. My heart is filled with doubts. What's going on? The girl chuckled at the boy. Are you teasing me? The young man was momentarily stunned upon hearing this. No, not really. Then with a swoop, he turned around and walked towards the taxi. I'm just telling the truth. On a taxi, the girl asked the boy with a curious expression on her face. What are you doing in Haidong? The young man answered with a cold and indifferent expression on his face. The working girl suddenly approached the young man. Whisper reminder. Have you not heard of it? The recent serial murder case in Haidong. Come to work at this time. You need more. Be careful. A playful expression appeared on the boy's face. What you mean is that I shouldn't easily trust strangers anymore. The girl suddenly put on a fierce and fierce appearance. Where is there me? Isn't this a reminder to you? Have you ever seen such a beautiful villain?
The boy looked at the girl in front of him, remembering people from the past. This girl really looks a bit similar to her, but at this point, she probably hasn't become the holy mother of the immortal court yet, has she? The girl continued to speak with a proud expression on her face. Moreover, I am the empress of Huabang business, the niece of Xin Yuelan, the president of the Haidong Chamber of Commerce. After listening to it, the young man, his face instantly became serious. A person from the Xin family surname Xin Xinji. The girl was a bit surprised at the sight. Yo ho, you actually know that too. However, although my sister-in-law is from the Xin family, but our relationship with them is weak. Basically, there is very little interaction. His current achievements, they all come from working hard on their own. So I just treat him as a role model. Only then did he refuse the help from his family, coming out alone to fight. Luo Chunma pondered silently. As a member of the Xin family, but separated from the Xin family, this doesn't seem that simple. The two of them quickly arrived at their destination. The girl took a photo of the boy. Thanks to you today, I am grateful. After chatting so much, I still don't know your name. The young man answered lightly. After hearing this, Miss Luo Chen immediately chuckle. Then I will call you Xiao Chen's younger brother from now on. Then he handed Luo Chen a business card. My name is Jiang Tongran. You can call me Ran Ran's sister. Luo Chen takes the business card with a curious expression on his face. The night fire bar pointed Tong Ran's sturdy finger behind him. That's where I work. It's on the street back there. Then he extended his arm and draped it over Luo Chen's shoulder. Little brother, if there's no place to stay, you can come to Night Fire to find me. When I finish work, take you to stay inside me. Luo Chen rejected his invitation in one fell swoop. No need, let Tong Ran burst into laughter. Don't think too much, kid. I didn't say I wanted you to sleep with me. Then he waved goodbye to Luo Chen. Let's get to this first. I went to work at a bar first. If you come over, I'll treat you to a drink. At this moment, Luo Chen glanced behind him. A woman is sneakily hiding in a small black room. I saw his exotic attire all over his body. Seeing Luo Chen discover himself, hurry up and close the curtains. Luo Chen smiled slightly, which was a bit interesting. At this moment, Tong Ran is humming a small tune, bouncing and jumping towards the night fire bar, but completely unaware of the impending danger. I saw an evil creature that looked like Sadako quietly appeared behind him. Night fire bar. That boy is slowly walking towards a young girl. The girl saw this and quickly waved happily, shouting at Chao Chen. Brother, come here. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen slowly walked over and sat down. The girl asked in some surprise. I didn't expect you to come so fast. What would you like to drink? Any cold answer from Luo Chen is fine. Zhang Tongran confidently picked up the cocktail glass. Then let me show you my unique skills. After speaking, he began to shake his glass continuously. At this moment, Luo Chen is recalling what happened earlier. The strange evil just now was originally intended to attack him, but as I approached, it disappeared instantly. In this metropolis, there shouldn't be such a level of evil appearing. Perhaps this is because something has been forcibly changed, causing a change in the timeline. If that's really the case, I need to prepare early. Zhang Tongren pushed the prepared wine towards Luo Chen at this moment. Then he boasted proudly on his face. This is the kiss of an angel. Please taste Luo Chen. Take a sip. Praising me, it's pretty good. Zhang Tongran narrowed his eyes with joy after hearing this. It's good if you like it. At this moment, someone patted him from behind. Miss Ran Ran, there is someone asking you to go over seat 6. Zhang Tongran then waved his hand to Luo Chen. You can play here first. I'll come back to you later. Short-haired man sees General Tong Ran leaving. Immediately and fiercely ask Luo Chen. What is your relationship with him, kid? Ran Ran quenched thirst. I have never mixed this wine for a customer before. Luo Chen remained silent with an ignoring expression on his face. That person saw the situation. He gritted his teeth and threatened, You're quite crazy, kid. I warn you. Xiang Tong Ran is the woman of Laozi. Who dares to touch a single hair of him? Laozi must have killed him. At this moment, there was a sound of smashing things. I saw a person charging towards Tong Ran and roaring angrily. I have stored 5 million yuan of wine here. Why did you say that Curry didn't have it? Zhang Tongran quickly bent down and explained that he was sorry to Chu Xiao. It's all my fault for going on a business trip these days. I didn't have time to check the inventory. Upon hearing this, Luo Chen was immediately taken aback. Is it Chu Yunhao? You really have a narrow path for enemies. How about Zhang Tongran's apologetic accompanying smile on his face? 
free replacement of a more expensive bottle of wine for you, is that okay? How about it? Chu Yunhao slapped him directly in the face. Do I look like someone with poor money? Jiang Tongren looked aggrieved and dared not speak again. Luo Chen looks at the short-haired man. A cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Didn't you say he was your woman? Someone moved your woman. Why don't you let him die? The man explained with a fearful expression on his face. You really understand a hammer. He is the eldest young master of the top wealthy family in Haidong. Even our boss Maple Leaf dared not speak loudly to him. Luo Chen immediately mocked and said that he was simply useless. Men see this. With an angry expression on his face, he snorted coldly, you have something to do with you. Just finished speaking, a wine glass flew past him with a whoosh. With a loud bang, it hit Chu Yunhao's head, who was Chu Yunhao's face instantly shrouded in circles. The short-haired man was shocked to see this situation. This fool is just trying to show off his abilities. Surprisingly, I don't even want my life. At this moment, Chu Yunhao's expression became rough and he roared angrily. Who exactly gave it to me? Get out of here. Luo Chen walked slowly and fearlessly over. Seeing this, Tong Ran was stunned and dumbfounded. Xiao Chen's younger brother. Chu Yunhao sneered at Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on his face. That's great. I've lived for so long. This is the first time someone dares to take action against me. For the sake of your talent, kneel down and cut out three times to me obediently. I can consider leaving you two legs. Otherwise, you won't be able to walk out of here alive. During the conversation, a group of people gathered around with gloomy smiles on their faces. Tong Ran grabbed Luo Chen's younger brother with a panicked expression on his face. We heroes don't suffer immediate losses. I saw a slight smile from the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. Then he said to the crowd with a domineering expression on his face, You just kneel down for me. Knocking nine heads, I won't let you go either. How crazy is this young man in front of me? He actually made the eldest young master of the top wealthy family in Hainong. Kneel down to oneself. Now give me nine heads to kowtow. I won't let you go either. After hearing this, Chu Yunhao was so angry that he gritted his teeth and killed him for me. Just finished speaking. Everyone picked up their guys and rushed towards him. Scared Tong ran and tightly closed his eyes. Dare not look directly. Chu Yunhao arrogantly instructed his subordinates. Hurry up and notify Fong Yi. Let him come to his own factory to collect corpses. Just hear a bang. A subordinate was kicked away directly. Xu Yunhao's expression changed greatly upon seeing this. Only then did I realize that everyone was already lying on the ground, unable to move. Luo Chen flashed directly in front of him. Then, with a domineering and cold expression, he asked if you were kneeling on your own, or should I kneel for you? Xu Yunhao immediately waved his fist and gave a cold smile. Turns out to be a practitioner. No wonder it's so crazy. After speaking, he punched Luo Chen and violently left. I saw a slight smile from the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. A turn easily dodged his attack. Then he suddenly lifted his knees and legs. Fired a three yellow bullet. Xu Yunhao's face was instantly ferocious. A pale complexion. Immediately knelt down on the ground. Continuously emitting piercing screams to eat. The melon crowd looked shocked. This guy is definitely crazy. Luo Chen raised his foot and suddenly stepped on Xu Yunhao's dog head. I only heard a bang crashing onto the ground. A woman shouted loudly. You guys go help Chu Xiao quickly. The man shook his head helplessly and sighed. Chu Xiao is the one chosen by the blood Sha. What should we do if he can't even beat us? Falling dust footstep dog head. Saying coldly with both hands in their pockets. We still need 8 beeps left. Chu Yunhao was so angry that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. I'm going to kill it. The words did not fall into place. Listen to a thud. The dog's head hit the ground again. Short-haired men see this situation. A face full of panic. I need to quickly retrieve the maple leaves. At this moment, a luxury car parked at the entrance of the night fire bar. The person who came is Tang Ruffing, the owner of the night fire bar. The short-haired man rushed forward with a panicked expression on his face. Maple leaf Chu Xiao is about to hiccup. There was only a thud in the bar. Chu Yunhao knocked his head again. Ruachin said calmly with an unchanged expression. The sound of alcohol has already been knocked off the head. You should also be on your way now. Xu Yunhao was frightened and shivered all over. I must kill you. Not a single member of your family can run away. Luo Chen gave a slight smile. This one is not like you. I only know how to say hi. At this moment, a voice came from the door. Stop it. I saw Tang Ruffing pretend to walk in. Who dares to act recklessly in my territory? Get out of here for me. Jiang Tongran's face was instantly frightened. 
Phone me is here. It's over now. Chu Yunhao saw the situation with a smug smile on his face. Phone me is here. I was saved. Unexpectedly, Tang Ruffling saw the falling dust and felt like a bolt from the blue. He was stunned and dumbfounded. A chill suddenly struck from behind. I saw him trembling all over. Hurry forward. Falling leaves, Chu Yunhao gets up, pointing at Tang Ruffling and shouting. Fong, help me kill him quickly. Luo Chen walked to Tang Rufing's side, with a slight smile. How do you want to kill me? Tang Rufing's face turned pale with fear. I dare not let Chu Yunhao see this, roaring at Tang Rufing. What are you doing in a daze? If you don't help me kill him, just waiting for your master to depose you. Tang Rufung wiped away her cold sweat. Do you need it at home? Then he angrily rebuked Chu Yunhao. Your dead master. Zeote was slapped to death by someone else. Why bother kicking him? Chu Yunhao was so scared that his eyes were almost staring out. What? The top expert under Master Haidong. Surprisingly, he was slapped to death by this young man. After Chu Yunhao learned about it, I was so shocked that my eyes were almost staring out. Then he collapsed into a chair, trembling all over. Tang Rufun walked over to Luo Chen with an apologetic expression on his face. Lord Luo, this matter today really has nothing to do with me. How about I give you the night fire bar? All should be compensated for. The short-haired man's face was filled with shock upon seeing this. What's the origin of this young man? Feng Yi, one of the four great masters of Haidong, to be so revered by him. I even threatened him just now. Luo Chen waved his hand with a dull expression on his face. That's okay, there's nothing for you here. After hearing this, Tang Ruffing finally breathed a sigh of relief. Okay, then you're busy. I'll withdraw first. The short-haired man saw Tang Ruffing nodding and bowing. Heart generates fear. I need to hurry back and pack my things. Get out of here. Luo Chen glanced at the short-haired man who was about to leave. A wicked smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Chu Yunhao, however, was somewhat dissatisfied and began to beg for mercy. So you are Luo Chen. I, Chu Yunhao, admit today. As long as you spare me today, I will help you smooth out the battle with the eight extremes gate, and I will soon enter the stage of blood stasis. I will make you stand alone in Haidong when the time comes. How did Luo Chen hear the word blood sha? Slightly stunned. Kind of interesting. Then let you live a few more days. Then a cold smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Okay, you can go now. Chu Yunhao was helped by his subordinates to leave here. Immediately, a fierce expression appeared on his face. You wait for me. I will make your life more difficult than death. Zhang Tongran took Luo Chen home on the street. Walk inside. I saw a blush on his shy face. I didn't expect that. Today, I unexpectedly encountered a hidden and influential figure. Am I the legendary chosen daughter of heaven? I've never really tried a boy younger than me in my life. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen asked coldly, What's wrong with you? Zhang Tongran quickly hesitated to answer without hesitation. Nothing. I'm just worried that you might make Chu Yunhao look like that. Although he was pleading for mercy. But I will never give up easily. Luo Chen's face remained unchanged, comforting him that there was no need to worry too much. He dared not trouble you again. The two of them were completely unaware. At this moment, a butterfly is flying past them. The butterfly flew for a while. Then he crawled into the cabin. Finally, landed on the woman dressed in exotic attire. The two quickly arrived at Zhang Tongran's house. Looking at the messy living room, Zhang Tongran's expression suddenly became flustered. Bad mistake. Then he shouted to Luo Chen, close your eyes quickly, turn your head around. So he quickly tidied up the living room. Then he gasped for breath and said, you can come in now. I didn't see anything earlier, did I? Luo Chen gave a slight smile. I have bad eyes at night as a person. And I also forgot to wear glasses. So I didn't see anything. Zhang Tongran pointed to the nearby room and said, you can sleep in that room. I'll go help you get the blanket. At this moment, Luo Chenmov silently glanced at the photo album on the table. Late at night, a short-haired man running alone on the street. Turns out he slipped too fast just now. Forgot to take the phone key. But he was completely unaware that danger was imminent. I saw an evil creature rushing towards him in an instant. Then a scream broke through the silence around him. At this moment, Luo Chen is sitting quietly on the bed, closing his eyes and practicing. Seems to have sensed something. Opening your eyes with increasing strength. I saw a spirit talisman flying past with a whoosh. With a loud bang, the evil creature was shaken away. Following that, countless spiritual talismans flew in. Suppress him to death on the ground. 
At this moment, a woman slowly landed on one foot. The person who came was the woman dressed in exotic attire. I finally caught you. On the street, a long-haired beauty is squatting in front of a one-eyed monster. The monster roared silently without moving. The girl slowly walked towards her. Then he spoke to the monster and said, Stop pretending. You can break free from the constraints set by your ancestors. How can a mere corpse talisman suppress you? Just finished speaking. The monster suddenly stood up and shattered the spirit talisman. The girl remained calm when she saw the situation. Sure enough, it's exactly what I thought. This monster, after being trained as a blood corpse, actually has spiritual intelligence. Not only can one understand human language, I also learned how to disguise myself. Monster bouncing and leaping. With a swoosh, he rushed towards him frantically. I saw the girl transform into a group of butterflies and disappear in place. The monster was momentarily stunned. He suddenly turned around. Only then did I realize that the girl had already appeared in mid-air. I saw the girl pull out a copper bell and keep shaking it. Then he shouted spells at the monster. Only a few corpses emerged from the ground, climbing onto the monster's body. At this moment, the girl burst towards him with a talisman in her hand. He pressed on the monster's forehead with a sound. I only heard a roar from the monster. The spirit talisman was instantly shattered by the shock. The girl's expression changed greatly upon seeing this. The monster immediately waved its powerful palm and directly hit the girl's leg. The girl slammed into the stone wall with a loud bang. I saw him secretly thinking to himself with a painful expression on his face. How many people did this monster kill? Surprisingly, it has completely entered the island in just a few days. At this moment, the monster raised its palm and rushed towards him. I only heard a popping sound. Insert your palm directly into the girl's body. Unexpectedly, the girl tightly grasped the monster's arm with both hands. I saw a purple object emerge and crawl towards the monster's body. The monster's face was shrouded in circles upon seeing it. The girl sighed with despair on her face. The enchanting body that I have been practicing for my whole life. But it is used to communicate with. It's really frustrating that you both died together. Grandma Zikue, I'm sorry for you. I was unable to leave any offspring. And let the pulse of Apu be cut off at this point. Then he closed his eyes slightly with tears in his eyes. At this moment, I can crash on the ground with a loud bang. The dead ghost was momentarily stunned. Why would someone come at this time? I saw Luochin standing dumbfounded with his hands in his pockets. The one-eyed monster immediately pulled out its arm upon seeing this. I saw my arm slowly being engulfed by a purple object. The girl shouted at Luochin not to come over. Run quickly. She knew very well in her heart that the corpse king had been bewitched with potential. If we continue to devour flesh and blood, he will recover soon. At this point, the Lion King lifted his other arm and grabbed him fiercely. Luo Chen raised his hand and flashed directly in front of him. Just hear a bang. The Lion King was instantly knocked away. The girl looked at Luo Chen with a puzzled expression on her face. Is it a martial arts master? Luo Chen gave a slight smile at the corner of his mouth, and your eyes were really bad. At this moment, the Lion King roared angrily and rushed towards Luo Chen. Shirkuei pulled out a bead with a panicked expression on his face. This thing has already entered the island. Your inner diameter won't hurt him at all. This mysterious pearl can help you resist some of the corpse poison. After speaking, he threw the bead out. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen's face was ignored and he remained silent. One retreated and dodged the Lion King's attack directly. Then with a whoosh, it flashed behind him. Then he clenched his fist and threw it at the Lion King. Just hear a bang. The Lion King is repelled directly shattered the ground. Zikue's face was shocked, which was too much. Luo Chen showed a playful expression towards him. Be quiet, okay. Don't blindly command your own dishes. Zikue is lying on the ground. With a panicked face, he shouted to Luo Chen, be careful, he's here again. I saw the Lion King flash urgently, running towards Luo Chen with violence. Luo Chen gave a firm blow. Ping Jug blocked the Lion King's ultimate move. The Lion King's face was immediately shrouded in circles. Luo Chen waving the sand. Baoda's fist smashed at the head of the Lion King. Then used the dragon subduing 18 fists to fight. The Lion King has no fighting power. The dead ghost was shocked to see this situation. This Lion King's body is as strong as iron. This person actually has a rough path in Jingting. Just beat him to pieces. Just hear a loud bang. The Lion King is repelled. Heavy impact on the stone wall. The Lion King kept roaring with anger. Luo Chen raised his fist and flashed in front of him. Just hear a loud bang. The incarnation of the corpse king. 
Countless flesh and blood scattered in the air. Zikue looked at the dust spreading in the air, with a puzzled expression on his face. Is this not good for Sherlington? Then he picked up the copper bell and started shaking it. Evil beasts cannot escape. Unexpectedly, with a swoosh of falling dust, it flashed behind him. His palm hit him at the stem of the neck. Zikitan squinted his small eyes. Faint out. Inside the room. Zikue woke up hazily from his sleep, after seeing Luo Chen on the side. Immediately nervously asked me why I was here. Why did you attack me just now? Luo Chen coldly replied. Your body has been eroded by corpse poison. If not prevented, I'm afraid you've turned into a mess. Zikue only then felt a piercing pain on his arm. It seems that what he said is right. If we really want to exhaust our strength, I'm afraid the dampness has already invaded the five organs and six organs. Ruachin pointed to Zikue's wound. I instructed you not to move around. Some dampness toxins have already mixed into the blood. Difficult to remove external forces. You can only slowly recover on your own. After hearing this, Zikue, I feel a bit embarrassed and say that I have a solution to this. But could you please help me? So he pointed to the jar in the wooden cabinet. Bring me the green one, please. Then a blush appeared on his beautiful cheeks, stuttering and stuttering. Continuing, please help me take off my clothes. Luo Chen's face remained unchanged as he coldly asked and directly took off. Still, Zikue immediately put on a fierce look, a milky and fierce appearance. Whatever you want. Anyway, you don't have to take responsibility for me. I saw Luo Chen gently lift up with one hand. I only heard a sneer. The clothes on Zikue's body instantly became thin and shattered. Then a burst of screams spread from the store. Inside a hospital in Haidong, a middle-aged man angrily patted the table. Fuck your mother's screw butt. This is about to cut off my Chu family. The doctor explained helplessly. We really did our best. We really can't keep your young master's crystal. Xu Yunhao walked in with a face full of pain. Dad, what did the doctor say? Then he exclaimed in panic, his face full of panic. Do I want to be a lone hero? Chu's father comforted him and said. It's okay, son. Just take a break and you'll be fine. Then he leaned in Chu Yunhao's ear and whispered. I have already explained it clearly to your grandmaster. In three days, that Luo Chen will be turned into waste. Inside the room, a girl's clothes were instantly torn apart with a whoosh. Then a burst of screams came from inside the massage parlor. See only, the boy was pinching a wriggling black object. Then it was thrown into the green jar. Zikue finally breathed a sigh of relief at this moment. Thank you very much, Mr. Luo, for saving my life. Luo Chang put on the lid. Long Long said, no need to be polite. I believe that the attendant king is related to you. Zikue sighed helplessly. The royal attendant and my Apu clan. A thousand years ago, we had accumulated grudges and grievances. He was originally a cultivator in the Shangxi tribe. Due to emotional injuries, I became possessed by the devil. After the body was eroded by resentment, my ancestors suppressed it and have been guarding it for generations. Unexpectedly, someone tampered with the seal not long ago. Only then did they escape. I heard that there have been multiple murders in Haidong recently. I rushed over, and the massage parlor that was set up here to gather information. I didn't expect him to have already entered the island. After listening, Luo Chen touched his chin. Think about it. Entering the island is a prerequisite for awakening the divine treasure. In this place where spiritual power is scarce, it is difficult for ordinary people on earth to complete, not to mention a corpse. This corpse king must have had a natural talent before his death. I saw Zikue continue to speak with a twisted expression. Although the corpse king used the blood spirit shield to escape, but using this spell requires breaking up the flesh and blood, then slowly solidify. So, it would be great if the strength of the corpse king could be one-tenth of what it was before. Luo Chen saw the situation, asking coldly, Do you know where he is hiding? Zikue answered without hesitation to Feng Wang ancient city in Xiangxi. Subsequently, he pleaded with Luo Chen and asked Mr. Luo to come out of the mountain. Follow me to Xiangxi. If we can catch the corpse king, please feel free to replace the condition. Screen rotation. Arrived on the second day. Luo Chen is currently sitting in Jiang Tongran's house. I asked coldly and left at noon. I saw Tong Ran packing his suitcase. Yeah, my aunt opened a free trade center in Xiangxi. Let me go help. Should Xiao Chen come with me, younger brother? After hearing this, Luo Chen was slightly taken aback. Why is it Xiangxi again? Then he silently thought to himself. The strongest technique of Tai Jin Jin. The cultivation method is extremely peculiar. 
He will be in the cultivation stage, seal some of the power inside the cultivator's body. Only in times of crisis will the power be lifted. However, due to the influence of earth, apart from the protective aura, Tai Jin's own cultivation techniques cannot be obtained. But during the confrontation with the Lion King yesterday, but I found that this restriction is gradually loosening. It's time to challenge the second level of awakening. Thinking of this. No, I'll stay in Haidong and have other things to do. Two days later, inside the sports stadium in the southern suburbs of Haidong, Xu Yunhao is currently standing at the scene with his father. I saw Chen Boijiao, the Tai Chi sword technique. Master Hun Yuan Yuan Yima arrived in time. Xu Ba saw the situation. Hurry forward. Bending down and holding fists, we respectfully welcome the two masters. Subsequently, he invited two masters to step up the stands and sit down. At this moment, Chu Yunhao's heart was filled with murmurs. Today, all three great masters are present. I'm afraid Luo Chen dare not come, right? At this moment, a young man walked in alone. After seeing this, Chu Yunhao was so angry that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. The person who came is the one who destroyed the crystal, Luo Chen. Upon seeing this, Master Ma looked puzzled. He is Luo Chen, who came to challenge the eight extremes gate today. After everyone saw Luo Chen, everyone is also discussing it one after another. Are you so young and resistant to beating? I won't get killed as soon as I go up, will I? Chu Yunhao hobbled up and welcomed him. Then he pointed at Luo Chen and laughed at him. Mr. Luo has such great courage, going to the meeting alone. I'm not afraid not even a corpse collector. At this moment, a voice came from behind. How dare this young man go to the meeting alone? Challenge level 8 sec leader Fong Tianlei. Chu Yunhao pointed at the young man and mocked him, saying, You're not afraid to come alone. No one bought it even after death. At this moment, a bold voice came from behind. I saw Yi Jing Tian slowly walking over with a group of people. Skill cowardly. Dare to speak ill of Mr. Luo. Hong Biao angrily cursed at Chu Yunhao with a fierce expression on his face, who specifically said that Lord Luo was alone. Ah Dao angrily rebuked him for daring to bully my Lord Luo at home. Seeking death, Wang Kuan roared at him and glared at your dog's eyes. See clearly that we are a group of people. Chu Yunhao was frightened and speechless at the moment. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen looked curious as to why you all came. Yi Lao respectfully clasped his fists to explain. Biao Zi said you challenged the eight extremes gate today. I came specifically to support Mr. Luo. Chu Ba instantly showed a fierce expression. This old fox actually supports a furry kid. My brain was crushed by the door, right? The two masters who came to watch began to discuss. I saw Master Ma asking Chen with a curious expression on his face. What do you think about this matter? Chen Boijiao's confident answer. I'm afraid. Feng Tianlei just used this kid as a stepping stone to leave the mountain. It doesn't matter who the opponent is anymore. At this moment, a roar came from within the field. Everyone was shocked upon seeing the situation. That's when I saw a tiger with its big mouth open. Roaring at Luo Chen. Chu Yunhao secretly rejoiced upon seeing this, and now you are doomed to die. I saw the entire stadium instantly shrouded in smoke. An old man walked out of the smoke. I am the 8th level sect leader. Feng Tianlei, the young man, answered lightly. Luo Chen. Feng Tianlei walked towards Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on his face. Is it your kid who injured my junior brother? Have you figured out how to die? Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Have you considered working in the circus? Chen Guojiao saw the situation. Immediately curse at Luo Chen. Bastard thing. How dare you insult the great master. Master Ma showed a smirk on his face. You're excited about knitting. If you're not satisfied, you go down and fuck him. Chen Boijiao put on a self-righteous appearance. If he wants to win the wind and thunder, I live stream upside down eating loudly. Upon hearing this, Feng Tianlei suddenly became angry and embarrassed. Crazy with shame. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Come on, Feng Tianlei is furious and seeks death. After speaking, he clenched his fist and jumped into midair. Then he violently left towards Luo Chen. Just hear a bang. Fist hit the ground. Luo Chun leaps backwards. Directly evaded the attack. The wind and thunder followed by bouncing and flying. Once again, he punched Luo Chen and left. Luo Chen relaxed effortlessly. And easily blocked this heavy punch again. Feng Tianlei gave a cold smile upon seeing the situation. Sure enough, there are two sons. Wan Yang Jun and Morong Xiong both fell under your command, right? Luo Chen's answer remained unchanged. 
So what? A cold smile appeared at the corner of Feng Tianlei's mouth. As expected, it's you who stood up for the Yi family behind the scenes. After speaking, it's like a fierce tiger descending the mountain, leaping towards the Luo dust storm. Am I right, young master? Chen Guajiao's face was immediately shocked. This kid is actually a master. At this moment, Luo Chen's face showed a playful expression. It seems that you are not too foolish either, but it's not enough either. Smart. I saw a wall suddenly appear in front of Luo Chen, blocked his attack. Feng Tianlei saw this situation, suddenly stunned. Just hear a bang. The trend of flying sand in the stadium, with a surging momentum, the people around looked shocked. What is that? Feng Tianlei was trembling and panting heavily at the moment. A splash of blood flowed from the corner of the mouth. He wiped the corners of his mouth, with a sly smile on his face. Just destroy him. Immediately shouted loudly at Luo Chen. Except for Lin Hualong, you are the second person who hurt me. As a reward, then let you try my ultimate trick. I saw a cyclone appearing in his palm. Then he waved his palm and fiercely slapped Luo Chen. Go to hell, master of the eight extremities sect. Feng Tianlei launched the ultimate ultimate move towards a young man. Go to hell, just listen to a loud bang. Earth shaking and mountain shaking, dust flying in the air. Yi Jing Tian quickly turned around to protect Yi Xuanxuang. Chu Yuanhao was knocked down to the ground by a powerful impact force. Chen Guojiao's face was immediately shocked. Surprisingly, it's a splitting air palm. This move even the spirit dragon dare not accept. That young man actually didn't even hide. Chu Ba saw the situation. Excited applause and cheers on the face. Playing well, the leader is brave and invincible. Feng Tianlei showed an arrogant expression on his face. What about the young master? No, it's still buried under my empty palm. At this moment, a gust of strong wind howled past, blow away smoke and dust, walked out and scathed and slowly. I saw a slight smile at the corner of his mouth. This is the strongest move you've ever practiced in your life. When the wind and thunder struck, a shocked expression appeared on the face. What Chu Yunhao is like exploding thunder on his head. Almost startled my chin. Really? Damn it. Feng Tianlei saw this situation. Incredibly roaring in anger. It's impossible this is absolutely impossible. Luo Chen moved his shoulders with a dull expression on his face. The great master is just like that. After listening to the wind and thunder, with an angry expression on his face, he rebuked. Why do you say that you are a great master, but... So Luo Chen gave a slight smile at the corner of his mouth. From beginning to end, have you ever seen me take the initiative to move? Don't you want to know the reason? The spiritual power activated by Luo Chen during his speech. I saw a sudden condensation of air in my palm. Feng Tianlei widened his eyes with fear upon seeing this. At this moment, only a bang was heard. Luo Chen slapped his chest with a palm. That's because killing you is like slaughtering pigs and dogs. A mournful howl full of pain on the face during the stormy thunderstorm. This is impossible. Then a large pit suddenly appeared on the ground. The wind and thunder directly transformed into gas, dissipate in mid-air. The father and son of the Chu family are like a bolt from the blue. Startled, he opened his big mouth. Hong Biao gave Luo Chen a thumbs up upon seeing this. Fucking awesome. Luo Yan Nyobi. Everyone applauded excitedly and cheered. Good fight, Lord Luo. Mighty and powerful. Master Ma mocked Chen Guajia and said, Brother Chen, who just said they were going to live stream upside down eating Xiang? Chen Guajia was furious and shouted loudly, Shut up, I have to kill him today. After speaking, Master Chen pulled out his long sword with a snap. Look at me within three moves. Take his life. I saw a sword energy brush roar out. Luo Chen fearlessly inserted his hands into his pockets. A turn around. Easily dodged his attack. Luo Chen saw this situation. I'm really a bit surprised. I saw Chen Bo slowly walking over with a long sword in hand. Brother Tianlei and I are brothers and sisters in love. My Tai Chi sword technique, Chen Bo Jiao, will avenge him. After speaking, he picked up his sword and went berserk towards Luo Chen. Go ahead and die. The father and son of the Chu family seem to have seen the dawn of life. Cheer loudly, Master Chen, come on. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen gently lifted one hand. Just hear a bang. Instantly repel it. Later, Chen Bojo collided heavily with the stone wall. Grandmaster of the Tang Dynasty. Just like this, he was slapped to death by Luo Chen with a firm palm. The father and son of the Chu family suddenly looked embarrassed and speechless. Luo Chen patted the dust on his hands. 
I asked coldly if anyone else was dissatisfied, so let's go together. Everyone's face was filled with fear and dared not speak. Xu Yunhao politely gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. How could Luo Chen be so powerful? At this moment, someone screamed in panic, look at it. What is that? I saw a huge ice wall. With a loud bang, he appeared in front of Luo Chen. This young man only relies on one palm. He quickly killed two great masters in a row. If anyone else is not satisfied, let's go together. At this moment, someone is shouting, look. What is that? I saw a huge ice wall. With a loud bang, he rose up from the ground. Chuba burst out laughing with pride upon seeing the situation. Being able to possess such divine power, it must be the master coming. After hearing this, Chu Yunhao's face was full of doubts. Master Chuba then explained to him, It's the mysterious Taoist I mentioned to you before. Rumor has it that his strength far exceeds that of his master. Killing a boy surnamed Luo is as easy as the palm of one's hand. After hearing this, Chu Yunhao's lips curved into a faint smile. There is such a divine being here. Luo Chen is dead today. The disciples of the Eight Extreme sect began to discuss one after another. Our master's revenge can finally be avenged. Lucky child. Undoubtedly, one must die. At this moment, the frozen staircase is transformed, slowly spreading downwards from the ice wall. I saw Chu Ba with a group of people, hurrying forward with a jog all the way. Then he knelt down on the ground, shouting to the people on the ice wall, We welcome the master. The master answered with a gloomy and cold expression on his face. Get up, everyone. Seeing this, Luo Chen's face remained unchanged and he secretly thought to himself. This is already known as the end of the plenary session. Xu Yinhao saw Luo Chen standing still with his pestle. Show a face full of ridicule. This kid. Shouldn't you be scared out of your wits by that scene just now? I'll see how the master messes you up later. I saw a playful expression on Luo Chen's face. Oh, it's a bit interesting. Then he roared at the master as a servant. Don't get the hell out of me yet. Everyone turned around with angry expressions and looked at Luo Chen. What kind of disciple of the 8th level gate immediately rebuked him angrily? Hello big dog bile. How dare you insult Master Zhang. At this moment, Master Zhang's whole body was huddled together. Rolled down the wall with a thud. Everyone shouted at Master Zhang with a look of admiration on their faces. Master. Unexpectedly, Master Zhang's round body flew into midair. Then he knelt down in front of Luo Chen with a thud. Met the owner. The people around were instantly shocked. Master, what kind of ghost? Even Yi Zhengtian and Yi Xuanxuan were covered in circles. What situation? Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. It seems that some people still can't figure out the situation. So he walked up to Master Zhang and ordered him to do so. Can you explain who it is? Master Zhang's face was flustered and he was sweating in cold sweat. To the master's words. I am your servant. The father and son of the Chu family are like thunder on top of their heads. His eyes widened in shock. How could this be possible? Upon hearing this, Hong Biao immediately burst into joy. You don't think it's embarrassing either. Surprisingly, he knelt so decisively to Lord Luo's servant. At this moment, everyone was trembling all over. I dare not make any more noise. Luo Chen ordered Master Zhang to stand up. Leave Chu Yunhao behind. You should know how to handle the rest. Master Zhang quickly agreed to comply with the order. Subsequently, Luo Chen approached him with a serious expression and remembered it for me. Everything that happened today. It's all your fault, Master Zhang. Screen rotation. After arriving for three days, two teenagers arrived at a shanty town. I saw the short boy muttering with a puzzled expression on his face. That's right. The information states this place. The tall boy complained with a displeased expression on his face. If we let those guys from the blood demon sect, knowing that their new instructor lives in such a place, it's strange not to rebel. At this moment, Luo Chen is throwing garbage downstairs. The short boy stepped forward and said hello upon seeing the situation. Hello, could you please inquire about it? Does Luo Chen live in this area? Luo Chen's cold answer is suitable for him. A boy is riding a whale on the sea, flying to work. This makes the students with blood disorders directly. Stupid, just now. Bloodshot training base on Dongyao Island. Several strong men are standing on the shore watching. A tall and strong man walked behind a short and strong man. Inquire with the captain. We have already set sail with the transport ship. The wind and waves are so strong today. Can the new instructor still come over? The captain answered coldly. Whether or not he can come depends on his abilities. This small matter cannot be solved. I am not qualified to be our instructor. At this point. 
Luo Chen has followed two young men to the port. The blue-haired man looked at the leader Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on his face. Surprisingly, led a brat who was still wet and wet. Go and lead the group of monsters in the blood sha. Who believes this when it comes to speaking out? Does Su Xiao think that this spy conference will be a bloody defeat? That's why I asked him to take the blame. At this moment, the three of them walked to the shore. Unexpectedly, the transport ship was missing. The blue-haired man said that there were too many storms today. Without a transport ship, it's impossible to pass through. The yellow-haired man spread his hand. Helplessly, he said that new recruits will be selected and transferred tomorrow. Anyway, we have to make it today. Then he glanced at Luo Chen with an angry expression on his face. Those guys from the bloodthirsty sect want to hold a star. Instructor, why don't you join us too? At this moment, Luo Chen said coldly with a dull expression on his face. I'll go there myself first. You guys can figure it out yourselves. The two of them immediately looked shrouded in circles upon hearing this. What are you joking about internationally? Do you swim over by yourself? Luo Chen leaped silently onto the sea surface. I can only see the surrounding seawater. Instantly condensed a huge whale. Luo Chen stood on top of the whale's head and shouted to fly. Then the whale flew into the air as if it had grown wings. Then Luo Chen rode on it with both hands in his pockets. Rushed towards Dongyao Island. Oh needs to go to the training base. Jean Mao's impatience on his face at this moment, has there been any movement? The black-haired man replied with a displeased expression that there was a hammer. The waves are so big today. The new instructor is determined not to come. Jean Mao took the telescope with a cursing expression. Is this star instructor really cowardly? Surprisingly, he still wants to lead our bloodthirsty demon. Then he picked up a telescope and looked at the sea surface. How could he suddenly scream after taking a glance? I rely on being tall and strong to angrily scold evil spirits at him. What the hell is your name? The evil ghost pointed towards the distance with a panicked expression on its face. Captain, I saw someone riding a whale flying in the sky. The captain directly cursed at him. Do you think Zhuangzhou has played too much? Why don't you say you saw Angela? At this moment, a strong wind howled in. The captain looked up with a shocked expression on his face. At this moment, Luo Chen is riding a whale and flying over the island. Everyone was covered in circles when they saw the situation. What is this thing? I only heard a loud crash. Whales turn into rainwater and instantly dissipate in midair. Luo Chen landed on one foot and landed on the ground. Then, with both hands in their pockets, they stood at a high place on a rock. After seeing Luo Chen, everyone looked shocked. Who is this person? I saw Luo Chen with a cold and indifferent expression, saying, Master Luo Wuji, it's your bloody star instructor. The sound is like a Luo. Everyone almost startled their chins. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen asked with a serious expression on his face. I heard that instructor Xing has taken office. We need to have a discussion with the students to see if it's okay or not. The captain couldn't conceal his fear after hearing this. Mr. Luo, it's not. Luo Chen saw this and a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Why don't you dare? Then I'll fight against all of you with just one hand. And never move half a step. The captain was instantly angered upon hearing this. Mr. Luo, even if you have extraordinary strength, but our entire blood demon is not a vegetarian either. After speaking, everyone clenched their fists with an angry expression on their faces. Luo Chen's gaze condensed upon seeing the situation. Say it coldly, then come up with a move. A teenager on Dongyao Island. Surprisingly, all personnel who want to challenge the blood shah. I only use one hand, and don't move half a step. Everyone has a look on their faces. With an angry expression, he clenched his fist tightly. It's simply arrogance. After speaking, everyone jumped up in one fell swoop, violent towards teenagers. Tall and difficult to anger, call me first to take the call. Then he swung his fist and smashed it at the young man. I saw the young man gently extend a finger. Easily blocked his attack. The man's expression suddenly changed. How could this be possible? Just hear a bang. The man was directly repelled. Throwing backwards. The others immediately dispersed towards the surroundings upon seeing the situation. A slight smile from the corner of the young man's mouth is very nice. Orderly attack and defense. The cooperation is relatively good. I am much stronger than the person who previously held a Ningyu hostage. But it's still too weak. Everyone was instantly slapped and knocked to the ground by the young man. The captain gritted his teeth and dared not speak in anger. What kind of monster is this guy? Surprisingly, he didn't take half a step. With just one hand, we were all knocked down. 
The young man looked serious and asked if he wanted to continue. The captain quickly waved his hand and begged for mercy. I dare not, Mr. Luo, become an instructor. We are convinced to take it orally. Luo Luochen's gaze condensed. Long Long said, then you all remember it well. Be obedient and obedient to me in the future. Everyone immediately stood at attention and shouted, yes. Unexpectedly, Luochen waved his hand. Command me to go back to sleep. After hearing this, everyone immediately looked shrouded in circles. What the hell is sleeping at this point? Screen rotation. Arrived on the second day. A transport ship is slowly sailing towards Dongyao Island. On board the ship, a middle-aged man comforted Chu Yunhao and said, Don't be nervous. I'm here. You are so easily bloodthirsty. Chu Yunhao looked grateful and thanked Uncle Chang very much. Then he revealed a sinister smile on his face, Luo Chen. Why are you waiting for me? You caused my Chu family to fall apart and die. This revenge is not avenged. I, Chu Yunhao, swear not to be human. Within the bloodshaw base, a group of new students stood in line at the office entrance, waiting. At this moment, Luo Chen is sitting in the room waiting for the assessment of the new students. Chu Yunhao just entered the house. I was stunned by the momentum here. Bloodshaw personnel, as terrifying as, everyone's breath is enough to crush Su Ao. Uncle Chang smiled and handed a list to Luo Chen. Luo Zongjiao, I am Chang Ji Gua, responsible for developing the potential of blood demon individuals. This is the personnel information for the selection of new recruits. Subsequently, he ordered all the newly arrived personnel to come over to me. Chu Yunhao just realized, the chief instructor of Bloodshot turned out to be Luo Chen. He suddenly exploded like thunder above his head. His eyes widened in shock. How could this be possible? Luo Chen pointed to the newly arrived crowd. Long Long said, except for him, everyone else can leave now. After hearing this, everyone looked shocked. What saw behind Chu Yunhao? A timid inquiry from a young man. Is that me? Luo Chen answered with a firm expression on his face. That's right, it's you. Changji Kingdom saw the situation. Hurry up to stop it. Mr. Luo taught you how to choose the person with the worst qualifications. I don't need to look at the information anymore. Reconsider. For example, this Chu Yunhao is very outstanding. Luo Chen said coldly with a disdainful expression on his face. Is it really me who selects the right person? Or do you choose people? Chu Yunhao's veins burst with anger in an instant. So he rushed forward and pointed at Luo Chen, cursing loudly at someone surnamed Luo. You must definitely not die easily. Tall men see this. Get up immediately. Roaring at him, are you a special kid? Are you looking for death? The captain immediately reached out and stopped him. I saw Luo Chen get up and approach Chu Yunhao. You still don't understand. Why did I repeatedly let you go? When hopes are shattered time and time again, isn't it really amazing? Chu Yunhao saw Luo Chen extend his hand. A sudden panic appeared on the face. What exactly do you want to do? Then he immediately turned around and desperately fled to the outside world. Don't kill me. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen gently clenched his fist. Just one scream echoed through the entire building. The evil ghost saw this situation. Scared to the point of numbness on the scalp. Sleeping in a slot is also too scary. The captain suddenly burst into a cold sweat of fear on his face. Just now, I stopped Zhang Fei. I just want to see how Professor Luo handles this matter. I didn't expect his methods to be so ruthless. In the future, even if I die, I can't go against this guy. At this moment, Luo Chen commanded with a murderous expression on his face. Put him in a jar for me to feed well. Don't fuck me to death. Inside the base dormitory, the captain is currently studying diligently. Work hard to learn. Suddenly, a woman's roar came from the walkie-talkie. Where have you guys gone? What are they all doing? Outside the bloodshot base, a long-legged girl is putting on a fierce look, a milky and fierce appearance. He scolded the walkie-talkie with a displeased expression on his face. Master just left a few days ago. You guys started stealing. The blood fox quickly explained with a look of grievance on its face. Sister Shui, the order given by the wrongly accused instructor is to go to sleep. Aunt Guan Shui was immediately furious upon hearing this. What is sleeping for training? This is not a rope tied to a chicken's butt. Is that bullshit? I'll go find her now. The blood fox quickly shouted with a frightened expression on its face. Never use it. Instructor's room. At this moment, Luo Chen is flipping through the materials of blood sha. Originally, the medication injected by Shui Sha. It is a mysterious liquid collected from Kunlun, obtained through multiple dilutions. Just a little bit. 
can activate the physical functions of ordinary people, generate tremendous changes. It seems that there must be some connection between Kunlun and the immortal realm. At this moment, the door was knocked open with a loud bang. I saw Ant Guan Shui angrily walk in. It's the new instructor Luo. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen said coldly with an ignoring expression on his face. Next time you come in, knock on the door first. Upon seeing Guan Shui, Luo Chen is just a teenager of his own age. A contemptuous expression immediately appeared on his face. Don't think that being the chief instructor is impressive. I am the logistics support and training consultant of the blood demon. The official position is not lower than yours. Upon seeing Luo Chen, Guan Shui remained silent. He angrily patted the table. Inquire why blood demon training is not arranged. Don't you know? Is there only two months left for the spy competition? At this moment, Blood Tiger and Scarman are one. He rushed over with a panicked face. Scarman quickly pulled Guan Shui aside. My aunt should say a few less words, right? Blood Tiger ran to Luo Chen in a cold sweat. Chu Sheng apologizes. Mr. Luo calls Shui Yi a girl who is not sensible. You, adults, don't remember being a petty person. Don't be angry. Aunt Guan Shui didn't know the consequences of provoking Xian Zun. I saw him push the scared man away with one hand. I must ask him to give me an explanation today. Otherwise, the words will not fall into place. Listen to the sound of brushing. Something flew past him. Take a closer look. Surprisingly, it was a blank piece of paper. Watching the snow, I suddenly felt fear in my heart. Soft bow external collision. Finger bow for picking flowers. This method is definitely a great master. I saw Luo Chen ask with a gloomy expression on his face. Otherwise, what? Guan Shui was suddenly scared and burst into tears. Sorry, Mr. Luo taught me that I was wrong. Luo Chen saw the situation. A light answer, let's not do it again. He immediately ordered the blood fox to call Wei Ziqing over. After receiving the order, Wei Ziqing, I rushed over immediately. Professor Luo, please give instructions. I saw Luo Chen slowly get up, inquire at them. Do you have any objections to my training methods? Blood Tiger and Scarman looked helpless and dared not make a sound. Luo Chen walked over to Wei Ziqing's side. It's okay to continue with any doubts. I'll give you half a month for free training. And Wei Ziqing adopted my approach. I can guarantee that. Half a month later, he will definitely be able to defeat all of you. The three of them were immediately shocked upon hearing this. What kind of scar? Difficult to charge Luo Chen reminded me. Wei Ziqing didn't even inject any medicine. He is still an ordinary person at the moment. Blood Tiger's face full of doubts once again confirms. Mr. Luo, take this statement seriously. Luo Chen answered with a serious expression on his face, without any joking words. After Aunt Guan Shui and the three of them left. Wei Ziqing's stuttering expression. Mr. Luo taught me how to beat those seniors. Luo Chen comforted with a firm expression on his face and said, Don't worry. As I said, just do it. How could Wei Ziqing know? I am a hundred battle immortal that is rare to encounter in 10,000 years. Anyone with this constitution, once entering the cultivation intention, will surely become the dominant force on the imposing side. Once upon a time, a slightly inferior Tai Xian body, it can cause a complete upheaval in the immortal world. If Wei Ziqing was born in the immortal realm, it will definitely cause an unimaginable sensation. Wei Ziqing hesitated and thought to himself, since Professor Luo has such confidence, I must believe him to be right. Thinking of this, he ignited a fierce fighting spirit. Mr. Luo taught me that I can start training any time. I will definitely not disgrace your cultivation of me. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen patted him on the shoulder and said he wasn't in a hurry. Have a good meal first. Do you want me to order takeout for you? Wei Ziqing's face was immediately shrouded in circles. Within the blood shah base, the chief instructor actually brought a new recruit, treating sunbathing as training. The evil ghost looked at Wei Ziqing with an unhappy expression on its face. Is this kid having a great time? We're risking our lives running here. He's actually doing photosynthesis. I opened my mouth and patted him. Comfort General Daluo and take him to eat, drink, and have fun all day long. I must have given up struggling. Screen rotation. A few days after arriving, Su Xiao is carrying a mysterious young woman. Arrived at the training base. Miss Yang, this way, please. Aunt Guan Shui asked with a puzzled expression on her face. Chang Ji Guo Chang Shu, Mr. Luo really didn't go to get the potion from you. When Chang Ji Kingdom thinks of Luo Chen, a fierce expression appeared on the face. Even if he wants me to, I won't give it to him either. 
Aunt Guan Shui became worried after hearing this. Jiangdi tycoons are patrolling today. Coincidentally, I caught up with Mr. Luo's pressure to gamble. If you lose, it's really embarrassing to just pull and grind around with bare buttocks. After Su Xiao saw Luo Chen, he greeted with a warm expression on his face. Brother Luo, long time no see. Then he leaned over to Luo Chen's side, whispering softly, You've only been here for half a month now, just gave me a big challenge. Surprisingly, a person who doesn't receive an injection. The vegetable chicken of the potion challenges the entire blood demon. It's a bit hasty, isn't it? Unexpectedly, Luo Chen said with a serious and cold expression, What? You're questioning me. Su Xiao quickly explained with an accompanying smile that she dared not. I dare not at this moment. Yang Jiev walked towards Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on her face. You are the new instructor invited by Lao Su. Turns out he's a young and inexperienced kid. Su Xiao awkwardly introduced brother Daluo. This is Yang from the Jiangi Armed Forces. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen did not respond. Directly turn around and command Wei Ziqing. Go notify everyone to come to the training ground. Yang Jie suddenly became angry and embarrassed. So he shouted at Luo Chen and cursed at you, kid. Don't be so arrogant. I want to see what skills you have. Can you still hand over that new recruit to the sky? Subsequently, all members of the Blood Shah quickly rushed over. Professor Luo, please give instructions. Blood Tiger looked puzzled when he saw Su Xiao. Wasn't it agreed to come tomorrow? Why did you come today? Su Xiao immediately walked to the side of Blood Tiger. Remind me quietly to arrange something with you, when we wait for the competition. Unexpectedly, the middle-aged man accompanying Yang Jia. He approached with a sly smile on his face. I said Su Xiao, what are you trying to do? We can't cheat. Su Xiao immediately scratched her head with an embarrassed expression on her face. It's over now. Mr. Luo can only seek his own blessings. At this point, Luo Chen ordered everyone to follow suit. Give me your all. Everyone quickly responded and complied. Luo Chen looked at Su Xiao. With a slight smile on your kindness, I understand. Su Xiao saw the situation. With a helpless sigh on his face, Yang Jia sneered with a contemptuous expression. This kid is too arrogant, isn't he? If you lose, we need to make him leave immediately. Luo Chen ignored his sarcastic remarks at all. He instructed Wei Ziqing to prepare to start. Only Luo Chen understands the most in his heart. Wei Ziqing already possesses a hundred battles of immortality that are difficult to encounter in history. Under the cultivation method of the Taishu Palace in the Immortal Realm, after being trained by Fallen Dust, his current strength is close to entering the market. Evil ghosts are the first to appear and accept challenges. Upon seeing this, Wei Ziqing was immediately frightened and his spine furrowed with fear. The evil ghost is known as the fastest man in the blood demon world. Fast enough to kill in one blow. At this moment, a cold smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. I won't be lenient later. Chang Jibua saw the situation, with a disdainful cold snort on his face, training less than half a month, and they haven't injected any medication yet. How could it possibly have caused blood stasis? The weak kid with the surname Lung Bing will definitely lose today. At this moment, the evil ghost transformed into a lightning bolt. Xiu rushed towards Wei Ziqing with a loud cry. What would happen if I offended you? Wei Ziqing tightly closed his eyes, striving to feel the spiritual power inside the body. Suddenly, he suddenly opened his eyes. In my eyes, a blue aura burst out in an instant. Subsequently, the evil ghost that came plundering suddenly stopped in front of him. On the field, a golden-haired man is waving his claws, violent towards a teenager. A blue light appeared in the young man's eyes. Jean Mao instantly stood still in front of the young man. The young man was momentarily stunned by this situation. Does time stop? No, it's probably because time is too slow. Make it imperceptible that he is moving. At this moment, Luo Chen was showing a satisfied smile towards him. The young man immediately felt fear upon seeing it. Does Mr. Luo teach us how to do things normally? Are we all living in a state where time is almost stationary? It's also too scary. The young man leaned over to Jean Mao's side. Jean Mao suddenly felt a sharp pain in his face. With a loud bang, he was punched by the young man and flew away. Just spit out the overnight red bean milk tea. Then it fell heavily onto the ground. Everyone was immediately shocked. What? At this moment, Jean Mao opened his big mouth with a frightened expression on his face. What just happened? Why was I suddenly knocked away? The captain shouted evil at him. The ghost admits defeat. The evil ghost sits paralyzed on the ground. A face covered in circles. Captain, I'm just the captain. 
immediately explained that if it were on the battlefield, I'm afraid you've already hung up. I saw the evil ghost on the back of his neck. Two blue marks suddenly appeared. Huang Pi Lao saw this situation. Show a skeptical expression. I really saw a ghost. Yang Jie doesn't even believe what just happened. Zhang Fei's active wrist walked up. Let me take a look. The captain stopped him in one go. Wait, let me go. The captain understands very well in his heart. There is not much difference in strength between Zhang Fei and the evil ghost. I'm sure it's for free if I go. Wei Zichin saw the situation. Immediately respectfully speaking of senior Blood Tiger. Please provide more guidance. Blood Tiger slowly walked towards him. Let's start then. After speaking, he suddenly rushed towards Wei Zichin. Just hear a bang. Wei Zichin blocked the attack with his arm. Then the captain kicked the ground with a single kick. Wei Zichin leaped up with one leap. Step back. This really surprised him a bit. Senior Blood Tiger is truly a veteran of blood evil. Every move can unexpectedly disrupt the breath inside my body. At this moment, Blood Tiger clenches its fist, slam him fiercely again. I saw Wei Zichin wave his hand and easily push away his fist. Blood Tiger's expression suddenly changed. What, followed by falling to the ground with strong thrust. At this moment, his heart is filled with fear. Really? Damn it. The first force of the bloodshaw was defeated like this by a new recruit. Who believes this when it comes to speaking out? At this moment, Wei Zichin's flash. I came straight to him. Senior blood tiger offended me. Just listen to a loud bang. Backed more than 10 meters by being punched by Wei Zikinji. He exclaimed in disbelief that it was impossible. Immediately give a sudden growl. I also vomited out the red bean milk tea. Su Xiao saw the situation. Shocked on the face. I'm afraid Wei Ziqing ate some elixir, right? Their strength is so amazing. Yang Jian questioned with a serious expression on his face. Chang Ji Guachang Professor. Wei Ziqing, are you sure? Injected medication. Chang Ji Kingdom quickly explained with a look of grievance on his face. I'm starting to suspect that I made a mistake when you asked me. At this moment, the blood tiger roared uncontrollably. This is impossible. He eats, drinks, and plays all day long. How could you possibly defeat me? Luo Chen walked slowly over. Speak indifferently. To win, one must let go of the glory accumulated before. Experience and identity. Then start over again. Until surpassing oneself. After everyone listened. A thought-provoking silence. At this moment, the yellow-skinned guy walked over with a burst of laughter. Your acting skills. It's a pity not to win the Oscar. Clean up some crooked and unscrupulous things. Who are you deceiving? Wei Ziqing immediately angrily rebuked. What are you saying specifically? Within the bloodshaw base, a yellow skinned guy is putting on a show of wanting to be beaten up. Should I award you the best performance award? Wei Ziqing immediately angrily rebuked him. Nonsense. The yellow skinned man stroked his chin with a contemptuous expression on his face. You are a new recruit who has been training for half a month and hasn't received any potions yet. How could it possibly defeat a bloody veteran? He's just a scumbag. Burning incense ghost talented belief. Luochen said with a serious and cold expression on his face. There's no room for you to speak here. A cold smile appeared at the corner of the yellow skinned man's mouth. Oh, if you're not satisfied, you can have a fight with me. For this, he gave a light reprimand with deer antler on his face. What kind of onion are you? Teach Mr. Luo to take action. You don't deserve it at all. Huan Pi Lao laughed arrogantly on his face. I am the grand guard of the capital region. Hun Yuan Xingyi intersect senior disciple. Yellowmouth children are shameful and reckless. Yang Jia walked up and gave orders to him, saying, Wang Zhua, first give this kid some color to see. Let's fight with instructor Luo after winning him. Huan Pi Lao put on a proud and forgetful appearance. Okay, Su Lingchu smiled awkwardly as a companion. Miss Yang, let's just forget about this matter. It's important to get down to business first. At this moment, Luo Chun commands. Ziqing mounted his horse. Wei Ziqing quickly agreed to comply with the order. Yang Jie looked displeased upon seeing this. With a cold snort, the guy who doesn't know the height and thickness of the earth. I have to give him some color to see today. Huan Pi Lao put on a defensive posture, come on. The little actor only heard a whoosh sound. Wei Ziqing clenched his fists and rushed towards him. The yellow-skinned guy let out a cold snort with an ignoring expression on his face. Immediately, he easily dodged his attack on one side. Then, with lightning speed, he punched fiercely. Just hear a bang. Wei Ziqing was instantly attacked and swallowed. Wei Ziqing patted the dust off her body. 
I secretly thought to myself that I had heard of Tai Chi for 10 years without going out, practicing medicine for a year and killing people. This old gang is so skilled in controlling power. At this moment, the yellow-skinned guy punched him fiercely and came towards him. Wei Zichin quickly clenched his fists to resist. The sound of fist collisions instantly echoed throughout the entire arena. Luo Chen sighed at the sight, Ziching, don't play with him anymore, apply a little force. After hearing this, Wei Ziching quickly agreed to comply with the order. The yellow-skinned guy sneered disdainfully and said, what are you pretending to be? Look at me not hitting you, kneeling and begging for mercy. Grasping the fist is like a fierce tiger rushing down the mountain. I saw Wei Ziching's eyes instantly coalesce. With a whoosh, it flashed behind him. The yellow-skinned man's face suddenly changed drastically. What? Wei Zi lightly and forcefully reached out and grabbed his body. Then a backward tilt directly threw it out. Huang Pi Lao slammed onto the ground with a loud bang. Su Lingxu saw the situation, immediately excited and shouting, well done. Yang Jia saw this situation, suddenly speechless. Wei Ziqing pointed to Huang Pai Lao Jiao for guidance. It's all said that you're not worthy of teaching Mr. Luo how to fight. Then he turned around and slowly walked off the field. Huang Pai was so angry at this time that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. This stupid thing. How dare I lose face in front of my leader. I must have killed you today. He immediately stood up and lifted his palm, preparing to launch a surprise attack on Wei Ziqing. Blood Tiger shouted in panic, Ziqing, be careful. I saw a figure flying past with a swoosh. Fallen dust flashed directly to his side. Pinched his pickled pepper chicken feet. The yellow-skinned man screamed in pain on his face. Blood Tiger angrily scolded you at him, really shameless. How dare not speak of martial arts ethics. How to expect it. The yellow-skinned guy actually started to argue, but who really gave up? This competition is clearly not over yet. Before the words fall, Luochen directly pulled the phoenix claw into two pieces. The yellow-skinned guy instantly screamed in pain at my arm. Yang Jia saw the situation, immediately roared at Luo Chen with the surname Luo. Hello, you have a lot of courage. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen directly took that half of the phoenix claw, threw it over his head. Yang Jia opened her big mouth with a frightened expression and quickly took it away from me. Su Lingxu was so scared that he didn't dare to make a sound. Luo Chen calmly said to him, take the person away, save their lives as dogs. I can't help but repay your favor just now. Then he glanced at Wei Ziqing behind him. Remember in the future, never leave your back to the enemy. In the previous episode, it was mentioned that Huang Pi Lao didn't talk about martial arts and played in moves. Immortal Zun took the lead and directly tore off his pickled pepper chicken feet. Rest room. Su Lingchu defended Yang Jia with a frantic expression on her face. The martial arts competition just now. It's clear that Wang Zhu doesn't talk about martial arts ethics. Online, Yang snorted coldly after hearing this, but I don't care about you. These people who hurt me, I will definitely report it truthfully. No matter how the upper authorities punish him, it's all his own fault. Su Lingchu immediately roared at him. What you said is too much. If you ask me, Wang Zhu deserves it. Yang Jie's lips curved into a sinister smile. Since you want to apologize for him so much, then I'll give you face. As long as someone surnamed Luo can lead the blood shaw. Take care of the corpse king from Tianjia village in Xiangxi. The incident of harming Wang Zhuo can be written off in one stroke. Su Lingchu was momentarily stunned. This old woman is really cunning. Surprisingly, I want to give the mission of a near death to the blood shah. Immediately, he refused Yang Jie's request without hesitation. No, right now. Luo Chen slowly walked in. Can Su Ling? After seeing it, there was a slight tremor. Mr. Luo, why did you come? Yang Jia's face showed a look of disdain. This silly hat really doesn't know how to live or die. Unexpectedly jumping into the pit of fire, Su Lingchu quickly stopped Luo Chen. Back then in Xiangxi, just a few small zombies caused a nationwide uproar. This time, the entire village has been moistened. Moreover, there is also a corpse king that even Taoist masters dare not provoke. Luo Chen interrupted his words without fear. Just leave it to me. Don't worry. How did Su Lingchu know? Luo Chen understands better than anyone else in his heart. The corpse king cholera in Xiangxi was precisely influenced by his rebirth. And also, his information about Kunlun is not complete enough. Just in time to take this opportunity to upgrade my level, obtain higher permissions. Yang Jie saw that Luo Chen had agreed so decisively. Immediately clap your hands and say hello. If the instructor is so confident, then we must wait for good news. 
tasks that I dare not even take with a military knife. How can the blood shall be completed? Now, if we don't miss out, the whole army will be destroyed. Saiguan Xiangxi. Qingxue City General Tong Ran smiled awkwardly and said, Zikue Clan Chief, just kick as much as you want. Zikue refused without any concern. This is not a matter of money. The position of ancestors cannot be moved without authorization. Even if you give up all your possessions, I won't agree either. Zhang Tongran wants to continue fighting for it, but was stopped by a woman, Zikue clan chief. Since that's the case, so let's say goodbye first. Zikue said coldly without hesitation, slow down, no delivery. Zhang Tongran followed with a puzzled expression on his face. Auntie, haven't you always taught me, do we need to know how to persist in doing business? The woman gave a slight smile at the corner of her mouth. Stupid girl, persisting is not just about persisting in fighting. Only by knowing what he wants. Only then can we continue our conversation. At this moment, a person slowly walked towards them. Upon seeing this, Tong Ran was immediately taken aback. Take a closer look. The person who came is Luo Chen. He warmly welcomed Xiao Chen's younger brother. Why are you here? The woman approached with a curious expression on her face. Tong Ran, this young man is a general. Tong Ran quickly introduced each other. This is Luo Chen, whom I often mention to you. Xiao Chen's younger brother. This is me, Yuelan Hut. Two people with four eyes facing each other. Suddenly fell silent. Xin Yuelan reached out and said hello first. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen had no intention of shaking hands with him. Just a serious reminder on his face. It's best to throw away the things you have on your hand. Xin Yuelan thought to herself with an embarrassed expression on her face. This kid is really weird. It seems that we cannot let Tong Ran get too close to him. Zhang Tong Ran asked Little Chen's younger brother with a curious expression on his face. Are you here to find the chief of the Kuei clan? Luo Chen's faint answer is yes. Although those people with blood stasis have been injected with drugs, but ultimately, they are ordinary people. Luo Chen came here. It's here to find a way to resist the corpse poison. After listening to Tong Ran, immediately, he approached with a smile on his face. Are you familiar with him? Can you do me a favor for my sister? Xin Yuelan quickly stopped it. Tong Ran cannot seek medical attention in a hurry. Luo Chen saw the situation. Ask coldly and say it. What's going on? Zhang Tong Ran explained the causes and consequences of the incident. Originally, Xin Yuelan wanted to build an orphanage in the city center. But the land I'm interested in is owned by the Apu family. Because there is a family ancestral hall built. So they refuse to transfer. Ruachin is a bit puzzled. Why do we have to take that piece of land? Jiang Tongran explained that, because it's close to schools and hospitals there, Xiaobu wants to provide the children with the best living environment. After hearing this, Luo Chen, without hesitation, he agreed to it. I can help with this favor. Xin Yuelan sighed with suspicion on her face, young man, it's better not to boast too much. It will be embarrassing if it cannot be fulfilled by then. I saw Luo Chen's eyes condensed, asking coldly, but first you have to answer me a question. Do you know Luo Yang Su? After hearing this, Xin Yuelan smiled slightly. I was shocked, but my answer was stuttering and I didn't understand. Is there any problem? There was a hint of disappointment in Luo Chen's eyes. It seems like I overthought it. This young man is just one sentence. Let Captain Apu agree to the transfer of the temple. The woman on the side looked shocked. What even the chief minister can't handle is, he can handle it with just one sentence. Xin Yuelan questioned Luo Chen with a questioning expression on her face. I have already answered. Should you fulfill what you just said? I saw a hint of disdain in his eyes. Why is this kid here? Being able to secure something that even a heavy sum of money from me cannot accomplish. Luo Chen Ma walked silently towards Zikue's house. Zikue heard Zhang Tongran shout, reveal the face full of disgust. Why are they the two again? With a dissatisfied expression on his face, he complained to me that Boston, why are you so uninterested? Unexpectedly, he was taken aback when he saw the person outside the door. Mr. Luo, why did you come? Zikue poured a cup of tea. Speak up Mr. Dialuo's request. How could I be too embarrassed to refuse? Then, he instructed the maid. Print three copies of the transfer contract and send them to you. Xin Yuelan was shocked upon seeing this. This becomes. He looked at Luo Chen incredulously. What exactly is the origin of this kid? Xin Yuelan accepted the contract with a joyful expression on her face. Thank you, Zikue. Clan chief, 
Jiang Tongran smirked at Luo Chen, Xiao Chen's younger brother. Wait for you to finish your work, sister, treat you to dinner. Xin Yuelan is even more delighted, young man. Auntie, remember this favor. If you need anything in the future, just let me know. How to expect it? Luo Chen said with a cold and indifferent expression, let's just forget it. I owe you a favor. Ordinary people can't repay it. This made Xin Yuelan feel uncomfortable at the moment. This kid's attitude is really annoying. Subsequently, he angrily left here with Jiang Tongran. Apu's basement. At this moment, Sikue took out a jar. Mr. Luo, you're asking the right person. We dare to try. One pulse. Indeed, many methods have been passed down to resist dampness and toxins. Then he took out a bead from the jar. The most effective way is to use this yuzhu. Put it on your body. Can absorb all corpse venom within five feet. Luo Chen picked up the yuzhu and looked at it. I don't know what the effect will be when encountering the blood corpse king. Zikue was extremely shocked upon hearing this. Do you want to deal with the blood corpse king? Luo Chen gave a slight smile. I can't let you give away the ancestral hall for nothing, can I? Zikue immediately shouted excitedly. If Mr. Luo can catch the corpse king, don't say it's a temple. You want all the land of our tribe in Xiangxi. I will not be ambiguous either. Subsequently, Zikue told Luo Chen about the situation of the blood corpse king. In Jiangi, there is an extremely terrifying organization called Tianyao Group. And this time, the release of the blood corpse king. He is one of the lackeys of the Xiangxi Shi family. The Shi family stole the Empress corpse. I originally intended to keep it for myself. How to expect it? Even the 14 ghosts, the founder of the Stone family, find it difficult to subdue him. He almost got killed by the corpse king. After the corpse king fled to Haidong, encountered Luo Chen. Then he fled back to Xiangxi again. As of now, many people have already been dismembered. I never thought about the damage caused by the corpse king using the blood spirit shield. It was able to recover in just a few days. Helplessly, they notified the armed forces. Hear this. Luo Chen opened his mouth to inquire. Since the armed forces have been notified, so there should also be some movement in the aristocratic family, right? Zikue continued to explain. Ten companies have joined forces with major enterprises in western Hunan. Throw a thousand gold coins recklessly. Inviting various masters to come and take it. Poet Wang Luochen has some doubts. The housekeeper must have invited you too. Zikue snorted coldly with a displeased expression on his face. He was poisoned by the corpse of fourteen ghosts. Already on the brink of death. This time he invited me. It must be the intention of a drunken man not to drink. I want to use the name of cooperation to hand over the secret recipe of Yuzhu. Luo Chunjian. Then he asked him if he was willing. Willing to listen to my advice. Zikue agreed without hesitation. Please ask Mr. Luo for guidance. First of all, you must go to the invitation from the Shur family. Then I improved this batch of you pigs. Distribute. It would be best if 14 ghosts could also obtain it. Inside the Shurjia courtyard, a man is carrying a black chicken and white phoenix pill. The man beside him asked Lao Lu with a puzzled expression on his face. Are you sure this was distributed from the Apu family? Lao Lu nodded at 6 o'clock. The answer is absolutely accurate. At this moment, an old man with a lifeless face slowly walked over. Bring the Yuzhu over. Since Zikue dares to distribute it to the public, then there must be no problem. Lao Lu handed the Yuzhu over. Ghost Lord, please. The Ghost Lord immediately reached out and picked up the bead. I saw that bead instantly emit blue light. A black aura emerged from his body, pouring into the beads. Then he screamed in agony on his face. The subordinates shouted in horror at the sight of the situation, Ghost Lord. What's wrong with you? I saw that the Ghost Lord had already returned to his normal expression at this moment. Screen rotation. Arrived on the second day. A little white-faced man came to visit the Ghost Lord with a smile on his face. Has Guaybo's health improved? This person is the eldest son of Tianyao Group, Zhang Yifei. Ghost Lord sees the situation. Hurriedly welcomed him up. It's truly Jiang Xiao. The news is indeed well informed. Jiang Xiao sneered and walked straight over. Oh, my goodness. There really is someone who can cure the venom left by the blood corpse king. I think it must be the Apu family who dares to try their hand, right? The ghost lord immediately praised Jiang Xiaozhen for his extraordinary intelligence. I saw Jiang Xiao sitting on the main hall with an arrogant expression on his face. You flatter me quite well. What are your plans next? I saw a faint smile on the corner of the ghost lord's mouth. Let's first get our hands on the good thing developed by the Apu family. 
capture the blood corpse king again, and then use the corpse king to occasionally spread the corpse poison. At that time, the entire Xiangxi and even Jingnan region will undoubtedly belong to Tianya group. After hearing this, Jiang Xiao from all over the world quickly clapped and cheered. Sure enough, ginger is still old and spicy. Then he asked with a gloomy expression if there was a foolproof solution. Ghost Lord waved his small hand, resolutely answered Jiang Xiao, you can rest assured. Zakina, the little girl has already agreed to go to Xichuan for an appointment. Grandmaster and young master of the Lu family will also come together. Moreover, I also specially invited the mysterious Taoist from Haidong. Jiang Xiao felt his chin with a proud expression on his face. That's the one who killed Feng Tianlei. As long as we can capture the blood corpse king and Apsky, no matter what demands he makes, we all agreed to him. At the Lion King capture mobilization meeting the next day, 14 ghosts warmly welcome brother Daofenghu. Don't come safely. I saw a little old man complaining with a dissatisfied expression on his face. I said sure Lao, your place. Far away, even Cho Tuan is unwilling to take orders for takeout. At this moment, a man walked over. Fourteen ghosts shouted at him, isn't this Luja? Xiaolu quickly walked up to greet Tiger Lord with a fist in his hand. Old sure, I have made two seniors laugh at me. Little Tiger sees the situation. Immediately, the business will support each other. I'm such a terrible old man. How can I compare to you, kid? I became a great master just after my thirties. I'm afraid you're the only one in the world, right? Sure Lao Jian, the time has come. Invite two people to take their seats. Two grandmasters. Please note that this situation is rare in the nearby Jiang area. Ask the two men in black next to them. How do you feel? The man in black turned around and snorted coldly. Is that okay? At this moment, someone caught Jiang Xiao's attention. I saw Jiang Tongran shouting happily at Luo Chen. Xiao Chen's younger brother. You're here too. After seeing this, Luo Chen looked curious as to why you guys were also here. Xin Yuelan sneered at Luo Chen and said, We all come to sponsor under the name of a company. What is a little kid running here for? Being kicked out can be embarrassing. A playful expression appeared on Luo Chen's face. Oh, you. The level of this statement is insulting my intelligence. Still insulting oneself. After hearing this, Xin Yuelan. Suddenly, my veins burst with anger. Don't you have a good word? Kid, at this moment, Jiang Xiao approached Lani with a fake smile on his face. Sister Ran Ran, you all have come. Then he looked at Luo Chen. Inquire about Sister Ran Ran. Don't introduce me to it. Jiang Tong Ran saw the situation. He quickly introduced himself as Luo Chen, my good friend. Luo Chen Ma glanced at him silently. Jiang Xiao smiled and reached out his hand, walking over. Hello, my name is Jiang Yifei, Ran Ran's cousin. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen had both hands in his pockets. No response was made. Jiang Yifei awkwardly withdrew her hand. Then he slowly walked up to Luo Chen. I saw him fiercely threatening Luo Chen. You better stay away from Sister Ran Ran. At the mobilization meeting for the siege of the Blood Corpse King, a red-haired girl sitting with her front in danger, he glanced curiously at the young man behind him. At this point, an old man on stage was speaking with a fake smile on his face. The blood corpse king is cruel and violent. Misfortune and chaos attract each other. Capture it. It is the duty of our strong side that cannot be shirked. A little white-faced person downstairs quickly clenched their fists for reconsideration. Captain Sure is right. We will definitely fully cooperate. Sure Laudan handcuffed back. I solemnly announce that among all of you present today, someone has found a way to resolve the corpse poison. After hearing this, everyone was discussing who had such a big deal to do. Perhaps the people from the Medicine King Valley have also arrived. I saw Mr. Sher looking down at the audience with a gloomy expression on his face. Apu Clan Chief, when are you planning to install it again? A cold smile appeared at the corner of the ghost's mouth. Chief Sher wants to be executed in seclusion. I can offer it with both hands. And anyone who participates in the encirclement and suppression of the corpse king, I will give him one every time. But I have a condition. Immediately, he looked at Sher Lao with a serious expression on his face. The blood corpse king must be handed over to me. Apu families rise and fall. It's impossible for Sher Lao to put on a fierce appearance. The blood corpse king escaped from your hands. This account hasn't been settled with you yet. Zikue immediately took out a spiritual talisman. Instead of facing each other face to face, could you please explain to Chief Sher? Why is it on the corpse seal of the corpse king? 
there will be your sure family's hidden evil skeleton. After hearing this, everyone showed a puzzled expression on their faces. Sher Lao saw this and angrily scolded him, feeling extremely embarrassed. I advise you to obediently hand over the recipe for Yuzhu as soon as possible. Zikue laughed heartily upon hearing this. The original purpose of the Stone Clan Chief. It's just for the secret recipe of my Apu family. Sher Lao is furious and speaks less nonsense, whether to pay or not to pay. Zikue turned around and left with an ignoring expression on his face. Don't even think about it. Then let's each rely on their abilities to arrest the Blood Corpse King. At this moment, a group of people rushed out immediately. Immediately, with a fierce expression on his face, he blocked Zikue's way. The leading man threatened Zikue and said, So many people came today. Assist Xiangxi in relieving necropsy. Shifapu, don't be disrespectful. Zikue smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth as he saw the situation. In broad daylight, this is going to be a hard fight. I see that you are clearly using the name of a teacher as a punishment. Seize the momentum of plunder. The man was immediately speechless upon hearing this. Shin Yuilan from the audience saw this situation. Accused the finished product of the Yuzhu not to go. A recipe that requires a certain person. At this point, Lao may have gone a bit too far. Unexpectedly, Jiang Xiao beside him began to roar angrily. What are you waiting for? Don't give it to me yet. Shin Yuilan angrily rebuked Ifei at him. What are you doing here? Jiang Ifei was furious after hearing this, so please don't worry about me. I saw everyone shouting and rushing towards Zikue. Get him up. Let the Apu family redeem someone with a recipe. Zikue's face immediately showed fear upon seeing this. With a loud bang of anticipation, everyone was instantly knocked away by a powerful impact force. Then he fell heavily onto the ground. At this moment, one person was slowly walking towards Zikue. I saw a playful expression on Luo Chen's face. Are you guys? Snatched the wrong person. You should ask me for the recipe for Yu Zhu. Xin Yulang Dundan had a shocked expression on his face. What is it about him? The stone man snorted coldly with a disdainful expression on his face. What a forbidden dancer. It seems that the leader of the Apu tribe has invited a big hand. Xin Yulan rushed up with a panicked expression on her face. The ten team leaders all had a misunderstanding. He's just my nephew. When I was a child, practicing martial arts was foolish. He definitely doesn't have any recipe in his hands. Ruachin said with a dull expression on his face. Auntie is also too unkind. At this point, you still need to damage me with two more sentences. Xin Yuilan scolded with a panicked expression on her face. Stinky kid, hurry back. This is not a place for you to show off your abilities. Luochin said coldly without any fear. Auntie, rest assured. If nothing happens. Seeing this, Tong Ran stepped forward to comfort him. It's okay, you must trust Xiao Chen's younger brother. At this moment, Shi Lao showed a fierce expression towards Luo Chen. Unknown generation. Lack of fear. There is a way to heaven, you won't go. Hell has no door. If you break in, let me know. Just finished speaking. A subordinate whizzed away towards Luo Chen with violence. I saw Luo Chen standing dumbfounded with an ignoring expression on his face. Then, with a gentle wave of one hand. Just hear a bang. Fallen dust directly killed that person on the ground. Everyone looked shocked upon seeing the situation. What? Sher Lao's eyes widened with fear on his face. The little deer saw this situation. Unbelievably shout out. Great master, how could this be possible? At this moment, Luochen said coldly with a murderous expression on his face. I detest set up robberies the most in my life. Dishonest and treacherous. You guys didn't even miss a single one. So you all have to die. How terrifying is it for this young man to start a fire? Last second, it was still possessed by a divine being, the great master of spiritual power rampage. In the next second, he will be directly held in mid-air with one hand in his hand, easily locked my throat. Just now, the young man only slapped. Just shoot one of your subordinates to death on the ground. The man in the black robe suddenly looked shocked. This kid is definitely not easy. Jiang Yifei saw this situation. Be so angry that you grit your teeth and gnash your teeth. So he solemnly declared to everyone. Who killed this kid today? Reward 100 million cash. Just finished speaking. A little white faced person volunteered and walked up. I'll do it. He is the only great master among the younger generation. How could he allow others to surpass him? He walked confidently to the young man with a full face. Threatened that we are all born for the sake of the world. You carry a life saving secret recipe but he insisted on not handing it over. No wonder my subordinates are merciless. Say summon him to a spiritual talisman. 
placed between fingers. Today, I will take care of the pest for you. Then he grabbed the talisman and lifted it high above his head, loudly drinking snake eggs in his mouth. Sher Lao looked shocked upon seeing this. Is this the unique skill of the Lu family, the Fu Dao technique? The tiger lord next to him explained with a smug expression on his face, which was correct. What he is using is the top level technique in the Fu Dao technique, capturing the evil god. At this moment, Xiao Bai's face is already possessed by a divine being. Ignite a blazing flame. His eyes lit up with flames, saying with a murderous expression on his face, I am the youngest great master, so you must die. With a whoosh, he flashed behind the young man. The young man was slightly stunned at the sight. Just listen to a loud bang. Ground explosion. Dust flying in the air. Zikui shouted in panic at Mr. Luo. Sher Lao seized the situation. Quickly stop little white-faced Luja. Save his life. To prevent fraudulent formulas. At this point, a figure faintly appeared amidst the thick smoke. I saw the little deer being tightly squeezed by Luo Chen's neck, placed in mid-air. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth, using the magic of this illusory god. Surprisingly, there is no trace of divine aura. I'm really disappointing. The little deer trembled with pain all over its face. Sher Lao saw the situation. With a frightened expression on his face, he shouted loudly, Why is this kid so powerful? Ife's furious and furious roaring ghost Uncle Ding. You guys go up together. All of you present here. Who can kill that kid? I'll add another 100 million in cash. After hearing this, everyone was in an uproar. Make Tong ran strong and vigorous. He angrily rebuked Ife Ran Ran Jia. Please, please don't do this. Cut off Ife's enraged and furious roar from her financial path. Like killing parents. I had to kill him today. Just finished speaking. Tiger Lord leaped up with one leap. Rushed up. The young master is so generous in his actions. How can we be disrespectful? The black robed man clasped his hands together. Activate spiritual power. You guys should hold him down first. Give me time to set up the formation. Sher Lao followed suit. Understood. Xin Yuelan saw the situation. With a panicked face, he shouted at Luo Chen, Stinky boy. Run quickly, I saw Tiger Master waving his fist. It's already halfway through the air. Sher Lao also rushed from the ground. Simultaneously launch an attack. The little deer sees that the time has come. Activate spiritual power to summon prisoners. With a loud bang, the spirit talisman exploded instantly. The little deer took the opportunity and escaped with a panicked expression on its face. Then he wiped the blood from the corners of his mouth. Secretly secretly delighted. This silly fork exploded close to the spirit talisman. I'm afraid there's not even any residue left, right? Unexpectedly, Luo Chen stood in place and scathed. With a bang. Punched the leaping tiger lord with his leg. Sher Lao seized the situation. Cried with an angry expression on his face. Let you taste the power of my stone family bone beast. I can only see from the green atmosphere. A venomous snake and centipede emerged. The poisonous beast, summoned by him, swept away towards the Luo dust storm. I saw a golden light flickering in Luo Chen's eyes. The poison killing beast instantly exploded in response to the sound. Sher Lao immediately spat out the overnight red bean milk tea. How could this be possible? How could my beast hunt be instantly destroyed? The three great masters on the battlefield. Unexpectedly beaten to tears by a mysterious young man. Just now. Fourteen ghosts spit out the overnight red bean milk tea directly. This is impossible. How could my bone beast be instantly destroyed? Tiger Lord covers his chest. Showing a face full of panic. Really? Damn it. Three hits and one actually hurt a man's morale. Has this kid already joined the party? Xiaobai teamed up to grab the prisoners and shouted to the two seniors. Take out all your assets. I won't kill him today. Endless future troubles. Sher Lao sees the situation. With a gloomy cold snort on his face. How dare I destroy the bone beasts I have raised for many years. Today, I will make sure you take your life to investigate. So he held the puppet in his hand. Shout loudly. Fu Xie Gu Poison. With a single wave of one hand, little white face. Immediately, three captured spirit talismans were summoned for triple violence. Tiger Lord saw the situation. Swinging his fist directly and bursting towards the young man. In an instant, two major magic damage combined with physical damage. Surround the young man. Kill him, and the ground instantly explodes with a loud bang. Everyone saw the situation and fled in panic. Xin Yuelan showed a face of panic. Luo Chen quickly grabbed Tong Ran and grabbed him. Wave lit danger. At this moment, Tiger Lord swung his fist and fiercely smashed at Luo Chen. 
Just hear a loud bang. Luochen bouncing and leaping, easily dodged his attack. Watching Gu Du and Ling Fu quickly approach Luochen, I saw Luochen tightly closing his eyes, reciting incantations silently. Countless green leaves flew to his side with a rustling sound, then he suddenly opened his eyes. Green leaves instantly ignite a blazing flame, completed in mid-air. With a gentle wave of one hand, the green leaf transformed into a sharp sword and flew down fiercely. I saw a magical attack instantly repelled by green leaves. Everyone suddenly exclaimed in disbelief, how could this be possible? At this moment, Luo Chen reached out and pointed to the ground. Countless green leaves turn into sharp swords and shoot towards the enemy. Everyone waved their hands to resist. The crashing sound echoed throughout the entire battlefield. The stone man shouted at the black rogue man with a panicked expression on his face. What kind of monster is this kid? Hurry up, Lao Ding is about to lose control. Xiao Ding quickly responded with a fierce expression on his face. Everyone, quickly move away. I saw a blood red formation suddenly appear in his hand, continuously emitting a terrifying buzzing sound. He threw the formation towards Luo Chen, shouting loudly for this formation. Los Angeles was slightly stunned at the sight of the situation. I saw the surrounding environment changing instantly. At this point, he was already trapped in a mass funeral party. Los Angeles was a bit surprised to see this situation. This technique can actually interfere with our own mind and spirit. Kind of interesting. At this moment, he is placed in the formation, unable to move. Shouting immediately slammed his palm towards the ground, abstained from vomiting in shock. Just finished speaking. A huge stone smashed fiercely towards the formation. Zikue exclaimed in panic at the sight of Mr. Luo. Sher Lao saw this situation, breathed a sigh of relief. He finally got fucked up, damn it. The black-robed man immediately stepped forward to remind him that the matter was not over yet. There is another one here. I saw Zikue kneeling on the ground with his legs full of disappointment on his face. He kept shouting at Mr. Luo in his mouth. Sher Lao walked up with a sly smile on his face. Apu clan chief, don't worry, once we get the recipe, I'll send you down to meet your little Ching. Zikue angrily rebuked them, despicable and shameless. At this moment, the ground suddenly vibrated. The black-robed man was immediately shocked upon seeing this. On what battlefield? Two elderly men surrounded a red-haired girl. At this moment, the ground suddenly vibrated. The black-robed man was momentarily stunned at the sight. What? I saw a sharp shot from the ground. Directly cut off his pickled pepper chicken feet. Sher Lao and Hu Yi turned back suddenly with a frightened expression on their faces. What is that? Hu Yi suddenly shouted loudly at Sher Lao. Chief Sher, be careful. At this moment, there is a hand rushing towards Sher Lao. Sher Lao was so shocked that his eyes widened. What? Sting. With a bang, dust fell from the ground. He directly slapped his dog's head onto the ground. Tiger Lord saw this situation. Quickly turn around and run away. This kid is actually still alive. Quickly withdraw, but unexpectedly, Luo Chen lightly waved his finger. The sharp sword transformed from green leaves rustled with a sound, cut off his dog leg. Then a scream echoed through the entire battlefield. The little deer, known as the first master of the younger generation, scared out tears directly. It's over now. Jiang Yifei saw this and planned to sneak away quietly. At this moment, Luo Chen flashed in front of him, slowly landing on the ground. Want to leave? Jiang Yifei was frightened and collapsed on the ground with a thud. Unexpectedly, not only did he not beg for mercy, instead, he continued to threaten and warn you not to come over. The mysterious Taoist from Haidong will arrive soon. Absolutely not his opponent. Luo Chen walked slowly towards him. Is it the mysterious Taoist who killed Feng Tianlei? Upon hearing this, Jiang Yifei exclaimed with a proud expression on his face. That's right, sensible. Get out of here quickly. Luo Chen laughed heartily and joked that in order to kill me, you just debuted 200 million. Please see, you only paid 70 million. It seems that the Taoist is not very good either. Upon hearing this, Jiang Yifei was immediately taken aback. How do you know that I spent 70 million? Luo Chen leaned in front of him. A cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Will it be out at 10 p.m. last night? Received at 5 a.m. today. Jiang Yifei's face was filled with fear upon hearing this. Who the hell are you? He quickly got up. Unbelievable shouting. Are you the mysterious Taoist? Luo Chen sighed with a dull expression on his face. Just your pig brain. Don't continue to guess. You just need to think about it now. What good things do you have worth me grabbing? Jiang Yifei fell silent upon hearing this. 
After thinking about it, a fierce expression appeared. Don't be too proud of yourself too early. Just rely on you and Apsky. It's probably difficult to take down the blood corpse king. At this moment, Chir Lao walked over with a panicked expression on his face. Jiang Xiao is right. As long as you let us go, we will assist you in capturing the blood corpse king together. I saw a playful expression on Luo Chen's face. Who told you that there were only the two of us? Please show me carefully. At this moment, a thunderous sound came from behind. I saw an armored vehicle parked behind the two people. Immediately after, the car door opened. A group of people walked down. Immediately, everyone stood beside Luo Chen, shouting loudly in unison, Professor Luo. Please instruct the two individuals to see this situation. Suddenly dumbfounded, Luo Chen aimed at the two of them with a faint tone. It's best for you guys to come back before I come back. Get everything I need ready. Sher Lao interrupted his words with a frightened expression on his face. I can spare my life. I really don't have much to say. Because Luo Ji heard a popping sound. Sher Lao instantly turned into two halves. Jiang Yifei, after seeing her. Suddenly, fear arose in my heart. Ruachen approached him. A serious and gentle reminder on his face. Otherwise, this will be your fate. Then he walked over. Command to lead the way through the crowd. In the small forest of Tianjia's eye, a red-haired girl clenched her fists at a young man. Thank you, Mr. Daluo, for your great kindness. Unforgettable. Why say thank you for Luo Chen's faint answer? Helping you get rid of Mr. Shur is just a simple task. Zikue asked with a curious expression on his face. Is there any grudge between Mr. Luo and Mr. Shur? Luo Chen pointed to a group of people behind him, smiling and explaining. I just don't want to train these guys. Someone came over to cause trouble. After hearing this, Zikue, an awkward smile on her face. That's why. I didn't expect you to be a member of the armed forces. At this moment, a man walked over with a disdainful expression on his face. Isn't this the new master Luo from the Bloodshaw sect? Blood Tiger sees symptoms. Immediately step forward and ask who the visitor is. Please step back, man. Introduced with an arrogant expression. I am Lu Qiming, commander of the first armed forces of Jingnan. Upon orders from the headquarters, I have come to assist you in arresting the corpse king. At this point, behind him, an old man with a gloomy face remained silent. Wu Qiming immediately put forward a statement. A proud and forgetful appearance. Although Professor Luo became a great master at a young age, but ultimately it is the power of the secular world. I'm afraid it's not enough to defeat the corpse riding king. After hearing this, Blood Tiger was slightly taken aback. What exactly do you mean? I saw the old man take off his clothes and hat, exposed a 24k pure gold light bulb. This person, it's Master Danba from Wushan Temple on the Shishan Plateau. It's already a half-step divine connection. After hearing this, everyone turned on their faces. Shocking what? Half-step divine connection. Isn't that even more powerful than those who have entered the Tao? Luo Chunjin. A playful expression appeared on his face. Oh, it's a bit interesting. Actually, he understands better than anyone else in his heart. The so-called Tongshan, equivalent to awakening from divine burial. Although this old man seems to have some skills, but it's a world of difference from true awakening. The bald head stands with one hand on its chest at this moment. Benefactor, don't blame me. Lao Na Yu ancestral robe. The blood corpse king. Phil and other secular dancers can easily defeat. And I just realized the face of the benefactor. It is known that there may be regrets to save. Why don't you leave this place of trouble earlier? Luo Chin smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth and shaved his head. I also calculated a divination for you. You must have a bloody disaster today. After hearing this, Wu Qiming, be speechless in a moment of anger. The bald man let out a cold snort with a gloomy expression on his face. Then he swung his scepter and smashed it fiercely towards the ground. I saw a surging breath burst out in an instant. Notice, misfortune comes from the mouth. Everyone was overwhelmed by the powerful pressure and couldn't breathe. Could it be that this bald donkey really has divine power? Wu Qiming witnessed the situation. A smug laugh on the face. You're a bit too arrogant, kid. Even the spiritual dragon. I dare not speak to Master Danba like this. The bald man turned around and left with an ignoring expression on his face. The ignorant are fearless. Let's go, Luo Chen with both hands in his pockets. With a serious reminder on his face, the monk. You must remember the disaster of blood and light. On the way to Tianjia's eye, everyone is rushing. Wei Ziqing asked Luo Chen with a curious expression on his face. You just said that the monk had a bloody disaster. 
Do you really know how to do divination? Luo Chen explained coldly that if I could calculate my fate, Chi Hui still stands here to peek at the sky's secrets. It's all an act against the heavens. This type of technique poses great harm. The weak will suffer from thunder calamity. On the spot, ashes fly and smoke disappear. Even the strong ones. The heavenly emperor will also consider the timing as the basis. Make you unconsciously trapped in temptation. A long time ago. I have a close friend. It can be said that there is no omission. Although the mystery has not been revealed. But in the end, it also received divine punishment. Even I am helpless. Speaking of which, Luo Chen turned around and smiled slightly at Wei Ziqing. Just now, I said that the bald guy had a bloody disaster. Without the use of divine strategies and clever calculations. If I say he has it, he must have it. Just keep an eye on it later. The terrifying blood corpse king. Surprisingly kowtow to a young man and beg for mercy. This made the bald guy next to him momentarily dumbfounded. What exactly is the situation? Just now, big bald head bears the brunt. Quickly solved the group of small zombies. So he held a scepter in his hand. Reciting incantations silently. With a loud bang. A huge demon slaying diamond descended from the sky. The bald man stood on King Kong's shoulder and shouted loudly, Evil beast. If you don't hurry up and capture it. Why can't these little miscellaneous fish get old? At this moment. A black shadow suddenly leaped up. Directly shattered the huge diamond in an instant. The bald head immediately fell to the ground with a splash. Take a closer look. That black shadow is exactly the Blood Lion King. At this moment, he exudes a terrifying aura all over his body. The bald man was a bit surprised to see this. Unexpectedly, this beast was able to break through my demon subduing King Kong with just one move. At this moment, the Lion King waved his powerful claws and exploded towards him. The bald man picked up his scepter upon seeing this. Slam it to the ground with a loud bang. The Blood Lion King was shaken by powerful pressure unable to move. The bald man quickly struck the skin tear on his waist. After hearing the sound of drums, the blood corpse king, roaring with a face full of pain. Wu Qiming was struck by the sound, causing a huge pain in his head. But the blood demon personnel showed no response. It seems that letting them sleep played a crucial role in training. They only did physical exercise before, causing complete dispersion of the medication. Letting them sleep is to help them regroup. Only in this way can the true efficacy be exerted. Thinking of this, Luo Chen charged towards the crowd and ordered everyone to prepare. We're about to start construction soon. The evil ghost picked up a telescope to observe the enemy situation in the distance. Master Danba has clearly gained the upper hand. Is Mr. Luo teaching me that this is stealing people's heads? At this moment, the bald man gritted his teeth with a panicked expression on his face. Unexpectedly, there was a loud bang. The buttocks in the waist burst instantly. Not good. The blood corpse king suddenly stood up and rushed towards him. The bald man quickly raised his fist stick to resist. The powerful impact force directly shook the diamond pestle in half. The bald man's face immediately showed fear upon seeing this situation. At this moment, the lion king opened his big mouth and rushed towards him. The bald man quickly turned around and ran away with a panicked expression on his face. 36 calculations. Going is a top strategy. Wu Qiming exclaimed in terror upon seeing the situation. Master Danba couldn't even beat him. This blood power king is invincible. Luo Chen saw that the time had come. Then he led the blood shot to charge up. He reminded everyone that the Yuzhu would shatter when it was filled with evil energy. In this situation, we must immediately retreat. Wu Qiming showed a disdainful expression upon seeing the situation. Aren't these idiots seeking death? Master Danba can't even beat him. Besides, what's more? The bald man shouted at the crowd with a panicked expression on his face. Run quickly, don't come over. Just finished speaking. With a bang, he fell to the ground. At this moment, the Lion King has already swept his body and approached him. Just as he was about to grab his face with his claws. Unexpectedly, the claw suddenly stood up and hung in mid-air. At this moment, the Lion King trembled all over and quickly retreated. I saw Luo Chen walking over with a smile on his face. Hello, we have met again. The Lion King immediately turned around and fled in chaos upon seeing the situation. The bald man suddenly had a face covered in circles. What situation? Luo Chen flashed directly in front of the Lion King. Then he slammed it with a punch. The flying Lion King slid more than 10 meters on the ground. Just stopped. I saw him shaking his head and head in a daze. Luo Chen flashed beside him with a swoosh. Don't try again. Your spiritual power has been sealed by me. 
The last move is not working well now. Then he lifted his knees and legs. Just kicked the Lion King out directly. The bald guy was shocked by this situation. Is Coach Luo still human? Luo Chen then ordered towards the crowd, saying, Seize the time to work. Everyone responded and complied. I saw that the Lion King was beaten by everyone and had no strength to fight back. Upon seeing this situation, Big Bald immediately froze in a daze. Are all the armed forces in the Central Plains so powerful? It seems that I should go back to Shishan and stay honest. At this moment, Luo Chen stepped on the Lion King with one foot. Don't pretend to be dead. Now I'll give you two choices. Either slap you to death. Either hang out with me in the future. How dare the Lion King continue to resist? Just listen to a splash. He knelt down on the ground. Then he kept kowtowing and begging for mercy. Express complete agreement. What can make this young man so angry? He jumped up in one fell swoop. Directly broke through the sky. Just now, Luo Chen successfully took the Lion King as his own. Junior attendant. Wu Qiming quickly grabbed the momentum of Danba and was about to leave. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen immediately stopped him and stopped. Do you remember the divination I just calculated for you? Standing with a bald head and one hand in front of the chest. Although I couldn't defeat the Lion King, I sighed inside. But with the protection of the tree of esoteric Buddhism. Where did the bloody disaster come from? Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Then with a loud slap, he was slapped in the face. Big Bald immediately handed over the overnight red bean milk tea, vomited out. Isn't this already available? Big Bald head with hands clasped together. Apologize to Luo Chen, Lord Luo. I did offend your excellency just now. I hope you show great mercy. Luo Chen didn't argue with him even when he saw the situation. I saw him asking with a serious expression on his face. When you inquire about your own destiny, clearly generating spiritual power fluctuations, tell me what you see. Big Bald quickly explained. Just now, I observed that Lord Luo's life was saved with regret. I dare to speculate that the root cause comes from the name. Luozi, three points each, one place. I believe there must be a part of life that is free from hardship. At this moment, a voice came from a distance, Little Brother Chen. I saw Jiang Tongren rushing towards me with a panicked expression on his face. He shouted with tears in his eyes, it's not good anymore. Something went wrong, and Luo Cheng quickly helped him. Don't worry about anything. Slowly speaking, Jiang Tongren cried and explained. Auntie and Ifei were involved in a mobilization meeting. We had a big argument just now. I don't know what Ifei did to make him faint. But the doctors can't find out what the reason is. Ruachan asked him with a serious expression on his face. Are the Buddha beads still in your hand? After hearing this, Jiang Tongren calmly thought for a moment. It seems like it broke apart during an argument. Is it because of this? Luo Chen answered with a firm expression on his face, yes. I already reminded him when we first met. Immediately remove it. Luo Chen understands better than anyone else in his heart. In the Buddha's pearl on Shin Yuelan's wrist. Hiding extremely complex spells. Once triggered. Even Luo Chen is not sure if he can be saved. Can only be actively removed by the wearer. To ensure safety and well-being. Jiang Tongran immediately told Luo Chen about the origin of the Buddha Pearl. Turns out that bead was gifted by a Taoist master from Shishan. Rumors have it that one can pray for blessings and peace for those they miss in their hearts. Xin Yuelan often says, he is sorry for his son whom he has not met for over 20 years. He knew it was just a superstition, believe it or not, because he brings all his missing and sustenance, all placed on that string of Buddhist beads. Hear this. Luo Chen fell into contemplation. At this moment, his phone rings. The person on the phone is none other than Luo Chen's father. Chen Chen, I feel inexplicably anxious today, so I'm calling you to inquire about it. Is there nothing wrong with it? Luo Chen comforted on the phone and said, It's okay, dad, but I have something to ask you. Have you been using the name Luo Yang Su until now? Luo's father looked at the jade pendant in his hand. Explained that when I took you away from Jiangi back then, to prevent the Shin family from pursuing. Just changed the name. Luo Chen suddenly realized. So he coldly asked if Shin Yuelan was my mother. Upon hearing this, Luo's father was immediately shocked. The jade pendant in hand immediately fell to the ground. Have you seen him before? Is he okay? Luo Chen was stuttering and unable to speak. Dad Luo was instantly excited and shouted, What's wrong with him? Is something wrong? Luo Chen said with a gloomy and cold expression that he was doing well. Dad, don't worry. We can reunite soon. Luo Chen frowned, hanging up the phone.
At this moment, his heart is filled with sadness and resentment. The scene of meeting my mother suddenly surfaced before my eyes. I saw him suddenly widen his eyes. Blazing flames ignited in my eyes. Immediately, his spiritual power erupted in an instant. My head was covered in black hair, all of which turned into white hair. Johnny Fei, who was originally determined to personally kill you. With a loud roar, a yellow lightning bolt descended from the sky. Falling dust leaps up with a leap, breaking through the sky directly. Everyone turned around to look at the sky. What's going on here? Is this momentum the same as Professor Luo? On the sky, a young man is shouting towards the sect at his feet. Hand over the Zhang Yi bandits, otherwise, I'll wipe out your entire family. After hearing this, everyone quickly exclaimed to inform the sect leader, just now. Shi Jia's high activity site. An old man's face was filled with anger as he sacrificed his life. Could you please stop wandering in front of me, passerby? Xiaolu pointed to the swollen face, shouting loudly, how should we solve it? That guy is a beginner. What can I bring to satisfy him? The old man snorted coldly after hearing this, what are you afraid of? Plus your father, there are a total of five great masters here. I don't believe he can ascend to heaven if he falls into the dust. At this moment, a golden light descended from the sky. Everyone witnessed the situation, with a shocked expression on his face. Following that, a figure fell to the ground with a thud. I saw him emitting a blazing fire all over his body. Take a closer look. The person who came is Luo Chen. At this moment, Luo Chen asked with an angry expression where Jiang Yifei was. The old man immediately put on a defensive posture. Roar, I don't know what to say. Because Luo's group directly devoured him. Luo Chen immediately waved lightly with one hand. The old man instantly turned into dust and dissipated in mid-air. The little deer saw this situation. Scared and quickly knelt down to beg for mercy. Master Luo, spare your life. The Diamond Gate and their team are going to Northern Sichuan. Upon hearing this, Diamond Gate Luo Chen lightly flicked his finger. I saw a spiritual power instantly shoot out. Directly cut off his pickled pepper chicken feet. At this point, a middle-aged man quickly stepped forward and helped the path. Son, are you okay? Luo Chen didn't continue to investigate further even after seeing the situation. With a loud bang, he jumped up and charged towards the sky. The man shouted at Luo Chen as he flew away. Thank you, Mr. Luo, for your mercy. Screen rotation. Arriving at the golden anal of Jugangshan. At this moment, a group of people were sitting in the hall, engaged in intense discussions. I saw a man reprimanding with an angry expression on his face. The Diamond Gate has always been indifferent to worldly affairs. How could we break the rules of the gate due to the grudges of the four people? A mustache immediately retorted. Because we don't care about the world. That led to Lao Chi being injured by someone outside. This revenge is not avenged. What is the face of my Diamond Gate? The man immediately scolded the other party towards him. But those who enter the path. If someone brings someone to come knocking on their door. Just finished speaking. A cold smile appeared at the corner of an old man's mouth. Is this where he said he could come? If there is no one leading the way, he will never find the diamond gate in his lifetime. At this moment, the ground suddenly began to shake violently. Everyone suddenly looked frightened. What is this moment? Luo Chen and the Lion King have flown to the gate of the sect. Huadong Luoji comes to lock people. Hand over the Jiang Yi bandits. Otherwise, I'll wipe out your entire family. The disciples of the Diamond Gate looked frightened upon seeing this. Shout loudly, go and notify the sect leader. The sect leader walked out with an unhappy expression on his face. What is his name? I'm not deaf. Then he snorted coldly at the Luo Chen in the sky, saying hello. Your Luo Wuji dares to come to my Diamond Gate and act recklessly. I didn't expect you to find this place so quickly. Someone is preparing to set up the formation. Luo Chen saw the situation. I explained impatiently that I am not here to cause trouble today. As long as you hand over Jiang Yifei, I'll leave immediately. The old man burst out laughing with disdain on his face upon hearing this. Yellowmouthed children are shameful and reckless. What do you think of my diamond gate as? Is it that you come right away? I'll leave as soon as I say. Upon hearing this, Luo Chen was immediately furious. Break me to death. After speaking, he flashed in front of that person in an instant. The old man exclaimed in terror, What? Just hear a bang. Luo Chen punched through his body with a punch. Unexpectedly, the old man revealed a faint smile. Luo Chen was slightly taken aback at the sight of the situation. I saw flames blazing around him in an instant. At this point, the old man gradually disappeared into place. 
being at the epicenter of the sound sheath of my underworld, how dare you be so reckless? How terrifying is it for this young man to start a fire? He let out a roar. Make the whole world tremble with it. Just now. Luo Chen is trapped in the Wangquan life jumping formation. The old man immediately ordered upon seeing this, saying that he had been formed by my formation. Kill him quickly. After hearing this, the two immediately rushed towards Luo Chen. Take it to death right now. A figure brushed past with a swipe. The Lion King instantly eliminated one of them. The old man shouted in terror at the third person. This kid actually brought a helper who entered the Dao level. At this moment, the figure waved its claws and exploded towards him. The bald man looked shocked upon seeing his face clearly. The voice of monsters has not yet fallen. With a popping sound, the banquet was opened directly. The crowd was so frightened that they dared not speak up. At this moment, the Lion King is standing in front of Luo Chen. Roar at them in anger. I saw Luo Chen's eyes condensed. Cold and cold. I'll give it to you again. Our last chance. The old man saw the situation. With a gloomy threat on his face, he said. It seems that you have some skills, kid. Kill my two brothers. How could my diamond gate be willing to give up easily? Then he roared loudly and angrily. Xientian Mountain Protection Formation. After hearing this, the disciples of the sect. Everyone clasped their hands together. Activate spiritual power. A transparent shield appeared prominently above the mountain. With a loud bang, it fell down. Envelop Luo Chen in it. Luo Chen saw the situation. A slight smile at the corner of the mouth. Then he gently lifted it with one hand. A flame instantly emanated from the palm of the hand. Slammed into the shield with a loud bang. Unexpectedly, the shield was hit but remained unscathed. If Chen sees this situation, slightly stunned, or it may be a bit interesting, the old man immediately put on a proud and forgetful appearance. This ninefold Xientian formation is our Vidra sect protector formation. Rumor has it that it comes from the handle of Emperor Ziwei of the immortal family. How can a mere physical fetus break through with one force? This really surprised Luo Chen a bit. I didn't expect it to be here. Unexpectedly hiding in ancient building, the top level magic array left behind. The old man burst out laughing with disdain on his face. Why did you hesitate so quickly? Didn't you just say that the mudguard died? There is a way for you to break it. Just making me die. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. Okay, I saw his spiritual power burst out in an instant. This will fulfill you. Just finished speaking. A huge vortex appeared in the sky. With a loud roar. Several golden lightning bolts descended from the sky. The citizens of Linzhou City at the foot of the mountain see this celestial anomaly. Controversy and discussion. What is billions of Buddhas? At this moment, Luo Chen shouted loudly, Yu Yu. Forget about the invincibility of the emperor. Then he lifted his palm high, placed above the head. Tai Wang sword. Suddenly, a golden long sword condensed from his hand. Luo Chen suddenly seemed a bit struggling. Although, this is just a projection condensed from divine thoughts and not the real emperor's sword, but with my current awakening of the power of the third layer, still difficult, the Taihuang sword, which completely controls the falling dust and stares at it, with a helpless sigh, I brought you to my hometown for the first time, but in this awkward posture, I really wronged you, after speaking, he held a long sword and fiercely swung it towards the shield, just hear a loud bang, the golden light instantly illuminated the entire earth, Everyone reached out to block the dazzling golden light upon seeing the situation. I only realized when I looked up that my shield had been shattered by falling dust. The old man exclaimed in terror, Who the hell are you? Luo Chenmoth silently put away the imperial sword. Slowly walking towards him, the old man immediately turned around and fled in despair upon seeing the situation. Please don't kill me. Master, help me quickly. At this moment, a big beard ran out. Hurry up and stop Luo Chen. Stop it. I saw Luo Chen hanging with one hand in midair. Then gently clench your fist. The old man instantly turned into a fan. Dissolve in place. Big Beard looked shocked upon seeing this. He immediately pointed at Luo Chen and shouted boldly, waiting for him. Dare to kill me in front of me. Ata Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. If you ask me to stop, I will stop. Why did you go earlier? Big Beard asked in a trembling voice. You're here for that kid from the Jiang family. Luo Chen's cold answer. Previously, it was indeed, but now I have changed my mind. After hearing this, Big Beard was immediately shocked. What exactly do you want to do? Luo Chen's gaze condensed, showing a murderous expression on his face. Destroy your entire door. 
A young man outside the door of King Kong's gate has his eyes fixed on him, saying with a murderous expression on his face, destroy your entire door. The old man rebuked with an angry expression on his face after hearing this, shy and reckless, do you really think that there is no one in my diamond gate? After speaking, he waved his hands and shouted spells, immediately summoned a huge black dragon. Black dragon opened its big mouth and rushed towards Luo Chen. Luo Chen quickly bounced and leaped, dodged his attack. Following that, a black dragon appeared behind him and came rushing towards him. Luo Chen was slightly taken aback at the sight of the situation. Are there two of them? Next, a side turn. Once again, we dodged the attack. Luo Chen frowned tightly and thought to himself, just now, in order to break through the Xian Tian formation, almost exhausted spiritual power. If we switch to the usual, I slapped them to death earlier. At this moment, the old man shouted loudly at him, this is just the beginning. Then he waved his arm, instantly summoned countless black dragons. I saw all the black dragons open their blood basins and big mouths. Bite at Luo Chen with a hiss. Luo Chen's gaze condensed. Speaking coldly, it's just ants. Unexpectedly forced out two sets of trumps from my master. I have taken note of this shame. After speaking, he activated the titanium gold protective aura inside his body. A huge golden aperture instantly appeared before my eyes. All the black dragons stopped instantly after entering the aperture. The old man shouted in panic, what's going on here? Why hasn't my Kowloon responded? Ruachin gently lifts one hand, with a cold snort, since I have used too much gold. Why don't you just play a big one? Then he clenched his fist tightly, placed above the head, two few golden images. Just finished speaking, the surrounding spiritual energy erupted instantly. Just listen to a roar. The spiritual energy condensed into a huge golden dragon. Then nine identical golden dragons appeared, soar up in the air, breaking through the sky. Then Jinlong opened his big mouth, spray out golden flames. In the blink of an eye, the black dragon was burned to ashes, dissipate in mid-air. The old man saw this situation, suddenly numb and stunned. Do you also know? Luo Chen asked with a murderous expression where Jiang Yifei was, handed over obediently. I will give you some pleasure. After listening, the old man, a faint smile appeared on his face. He's right inside. I'm afraid you won't be able to take him with you today. Then he waved his hands, shouting loudly, come out of here. I only saw all the disciples of the sect, slowly emerging from a wave of evil energy. Dust scattering. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Jean Long's mouth. Do you think these people can stop me? The old man started shouting with a proud expression on his face. Everyone here has been manipulated by the formation technique. Once he is killed, our souls will be firmly attached to the killer's body. As long as you're alive, don't try to completely get rid of it. Luo Chen sighed with an ignored expression on his face. It's simply childish. Just finished speaking, a dark shadow rushed into the crowd. The old man exclaimed in shock, what is that thing? I saw the Lion King raise his palm, continuously roaring with anger. Luo Chen ordered Dao Tong Tong to kill him, not leaving one behind. The old man saw this situation, trembling all over. You kid actually subdued the Blood Corpse King. He actually understands very well in his heart. The Blood Corpse King already feeds on messy flesh and blood. This is really stealing a chicken that won't erode the rice. Luo Chen walked towards him with a smile on his lips. Who said that killing must be done by the master himself? I have already given you a chance. It's because you don't cherish it yourself. The old man shouted in disbelief. It's impossible to be at this moment. Suddenly, a counterattack appeared on the soles of Luo Chen's feet. Several chains burst out of the ground in an instant. Surround him. Luo Chen was slightly taken aback at the sight of this situation. What terrifying blood corpse king. Surprisingly transformed into a cute little lowly. Just now. Luo Chen stepped into it with one foot, in a magic array surrounded by iron ropes. He touched it with a curious expression on his face, a faint and transparent barrier. Is this some kind of shortcut? The old man burst out laughing with disdain on his face. Fighting me is still too tender. Those deadly cannon fodder. Just to buy time. Can die under my ultimate move. You're lucky for three lives, kid. Upon hearing this, Luo Chen remained silent and ignored his face. I saw the old man clasping his hands together, shouting loudly and angrily to the imperial censor of the 10,000 divine dynasties. Thunder thunder orchid. Just finished speaking. The sky was instantly shrouded in dark clouds. A few faint purple lightning bolts lightly brushed past. The reporter at the foot of the mountain saw this vision. So we started the live broadcast. 
Luo Chen saw this situation. A cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, indicating that he was already quite old. There's quite a bit of flower work to do. Do you think Si Kongjin has played such a little trick too much? Do you deserve the word Lei Lan? The old man mocked Luo Chen and said, Wang Ba Ku Zi, you're not as stubborn as you are. I see how you can avoid my heavenly thunder. After hearing this, Ruachin sighed with a dull expression on his face. Why hide? I saw him pointing his finger towards the sky. Then he shouted loudly, Lei Lao San. I saw the dark clouds all over the sky dissipate in an instant. The reporter at the foot of the mountain was covered in circles when he saw this situation. What is this situation? The thunder just now. The old man exclaimed in disbelief upon seeing the situation. This is impossible. I sacrificed the thunder summoned by the aid. Why did it just disappear like this? Ruachin immediately pointed his finger at the old man. Let you see what the real thunder is. I saw him on his fingers. Ignite a golden sharp radar. Just finished speaking. With a loud roar. A golden lightning bolt descended from the sky. Directly burned the old man to ashes in an instant. Fallen dust. Put down your finger. With a cold snort, it's important to note that there is an urgent need for lightning training. Coming and going without a trace. How could it be brewing like you? Then he ordered the blood corpse king, whose face was full of shock, to stand beside him. Clean up the corpses outside. By the way, I found a decent outfit to change into. After hearing this, the Lion King quickly nodded and agreed. In the lobby, Zhang Yifei was hiding behind the pillar, trembling and trembling. Ruachin suddenly leaned behind him with a gloomy expression on his face. Master Jiang, who are you waiting for? At this moment, the Lion King is outside selecting his outfit. Suddenly, a scream came from behind. After hearing this, the little Lion King quickly ran over and bounced around. I saw Zhang Yifei trembling all over and crawling towards the outside of the house. He suddenly looked up. Discovery. A person wearing sect attire is standing in front of him. So he shouted for help at the person. Help me quickly. Unexpectedly, that person kicked him directly back into the house. Take a closer look. That person is actually a big-eyed lowly with black hair all over her head. Luo Chen walks slowly to his side. Command to take a light step. Later, I will have someone pick you up and take you back to Tongzhou. Zhang Yifei lay on the ground, not only did she not beg for mercy, instead, he continued to threaten Luo Chen. The old man's surname Luo will leave his words here today. Xin Yuelan is sure to die. That Buddha bead was bestowed by the only disciple of Vajra in the world. The entire Shishan Plateau. No one dares to touch a single hair on him. Luo Chen walked out of the hall with an ignoring expression on his face, only leaving little Loli waving her claws. I gave Jiang Yifei a Thai massage. On the Shishan Plateau, a car is speeding on the national highway. The driver in the car approached Luo Chen next to him and said, Little brother, are you planning to attend the Lianhua Grand Festival? It is said that this time, the Labuyang sect will personally pray for everyone's blessings. Upon hearing the name, Luo Chen was slightly taken aback. According to the armed investigation into Su Ling Chu, the only disciple of Master Vidra is the Labuyang sect. At this moment, the car suddenly came to a stop. I saw a man with many scars blocking the way. The driver witnessed the situation. Blaming at him and cursing at you, why don't you die? Xiao Hei covered the wound. Shouting to the two of them, quickly notify the Shishan armed forces. Foreign forces are invading. He suddenly turned back, discovering the three people pursuing him. I have already stood not far away. The driver saw this situation. Quickly change direction. Can't it be a bandit? Young man, hurry up and fasten your seatbelt. Xiao Hei rushed towards the departing car. Remind loudly again to escape quickly. Notify the armed forces. How did the driver run out for a distance? I just realized that Luo Chen on the front passenger seat is missing. At this moment, Luo Chen walked to the side of Xiao Hei. Ordered a root flower. Xiao Hei looked shocked upon seeing this. Are you stupid, kid? Didn't I ask you to run quickly? Luo Chen said with an indifferent expression on his face as he spoke. We can also be considered half colleagues. I can't just turn a blind eye to death, can I? Xiao Hei was momentarily stunned upon hearing this. What? Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Besides, the opponent is still a foreign devil. Creator gang member. Although far away, one must be executed. At this moment, those three foreign devils are full. With a proud face, he walked towards them. Big Beard pointed at Luo Chen and sneered, What's wrong? An extra one who died. Xiao Ping Tu moved his wrist and let out a cold snort. Then you can easily kill him. Xiao Hei's panicked face reminded Luo Chen, 
Those three guys are all great masters. You kid, why don't you run quickly? Luo Chen threw away his cigarette butt. Speak indifferently. Unknown generation. Lack of fear. You just need to watch later. Xiao He exclaimed in disbelief upon hearing this. Brother, you didn't drink too much fake alcohol, did you? Even if I'm not injured, I'm not sure if I can win either. During speech, the three of them rushed towards them with a swoop. Xiao Ping Tu laughed at Xiao He, Mr. Lin, today will definitely give you a good time. Xiao He rebuked with an angry expression on his face. Speak less nonsense. I, Lin Hualong, even if I die, I will hold you back and support you. Just finished speaking. He felt his body suddenly freeze in place, unable to move. I saw Luo Chen grabbing him tightly. I have said so. Just look at it. Xiao Ping Tu saw this and roared angrily at Luo Chen. Even little brats dare to block the way. After seeking death, he waved his fist and threw it at him fiercely. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen waved his hand lightly with one hand. With a snap, his fist was instantly pushed aside. Xiao Ping's face changed drastically as he suddenly spoke. Luo Chen immediately took a spiral pill. With a loud bang, it pushed it back to a hundred meters away. Everyone was immediately shocked upon seeing the situation. What? Luo Chen clenched his fist and shouted loudly. A group of ants dare to act wild here. Golden hair and big beard screamed in panic. This is a Huabang expert. Quick retreat. I saw Luo Chen hanging with one hand in midair. Gently swipe over. The spiritual energy instantly condensed into a sharp blade. Immediately after, with a swoop, the two of them were cut off from the waist. The Linghua dragon suddenly felt fear in its heart. Gathering Qi as a blade. Is it a practitioner of the Tao? He slowly leaned behind Luo Chen, asking who exactly you are. Luo Chen's faint answer. Huadong Road Wuji. After Lin Hualong heard the name of Luo Chen, I was momentarily stunned. Are you the chief instructor of Blood Sha? Luo Wuji, aren't you dealing with the Blood Corpse King in Xiangxi? Luo Chen said with a dull and indifferent expression on his face. Does it take a long time to process the Blood Corpse King? After hearing this, Lin Hualong showed an awkward expression, Instructor Luo, I'm really sorry. There was a lot of offense just now. I hope you can forgive me. I am the chief instructor of the military knife. Lin Hualong, also an officer of the Xishan Border Defense Armed Forces. Luo Chen looked at Lin Hualong, who was scarred with scars, with a curious expression on his face. With your abilities, it's impossible to be beaten like this by those three people just now, right? Lin Hualong sighed helplessly. I met the other party's telepathizer. Only then will he be severely injured. Those three people are just pursuing soldiers. Luo Chen immediately inquired. What is the purpose of these people infiltrating the border for? Lin Hualong answers to destroy the Lotus Festival. Lotus Festival. This is an important three-year opportunity on the Shishan Plateau. At that time, many pilgrims will gather here. They want to facilitate infiltration. Intending to launch a terrorist event here. This time, the other party actually brought in a divine guide to sit down. Fortunately, this grand event is hosted by the unique disciple of Master Vajra. Lin Hualong looked at Luo Chen, inquiring with a curious expression. I don't know what the purpose of Instructor Luo's trip is. Luo Chen's gaze condensed, speaking coldly of killing someone. Lin Hualong was slightly stunned after hearing this. What kind of person is the other party? Luo Chen's faint answer couldn't pull Yang Zong away. Lin Hualong's face was immediately shocked by Instructor Luo. Are you joking? Lab Yangzong is the only disciple of Master Vidra. Master Kong treats him even more intimately than his own son. Hear this. Luo Chen remained silent as if lost in thought. Lin Hualong saw the situation. Serious warning to Luo Chen. Vajra is a true telepathizer in this world. Except for the living Buddha. He is a respected individual. Then he roared at Luo Chang and you killed him. Who will help us resist external enemies? Unexpectedly, Luo Chang answered with a serious expression on his face, so what? In this matter, who stopped me? Immediately after his death, he walked towards the grand event with a murderous expression on his face. You are no exception. Screen rotation. Arriving at Xinghu Lake, a little bald man glanced across from the lake. I saw that the shore was filled with people coming to pilgrimage. Then he crawled into a tent. At this moment, an old man with a white beard sat cross-legged. How is the situation? Little Bald quickly reported to him. Visually, there should be tens of thousands of visitors. The old man's lips curved into a faint smile upon hearing this. Then he summoned a golden tool. Great, I just need to absorb the souls of another 100 believers. The great will technique will be perfected. 
even the living Buddha was born. They are no longer our opponents either. After hearing this, everyone cheered with excitement on their faces. The great Dharma is very small and universal. At this moment, a scream came from outside the door. I saw Luo Chen walking in with a gloomy expression on his face. You are Le Bu Yang's own. The old man rebuked with an angry expression on his face. This is our holy law forbidden area. Unauthorized persons are not allowed to enter without permission. Before the words fall, Luo Chen raised his palm and slammed it at him. The old man was taken aback at the sight. Just hear a loud bang. The tent was shattered by the powerful impact force. I saw the golden magical tool in front of the old man. Blocked Luo Chen's attack. Luo Chen was slightly taken aback at the sight of this situation. Is this a protective tool? At this moment, a group of small bald people immediately gathered around. How dare the illegitimate son assassinate the great mage? On the Shishan Plateau, a young boy was surrounded by a group of young monks. How dare the illegitimate son assassinate the great mage? I saw the young man's gaze condensed. Stare at them. The little monks suddenly felt a splitting headache. Then they all spat out white foam and fell to the ground. At this point, the old man placed the golden artifact on his chest. Shout a spell loudly. The magic tool rotates at high speed instantly under its spiritual power drive. Even a mere martial arts master is deluding to assassinate me. I simply don't know the vastness of heaven and earth. After speaking, the magic tool gave a swish. A community spinning like Luo Chun Meng. How did you expect Luo Cheng to be light with one hand? With a light wave, a protective steel weapon instantly appeared in the air. With a bang, he blocked his attack. Following that, the magic tool stopped in the palm of Luo Cheng's hand. The old man saw the situation. A great change in expression. I saw Luo Chen's fingers slowly approaching the magic tool. The old man suddenly realized. No, he's taking my magic weapon. So he immediately roared at Luo Chen. This is the treasure that has cost me 40 years of hard work to feed. How can you control it? Service enchantment. Just finished speaking. Countless dragons spewed out from magical tools. Luo Chen saw the situation. A slight smile at the corner of the mouth. Then he swung his heavy fist and smashed it at the magic weapon. The magical weapon was instantly shattered hard. The old man let out a growl. Spit out the overnight red bean milk tea. Watching the falling fragments on the ground. He shouted in terror, it's impossible. Originally, when he was a child, his master told him that his talent was too low. It is destined to be difficult to break through the realm of a master. The master saw him diligent and devout. So I gave him this magical tool. As long as you feed it with your heart and blood, it is expected that Qi will enter the Tao. Thinking of this, the old man trembled all over, asking who exactly you are. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. In the name of borrowing blessings, stealing a person's soul through a secret spell. I should have expected the outcome to be like today long ago. The old man smiled inwardly upon hearing this. Originally, it was a family member of the cursed one. I must be asking me to unlock the secret spell. Luo Chen raised his hand and activated the spiritual power inside his body. Wrong. I want you to die. After speaking, he waved his one hand. Then a sharp blade shot fiercely at the old man. Screen rotation. Coming to the grand event. Everyone is complaining in dissatisfaction about what's going on. Why hasn't the great mage come out yet? At this moment, the old man rushed to the scene with a panicked expression on his face. Let's all move aside. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen suddenly flashed in front of him. How do you want to run? Then he struck a heavy punch. Drive it back with a snap. The old man exclaimed in disbelief. How could this be possible? My protective Buddha bead can dodge several times in the blink of an eye. How could you catch up so quickly inside? Everyone shouted loudly upon seeing the situation. Surprisingly, someone attacked the great mage. Lin Hualong saw this situation. Almost startled my chin. He actually dares to assassinate Le Bu Yang Zone. The old man showed a cunning look. I warn you not to come over. If you kill me, they will never let go of it. Ruachin stared at him with a serious expression on his face. Do you know why I kept you alive until now? I just want your followers to take a good look. A highly respected great mage. What was done behind the scenes? After speaking, Luo Chen extended his finger. Swiped gently from top to bottom in the air. Countless black mist emerged from the old man's mouth in an instant. The old man watched as his soul dissipated in the air. Hurry up and shout, is it okay? Everyone witnessed the situation. They angrily rebuked him one after another. This is actually a giant spirit technique. Unexpectedly, the world-renowned great mage, 
Being able to cultivate such bizarre magic, the disciples of Le Buyang sect immediately refuted. The great mage is compassionate and compassionate. How could such a despicable thing be done? How dare you smear our guardian god of Shishan? At this moment, a man slowly walked over. Take a closer look. The person who came is Master Danva. Fools, you guys are still obsessed with it. Labyanzon faced with the accusation of Master Danva. Unexpectedly denied it. So, so. He angrily rebuked Master Danva. It was like spitting blood out of his mouth. Having the ability to provide evidence. At this moment, a small bald man immediately stood up. Then I'll prove it to everyone. Then he rolled off his sleeves. Exposed the Buddha beads on the wrist. This is evidence. After seeing the elderly. Screaming in panic. What are you doing? Little bald snorted coldly. My parents were harmed by you. I have been lurking around you for 10 years. Just for this day. Say it now. He snapped the Buddha beads on his wrist with a loud snap. I saw him lose consciousness in an instant. Then he collapsed on the ground with a thud. Immediately after, a soul emerged from his body. And then he put it inside the Buddhist bead on the old man's wrist. Everyone sees this situation. Suddenly realized. Respected great mage. Unexpectedly, such a hypocritical and malicious act was actually done. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. Then tell me. Should Le Buyang sect be killed or not? Everyone responded one after another that they should be killed. At this moment, the old man was frightened and trembling all over. Cold sweat DC. I saw Luo Chen waving his hand in the air with one hand. A sharp blade transformed from spiritual power. Instantly cut off his pickled pepper chicken feet. Then the old man lay on the ground. A mournful cry on the face of pain. At this moment, a gust of cold wind is blowing head on. The entire lake instantly froze into ice blocks. Everyone witnessed the situation. Shouting in terror, what's going on? I saw a huge mammoth stepping on the lake surface. Walking slowly. Three people in strange costumes sitting cross-legged on the back of their necks. Led by a bearded bald head. There is a murderous intent in the eyes. Master Danba looked at the person with a shocked expression on his face. Surprisingly able to censor celestial phenomena. Control climate. But it's a telepathic person. Notice to practice martial arts in this world for five years. Only then can one become a warrior. Martial artists have been practicing hard for decades. Mastering unique skills. To become a great master. And above the master. It's impossible to have two separate paths. It is extremely difficult to enter the Tao through the law or through martial arts. Most people will stop here. And above the entrance. It is the realm of divine communication. Those who possess divine power can crush all worldly powers. Relying solely on one's own efforts. Can destroy the entire armed legion. Shala saw this situation. Put on a proud and forgetful appearance. This Lianhua grand event. Sure enough, there will be foreign forces invading. Besides, the one who comes is a telepathic person. Looking at the entire western mountain. Only my master can fight against it. If you kill me, just wait for everyone to be buried with me. After everyone listens, discussing with a frightened expression on his face. What should I do? Unexpectedly, Luo Chen grabbed his clothes, pulled it to the surface. Who said before that we could only rely on your master? At this moment, a bald man wearing a robe. Step on the auspicious cloud, flying to the sky. Stop it, everyone will see the situation. Immediately cheer up. Master Kong has arrived. We have help now. Master Kong threatened with an angry expression on his face. If the illegitimate son kills him, I will kill you. And even if all the people present are slaughtered, I won't come out to help either. After hearing this, Luo Chen, a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Are you threatening me? Lin Hualong shouted at Luo Chen, Mr. Luo, putting the overall situation first. Unexpectedly, there was a loud bang. Shella directly turned into powder in the hands of Luo Chen. Dissipate in mid-air. Everyone suddenly exploded like thunder above their heads. Startled and dumbfounded. What? I saw Luo Chen's eyes condensed, staring fiercely at the King Kong. I killed him. How can you help me again? Did Jean Gang immediately roared at him. Bastard thing. The reason why he is so angry. Just because there are other reasons. Great Vedra has been entering the realm of divine connection for decades, but it has yet to break through to the second floor. Do not seek guidance from a senior Taoist in the maze. Senior Black Robe told him, there is a secret method in ancient times. After selecting an orphan, pour your heart and blood into cultivating it. And then I'll kill him myself when he's in his forties. 
it can cut off the thoughts of the mortal world, finally achieving great results, so did Jin Gang adopted Le Buyang Zone, I never thought about it, the disciple he trained himself died in the hands of Luo Chen, thinking of this, did Jin Gang was so angry that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth, here, everyone has to pay for the death of Labian Zone, a big bald head treading on a blood lotus in the sky, wearing a halo and shouting, you will all pay the price for the death of King Le Buyang, Everyone witnessed the situation, kneeling down and begging for mercy one after another. Master Kong, please spare your life. We are all innocent. The Jin Gang glanced at the black egg next to him. The defense is that there are now foreign enemies invading Shishan. I should have expelled him from my Huabang, but as the saying goes, to resist the outside, one must first settle the inside. Sisters seek revenge for themselves, disrupting national unity. He can only be executed first. Determined future troubles, Black Egg standing with one hand on the chest, explaining, please don't misunderstand, master. I only preach for preaching, there is no intention of infringement. I will never interfere in your internal affairs. The two Huang Maonan behind him, with a smug sneer on his face, he said, rumors have it that Hua Bang people enjoy infighting. See you today. As expected, the reputation is well deserved. At this moment, Luo Chen's face was gloomy and silent. The Jin Gang sees the situation, pushing all the blame onto Luo Chen. From today on, you are the culprit of the entire Shishan Mountains. After hearing this, Luo Chen showed a cold smile at the corner of his mouth. Surprisingly, he threatened me with the lives of tens of thousands of his compatriots. If I were a sinner, what are you? The Jin Gang snorted coldly with an ignoring expression on his face. And in my eyes, all mortals are ants. Save or destroy. It's all in my mind. Who dares to blame me? After hearing this, Ruachin almost burst into tears with a smile. What kind of onion are you? Surprisingly speaking so wildly, allowing Labyanzon to commit crimes. Surprisingly, he is still so straightforward and confident. So you also have to die today. The bulging of veins during the reign of Dakin Dang Dun. A child with a panicked mouth should not be reckless. How to expect it? Luochen unexpectedly pointed towards the crowd of mammoths and scolded them. Wait for this group of ants. Listen to me. Dare to offend me, Hua Bang. The butcher sovereign will crush your bones and turn you into ashes. After hearing this, everyone thundered like thunder, blindly stunned and speechless. Mr. Hua is crazy, isn't he? Unexpectedly provoking two divine beings in one breath. Black Egg's face suddenly turned small and messy. A black lotus appeared between the Jingong's hands. Those who have only entered the realm are so rampant. Are you in such a hurry to die? Black Egg hands together. A cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. I was originally unwilling to take action. And yet you insult me like this. Since you are in such a hurry to reincarnate. So I'll have to give you a ride first. Just finished speaking. A strong wind suddenly swept up on the lake surface. I saw him lift with one hand and hang in midair. Following that. A huge iceberg slowly rises from the water. The iceberg rotates once. With a swoop, it reached the sky above his head. Then he suddenly waved his hand down and died. A huge iceberg rushed towards Luo Chen in response. At this moment, Luo Chen's eyes condensed. Clench one's fist tightly. With a bang. Luo Chen, one-handed. Easily blocking the rushing iceberg. The iceberg was instantly shattered by the powerful impact force. Subsequently, shattered ice cubes fell to the ground one after another. Everyone looked frightened and quickly dodged around. Lin Hualong saw the situation, shouting to the crowd, quickly organized the orderly retreat of the masses, to stomp on each other. Black Egg was immediately shocked when he saw the situation. My Xin Bing is harder than Hajin. He can actually break it with just one punch. At this moment, a black lotus flew behind Luo Chen. De Kong waved his palm, shout loudly and angrily, smoke burns the soul. I saw black lotus instantly come above Luo Chen's head. Immediately after, a black smoke was released. Luo Chen quickly extended his arms to support the protective cover. How did you expect the shield to be eroded by the black mist? Several cracks quickly appeared. Then the black mist slowly penetrated into the protective cover. Luo Chen was somewhat surprised to see this situation. I didn't expect this black mist to dissolve my spiritual power. It's a bit interesting. De Jin Gang saw that Luo Chen was surrounded by black mist. Immediately, he burst out laughing uncontrollably. My soul burning object can corrode all spiritual power. Just wait for it to turn into ashes. At this point, a figure suddenly emerged from the black mist. The figure flashed instantly behind the great King Kong. 
I saw Luo Chen clenching his fist and smashing it towards the back of De Jingang. Black Egg quickly shouted a warning to be careful behind. De Jingang turned back suddenly with a surprised expression on his face. Unexpectedly, a heavy punch had already arrived in front of him. Just hear a bang. De Jingang was infuriated by a punch from Luo Chen. Immediately after, Luo Chen clenched his fist with the other hand as well. Don't worry too much. The ground hit the abdomen of King Kong. De Jingang was beaten to the point where he had no strength to fight back, directly fell into the river. Black Egg was shocked when he saw this, and surprisingly, you are also a psychic. A mysterious young man in the sky, facing the two great experts with bare hands and bare fists. Master Danbo looked at Luo Chen in midair with a shocked expression on his face. What kind of realm is he? Surprisingly, with one enemy and two enemies, still able to firmly gain the upper hand. Black Egg muttered curiously on his face. I can't even detect the scent on him. Why did he unleash such a powerful force? Is it some reclusive old guy? Using a certain spell that disguises I Chi. At this moment, De Jin Gang jumped out of the water. I just used the soul burning object to investigate his ancient spirit. This kid is only in his twenties. Black Egg screamed in disbelief upon hearing it. How could this be possible? It took us nearly a hundred years of cultivation to reach the realm of divine connection. De Jin Gang impatiently roared at him. Believe it or not, it's up to you. Don't kill him today. Endless future troubles. Black Egg asked with a curious expression on his face. What do you mean by this? A faint smile appeared at the corner of De Jingong's mouth. You and I teamed up to kill him. After speaking, he waved his arms and the demon subduing King Kong with both hands. Following that was a huge and ferocious looking Kong. Stand up from behind him. Master Danva was suddenly stunned and stunned. The one who communicates with the gods is so terrifying. This demon subduing King Kong can actually approach materialization. I saw the demon subduing King Kong holding a dagger in his hand, thoroughly thrust towards Luo Chen. Evil obstacles lead to death. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen fearlessly stopped in place. Just hear a bang. He blocked his attack with bare hands and fists alone. The powerful impact force instantly shook the surrounding earth and mountains. Zero Wallong quickly shouted to the crowd, quickly get down. At this moment, the demon subduing King Kong has been punched by Luo Chen and dissipated in mid-air. De Jin Gang was shocked upon seeing this. How could this be possible? Black Egg screamed in fear and broke through all obstacles with one force. Is he using martial arts to connect with the gods? De Jin Gang immediately angrily rebuked him. Don't just talk and refuse like that. If you don't take action again, we all have to explain here. Black Egg gave orders with a murderous expression to the disciples. Let's get started. Let him see our heavenly magic. Everyone quickly responded and complied. After speaking, the disciples all jumped off the mammoth one after another. Black Egg immediately loudly ordered the heavenly order of the blood demon god. I saw everyone gathered around the mammoth, continuously unleashing spiritual power. With a loud bang, a black mist condensed instantly in the middle. Immediately after, a huge demon appeared in the sky. Black Egg started showing off with a proud expression on his face. You summoned me, but it's just a breath. What I condense is the true intention of the demon god. Luo Chen saw the situation. A cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. After waiting for half a day, this damn thing came out. It's okay to say that. Black Egg suddenly became angry and embarrassed. So he roared angrily at Luo Chen in search of death. Kill him for me. Upon hearing this, the demon god immediately opened his bloody mouth. A stream of red bean milk tea gushed out of the mouth. Upon seeing this, the Jin Gang quickly raised one hand. A vortex appeared in his palm. If water falls from the sky, then there was a loud crash. Countless water columns falling from the sky. Water column accompanied by red bean milk tea rushed towards Luo Chen. Just hear a loud bang. The water surface exploded instantly. A huge blood-colored sphere surrounded Luo Chen. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen hung in mid-air and scathed. Then he extended his finger and silently recited the spell. A flame instantly ignited in the palm of the hand. Two bald men almost dropped their chins when they saw this situation. He's not even dead yet. Something's wrong in the sky. A young man is holding a flame and throwing it outwards. The flames flew towards the lake with a swoosh. De Jin Gang immediately shouted in panic and ran quickly. Black Egg felt numb and stunned when he saw this. I saw flames rapidly approaching the surface of the lake water. The entire next second, the holy lake instantly ignited a blazing fire. Subsequently, the spells cast by the two were quickly consumed by the blazing fire. 
Black Egg sees this situation, shouting in terror, what the hell is going on? Didn't he enter the realm with martial arts? Why can I still use spells? The Jean Gang immediately leapt backwards into the air. Who knows what's going on? At this moment, Luochen slowly flew out of the flames. How would they know? Even if Luochen doesn't use titanium gold, also possesses the power to awaken three layers, it has already broken through the limitation of being unable to practice two paths. However, the awakening realm has a total of nine layers. They just stayed on the first floor. Black Egg quickly propped up his shield to block the burning flames. Then he knelt down with a thud. Great Immortal, spare your life. Forgive me for not knowing. I hope for the sake of practicing injustice. Spare my life. Luo Chen saw the situation. A cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Forgive me for what my lord said. How could it not be counted? I saw flames breaking through the shield. Instantly devour it. Black Egg suddenly screamed in pain on his face. Eventually, it turned into dust along with the mammoth. Dissipate in mid-air. At this moment, King Kong has also been surrounded by raging flames. I saw him trembling all over with fear. Cold sweat DC. Unexpectedly, not only did they not beg for mercy, instead, it continues to threaten. Luochen, do you know that my Toa sect comes from the Kunlun secret realm? If you kill me, it will inevitably lead to a great cause and effect. Luochen's eyes condensed. A domineering response. Do you think I would care? The Jean Gang shouted at him angrily after hearing this, so just wait. On the day of the opening of Kunlun Mountains, when your family is in ruins. Because, the great King Kong was quickly burned to ashes by the raging fire. Only two Huang Mountain remain, shaking and trembling, huddled together. Lin Hualong saw this situation. Suddenly, I felt a sense of fear in my heart. He was able to kill two divine beings with his own strength. What kind of young master is this special? It's clear that he's the young master. If we don't block the message as soon as possible, I'm afraid the name of Luo Wuji will shake the entire cultivation world. When the time comes, I don't know how many hermit old guys there will be yet. Go out of the mountain to stir up trouble. Screen rotation. Arriving at the shore of the holy lake, the two yellow hat men quickly knelt down to beg for mercy. First, spare your life. We really have no intention of infringing on the painting stick. This is all the idea of the leader alone. We are both serious business people. Practicing is just to earn more money. Luo Chen observed that. The two of them did not have any bloodstains on their bodies. So he asked the two of them seriously with a serious expression on his face. Give me a reason to let you guys go. The two of them still have a chance to survive. He immediately approached with a smile on his face. We are willing to give up. All shares held by Tao Group. This Tar Group. But Hua Bang is the largest company overseas in southwest China. By then, all we need to do is find a foreign trade company in China. You can easily enter the overseas market in southwest China. After hearing this, Luo Chen did not refuse either. I saw him charging towards the figure behind me. Quietly speaking, when does Lao Zhang plan to hide it? Master Zhang quickly walked out. Master of boxing technique, Ruo Chen immediately ordered him. I'll leave this matter to you to handle. You are limited to one month to complete it. Besides, you don't have to follow me so much in the future. Master Zhang quickly agreed. As instructed, Qin Yuelan wanted to meet her son once. Not only did he give up his inheritance rights to the family property, and the billions of assets he has earned through hard work, I handed it over to the Xin family together. Just now, Zhang Tongran panicked and called Luo Chen, Xiao Chen's younger brother. Where are you? My aunt has already woken up. At this moment, Luo Chen is already on his way to the airport. Although he has already killed Labianzong, the soul of Luo Mama, who was taken away, has also returned to her place. But eventually there will be some sequelae. I learned from the phone that, Mom Luo's situation is a bit bad. I seem to have lost all the memories since I went to Xiangxi. In the hospital. At this moment, an old man is coming to visit Xin Yuelan. Xin Yuelan looked out the window with a helpless expression on her face. If the doctor doesn't tell you, I won't survive this winter. Are you not planning to come see me anymore? The middle-aged man next to him explained. Miss Yuelan, you can't say that. From small to large, the old man is the one who loves you the most. If it weren't for your insistence on running to Haidong, found a grassroots cadre, and rejected the Jung family's marriage alliance, and it won't fall into this field either. The old man scolded Yuching and said a few words less towards him. Turns out this old man is Xin Yuelan's father. That middle-aged man is exactly Xin Yuelan's brother. The old man smiled and asked Xin Yuelan about it. 
What other unfulfilled wishes are there? Xin Yuelan said she only has one thought in her heart now. You should be very clear in your heart. The old man was slightly stunned after hearing this, so let's rely on you. Unexpectedly, Xin Yuqing immediately shouted at him, how could this be? Leaving aside the issue of property inheritance. This is a shame for our Xin family. After hearing this, Xin Yulan immediately yelled at him, I only have three months left. Is it wrong to see my child? Xin's father quickly calmed him down. I can agree to your request, but I have two conditions. One is that we can only bring the child back. The second is that all the assets in your hands must be handed over to the Xin family for management. We'll leave a mark. Enough funds to support your expenses for the past three months. Xin Yuelan agreed to the deal without hesitation after hearing it. Then the father and son left here with a smile on their faces. Xin Yuqing bid farewell to Yuelan Xiaomei with a proud expression on his face. Remember what you said. Zhang Tongran ran over to ask Luo Mama when he saw the situation. This is the hard work you have accumulated over the past decade. Why do they do this? Luo Mama smiled slightly at the corner of her mouth. These are just external things. Is there anything more important than meeting my son? Screen rotation. Arriving at the Shin family. A man is standing in the lobby reporting the situation. I heard that a joint venture foreign trade company with Tal Group. We need to establish our headquarters in Jiangi. You should know that Tal Group. Always controlling the overseas market of Huabang Southwest. Now, surprisingly, they have voluntarily proposed a joint venture. This is undoubtedly giving money to this Huabang foreign trade company. After hearing this, Shinba looked puzzled and the news was indeed true. Who has such great abilities? The man answered the news with a firm expression, which was absolutely true. I have already sent someone to investigate this company. This matter is important for our Shin family. It's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. If we can leverage the power of this company, developing overseas markets in southwest China, our market share in the economy definitely surpass all opponents in one fell swoop. Other people including Chun Yucheng. After listening, I was slightly taken aback. Shun's father immediately ordered, please figure out the details of that company as soon as possible. Everyone responded and complied. Outside the Shin family courtyard, a young woman in red clothes. Smiling, he greeted Shin Yucheng. Yucheng convened a meeting with you so late. Is there anything big? Shin Yucheng scratched his head. The answer is nothing. It's all about work matters. The woman immediately put on a greedy appearance. I heard you received it today. All your sister's projects and assets. Do those things add up to billions? Xin Yuqing quickly asked her to keep her voice down, not just so much. According to the old man's instructions, all this money needs to be handed over to the Xin family for management. The woman showed a look of unwillingness upon hearing this. Aren't you from the Xin family? Putting it into the Xin family is also ours. Anyway, my son's birthday next week. You promised to give away a sports car. Xin Yucheng hesitated after hearing this. Female witness. Immediately put on a fierce appearance, you spend a little bit first. Then go find Xin Yuelan and ask for it. How do you know he didn't leave some money for himself? Xin Yucheng's lips curved into a sinister smile. Because of such reasons as. That's why I deliberately didn't pay him the hospitalization fee. And even deducted the money that the old man gave him. Let's see if he's hiding anything. At this point. There is a person standing in the corner behind them. I saw a grandmother with white hair all over her head. I sighed helplessly. Xianzuan is finally going to recognize his biological mother. For this moment, Xin Yuelan waited for a full 20 years. Just now, as soon as Luo Chen got off the plane, he received a call from Jiang Tongran. Jiang Tongran stated that he was taken back to the Jiang family. I can't go pick up Luo Chen. But we arranged for others to wait for him at the airport exit. After hanging up the phone, Luo Chen walked out of the airport. I saw a purple-haired girl standing next to a luxury car waiting. What kind of person is it? When I saw Luo Chen, he immediately inquired. Are you Luo Chen, the son of Aunt Yuelan? Luo Chen immediately replied, yes. Who are you? The girl was teasing her hair. With a slight smile, I am Li Jiai, the daughter of Li Yinin. My mother and Aunt Yuelan are the best friends. Instructions from Shoujiang Tanran. Come and pick you up. Li Jia remained silent at the sight of Luo Chen. Then he put on a proud posture. If the Shin family is present, you better remain silent. As children of the Jiangi family, the requirements are extremely strict. To be honest, your current background and circle cannot keep up with the rhythm. What will be lost then is Aunt Yuelan's face. So, 
Unexpectedly, Luo Chen interrupted his words with a disdainful expression on his face. You don't have to worry about these things. Hurry up and drive. Sister, upon seeing this, immediately, he put on a fierce and fierce appearance. It's really kind of you to treat it like a donkey's liver and lungs. Xin Yuelan is lying on the hospital bed resting in the hospital. Suddenly, a knocking sound came from the door. I saw Li Jiayi slowly walk in as she opened the door. Hello, Aunt Yuelan. Xin Yuelan asked with a curious expression on her face. Jiayi, why are you here? Li Jiayi walked over to Luo Mama's side. Didn't Tong Ren explain to you? I have brought the person over to you. Xin Yuelan was momentarily stunned upon hearing this. What kind of person? Then he couldn't help but glance at the boy behind him. I saw Luo Chen slowly walking towards him. After hearing this, Ma Luo's mother immediately trembled with excitement all over her body. What do you call me? Luo Chen reached out to stroke Luo Mama's hand hanging in midair. Mom, I'm Luo Chen. It's your biological son. Luo Mama reached out to touch Luo Chen's face. My child, am I really not dreaming? Then he pounced and hugged Luo Chen's shoulder. As a mother, he waited for 20 years for this moment. Luo Chen finally realized that. The embrace and warmth of a biological mother. Luoma couldn't conceal her inner guilt, crying loudly. Sorry, son. It's all my mom's fault. You've been suffering all these years. Luo Chen saw the situation, immediately comforted. Mom, it's not your fault. Isn't this okay with me? Unexpectedly, after hearing this, Luo Mama's crying became even louder. Look at your outfit. Share your taste with your father. My hair is so long. I don't know how to cut it. Li Jiayi saw this situation. I sighed helplessly. At this moment, a nurse walked in cursing and cursing. What are you making noise about? If you want to cry, get out and cry. Luo Chen's gaze condensed, suddenly showing a killing intent. Immediately, he sternly questioned what you had just said with a serious expression on his face. I saw a small wave with a disdainful and loud scolding on its face. Are you the patient's family member? Don't you know how much medical expenses you owe? If it's not settled today, get lost immediately. Mom Luo timidly apologized in a hurry. Sorry, I'll make a phone call now. Ruachin waved his arm, interrupted his words. Mom, just take a good rest. Let me handle this matter. Li Jiai quickly stepped forward to stop her. Luo Chen, don't worry about it. Let me pay for the medical expenses. Luo Chen shook his head, refused her kindness. Let me do it. After all, this is my mother's business. Unexpectedly, Li Jiai grabbed her tightly. Then he leaned over to Luo Chen's side. Whisper reminder, this is a private hospital. The costs are outrageously expensive. And also, the assets of the Vietnamese aunt have already been transferred by the Xin family. Where did you get so much money to pay for it? After hearing this, Luo Chen asked with a serious expression on his face. What do you mean? Li Jiai looked at Luo Chen with a puzzled expression on her face. Don't you know? Aunt Yuelan, in order to reunite with you, abandoned all his assets. I didn't expect them to do such a great job. Not even the medical expenses were left behind. After hearing this, Luo Chen clenched his fist with a gloomy expression on his face. At this moment, he exudes a terrifying aura all over his body. Xin Jia, you all wait for me. What kind of hospital exactly is it? Opening your mouth means 10 million yuan in medical expenses. Unexpectedly, the young man took out a black card and swiped it. Surprisingly, the transaction was actually completed. Just now, Xiao Langhua looked disdainfully at Luo Chen and questioned him. Who are the patient's family members? Should I pay the medical expenses or not? Luo Chen's gaze condensed. A cold answer. Bring the POS machine. After listening to Xia Langhua, laughing at him, I'll go get it for you now. If you can't afford it, don't blame me for notifying the law enforcement officer. Another nurse saw Little Wave walk out of the door. He asked with a curious expression on his face. They really have the money to pay for medical expenses. Little Langhua didn't answer well, only then did the ghost know. Xin Yuching gave us 100,000 yuan. No, I just wanna see, does he actually have any hidden funds? After hearing their conversation, Luo Chen, silent with a murderous expression on his face. Xin Yuching, please wait for me. Luoma saw the situation. Quickly stop Luo Chen and Xiao Chen. Why don't we let Jiayi advance the payment first? I'll check my account later. If there's still some money left, I'll give it back to him. Li Jiayi put on a nonchalant attitude. This little money doesn't count as much. After all, Aunt Yuelan has also helped my family a lot before. At this point, Xiaolan Hua walked in with a look of being beaten up. 
The POS machine brought you medical expenses, a total of 10 million. Li Jiayi was momentarily stunned upon hearing this. What, 10 million? How could there be so many? Unexpectedly, Luo Chen took out a black card without hesitation. I was a bit surprised to see the small wave of card swiping. Immediately, he took the black card and swiped it. How to expect it? The four big words successful transaction appeared prominently on the machine. He immediately exclaimed in disbelief. How could this be possible? He would never believe it. A rural bumpkin from the county town. Surprisingly able to afford this huge medical expense. Luoma hesitated to speak and looked at Luochen. I saw Luochen staring at Little Wave with a murderous expression on his face. Can we roll now? Zaya Langwa immediately walked out of the room trembling all over. The next second, he screamed in pain all over his face. Immediately fell to the ground with a thud. The nurse next to me shouted in panic, help me. What's wrong with you? At this moment, Luo Chen walked over with a gloomy expression on his face. Don't worry, it's just a little illness. As long as you are willing to spend money to treat it, it's not a big deal. But if there's no money, just wait to die. After speaking, he slammed the door shut. In the bar, a man was shouting incredulously into the phone. What happened to settle the medical expenses? Is it given by the girl Li Jiayi? This person is Shen Jun Kai, the son of Xin Yuqing. I saw him continue to inquire with a puzzled expression on his face. Is it really given by Shin Yuelan's son? Isn't that kid a country bumpkin from the county town? Did Shin Yuelan leave a hand behind? Immediately, he instructed the caller not to notify my dad. Then a sinister smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Just a little brat. Use a little leverage. Can you just ask him to take out all the money? Shin Yuelan in the hospital asked Luo Chen with a curious expression on her face. Where did you get all this money from? Shouldn't it be borrowed by your father? Luo Chen caressed his hand. Comfort me, you don't have to worry. Money is not a problem. If I'm interested in money, I'm afraid he's already the world's richest man. Upon hearing this, Luo Mama immediately burst out laughing. Los Angeles confidently patted her chest. Mom, you have to trust me. Luoma smiled slightly at the corner of her mouth when she saw this silly child. Mom must believe you, but I want to be discharged today. Is that okay? Los Angeles readily agreed to his request. I will go and help you with the procedures now. A group of people are sitting on the sofa in the bar, discussing how to do bad things. Shin Jun Kai hugged the big wave beside him. A sound effect appeared at the corner of his mouth, and the hero felt sad and beautiful. There's still no man in my family who can't handle it. I can guarantee that. Within three days, make him willingly dispose of his property. At this moment. A man walked over holding a glass of wine. What are we talking about? So happy. Everyone seemed to have seen a devil. Too scared to make a sound. How did this monster come? Shin Jun Kai quickly stood up politely and offered his seat. So it's off foam. Rare customers. I saw Shin Jun Fong approach him with a fierce expression on his face. Immediately, the gaze condensed, showing a murderous expression on his face. I'm asking what you were talking about earlier. Shin Jun Kai trembled with fear upon seeing the situation. Big Wave hurriedly walked forward, accompanied by a smile. Shin Yuelan's long lost son has come to the capital city. We plan to go see him together. Shin Jun Fong snorted coldly with an ignoring expression on his face. Then he sat on the sofa and crossed his legs. I saw a faint smile on the corner of his mouth. The guy you're targeting must be very interesting, right? I don't know if he can play games with me. Shin Jun Kai was immediately shocked upon hearing this. This guy got involved. Iron nails will kill him. How can this special bomb shun Yuelan's money? After thinking about it, he immediately hands spread out. Explain that the kid is just an ordinary person. You might hang up after playing once. Not much fun specified. After hearing this, Shin Jun Fong, with a gloomy threat on his face, why don't you come and play with me? Shin Jun Kai was immediately speechless upon hearing this. I saw Shin Jun Fong shaking his glass with a wicked smile on his face. It's been a long time since I've found anyone new to play with me. I really hope that kid can last long enough. Screen rotation. Arrived at Li Jiayi's house. At this moment, Li Jiayi's mother, Li Yingying, is carrying vegetables. Walked out of the kitchen. Everyone, take advantage of the heat and eat quickly. Luo Chen smiled and expressed his gratitude to him. Thank you very much, Ini, for taking care of my mother during this time. Ini saw the situation. Immediately respond to Xiao Chen with a smile. What's so polite between you and me? Then he praised Luo Mama with envy on his face and said. 
Your son is really good. I don't know how many times stronger than those kids from the Shin family. Unexpectedly, he aimed at Li Jiayi, but he put on a fierce look. You also learn from others. Don't always stay at home and keep the weather on me. After speaking, he immediately asked Xiao Chen about Luo Chen. Do you have a girlfriend? How do you like our Jiayi? Although my personality is a bit carefree and carefree, but at the very least, it's also protruding and tilting backwards. Li Jiayi immediately sprayed out the rice from her mouth upon hearing this. Then she shouted at Ini, what are you talking about? Don't think I can't see those big characters in your eyes. At this moment, suddenly, there was a knock on the door. Ding opened the door with a curious expression on his face. It's so late, who will it be? I saw Shin Jun Foam standing at the door with a gloomy expression on his face. Good evening. Anting Liangying's frightened body suddenly trembled. I saw Shin Jun Foam walked in without hesitation. How did Li Jiayi see this? Immediately yell at Shin Jun Foam at him. What are you doing here? Shin Jun Foam spread out his hand with a proud expression on his face. I'd been too bored lately. Isn't this about finding someone to play with me? Then he slowly walked to Shin Yuelan's side. I heard that Aunt Lan's long lost son has returned. As a cousin, of course I have to come and take a look. Luo Chun Ma's silent glance. Take a glance at him. I immediately noticed that his breath was unusual, and the power inside him is also extremely thin and miscellaneous. It's not like it's obtained through normal cultivation. At this point, Shin Junfeng took out a jade pendant and handed it to Luo Chen. First meeting. My cousin has prepared a small gift for you. Never refuse. Luo Chen saw the situation. For a moment, I was taken aback. It's a bit interesting. A man in the living room, handing a green jade pendant to a young man. The girl beside saw this situation. Suddenly, his expression changed greatly. So, so. He shouted at the young man with a frightened expression, don't take it. I saw the young man's finger just touching the jade pendant. He immediately emitted a bright light. The girl saw the situation. Hurriedly flipped through the dining table. Pick up the chopsticks. With a lightning fast and effortless aura. Clamping the jade pendant with a loud snap, then he casually waved it and threw it out. Then he roared at the man and immediately got out of here. The man's hands spread out, let out a cold snort. Then he turned around with a dull expression and waved goodbye. Goodbye. After the man left, the girl immediately scolded Luo Chen towards the young man. Tell you not to answer. Why do you have to take it? Shin Junfeng, that monster. Over the years, I've given away hundreds of jade pendants like this. Anyone who receives a jade pendant will die an untimely death. Fallen dust's fearless and indifferent answer. It's just a small trick to carve insects. It's not a big deal. The girl was furious after hearing this. I really don't know how to live or die. Screen rotation. Coming to the desert. At this point, a golden light slammed onto the ground with a loud bang. A figure faintly appeared in the golden light. Ruachin looked at him with a puzzled expression on his face. The gradually disappearing golden light. Why did you come to the desert? Is this an illusion? He tried hard to recall the process of things. Just now, after finishing dinner at the Ying family, I took my mother back to the hotel. After he fell asleep, I started practicing in the living room. If Chen thinks of this, suddenly realized, is this forced? The teleportation is a bit interesting. Then he reached out to touch the ground. It seems like they just teleported their souls here. The body should still be in place now. At this moment. Countless golden lights fell to the ground with a loud bang. I saw a group of people looking around with their faces covered in circles. A little fat man with a big sweat asked where the his mother was. Why is it so hot? The blonde woman behind her didn't respond well. How do I know? The man in white began to mutter in a daze. I shouldn't have drunk too much today. The curly hair on the side screamed in panic. What kind of people are you all? At this point, the sand on the ground is slowly drifting towards the air. The silver-haired girl touched the sand in the deep sky, a face full of confusion as to what this is. At this point, large characters condensed by fine sand appeared prominently in the sky. Task start. Protecting Peng Jalan. The loser dies. Luo Chen saw the situation. A slight smile came from the corner of my mouth. Isn't this the secret realm trial? In the immortal realm, some powerful sex will open up this kind of secret realm. Can be used for both cultivation and practice. It can also be used to test and select seekers of the Tao. The secret realm in front of us. It should be set up by an ancient Taoist on earth. The jade pendant in Shinju and Feng's hand. It should be the key to unlocking this secret realm. And the unusual power within him. Perhaps it was obtained here. At this point, 
A green-haired person immediately understood the text. Task content appears. It means everyone has arrived. So he waved his arm, excitedly shouting to the crowd, Rookies, welcome to the horror game. In the desert, a group of people are participating in a terrifying game. The short-haired guy asked curiously, What is this thing? Green hair explained with a serious expression on his face. This is a game that treats life as a bargaining chip. Participants must complete tasks according to the rules. Otherwise, one soul will be shattered. My physical body also vanished with the smoke and ashes. After hearing this, the blonde woman had a look on her face, complaining in displeasure about this particular bird thing. It's like a bunch of lunatics. So he waved his hand. Say goodbye to my aunt to everyone. I have to go dancing tonight. This damn game. You guys can play by yourselves. After speaking, he set his foot on the road to leave here. Unexpectedly, there were terrifying sounds coming from the air. The woman scratched her head with a puzzled expression on her face. Is this the legendary lime? Curly hair sees the woman leave. I suggest to everyone that we should also leave. Unexpectedly, as the woman walked further and further away, the dripping sound has also become increasingly strong. I saw him tightly covering his ears with a painful expression on his face. What's going on? Why is it so noisy? The next second, the woman's body burst instantly. Everyone exclaimed in fear at the sight of the situation, what? At this point, the green-haired man with a proud face warned everyone, rookies, listen to me now, no matter how noble your identity is in reality. To come here, one must abide by the rules of the game. Otherwise, the outcome will be the same as that girl. After listening, Xiao Pang, immediately, he approached with a smile on his face. Hello, big brother, I am the son of the property manager in Western Sichuan. If you could take care of me today, I will definitely offer a generous reward. Unexpectedly, Greenhair interrupted his conversation with an unhappy expression on his face. In this place, no matter how much money you have, it won't be of much use. No one knows what will happen after the game starts. Then he charged towards the crowd, put on a pretentious appearance. As long as you can be obedient and obedient. We still have a way for you to survive. After everyone listened, everyone gathered around him. Thank you so much, big brother. Just give your orders. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen and the other two women, but silently standing in place. Upon seeing this, Green Hair asked the three of you what you said. I saw the gray-haired woman quickly covering her face with the brim of her hat. A matter of life and death. Your verbal agreement. I don't think there's anything. Meaning at this moment. A gray-haired man walked towards him with a squint. Oh, you think if you cover your face, I won't be able to see? The woman screamed in panic. What do you want to do? The gray-haired man had a sinister smile on the corner of his mouth. Don't be nervous, little sister. A beautiful woman like you. It would be a pity if it were folded here. Why not pay a small price? We'll take you safely out of here. The woman immediately scolded him angrily upon hearing this. I can't imagine green hair walking forward with a dull expression to stop me. All right, Lao Xian, when he begs us later. He questioned Luo Chen and the short-haired woman about the crisis. You two should also make a statement as soon as possible. The short-haired woman pointed to the conductor. My choice is the same as him when it comes to sending girls. I don't like being directed by others. I saw Luo Chen's faint answer that I didn't need it at all. After hearing this, green hair was really surprised. What's so crazy? This kind of trial secret realm is beneficial for Luo Chen. It's not worth mentioning at all. The reason why he stays here. Just to study the Taoism behind the secret realm. Green-haired hands collapsed. Collapsed my breath. Since you are not afraid of death, then I have no choice. At this moment, a little old man wearing sunglasses shouted out to his comrades. Hold on, it's only 5 kilometers. Just go to the temporary inspection station. Everyone looked puzzled when they saw the situation. Did you have this person just now? Where did he come from? Green hair explained upon seeing the situation. He should be the target of the mission, Peng Jalan. What he just said must be mission information. Then he ordered the team to follow quickly. Don't fall behind, old Xian muttered with an unhappy expression on his face. There are so many rookies this time. In the end, I'm afraid there won't be much reward to share. Then the group followed the old man, struggling towards the destination. Xiao Pang was sweating profusely and complaining about why it was so hot. We should have walked at least three kilometers, right? At this point, a person suddenly chased after him with a panicked expression on their face. What are you doing? What is in the desert? An old man is shouting at a group of people. What are you doing? 
That guy is a replicator. Then there was a loud bang. Give the old man a heavy punch. Everyone was shocked upon seeing the situation. Why are there two Peng Jalan? At this moment, the old man pressed the replicator down to the ground. Shout to the crowd and kill him quickly. Otherwise, everyone will have to die. The old man lying on the ground immediately struggled to refute. Don't believe him, everyone. He's the one who's fake. Xiao Pang and Curly Mao were stunned by the moment when Lin Ji was stunned. Isn't the task just to protect the Pegasus forest? Who are they really? Upon seeing this, Green Hair immediately ordered to separate them first. If Pang Jalin really died, we all have to go to hell. Two men rushed up immediately, pulling the old man aside. Little Pang saw the old man lying flat motionless on the ground. Then he lifted it up with curly hair. Are you okay? The old man replied with a grim expression, it's okay. The two of them were frightened by his terrifying appearance and quickly retreated. The old man immediately fell to the ground and couldn't move. Unexpectedly, countless bloodstains suddenly appeared on Xiaopong's face. Then there was a loud bang. The two of them died directly holding onto the iron. Everyone was taken aback when they saw the situation. What is it now? The old man suddenly ejected from the ground with a sound of miso. Then he roared and rushed towards the old man. The short-haired man widened his eyes in shock upon seeing this. Recumbent groove. Then he released his hands and pushed the old man aside. Immediately turn around and run towards green hair. Help! The short-haired woman immediately angrily scolded him and ran for what? The NPC is dead, and everyone has to follow suit. The short-haired man with a panicked expression shouted, It's none of my business. At this moment, the old man rushed towards the old man with a dagger in his hand. I saw green hair pinching the short-haired man's head. The short-haired man suddenly shook. What are you doing? A wave of green hair arm. Just throw him back directly. Then there was a loud bang. The short-haired man hit the old man. The woman with short hair on her body was shocked by the power on her face. Is it a great master? Green hair let out a proud cold snort on his face. Master, calculate a ball. At this point, the short-haired man remained motionless and pressed the old man under him. How did the old man turn around? Pushed it aside with one hand. Then he suddenly stood up and stood up. Just hear a bang. Short-haired men's bodies instantly burst. Green hair visible. I explained to the gray-haired man that it seems. My guess is indeed correct. Simply touching the fake Pang Jalan is not a big deal. But if his actions are restricted, will immediately die from physical violence. The gray-haired man smiled slightly upon hearing this. One minute, a cold smile appeared at the corner of Green Hair's mouth. Then he swung his fist and rushed towards the old man. With a bang, a single hook punch instantly shatters its head. Then Green Hair proudly moved his wrist with a smug expression on his face. Up to 10 seconds. Pang Jialing quickly clapped her hands and cheered on her comrades upon seeing the situation. Well done. We finally got rid of the replicants. Hurry up and report back to the organization. Then the group continued to walk towards their destination. Green hair glanced at the crowd behind him. It's really unpleasant to start complaining. These guys who didn't take action actually survived. At this moment, the gray-haired woman looked thoughtfully behind her. Copied by Professor Pang. I always feel like I've heard these words somewhere before. Suddenly, he suddenly realized. Pang Jialing. Isn't he the key figure in the Pisces Jade Pendant incident? Rumors have it that 70 years ago. Huabang Northern Territory. There was once a shocking scientific research accident. At that time, researchers discovered a jade pendant in the style of a Pisces. That jade pendant not only has exquisite texture, but also, and it's also intact and undamaged, due to the inability to identify the material. The research team brought it back to the laboratory. However, during the research process, terrifying events occurred. Anyone who comes into contact with jade pendants, I have seen that they are the first mock examination as me. Same person, not long after. Those people inexplicably died suddenly. In the end, the entire research team disappeared into the desert. No further news. The professor leading the team at that time was Pang Jalan. Thinking of this, the volatile woman couldn't help but look at the two men ahead. They probably already knew that there was a problem with the replicator. Clearly possessing the strength of a great master, but he didn't take action in a timely manner. It seems that these two people cannot be trusted. Then he glanced at the two people behind him. Want to survive. We can only find ways to communicate with Zhang Shui. And the young man teamed up. Look at that little brother. From beginning to end, he always looked calm and composed. I'm sure he's not an ordinary person either. In the desert. 
We are undergoing an infinite crisis of secret realm trials. An old man leads the crowd. Arrived outside a base, he pointed to the gate behind him. Explain to everyone, please be calm and not impatient. Someone will open the door in three minutes after entering the base. Even if this task is successfully completed, Greenhair exclaimed in disbelief upon hearing it. What, is it just that it's over? Lao Xian muttered with a puzzled expression on his face. Even if there are many rookies, it's not that simple either. There must be something fishy going on here. Then he turned around and hinted that there weren't as many green hair tubes as there were. If it really settles later, we're not losing too much. Green hair pulls out a dagger, showing a smile all over my face. Okay, I understand, but, the small flat head behind me, but completely unaware of the impending danger. I saw green hair holding a dagger and suddenly turning around. With a swoosh, the blade swept through the air. Little flat head immediately covers his throat. With a painful expression on his face, he opened his big mouth. Then he fell to the ground with a loud bang. Burst and die. The short-haired woman was frightened and screamed loudly when she saw this. The gray-haired woman immediately rebuked at the green hair. Why do you want to kill her? Isn't the game already over? Green hair licked the red beans on the blade with a smug expression on its face. Milk tea game conclusion. Shu has a fixed reward. Unfortunately, the rating will be based on the number of people, so you can only die. After speaking, he swung his knife and fiercely stabbed the gray-haired woman. Unexpectedly, the short-haired woman immediately blocked the gray-haired woman in front of her, watching green hair rush over with a murderous expression on his face. I saw him easily dodge his attack on one side. Green Mouse suddenly exclaimed in terror, What? Short-haired women see symptoms. With a slight smile at the corner of his mouth, he just wanted to kill me with this little skill. Then he hit Green Hair's abdomen with a heavy punch. Green Hair retreated more than 10 meters before stopping. This bitch is actually an old hand too. Are you really good at pretending? The short-haired woman turned around and looked at Miss Lee, the gray-haired woman behind her. Please rest assured that I, Zheng Shui, am here. No one can hurt you. After Miss Lee listened, curiously asking how you know my surname, Zhang Shui's active wrist explained that the eldest lady of the Jingji Li family, how could I not recognize Li Meizi? Your family is our company's largest customer. Upon seeing this, Lao Xin grabbed green hair and it wasn't much time left. We don't have to entangle with him. Immediately, he made an introduction to Zhang Shui. I don't know the beauty. Would you be willing to join our horror game Mutual Aid Alliance? Since you are an old hand. You should have heard of the name of our organization. Our organization always adheres to two principles. The most important thing is to live and die together. As long as you join us, no matter when you enter the game, we will all ensure your safety. Green hair quickly added. You're right. And our organization also has many advanced players. After hearing this, Zhang Shui pondered silently. Then he waved his hand with a dull expression on his face. Don't draw big cakes for me. At least I am also a corporate executive. You can just say it. What is the second principle? After listening, a sound effect appeared at the corner of Lao Xian's mouth. Try to hunt down other players outside the organization in the game as much as possible. Ensure maximum game rewards. After hearing this, Huali Meizi showed a frightened expression on her face. What is Zhang Shui standing silently after hearing this? Unexpectedly, he raised his palm. Suddenly turned back with a swoosh. Then he exploded towards Li Meizi and left. At this moment, someone suddenly reached out their hand, grasping Li Meizi's clothes. Zhang Shui waved her palm and rushed towards him. I saw Luo Chen pulling him behind me, easily dodged the attack. Later, Li Meizi rushed towards Zhang Shui and angrily shouted at Miss Shang. What are you doing? Zhang Shui remained motionless with an ignored expression on her face. I saw a cold smile on the corner of his mouth, can improve survival rate in horror games. More attractive than anything else. Lao Xian burst into laughter with a proud expression on his face upon seeing this. Miss Zhang is indeed a smart person. The green hair immediately pointed towards Luo Chen. We don't like killing women. Let's take care of this kid. That beautiful girl will be handed over to you. In the desert, a green hair is pointing at a young boy and girl not far away. Shouting for us to take care of this kid. That beautiful girl will be handed over to you. The young man let out a cold snort without any fear. If you also want to kill me, Green Hair immediately angrily rebuked Xiao Tei for pretending to be forced here. After seeking death, he swung his knife and rushed towards the young man. As soon as the tip of the knife was about to pierce the young man's brow, I saw him flash behind Green Hair with a swoop. Green Mouse's expression suddenly changed greatly. 
What about people? I saw the young man raise his palm and coldly say, Okay, I will accompany you to play. After hearing this, Green Hair turned back with a frightened expression on his face. At this moment, Zhang Shui had already rushed towards Li Meizi. Miss Li, I'm sorry about that. Unexpectedly, there was a loud bang. The large body with green fur was instantly knocked away. Zhang Shui was momentarily stunned at the sight of the situation. What saw the young man wave his hand with one hand? Then a sharp blade shot out. Zhang Shui turned back suddenly with a panicked expression on her face. With a swoosh, the sharp blade directly cut through his pickled pepper chicken feet. Then a scream echoed through the entire desert. Li Meizi saw the situation. Instantly, Flax froze. Old Xian not far away. Completely shocked by the situation before me. He trembled all over. Cold sweat DC. Is it a high level player? Li Meizi leaned behind the young man. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, little brother, for taking the initiative to save us. At this moment, the young man slowly walked towards Lao Xian. Lao Xian saw the situation. Scared and quickly retreated. This is impossible. Rookie and advanced players, how could they be assigned to the same game? Thinking of this, he suddenly turned back to look at the base a few minutes ago. Why hasn't settlement been made yet? How to expect it? I don't know when the gate of the base has been opened. At this moment, someone ran out of the base. An old man shouted at the crowd and ran quickly. The base has been occupied by replicants. I saw him behind me. There are countless people just like him. Everyone is desperately shouting, don't believe him, I am the real one. The young man saw this situation. I secretly thought to myself, oh, it's a bit interesting. Based on the abilities demonstrated by the selectors, adjust the trial content at any time. It seems that this horror game, completely referencing the cultivation secrets of the immortal realm. At this moment, Zhang Shui walked up behind the young man and asked the big shot. How about making a transaction? I have a way to distinguish between truth and falsehood. As long as you take me through the customs together, I'll tell you the clue. Lao Xian also followed suit and we. Unexpectedly, the young man refused their request at once. No need for Zhang Shui to listen. Immediately scold him for something. You can't pass the level without me. The young man said coldly without changing his expression, right. Then he lightly waved his hand. Instantly solved two of the Pang Jalan issues. Zhang Shui saw the situation and quickly stopped the young man. Stop it. If we kill the real Professor Pang, we all have to go to hell. The young man answered with a disdainful expression on his face. It doesn't matter, anyway, the only one who will die is you. With a loud bang after speaking, he solved another Pang Jalan problem. Lao Xian saw this situation. With a frightened expression on his face, he shouted. This guy is crazy. At this point. Zhang Shui trembled and picked up the dagger from the ground. There are only two left. Professor Pong only has a chance of survival by killing him. So he rushed towards the boy with a dagger in his hand. Li Meizi's face was instantly shocked. It's not good to see Zhang Shui rushing towards the young man. He rushed over immediately. I blocked this knife with my body. Zhang Shui saw the situation. Immediately make him roar. Why are you doing this? The young man suddenly turned around. Catch Lee Maisy, who was seriously injured. At this moment, she exudes a terrifying aura all over her body. Zhang Shui was frightened and retreated one after another. Youth's gaze condensed. A touch of golden light flashed away in a flash. On the ground. Suddenly, a whirlwind of oily condensation appeared. With a bang. Zhang Shui instantly turned into accumulated powder. Dissipate in mid-air. The strong wind swept up the remaining two Pang Jalan. Fly into the air. Then they were directly wiped away by the powerful impact force. Lao Xian saw this situation. Suddenly, Flax froze. It's completely over now. A few big characters appeared prominently in the sky. Task failed. All staff elimination. A boy in the desert is holding a young girl, shouting to open the door in the sky. A buzzing sound. A portal suddenly appeared in front of him. Just now. A few big characters appeared prominently in the sky. Task failed. All staff elimination. In the next second, the entire sky will instantly be shrouded in dark clouds. Green hair was awakened by a series of roaring sounds. At this moment, he muttered with a puzzled expression on his face. What happened? Then he stood up and looked at the man behind him. What is the situation with Xian? Lao Xian trembled all over, eyes filled with despair. The task has failed. At this point, a huge vortex appeared in the sky. Countless lightning bolts burst out from the vortex. Lao Xian saw the situation. Roar at the sky and die. 
you all have to bury me with you. Just finished speaking, a lightning bolt descended from the sky, burn it directly into ashes. What shocked Green Hair upon seeing this? At this moment, Luochen stood there dumbfounded, holding Li Meizi in his arms. Then he shouted into the sky to open the door. With a bang, a portal suddenly appeared in front of me. Luochen said coldly to the dying girl, This is my phone number. If you have anything to say, let's talk outside. You won't be okay. According to the rules of the Fairyland Secret Realm, no matter how many injuries you've suffered inside, as long as you leave here, it will immediately recover. After speaking, she hugged him and stepped into the portal with one foot. Green hair was shocked to see this situation. So he shouted at the departing fallen dust and waited for me. Then he rushed towards the portal. Unexpectedly, I still couldn't catch this last bus. The portal disappeared in an instant before his eyes. Green hair sees this situation. Shouting in terror, this is impossible. The task has failed. So he roared into the sky, this is definitely dad. You can't kill me. Just finished speaking, a thunderous bolt of lightning. It struck his body. Screen rotation. Arrived on the second day, Luo Chen walked out of the room with a yawn. At this moment, Mom Luo has prepared a table full of breakfast for him. Luo Chen asked his mother with a curious expression on his face. Are you ordering too much? Mom Luo immediately explained to Mom. I don't know what you like to eat, so I bought a little more. After listening, Luo Chen. Hee hee, just smile. I like what my mom ordered. During the meal, Luo Chen said that a friend came to Jinji these days. I suggest whether or not to bring Luo's father over. Mom Luo thought about what the old man had said before. I sighed helplessly and didn't want to see him. After hearing this, Luo Chen was slightly taken aback. However, he still doesn't know the hardships in Luo Mama's heart. I saw Luo Mama smiling at Luo Chen with a bad smile on her face compared to your father. I would rather meet my future daughter-in-law. Mom Luo always thought she had three months left. Sun Tzu specified that he couldn't hold on to it. But if I could see my son get married with my own eyes, it can be considered as a death without regrets. Suddenly, Luo Chen's phone rang. Luo Chen looked at his mother who was still in her fantasies, with an awkward expression on his face. Mom, I'll take a call first. At this moment, a long-legged girl, she said shyly on the phone. Little brother is my younger sister. A girl with long legs in the room. I called a teenager directly. I saw a blush on her shy face. Hello, little brother. I am Miss Lin. If you have time today, I would like to meet you once. Luo Chen said coldly from the phone. Okay, where are we going? After Luo Mama eavesdropped on it, muttered curiously on his face. Surprisingly, it's a girl. The voice is so sweet. She must be a beautiful woman. So she quietly reached out her hand and leaned over to Luo Chen's side. I haven't waited for Luo Chen to finish speaking yet. Just snatched the phone in one go. Little girl, my family Luo Chen doesn't have a girlfriend yet. Auntie made soup today. Do you want to come over and have a drink? After hearing this, Li Meizi, I was momentarily stunned. Ah, Luo Chen awkwardly snatched his phone back. Mom, on the car. Master Zhang is reporting the situation over the phone. Master, we have arrived at Jingji. As per your instructions, everything has been arranged properly. In the coffee shop, Luo Chen and Li Meizi. I met at a good place on the phone in Rio. Li Meizi chuckled. First, I'll say that auntie is really cute. After listening, Ru Wachen. An awkward expression on one's face. Please change the topic. I saw a hint of anxiety on Li Meizi's face. Luaga, I'm going to schedule you today. I actually want to ask a question. Last night's horror game. I don't want to go in anymore. I don't know if there's any way. After hearing this, Luo Chen. Then he reached out his hand. Give me your hand. Miss Li is very careful. He placed his hand in the palm of Luo Chen's hand. The waiter at the door saw this situation. Cast an envious gaze. In public, unexpectedly showing affection. Let go of that girl. Let me take responsibility. At this point, a small flathead walked in on the phone. When did you return to Jiangi, brother? The waiter saw the situation. Hurry up and bow down to greet. Jiang Xiaoao, Xiaoping too, didn't pay any attention. I only heard him continue to say on the phone, have you contacted uncle yet? Later, the two of us brothers must get together well. After he saw Li Mei, I was momentarily stunned. How could he be here? At this moment, Li Meizi stared at Luo Chen with a shy expression on her face. I saw Luo Chen's eyes condensing. A touch of golden light flashed away in a flash. I want to erase the imprint of the secret realm selection. 
Just use a little too golden power to do it. When it comes to finding the Taoist sect behind the horror game, let's keep the imprint on myself for now. Thinking of this, he began to activate the two golden aura. Subsequently, a black gas emanated from the back of Li Meizi's hand. Li Mei sees this situation. Suddenly, my scalp feels numb. At this moment, Luo Chen withdrew his palm. It's already okay to say it lightly. After hearing this, Li Meizi, his face was filled with admiration. Thank you very much, Lobo. Luo Chen asked with a curious expression on his face. Why did you risk your life to block that knife for me last night? Li Meizi explained with a firm expression. Lobo saved me several times before. We always repay kindness when we leave home. Even if you make me die for Lobo now, I have no complaints either. At this moment, there was a loud bang. Suddenly someone patted the table. I saw Jiang Xiao questioning Miss Li with an arrogant expression on his face. Isn't it said that I'm very busy today? Why do you have time to come here for coffee again? Miss Lin, upon seeing this, Johnny Hon let out a cold snort in frustration. Mrs. Matter, it's your turn to take care of it. Johnny Hong immediately looked at Luo Chen on the side. I want to take a look. Who can make you refuse my invitation? I saw him show a look of disdain and disdain on his face. Oh, isn't this the wild seed of the Shin family? A man who even the Shin family is unwilling to accept. Why are you okay? Come out with the meaning. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen interrupted his words with a disdainful expression on his face. After listening to Rolling Egg Johnny Hong, immediately, my veins burst with anger. Dare to be so arrogant in front of me. You are still the first one. Don't try to walk out of here alive today. Li Mei stood up immediately. Roar at him angrily. Johnny Hong waved his hand with a dull expression on his face. Today, for the sake of Miss Li's face, don't argue with this kid. Then he left here with a fierce expression on his face. Son of a bitch, look at me for a while and I won't mess with you. Li Meizi's face was filled with apologies. How about I take you back? Johnny Hong will definitely not give up easily. Luo Chen rejected his request in one fell swoop. If nothing happens, if you have the heart to repay the kindness, don't get involved in this matter. Luo Chen slowly walked out of the coffee shop on the street. Johnny Hong saw the situation, immediately ordered that it was him. Keep up with me now. At this moment, Los Angeles opened the door and entered an off-road vehicle. Immediately, he solemnly instructed the driver to go to places with fewer people. On the highway, a luxury car is closely following a van. Next second, the luxury car forced the van to stop directly. The man on the van immediately curse at the front car. Do you know how to drive? American stop, you. Johnny Hong ordered to the man in the back row. Lao Lu killed them. Let me see the skills of your professional assassins. Unexpectedly, Lao Liui refused his request in one fell swoop. I refused Jiang Hong and immediately scolded him. What exactly do you mean? Do you want to make a last minute comeback? A cold smile appeared at the corner of Lao Lu's mouth. Mr. Jiang, you misunderstood. I just feel that. Killing an ordinary person is such a simple matter. You can definitely do it yourself. People who can make themselves disgusted disappear forever with their own hands. That's the most wonderful thing in the world. After speaking, he handed the gun over. Johnny Hong saw the situation. After a moment of hesitation, helplessly, he eventually took the pistol. That's okay, but this order is considered your initiative. Cancelled. Old Louis spread out his hands with a dull expression, indifferent. Anyway, I'm not interested in money either. Zhang Dashi did not dodge the car in front of him. Then continue to curse at him, you little turtle grandson. Is it intentional to find fault? Just finished speaking. Johnny Hong immediately fired a gun at him. Zhang Dashi was immediately frightened and quickly withdrew into the car. Johnny Hong didn't stop until he fired empty bullets. I saw him take a deep breath of relief. Then he shouted excitedly on his face. You really didn't lie to me. It's really great to be able to kill these ants with your own hands. At this moment, the road outside the car was silent. Johnny Hong got off the car and walked over when she saw the situation. He ordered his subordinates to lift the body down. Find a place to bury it casually. He proudly opened the other person's car door. Then a person fell to the ground with a loud bang from the car. Johnny Hong stepped on the corpse, put on a proud and forgetful appearance. I dare to recognize you, Grandpa Jiang. This is your fate. Unexpectedly, the next scene completely shocked him. People lying on the ground. Surprisingly, it was his own brother Jiang Yifei. Johnny Hong saw the situation, immediately exclaiming in shock, What the hell is going on? Why is my brother in the car? 
screen rotation, return to not long ago. Johnny Hong's grandfather earnestly reminded Honger, ever since your bad dad passed away, grandpa is pretty good to you, isn't he? Johnny Hong had some doubts after hearing this. Why did grandpa suddenly mention this? The old man sighed and explained that his grandfather was already old. I can't say which day I'll go see your father. Although the third generation of the Jiang family only has you and your cousin Ifei, but after all, there is only one position as the head of the family. Your brother, whether in business or family management, they are all stronger than you, even if I fully support you. The position of the head of this family is not up to you either. But after all, you are my grandson from Jiangnan. I can't just watch you on the edge of the Jiang family. Huaba Jianyihong was slightly stunned after hearing this. I saw Jiangnan smiling and looking at him. But you can rest assured. Grandpa has arranged a backup for you, as long as you can handle the thorny girl Lee who left home. Grandpa will personally come to propose your marriage. With the backing of leaving home, even if you can't be the head of the family, the Jiang family would never dare to ignore you. This is your only way out. Thinking of this, Johnny Hong exclaimed in disbelief. This is impossible. He would never believe it. Not only did he not solve his rival in love, and even killed his own brother with his own hands. At this moment, someone walked over with a smile on their face, to set up a position for the homeowner and engage in sibling violence. This is really a human tragedy. Take a closer look. The people who came were Luo Chen and Master Zhang. Master Zhang touched his chin and joked that there was a poem, coincidentally used to describe sibling violence. Do the cute kids in the comments section know anything about it? Xian Zun only had a cup of coffee with the girl. It led to a fatal accident. He not only survived and scathed in the end, but also, and even showed off the other person's face. Just now, Johnny Hong not only failed to solve her rival in love, but also, and even killed his own brother with his own hands. Master Zhang squatted down and looked at Jiang Yifei on the ground, joking about boiling and burning beans. Dare to fight and shout in the pot. They are all the same father. Why do you want to kill? Jiang Yihong immediately pointed a gun at him and angrily scolded him. No, the people I want to kill are you. After speaking, I wanted to shoot, but found that the gun was empty of bullets. So he threw away the pistol. Command the person behind you, Old Six. Help me kill them quickly. Unexpectedly, Old Six refused his request again and again. Mr. Jiang, isn't the person you want me to kill dead? My task has been completed. After hearing this, Johnny Hong was so angry that his veins erupted. Fuck your mother's screw butt. I ask you to kill them. Lao Liu explained with a dull expression that he was in our line of work. We will never change our goals midway. Besides, this person was killed by you yourself. You're right, right. Johnny Hong immediately roared at him, and the gun was given to me by you. When he saw Lao Lu wearing gloves, suddenly speechless. I saw Lao Lu slowly take off his gloves, but there's only your fingerprint on the gun. Johnny Hong suddenly realized, turns out this is all your conspiracy. Luo Chen sneered coldly, slowly walked towards him. Why don't you keep your rhetoric and tell your uncle? In order to compete for the position of the head of the Jung family, so you're not a killer. Kill your own cousin. Is it more reasonable to say this? Jiang Yihong looked panicked and charged towards his subordinates beside him. Shout Ahua loudly. You can testify to me, right, right? Just finished speaking. Just listen to the empty sound. A bullet shot into his forehead. Jiang Yihong's expression suddenly changed greatly. I saw a slight smile from the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. The witness is now gone. At this moment, a wave of mobile phone ringtones rang. The person making the phone call is Jiang Yifei's father. At this moment, Jiang Yihong trembles all over her body. Cold sweat DC. In an instant, his body sank, sitting paralyzed on the ground. It's over. It's all over now. Master Zhang and Luo Chen, hurry up when they see someone. So I left here. Not long after, a car stopped next to it. Immediately after, two men got off the car. Jiang Yihong immediately panicked at the sight of the situation. The person who came is Uncle Jiang Yihong. After the man saw Jiang Yifei on the ground, immediately, she screamed in terror and called out Yifei. Then, he rushed over quickly. Jiang Yihong explained with a panicked expression, Uncle, listen to me first. Men cannot conceal their inner sadness. Immediately cry and shout out Yifei, who exactly did it? I saw Lao Lu holding a pistol and aiming it at him. Then he fired a shot at him with a loud bang. Unexpectedly, the little beard flashed behind him with a swish. Instantly blocked the bullet. 
Little Beard confronted him and questioned the white one how to endure it. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Lao Lu's mouth. A dying person has no right to know. Upon hearing this, Little Beard immediately drew his sword and violently ran towards him. I only heard a loud roar when I wanted to die. The luxury car was instantly split in half. Lao Lui's bouncing leap dodged the sword aura. Then he fired continuously at him. Unexpectedly, Little Beard held a long sword in his hand, activating the spiritual power within the body. Then he waved his long sword and blocked all the bullets. Old Lu suddenly exclaimed in terror, Grandmaster. So he shouted at Jiang Hong, Mr. Jiang. Why didn't you tell me that the other party has protection from the royal family? Jiang Hong was momentarily stunned upon hearing this. I saw Lao Lu pull out a smoke bomb, Mr. Jiang. I can only complete half of this task. Then, with a loud bang, a wave of smoke instantly spreads to the surrounding area. Little Beard immediately waved his long sword, rush into the smoke barrier and repair it. Unexpectedly, after the smoke dissipated, there was no one left. At this point, Uncle walked behind Jiang Hong with a gloomy expression on his face. Jiang Hong quickly turned around, shouted at him and let me explain. Just hear a snap. Uncle gave him a big slap in the face. I'll pick up your mother's cotton autumn pants. In the room, a man is kowtowing and kneeling to the immortal lord and master Zhang. Kowtow to the master. Visiting master. Luo Chen is very satisfied with the situation, Lao Zhang. You're such a good disciple. Master Zhang chuckled and praised the master. Or is your strategy powerful? I'm afraid Jiang Yihong wouldn't have thought of it even if he were killed, since he received a call from Jiang Yifei. Everything is under the control of the master. Ruachen's gaze condensed, to be precise, to put it coldly. It started when Jiang Qingwu tricked my mother into bringing that Buddha pearl. It was destined for the downfall of the Jiang family. At this moment, he looked out the window. A cold smile appeared at the corner of her mouth, indicating Jiang Yifei's death. It's just the first gift I gave them. In the lobby of the Xin family, Jiang Yihong is kneeling on both legs, waiting for his release. He was filled with regret in his heart. If I hadn't sent someone to kill Luo Chen at that time, is it possible that all of this won't happen? At this point, an old man slowly walked towards him. What exactly happened in Qinghua? Zhang Qinghua pointed at Jiang Yihong and angrily cursed at this little beast. Surprisingly killed a fei. After hearing this, Zhang Yihong shouted at the old man, Grandpa. I didn't kill brother Yifei. Zhang Qinghua immediately kicked him to the ground. Do you still refuse to admit it? The assassin you hired almost killed me too. The old man was shocked upon hearing this. What? Jiang Yihong cried loudly when she saw this, Grandpa. Listen to me explain. The old man immediately scolded him, and it's already this time. Explain that there is a hair effect. Immediately, he ordered Tang Yun, a bearded man, to stand beside him. First, cut off his hands. So, so. Tang Yun drew his sword with a gloomy expression and walked towards him. Offended. While he was holding his sword in both hands and hanging in midair, suddenly, a voice came from outside the door. Wait a minute. I saw Jiang Yihong's grandfather, Jiang Nan, walked in with a panicked expression on his face. Big brother, there must be something suspicious about this matter. Jiang Yihong saw the situation. The hanging heart finally fell to the ground. Great, grandpa is here. I'm saved. Jiang Qinghua immediately retorted to him. What I saw with my own eyes. There can still be mistakes. Jiang Nan immediately snorted coldly as evidence. To do things, one should pay attention to truthfulness and solid evidence. After hearing this, Jiang Qinghua was so angry that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. At this moment, my subordinate handed over a report, sir. The investigation results are out. The old man flipped through the report. Suddenly, my veins burst with anger. He immediately scolded his second brother towards Jiang Nan. Come and take a look yourself. Then Jiang Nan carefully flipped through the investigation results. The report records the entire process of the event. Jiang Yifei and the Golden Blade Sect Master. Take a plane back to Jingji. In the morning, I called Jiang Yihong to invite them to meet. In the afternoon, he was ambushed by Jiang Yihong. Jiang Yifei was hit by a bullet and died on the spot. After Ding Lao killed the driver of Jiang Yihong, but he was killed by the assassin he hired. After investigation, there are only Jiang Yifei and Ding Lao on the business car. Action traces. And there are only Jiang Yihong's fingerprints on the pistol. Jiang Nan sees here, like thunder exploding overhead. Startled and speechless, suddenly, a gunshot came from behind. Jiang Yihong knelt down to the ground in response. I saw him holding his chest with a painful expression on his face. Then there was a loud bang. 
My whole body is lying on the ground. Zhang Nan sees the situation. Immediately roar at Zhang Qinghua. Zhang Qinghua held a gun and coldly said that killing someone would pay off his life. It is natural and natural. Screen rotation. Arrived at the hotel. If mom is currently dressing up. At this moment, there was a sudden knocking on the door. I saw a man in green coming to visit. Hello, may I ask if Mr. Luo Chun Luo is available? My master Li Jiu wants to invite him to go there. Why does Li Jiu sound so familiar? Is it the one who ranks first on the heavenly dragon list? The man answered with a proud expression on his face. It was precisely after hearing this that Luo Mama's eyes suddenly lit up. What happened to him? The man rubbed his chin and thought, but the master didn't say anything. I think I just wanted to see Mr. Luo. Luoma immediately turned around and shouted excitedly, wanting to go to Chinchen. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen refused without hesitation and said, I won't go. The Grand Master ranked first on the Tianlon list. Surprisingly, he had the delusion of accepting the Immortal Lord as his disciple. After hearing this, Xian Zun snorted coldly. Who gave you the courage? Just now, Li Zhou's apprentice is coming, inviting Luo Chen to come to the mansion for a training session. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen refused his invitation without hesitation. If you don't go, Mom Luo immediately scolded with dissatisfaction. He is the first member of the contemporary royal family. Since they're here to invite you, it's definitely not a bad thing. Don't be shy. Son, don't keep them waiting for too long. Luo Chen couldn't resist his mother when he saw her. Can only sigh helplessly. So he followed the visitor out of the house. Luoma saw the situation. There was a hint of comfort on my face, and now I have nothing. Unable to protect Luo Chen. If we can rely on the Li family, then I can rest assured. Li Jiofan in the Li mansion watches the news on his phone. Muttering with a puzzled expression on his face, the Zhang brothers turned against each other overnight. Weird, weird, weird. At this moment, Luo Chen slowly walked towards him. What can I do for you? Li Jiujian saw the situation, pointed to the seat next to it. Shen Tianjuan's grandson, Luo Chen, has been wandering outside for more than 20 years. I have never returned to the Xin family. Mother Xin Yuelan claims to be the Empress of Commerce, but not long ago, all the assets were taken by the Xin family. Am I right or not? Luo Chen asked coldly. What is your purpose in investigating me? Li Jiu answered with a serious expression on his face. Of course, we need to see the man who is dating my daughter. How much does it weigh? Then he knocked on the file on the table. However, based on the information I have found, I'm afraid I'm not qualified to be with my daughter yet. After hearing this, Luo Chen, get up immediately and walk outwards. No fun, let's go first. Li Zhou's face was instantly shocked. What, at this moment, his heart is filled with doubts. Isn't he my daughter's suitor? According to the normal plot, he should have knelt down and begged me. But why is he acting so indifferent? Thinking of this, he immediately called out to Luo Chen. Stop and then he pretended to calm down and cleared his throat. Listen to me, kid. Although your attitude makes me very unhappy. But for the sake of my daughter, I'll give you one chance. With your calm and composed demeanor, I can make an exception and take you as an apprentice. I believe you will also have a place in the Shin family in the future. After hearing this, Luo Chen, a playful expression appeared on his face. Oh, who gave you the courage? One day, you will feel ashamed of what you just said. Li Jiujian saw the situation. Immediately, my veins burst with anger. You're quite crazy, kid. Even you dare to mock me. Luo Chen is too lazy to argue with him. He quickly walked out of the Li mansion. At this moment, Li Meizi walked towards him. Luoga, why are you here? Is it my dad looking for you? He didn't do anything to you, did he? Luo Chen replied. After hearing this, Li Meizi finally breathed a sigh of relief. That's good. I saw a blush on his shy face. The day after tomorrow is the Baihua Mountain Tianlong Ranking Replacement Conference. I don't know if you have time. I would like to invite you to accompany me. Screen Rotation Arriving at Baihua Mountain Li Meizi's face was full of excitement as she urged brother Luo Chen Luo. Hurry up, it's already started up there. At this moment, the conference was crowded with onlookers. Li Jiu is sitting upright at the viewing seat. I saw an old man waving one hand on the arena. A spiral pill instantly appeared in the palm of the hand. Then with a loud bang, he collided with a golden-haired palm. Immediately after, Jean Mao was repelled by a powerful impact force. Throwing backwards, the people eating melons are cheering and calling out, Okay, well done, Yu Lao is very powerful. Li Mei saw the situation on her own. 
With a curious expression on his face, isn't today the Tianlong ranking replacement conference? Why did a foreign monkey come? The young man next to him immediately explained. Although this dragon list was established by Master Huabang, but as long as you have the ability, anyone can take the stage to challenge. The foreigner who came today is a dark horse. Surprisingly, they were able to mistake the top 10 experts on the heavenly dragon chart. The second ranked Mr. Yu has already appeared. I'm afraid he stopped here too. Hear this. Miss Lee turned around and asked brother Luo Chen Luo about it. What do you think of the situation on stage? Luo Chen's cold answer. That old man is about to lose. On the arena, an old man is extending his palm. Successfully repelled a golden feather. How to expect it? Luo Chen, however, with a firm judgment on his face, said to the old man, I'm about to lose. Just finished speaking. The little mustache on the side snorted coldly, little kid. Food can be eaten randomly. But you can't speak recklessly. Mr. Yu didn't even unleash his ultimate signature, Yun Chang. How could we possibly lose? After hearing this, Luo Chen did not respond. I saw a cold smile on the corner of his mouth. At this moment, Mr. Yu on the arena was reprimanding Jean Mao. With your three-legged skills, dare to falsely claim to worship my Huabang Grandmaster Jian. It's just a foolish dream. After speaking, he waved his hands and burst towards the golden hair, leaving. I saw him in his palms. Two spiral pills appeared in an instant. Immediately after, his palms turned outward, suddenly pushing towards the golden hair. Unexpectedly, there was a swish. Golden hair easily dodged his attack with just a flash. Yu Lao saw the situation. A great change in expression. What? Unexpectedly, the golden-haired face showed a look of disdain. The Lord cannot be angry and lose heart. Set up a war against the will that cannot be desired. Don't Mr. Yu know the truth behind this? After listening to Yu Lao, immediately put on a dual posture. At this moment, he has developed a fear in his heart. Why did his speed suddenly become so fast? It seems like using that move. At this point, a black aura suddenly emanated from the palm of Jean Mao's hand. Mr. Yu. The warm-up should be over now. After speaking, he waved his palm and rushed towards Yu Lao with force. El Yu Lao saw the situation. Quickly raise your arm to resist. I saw him between his palms. A super large cyclone cloud palm has appeared. Then he slammed towards the rushing golden hair. In an instant, the entire arena was filled with flying sand and stones. With a surging momentum, immediately, a loud noise spread rapidly from the mountaintop to the surroundings. Everyone raised their arms one after another. Resist this terrifying impact. Luo Chen quickly propped up his shield. Rushed up to Li Meizi. Standing behind me. Don't move at this moment. Thick smoke is rising from the arena. I don't know how long it has been. The smoke finally slowly dissipated. I saw two people standing on both sides of the arena. Li Lao covered the wound with pain on his face. This is impossible. Then he fell to the ground with a thud. Golden hair visible. With a smug expression on his face, he wiped his fingers. Warm up ends. Little Beard suddenly froze with flaxen. Defeat the second ranked expert on the heavenly dragon chart with just one move. How could this be possible? At this moment, Jean Mao looked up at Li Jiu above the tower. Mr. Li, have you seen enough? Is it your turn to end? Li Jiu stood up. With a serious expression on his face, he replied. Mr. Goulard. Indeed not. Ordinary experts. But rather a master in Wang Wei's poetry. It seems that I shouldn't have let Mr. Yu come out first to test you. Just finished speaking. Jean Mao burst out laughing heartily. I accept your apology. But I want to challenge you. We have to defeat the second place first. Only in this way can you be convinced to lose. After hearing this, Li Jiu immediately jumped off the tower. Since you are so confident in your own strength, why challenge the heavenly dragon list's royal clothes curse again? I saw a sound effect on the corner of Golden Hair's mouth. I heard that the person ranked first on the heavenly dragon list, has the right to access all martial arts secrets, I want to bring them back to my country. When the rice wine stopped, I was so angry that I gritted my teeth and gritted my teeth. No way. It's impossible for the melon eating crowd to shout loudly and angrily. How can my Huabang martial arts fall into the hands of outsiders? Golden hair visible. With a proud expression on his face, he started shouting loudly. Everyone present, please listen to me. Anyone who dares to stop me, I sent him all the way to see God. After hearing this, Li Jiu, immediately wave your palm up and down. Then come on. At this point, Miss Li asked Luo Chen and Luo Gu with a worried expression on her face. Will my dad win? 
Unexpectedly, Luo Chen's words completely cooled his heart. Unable to win, little beard. After listening, immediately curse at him with a bunch of nonsense. Since you came here, I never said a good word before. How can we rely on the will of others? Extinguish one's own prestige. Luo Chen said coldly with an ignoring expression on his face. If you can't win, you just can't win. Even if you say good things, what can you do? The short-haired man on the side immediately rebuked him angrily. You little kid, you understand shit. The new and old were among the top 10 figures on the Tianlon list in the past. I saw a slight smile from the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. If he wins, how can I pretend to be forced in the next episode? At the conference, an old man was cursing at a young man. Your kid is just talking nonsense. How dare to make comments on top martial arts masters. After hearing this, Luo Chen smiled slightly. On martial arts, it's really hard to determine the winner between these two people. But Goulard, but there are other mysterious powers hidden inside him. This force is extremely similar to that of Shin Junfeng. I believe it was also obtained in a horror game. At this moment, Li Jiu bounced and leaped one by one, directly dodged the claws of golden hair. Then he extended his palm, slapped the cup throwing hand fiercely at Jean Mao. Just finished speaking, a huge stone tablet crashed into the ground with a loud bang. The entire venue instantly exploded with thick smoke. Just listen to a whoosh. Li Jiu flew out of the smoke. At this moment, his eyes were sharp and sharp, finally breathed a sigh of relief. Unexpectedly, a sound suddenly came from the smoke and dust. The person ranked first on the heavenly dragon list. Surprisingly, he came up with the ultimate ultimate move. After speaking, Jin Mao immediately rushed out of the smoke. Bursting towards him, Li Jiu was slightly stunned at the sight of the situation. I saw Jin Mao come to him in an instant. Mocking, is Mr. Li so afraid of me? Li Jiu Jian saw the situation, quickly raised both arms to resist. Unexpectedly, there was a swish. Golden hair flashed past him in an instant. Li Jiu immediately spat out the overnight red bean milk tea. Everyone was immediately shocked. Li Meizi almost cried out loud. Li Jiu's eyes were dull and he thought to himself, this is impossible. He clearly did not use an endoscope. How can you avoid my attack? How could they break through my defense? At this point, Jean Mao put on a proud expression on his face. Mr. Li, you have already lost. Li Jiu thought of this, suddenly realized. The method you just used is not martial arts. Surprisingly, it was practicing the Dharma. Unexpectedly, Jean Mao squeezed his neck tightly. Threatened to hand over what I wanted. Otherwise, twist your neck. Then he shouted at everyone present. Who else do you have? Don't be afraid of death, come up and despise. Don't say I didn't give you a chance. Li Meizi saw the situation, shouting loudly to Luo Chen, Luo Gu, help my dad quickly. I saw a playful expression on Luo Chen's face. Don't panic, this is simply a piece of cake. At this moment, Jin Mao's arrogant face threatened me three times. If Mr. Li doesn't hand over the martial arts secrets, I will slaughter all the people here. After hearing this, everyone shouted loudly and angrily. Don't promise him. No big deal. Let's fight with him. Li Jiu quickly shouted to stop everyone from being impulsive. This guy's strength is unfathomable. Even if everyone works together, they may not necessarily win him. Jin Mao raised his head and stood up to look for him. Speaking harshly, since you don't listen to advice, then I'll start with you first. At this moment, a voice behind him stopped him. Wait a minute. I saw Luo Chen calmly ordering Jen Huazi. I will only give you one chance. Get lost now, there's still time to go. Jean Mao was slightly stunned at the sight. Are you talking to me, kid? Immediately, he looked at Luo Chen with a disdainful expression on his face. Are all the young people in Hua Bang so unpolite? Luo Chen threw away Hua Zi with a disdainful expression on his face. That line will continue from now on. You should bury it here. Jean Mao laughed heartily after hearing it. What are you joking about internationally? Li Jiu even advised Luo Chen with a panicked expression on his face. Hurry up and go back. This is not a place for you to show off your abilities. Little Beard quickly shouted at him as a young man. Hurry back and guard the tower. Never intentionally give someone a head. At this moment, Li Jiu immediately compromised towards Jin Mao. What you want, I can give it to you. The premise is not to hit him. He's just a child. Unexpectedly, Jin Mao sneered with a murderous intent on his face. It's already late now. He actually doesn't have any respect for the strong. Then he lifted his claws covered in black nails. So death is his ultimate destination. 
After speaking, he waved his palm and rushed towards Luo Chen. On the arena, a golden hair was being stepped on by a young man, a mere mole ant. How to respect? Just now, Jin Mao waved his powerful palm and swept away towards Luo Chen. I saw Luo Chen let out a cold snort without any fear. The dignity of the strong. You also have just finished speaking. With a bang, the entire venue was shattered in an instant. With a surging momentum, Li Jiao quickly raised his arm, resisting the powerful impact force. It's over now. How to expect it? The next scene completely shocked them. I saw Jean Mao's entire body collide with the stone wall. Then he spat out the 82-year-old red wine with a popping sound. He touched his scorching cheeks with a shocked expression on his face. I was actually beaten. Who exactly did it? He looked at Luo Chen in disbelief. Is it this kid who did it? How could this be possible? Just now, he didn't react at all. Thinking of this, he immediately questioned the onlookers who it was. Dare to secretly attack me. There is a way to leave a dog's head in the comments section. Little Beard almost startled his chin when he saw this. People that even the Lee family cannot defeat. Surprisingly, he pushed back with one move. What exactly is this kid from? Jean Mao sees no response from anyone. Then he began to curse angrily. You bunch of trash. How dare you defile my noble body. I will make sure that you. Before the words fall. With a swipe, the falling dust flashed in front of him in an instant. Then he lifted his knees and legs. Heavy impact on his abdomen. In an instant, golden hair was blasted into the air by a powerful force. Then Luo Chen clenched his fist tightly, slightly flying over him. Just hear a bang. With a heavy punch, it fell to the ground. The entire venue instantly surged with momentum. Smoke filled the air. The next scene completely shocked everyone. I saw a huge depression in the center of the arena. Jin Maozhan lay motionless in the giant pit. Then he once again spat out the 82-year-old red wine. Ruachin seized the situation. Quickly land from the air to the ground. Then he walked up to Jin Mao's body. He stepped on his dog's head with one foot. At this moment, he exuded a terrifying aura all over his body. Can you tell me now? A mere mole ant. How to respect. Unexpectedly, Jin Mao not only did not beg for mercy, but also, instead, continue to threaten that you have. Plant and kill me. The count will never spare you. Just hear a bang. Luo Chen stomped on his dog's head with one foot. I am not afraid of it. Screen rotation. Arrived at a castle. At this moment, a person is caressing the dead bat. Lament for these ignorant people. Surprisingly killed my envoy. Then he held the bat in his arms. Goulard, I will avenge you on your behalf. Time has arrived on the second day. A man flipped through the news on his phone. Full of shock on the face. General Lin, this is big news. The top position on the Tianlong list, which has remained unchanged for over a decade. Surprisingly, there was a change of person. After hearing this, Lin Hualong, I said lightly that I have already seen it. It's just an unexpected thing. The man has some doubts. Is Luo Wuji really so powerful? Lin Hua Dragon immediately explained to him Mr. Luo's strength. Isn't it something that the heavenly dragon list can prove, even in the entire divine realm? He is also an invincible existence. On the dining table, an old man is toasting a young man to celebrate. Congratulations to Mr. Luo for being ranked first on the Tianlong list. Bowls and cups, dry first as a tribute. Li Jio raised his glass with both hands. A respectful apology. Mr. Luo, please forgive me for speaking rudely yesterday. I will punish myself with three cups. I apologize to you. After hearing this, Luo Chen. I didn't argue with him either. No harm, those who do not know are not guilty. Everyone witnessed the situation. Everyone raised their glasses to express gratitude. Mr. Luo's carelessness. If it weren't for your timely action to kill Goulard, I'm afraid we won't be able to survive until now. In the future, warriors who transform the country will respect Luo Wuji. After speaking, we drank this glass of wine together. Speaking of Goulard, Luo Chen remembered what happened at the conference. When he killed it, I clearly felt a spiritual power from the West. Fluctuations. It should be emitted by guys who have awakened three or more layers. I believe it must be what Goulard mentioned. Your Highness, Count, if that's really the case. The Taoist school behind that horror game. I'm afraid it's much stronger than imagined. Thinking of this, Luo Chen secretly made up his mind. It's time to put an end to these mundane things. Inside the Jiang family courtyard. Jiang Nan is angrily cursing at the people around me. Get out of here. Don't touch me now. Old Jiang comforted with a mischievous smile saying that he was originally from the same roots. 
Why is it too urgent to fry each other? Brother, why are you doing this? Jiang Nan scolded him with an angry expression on his face. Xiao Tei, are you pretending to be insincere here? If you really think of me as your own brother, just kill him to pay for Yi Hong's life. Jiang Qing was snorted coldly with an unhappy expression on his face. It's your grandson and senior brother who came first. I just eradicated a calamity for the Jiang family. After listening to Jiang Nan, suddenly, my veins burst with anger. Xiao Tei, why don't you pretend to be a big-tailed wolf here? The despicable things you have done before. Don't think I don't know. You couldn't catch up with Xin Yuelan back then. Just find a master of the esoteric sect to curse him, causing the separation of bones and flesh, a broken family and a fallen person. How to expect it? Zhang Qinghua immediately put on a look of wanting to be beaten up. So what? What I can't get? No one else can expect it. Old Zhang waved his hand. Interrupted his words, Qinghua. Don't say anything more. Then he patted Zhang Nan's shoulder. Comfort here. It's all the hard work of our brothers for over a decade. Do you think so? Are you really planning to ruin everything for Zhang Yihong? Zhang Nan not only lacks tranquility, but also, instead, he became even more angry. If you want to kill, kill it. Where's all that nonsense coming from? I just hate not being able to personally avenge my grandson. At this moment, a sound came from outside the door. Give you a chance to seek revenge. Do you want to? Take another look. The person who came is Luo Chen. I saw him standing at the door of the living room with a gloomy expression on his face. His subordinates all pulled out pistols and pointed them at him. Inquire who the visitor is. If we keep moving forward, we'll shoot. I saw Luo Chen's eyes condensed, showing a murderous expression on his face. Give me the dead talk just finished. Everyone immediately screamed in pain. Then they all fell to the ground with a thud. Little beard showing symptoms. Suddenly, his face changed drastically. Internal strength and external release. Is it a great master? So he pulled out his long sword with a snap. With a swoosh, a sword energy slashed towards Luo Chen. I saw Luo Chen slowly lifting his one hand. A shield appeared instantly in front of me. Blocked his attack. A mustache like thunder on top of one's head. Startled and dumbfounded. He actually blocked my attack with just his endoscope. This guy is definitely not easy. At this point, a question came from inside the room, but it was Luo Wuji. Luo Chen withdrew his arm. The faint answer is exactly. I saw old Jiang clenching his fists with a frightened expression on his face. Mr. Luo came here for the sake of Jiang Nan. How much does he ask for? I can give you double the price. After hearing this, Luo Chen, a cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Why don't you keep your money for the hellflower? How terrifying is the method used by the immortal lord to punish evil people? After hearing this, Jiang Qinghua, my eyes momentarily froze, full of despair. Just now, Luo Chen rejected old Jiang's sincerity in one fell swoop. You should keep it for the hellflower. Old Jiang asked innocently, Mr. Luo, what does this mean? There shouldn't be any grudges between us, right? A cold smile appeared at the corner of Luo Chen's mouth, showing no grudges or grievances. It's true that many noble people forget things. If you can't remember, then I'll give you a hint. My mother's name is Xin Yuelan. Just finished speaking, the father and son of the Jiang family suddenly exploded like thunder above their heads, startled and dumbfounded. Jiang Qinghua was even more frightened and trembled all over. You are actually. At this moment, old Jiang commanded Tang Yun with his mustache. Kill him with your hands. After hearing this, Tang Yun immediately drew his sword and swung it towards Luo Chen. Immediately, a sword or a brush struck towards Luo Chen. Luo Chen's disdainful side profile easily dodged his attack. Tang Yun then put on a dual posture. No matter what grudges Mr. Luo has with the Jiang family, as long as Tang is here, you can't even scratch a single hair on them. Luo Chen snorted coldly with an ignoring expression on his face. It's simply beyond our control. Tang Yun saw the situation, immediately grip with both hands. If you don't believe Long Sword, come and give it a try. I won't be lenient. Before the words fall, his whole body froze instantly. Tang Yun exclaimed with a frightened expression on his face. Is it a practitioner of the Dharma? Aren't you Luo Wuji from the Heavenly Dragon list? Luo Chen slowly approached him and reminded him, who told you? I am just a great master. With a loud bang after speaking. The mustache instantly turned into powder and dissipated in place. Only one long sword remained stuck on the ground. The father and son of the Jiang family almost fell out of shock when they saw the situation. How could this be possible? 
Luo Qing drew his long sword with a gloomy expression on his face. Then with a swoop, he swung towards the back of Jiang Nan. I saw the ropes on his hands being cut off in response. Luo Chen immediately threw his long sword to Jiang Nan's side. Not going to avenge your grandson yet. After listening to Jiang Nan, without hesitation, he reached out and pulled out his long sword. At this moment, a bullet passed through his chest in an instant. Then he fell to the ground with a thud. Jiang Lao Tu seized the situation. With a panicked expression, he shouted at Jiang Qinghua and scolded him. Why did Jiang Qinghua unexpectedly turn the gun head around immediately? A shot was fired at him with a bang. Old Jiang never expected that. He will eventually die under his own biological son's command. At this moment, Jiang Qinghua was trembling all over. Cold sweat DC. Anyway, we can't even survive. Instead of falling into the hands of outsiders, it's better to settle oneself for the sake of pleasure. After speaking, he raised his pistol and pressed it against his head. I saw Luo Chen raise his hand and gently wave it in midair. With a bang, the pistol instantly turned into fragments. Zhang Qingwa sneered at the situation and said, Why, don't you want me to die so easily? Immediately, he continued to disgust Luo Chen with a smug expression on his face. Anyway, it doesn't matter to me. Just thinking about how Xin Yuelan has endured so many years for me. In the end, it will lead to a desperate fate. Don't mention how happy I am in my heart. And you can only watch as this happens. But powerless. Although I was ultimately tormented by you until. In the end, I still made a profit. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen's words completely shocked him. Who said I'm going to kill you? Don't you think your son's death is very strange? That. Johnny Hong, who is loved by you as if he were your biological son. Why did he kill his cousin again? Don't you want to know the reason behind this? Upon hearing this, Zhang Qinghua's expression immediately changed. What exactly are you trying to say? Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Your son's death was mine. Unexpectedly, Zhang Qinghua immediately interrupted his words. Please shut up for me. I don't want to know. Luo Chen saw the situation. Say coldly. It seems that there's no need for me to say it. You have also guessed the answer. Zhang Qinghua has completely collapsed by now. You're just a devil. The means are so vicious. I saw Luo Chen lifting one hand. With a cold snort, being a villain is not your patent. Evil people deserve their retribution. After speaking, he waved his hand with one hand. Instantly cut off Jiang Qinghua's pickled pepper chicken feet. Jiang Qinghua screamed in pain on his face. Kill me now. Luo Chen's face showed a playful expression. Killing you wouldn't be too cheap for you. Jiang Qinghua has been frightened and sweats profusely. What else do you want to do? I saw Luo Chen as if death had descended, emitting a terrifying aura all over. I want to waste your limbs and mouth wood, let you endure this life in regret and torment. After hearing this, Zhang Qinghua, suddenly, my eyes froze, full of despair. The young man in front of me just waved his hand lightly, an armored vehicle that will come rushing in an instant, split in half. Just now, Zhang Tongran politely declined the important task of managing the Zhang family. Luo Chen saw the situation. He asked with a serious expression on his face. Is it because the Jiang family has nurtured you? So I feel like I shouldn't have killed them. Jiang Tongran explained that this was not the case. Although Jiang Jia adopted him, but what really raised him was not themselves. Just worried about not being able to take over Jiang Jia, Luo Chen patted his shoulder. Comfort me and say you can. You can definitely do it. After speaking, he ordered his subordinates to assist him well in the future. After hearing this, everyone quickly agreed to comply with the order. Time has arrived on the second day. Master Zhang is currently in business negotiations with Xin Yucheng. Xin Yucheng respectfully smiled and said to Master Zhang with a respectful expression on his face, That contract is completely fine. It's just that the funding for this project is too high. I'm afraid. After hearing this, Master Zhang waved his hand with a dull expression on his face. We don't need to cooperate. Xin Yucheng saw the situation. Stopped Master Zhang, who wanted to take away the contract. Please wait for a moment. I will arrange it immediately. Then he pulled the finance department aside to discuss it. The finance department reminded him. If we were to take out so much money in one breath, other industries are bound to collapse. After hearing this, Xin Yucheng, to scold him for cutting off all those industries. If this project is successful, our Xin family will surely soar to the sky with one step. After hearing this, the finance department reminded me again with a worried expression on their face. But if there's any mistake, Xin Yuching not only refused to listen to advice, 
Instead, he angrily cursed the bastard at him. Even the Tal group is willing to cooperate with them. This company is definitely not simple. After speaking, he chuckled inwardly and secretly felt pleased. For most of my life, always living under the shadow of Xin Yuelan. This time, I will turn the tables in one fell swoop. Screen rotation. Arriving at the small forest. At this moment, a helicopter is slowly landing from the sky. Then Luo Chen walked off the plane. Everyone immediately clasped their fists and called out to Mr. Luo upon seeing the situation. Please provide instructions. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen silently lifted his one hand. Then a spiral disc appeared instantly in the air. Everyone was momentarily stunned at the sight of the situation. Then they bounced and leaped one after another to dodge. I saw the trees behind me being cut off by my waist. Aunt Guan Shui immediately exclaimed with a frightened expression, Mr. Luo, what is this for? Just finished speaking. A light wave shot fiercely at them. The blood tiger immediately ordered to confront the enemy upon seeing the situation. Then everyone dispersed their team, launched a counterattack against him. Scared men bear the brunt. Clench your fist and smash it at Luo Chen. Just hear a bang. Luo Chen raised his palm, easily blocked a heavy punch. At this moment, Jin Mao has already waved his palm and rushed behind him. Luo Chen dodged his attack with just one flank. Zhang Fei, who was not far away, let out a loud shout. Instantly lifted the armored vehicle above my head. Then he suddenly threw it at Luo Chen. Companions immediately dodged to both sides upon seeing the situation. Luo Chen stood fearlessly in the same place. I saw him lift his palm. A gentle wave from top to bottom. The armored vehicle was instantly split in half by a sharp blade. For this reason, the light sword-like power horse is activating the spiritual power inside its body. A fire suddenly appeared in the palm of the hand. The flames immediately turned into a giant dragon and flew towards Luo Chen. After seeing the fire dragon, Luo Chen did not plan to dodge. Just hear a loud bang. Flame explodes instantly. In an instant, thick smoke billowed up. Wei Ziqing exclaimed in terror, Oh no, Mr. Luo's name is. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen had quietly flashed behind him. What are you thinking? Wei Ziqing was momentarily stunned when he saw this. Then he immediately turned around and awkwardly scratched his head. Mr. Luo, are you okay? Zhang Fei walked forward and hugged him, teaching him a lesson. Isn't this nonsense? Even you can hurt Professor Luo. Blood Tiger quickly stepped forward to inquire with General Manager Luo. Did our performance not disappoint you? After hearing this, Luo Chen gave a slight smile, which was pretty good. I can feel it from the confrontation with them just now. The physical functions of these people. It has increased by more than three times. Especially Wei Ziqing, who possesses a hundred battles of longevity. It's almost on the brink of awakening. I'm afraid. All of this is thanks to the medication they injected. Maybe that mysterious liquid from Kunming will become the water of the Yao pool that nurtures the gods. It seems necessary to go to Kunlun to explore the truth. Thinking of this, he immediately ordered the selection ceremony. Organize all the information about Kunlun and bring it to me. Within the training base, a small flat head was pointing at a young boy and mocking him. You are the god of sleep. The young man didn't say a word. Slapped him in the face with a loud bang. Unexpectedly, Xiao Ping Tu was beaten up. I also have to apologize to the young man. Sorry, Mr. Luo. Just now. Within the compound of the armed forces training base, Xiao Ping Tu joked at the short-haired man. I heard that your military knife has been injected with a new type of strengthening agent. I'm afraid we'll secure the first place in this competition. The short-haired man replied with some embarrassment. Mr. Zhou, this is just a joke. This final will be played by five teams. Not to mention the traditional strong team of Bloodshaw. Unexpectedly, Xiao Ping Tu snorted coldly after listening to it. Come on, come on. Bloodshaw hired a young boy as his instructor. Surprisingly, they still treat sleep as training. If they can win, I live stream the inverted matter. I don't know how long it has been. Luo Chen arrived at the base with all members of the Bloodshaw. Small flat head visible. Greeted with a disdainful expression. Oh, you guys came quite early. It seems that I have been practicing my sleeping skills well lately. Wei Ziqing asked with a displeased expression on his face. Who is this guy? Guan Xue explained in a low voice. He is the commander of another secret service unit, relying on the divine level martial saints in the family, showcasing strength everywhere. Xiao Ping Tu remained silent when he saw Luo Chenma, immediately pointed at him and mocked him. You are the god of sleep. It's quite crazy. Unexpectedly, Luo Chang let out a loud snap. 
Just gave him a big slap in the face. The short-haired man quickly lifted his small flat head. Are you okay, Zhou Jiang? Xiaoping Tu immediately cursed at Luo Chang. How dare you hit me? My level is higher than yours. Offending below here is a capital offense. Then he stood up and ordered someone to come. Capture this kid for me. Just finished speaking. A group of people immediately surrounded Luo Chang. Transferring from behind at this time. Let's make a sound. Assistant, take a closer look. The people who came were Su Xiao and Lin Hualong. Short-haired men see symptoms. Hurriedly stepped forward to pay tribute to General Su Xiaolin. Xiaoping Tu roared angrily at the two of them. You came just in time. Just one instructor. You dared to hit me with your hands. I saw a sinister smile on the corner of his mouth. For the sake of your Su Zhao's face, I can avoid killing him. But he must kneel down and apologize to me. At this moment, Luo Chen had quietly walked behind him. Just hear a snap. I gave him another big slap on the face. Little bald head fell heavily onto the ground. Then he immediately stood up. Cover your face and angrily curse Tmo, seeking death. You all have a clear view. He hit me again. Su Xiao saw the situation. Said calmly with an unchanged expression. I did see it. So what? Xiao Ping Tu continued to roar at the two of them. Then why don't you take him? Su Xiao interrupted his words with a serious expression on his face. Let me make a statement in advance. Mr. Luo has made great contributions in handling the exchange of labor in Xiangxi. Upgraded to the rank of second level general with instructions from the higher authorities. His current level is above yours. Xiao Ping's head suddenly exploded like thunder above his head. Stunned and stunned. What short haired man sighed inwardly after hearing this. Fortunately, I didn't say anything wrong earlier. Lin Hualong actually understands very well in his heart. If it weren't for stability reasons, with Mr. Luo's true strength, I'm afraid I've been transferred over there a long time ago. At this moment, Su Xiaochang's small flat head commanded. It was you who initiated the provocation first. I haven't apologized to Mr. Luo yet. After listening, Xiao Ping too. I had to apologize to Luo Chen with a suppressed expression on my face. Sorry, Mr. Luo. Luo Chen was too lazy to argue with him when he saw the situation. Just said coldly. At this moment, Xiao Ping Tu's heart was filled with anger. Luo Wuji, why are you waiting for me? At this moment, a soldier ran over to announce a spy. The competition is about to begin. Blood Shah member, please enter the preparation zone and wait. Then the leadership walked into the competition command room. Everyone saw the person sitting on the chair. Immediately salute Yang Lao after the old man. Mr. Yang immediately replied that there was no need to be polite. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen sat down without saying a word. Yang Jia saw the situation, immediately angrily rebuked him with the surname Luo. It's like looking down on no one. Yang Lao waved his hand. Just interrupt him, okay. Say two less words. After speaking, he immediately ordered his subordinates to come together. Let's start the competition now. Yang Jia, on the other hand, was so angry that her veins were bulging with anger that she became surnamed Luo. You wait for me. A dazzling light suddenly appeared above the ladder. Then countless beams of light descended from the sky. Falling dust slowly woke up in the beam of light. After the disappearance of the beam of light, everyone was shrouded in circles. What is this place? Shouldn't it be that damn game again? There are three characters of ancient Taoism on the memorial archway. Luo Chen watched everything. I secretly thought to myself. Surprisingly, one can start secret realm trials so frequently. It seems that there is far more than one Taoist sect behind this. At this moment, a person suddenly walked towards them. Listen to me now. Want to enter the gate of our sect? You must pass through the ladder behind me. We can't reach the peak before dark. There's only one dead end left. After hearing this, everyone immediately looked frightened. What? Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Unexpectedly, this game is actually an entrance test. It's a bit interesting. At this moment, the robe unforgettable gazes at the sun in the sky. Reminder, it's 5, 3, 15 now. Less than 3 hours before the sun sets. Please hurry up, everyone. Just finished speaking. A man emerged from the crowd. Get out of my way, everyone. Subsequently, he walked up the stairs to the mountaintop without hesitation. Unexpectedly, there was a loud buzzing sound in the air. I saw the man explode and die instantly. Everyone saw this situation. Screaming with fear on his face. The man in the robe sighed with a dull expression on his face. Why are there always these self-righteous fools? Then he pointed to a pile of goods next to him. Each of you must bring a serving of food. 
otherwise, who would have the face to enter our sect? Everyone started discussing after listening to it. With that one just now, who dares to stand out first? The man in the robe saw the situation. He snorted coldly with a displeased expression on his face. Okay, then you can consider it slowly. Just finished speaking, Luochen walked up fearlessly. Then he picked up a package, stepping onto an endless ladder. Everyone saw that Luochen was safe and sound. Immediately rushed towards the goods. Fight faster. A golden-haired man exerted all his strength to suckle. I just picked up a box. I'll strangle it. Why is it so heavy? Then he slammed the box onto the ground with a loud bang. Let's carry dozens of pounds of boxes up the mountain. It's just a joke. The robed man pointed to the little girl next to him and hinted. She's also too weak. Jean Mao awkwardly helped his glasses, helplessly following the crowd up the stairs. Jean Mao saw the completion of a very relaxed appearance. He immediately chased after him. The handsome guy in front. Could you please wait a moment? I see you walking so easily. Can you help this beautiful woman? Jean Mao remained indifferent when he saw Luo Chen. Immediately explain that. Have you noticed the couplets on the mountain gate? That's exactly the hint of the game rules this time. Because of the falling dust, he extended his hand to the girl. Then give it to me. The girl handed the package over with a surprised expression on her face. Thank you, Jean Mao looks embarrassed. I haven't finished speaking yet. Shen Junfeng is passing through the large screen in the main hall, observing the condition on the ladder. I saw a faint smile on the corner of his mouth, on the ladder of my ancient Taoist sect. Surprisingly, there is still room to help others. Luo Chen Jr. Brother, you are indeed a qualified toy. I look forward to seeing you so much, an expression of fear and despair. I don't know how long it has been, watching the sun set soon. At this moment, everyone was already exhausted and panting heavily, but Luo Chen still walked at the forefront with ease. The two young men behind started discussing and seeing the situation. That kid is carrying two bags, still walking so easily. He shouldn't be a legendary high-level player, right? The red-haired woman had a sudden inspiration upon hearing this. Then he stopped Luo Chen with a fake smile on his face. A handsome guy in white clothes. Please wait a moment. I see you can still carry another box. Can you help me with it? After hearing this, Luo Chen, is this a begging attitude to answer you coldly? The woman looked embarrassed when she saw this, so what do you think? Say it now. He smiled and grabbed Luo Chen's arm. Can you leave me a phone number? Afterwards, I will definitely repay you well. What else can I say? I am much stronger than that woman. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen Moth silently shook off his hand. Then he turned around and continued walking towards the mountaintop. The woman immediately yelled at him when she saw the situation, so please stop me. On the heavenly ladder, a girl is roaring at a young man. You stand still for me. At this moment, the girl's heart is filled with anger. I, Zhang Ran Ran, am so big. This is the first time a man has ignored me. It's a great shame. The golden-haired man on the side immediately stepped forward to persuade the young man. I see you clearly still have a lot of strength. Can you just help him? After hearing this, Luo Chen silently glanced at him. Golden hair visible. A sinister smile appeared at the corner of her mouth as a beautiful girl. No help, no help, no help. They didn't promise to go out after. Will I repay you well? Luo Chen sneered and said, You want to help so much? Then you go help me. Why do you have to come to me? Unexpectedly, the long-haired woman also scolded Luo Chen. Since you have the ability, we should take on more responsibility. Luo Chen sighed with a dull expression on his face, which was really ridiculous. If it weren't for experiencing this initiation test, he doesn't even care about these so-called game rules. Thinking of this, Luo Chen threw his package onto the ground with one hand. The woman with long hair looked frightened when she saw this. What are you doing? Time. Jean Mao immediately angrily rebuked him if you abandoned us. You can't pass the level either. This is actually a team game. That NPC only mentioned the elimination conditions. It didn't mention the clearance conditions. The clearance conditions are actually hidden on the couplets of the mountain gate. The three four-eyed worshippers of the ancient path in the previous couplet. It's exactly what we have in hand. Practical tips. We. Three packages and four boxes must be delivered to the mountaintop. The seven stars orbiting the moon in the next couplet illuminate Sun Yuan. It refers to the destination. Connected together, I want to pass the level. There must be seven people. Arrive at the designated location with three packages and four wooden crates. After hearing this, the long-haired woman suddenly realized why you didn't say it earlier. Jean Mao immediately cursed at her. 
Are you stupid? Of course, the fewer people who know, the better. Then she threatened Luo Chen with a smug expression on her face. Do you understand now? If you don't want to die, please help us obediently. Luo Chen sneered with an ignored expression on his face. The previous person who said this, now there's not even ash left. Jean Mao was so angry that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. What, in the blink of an eye, the sun has already set. Luo Chen stepped up the last step with one foot. Only a wooden door caught my eye. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. This sect was not actually simulated in a horror game. But it actually exists in the secret realm. And there is also a familiar aura. It's a bit interesting. After a while, the robed man walked out of the gate. Time's up. Congratulations to everyone. Passed the introductory test of our ancient Taoist school. At this moment, everyone was exhausted and panting heavily. Only Luo Chen still looked as if nothing had happened. After careful observation, the man in the robe was slightly stunned. Why is there an extra one? Everyone looked frightened upon seeing the situation. What should I do? The long-robed man groaned under his chin. It would be a pity if all of them were killed. If we can only kill one, who should I choose? After thinking about it, he replied with a sly smile on his face. The answer is not as good as this. Give you the right to choose. To decide who should be eliminated. Then he pulled out a black ball. All you need to do is think about the eliminated object in your mind. Then touch this small ball. If the ball lights up, it means the vote is successful. Who has the most votes? I am the only one who died. Say it now. The man in the robe placed the small ball in front of everyone. Time is precious. Everyone, hurry up and vote. Just finished speaking. Everyone started discussing it one after another. Who is suitable to invest in? At this point, without hesitation, Jang Ranran walked over first. After thinking for a moment, he, I immediately made up my mind. He glanced at Luo Chan behind him. Then he placed his hand on the small ball hanging in midair. The buzzing sound of a small ball emitted a burst of bright light. Everyone saw this and looked at Luo Chen one after another. It seems that everyone has already made a decision. But the long-haired woman began to hesitate. What should I do? It seems that everyone has voted for that little brother. But he once helped me. I walked half the way. Jean Mao patted his shoulder. Whisper reminder. Don't dwell on someone who is about to die. After speaking, he stepped forward and began voting. The long-haired woman is now filled with helplessness in her heart. After careful consideration, finally made up my mind. There is a vote on the ladder that determines life and death. At this moment, the robed man was holding a glowing black ball. Announce until the end of voting. Let's wait and see the final result. Upon seeing this, Jean Mao revealed a sinister smile on his face. That kid is doomed. After observing, the man in the robe was slightly stunned. What is the situation? Then he looked at the black ball again with a surprised expression on his face. Is it really interesting? Is it really interesting? After speaking, he pointed to the young man in the crowd. Unexpectedly, there are a total of 8 tickets. You actually got 7 tickets alone. After hearing this, the young man turned to question the long-haired woman. Just let others vote for me. You actually voted for me too. Long-haired female stuttering. I dare not look directly at that me. The young man continued to teach him a lesson. Human nature is really interesting. I clearly helped you. And yet you cross the river and demolish the bridge. Unexpectedly, the long-haired woman immediately roared at him. What's the use of blaming me? Even if I don't vote for you, you can't live either. At this moment, a voice came from behind, brother falling dust. You did not disappoint me as expected. Take a closer look. The person who came is Shin Junfeng. I saw him sneering with a smug expression on his face. How disgusting are you? Wherever you go, there are people who want you to die. The man in the robe immediately bowed respectfully to greet him. Shop owner Luo Chen saw the situation, answering coldly that Lu has given up. Lack of fear. After hearing this, Shin Junfeng, ha, huh, you're really good at pretending, kid. Zhang Ran Ran saw this situation. My heart is filled with doubts. What situation? Does this person know the NPC here? At this point, Shin Junfeng fiercely threatened Luo Chen, and the more you do this, the more I want to see you kneel and beg for mercy, the more I want to see you. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. Just rely on who gave you the courage. Shin Junfeng let out a cold snort of disdain on his face. Beginners are always beginners. I can't even feel the gap between me and top players at all. After speaking, he pointed to Jean Mao and ordered to come over. This seat bestows upon you a miracle. 
Upon hearing this, Jean Mao's face was filled with confusion. So he timidly walked towards him. I saw Shen Junfeng lifting one hand, activating spiritual power. Immediately, a black aura rushed into Golden Hair's body. Golden Hair immediately ignites in the eyes. A terrifying aura erupted throughout the body. Then he roared with pride and strength. I feel like my whole body is full of strength. This feeling is really amazing. After speaking, he clenched his fist and slammed it into the ground. Just hear a bang. The stones on the ground were instantly shattered. Immediately, countless fragments splattered around. Shin Junfeng looked at the gravel that was falling on him. Suddenly, his face changed drastically. At this moment, Jean Mao was clasping his fists at him. Thank you very much, my master. Unexpectedly, there was a loud bang. Jean Mao instantly exploded and died. Everyone immediately looked frightened upon seeing the situation. What? I saw Shin Junfeng with an unhappy expression on his wrist. This idiot. How dare you splash stone shavings onto my noble body, his mother. Then he burst out laughing with pride on his face. Brother Luo Chen, have you seen it? Here I am the god who governs everything. Everything I see is under my control. After speaking, he walked over to Ruachin's side. Threatened, do you feel despair? In the face of absolute power, everything you have is meaningless. I'm just one thought. They will no longer exist. Before the words fall, just hear a snap. Falling dust gave him a big slap in the face. Then he fell heavily to the ground with a loud bang. The crowd was frightened and suddenly petrified. Shin Junfeng lay on the ground with a face covered in circles. What's going on? I was actually hit by falling dust. This is impossible. He's just a newcomer. And I have already been promoted to a senior player. Even possessing the right to act as a proxy game. At this moment, Luochen stepped on his abdomen with one foot. Shin Junfeng immediately spat out the 82-year-old red wine. Luo Chen sneered with a dull expression on his face. I thought I had a lot of skills. Turns out it was just garbage. Shin Junfeng struggled with pain on his face. Even with all my might, I still can't break free from it. So he roared at Luo Chen, so quickly let go of me. I'm going to kill you. At this moment, a golden light suddenly appeared in the sky. I only heard someone shout, shocking heavenly pillar. Just finished speaking. A golden light accompanied by lightning struck towards Luo Chen. Luo Chen lifted one hand lightly upon seeing the situation. A shield appeared instantly in mid-air. With a bang, the golden light was blocked. Shin Junfeng immediately burst into laughter as the princess arrived. I'm saved. I saw a playful expression on Luo Chen's face. Oh, finally here we are. It makes people wait so hard. On the bitter sky, an old man is roaring at a young man on the ground. Even those who have only entered the path dare to act recklessly in my ancient path. It's simply beyond our control. After speaking, he waved his heavy fist, accompanied by golden lightning falling from the sky. The young man quickly clenched his fist to resist the situation. Just hear a bang. The boy easily blocked the old man's heavy punch. In an instant, the entire mountain was covered in flying sand and rocks. Smoke filled the air. Everyone quickly raised their arms to protect their bodies. I don't know how long it has been. The smoke and dust finally dissipated. I saw the old man slowly landing on the ground. The young man was somewhat surprised by the situation. Surprisingly, it is a diamond glazed body. The old man looked at the young man in front of him and was also very surprised. Is it a high level reviewer? Shin Junfeng, standing beside him, was stunned by this situation and was stunned. What is the realm of falling dust in the sleeping trough? Ming Ming is a novice who has just joined the game. Surprisingly, they were able to compete with the sec leader without a clear winner. At this moment, Luo Chen thought to himself with a puzzled expression on his face. This diamond glass body. It is the ancient period of enfeoffment of gods. The top-notch defense techniques passed down. This is definitely not something that ordinary Taoists can have. Presumably, this ancient Taoist school is one of the creators of horror games. After seeing Luo Chen's expression, the old man sneered and said, how could you, kid, recognize the martial arts of our sect leader? It seems that he does have some skills. But for hundreds of years since the founding of my ancient Taoist school, countless people attempt to challenge our sect leader, but they are all buried here. Before the words fall, Luo Chen flashed behind him with a swipe. The old man was slightly stunned at the sight. I saw Luo Chen wielding a heavy fist and smashing it onto his back. Unexpectedly, the old man's body instantly turned into diamond glass. With a bang, he easily blocked his attack. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen's expression suddenly changed greatly. The old man sneered with a contemptuous expression. Your behavior is useless. 
Our sect leader's diamond glass body has been fully cultivated. With your little strength, it's like a person shaking a tree. Say it now. A fierce golden surge erupted from his body. Luochen was instantly repelled by a powerful impact force. The old man immediately turned around and waved his palm towards Luochen, violently leaving. Take it to death, just listen to one swipe. Luochen was cut in half by his palm. Then the old man moved his wrist with a proud expression on his face. Your protagonist is already a to Q. This drama ends here. At this moment, Shen Junfeng pointed behind him with a frightened expression on his face. Look behind me. The old man admonished with disdain on his face. What are you looking at? Even if his strength is strong, still vulnerable in front of my diamond glazed face. Shen Junfeng's frightened reminder once again. No, it's not you. Look behind me. The old man turned back with a puzzled expression on his face. I saw a swoosh of falling dust flash behind him. Next second, with a swoosh, he directly chopped off his dog's head. Shen Junfeng looked at the fallen body on the ground. Suddenly, Flax froze. Except for the fallen dust, the sect leader. No one would have thought. When he first fought against the Diamond Gate, the illusion obtained through the replication of the Tai Huang Jing Jin show. It came in handy just now. If it weren't for the old man taking the enemy too lightly, I won't fall under this kind of small world evil either. At this moment, Shen Junfeng fell to his knees with a thud. He sneered incredulously and said, this is absolutely impossible. How could the Lord die in the game he created? I must be dreaming. Luo Chen slowly walked towards him. Is it so difficult to accept reality? Then I'll tell you a secret. The reason why I was able to kill him. It's because I also have the same strength in reality. Shen Junfeng was shocked upon seeing this. Who the hell are you? I saw Luo Chen leaned in his ear and said something. Shen Junfeng's eyes momentarily froze upon hearing this. Then his whole body kept trembling. I saw him with a bitter smile full of despair on his face, saying, I had the delusion of wanting to kill you. This is definitely the stupidest decision of my life. The Shen family is finished. It's all over. After speaking, he laughed wildly as he looked up at the sky. Immediately after, he died with a loud bang. At this moment, Luo Chen slowly walked towards the crowd. A short-haired man witnessed the incident. Kneel down immediately and beg for mercy, great immortal, spare your life. Then he pointed to Zhang Ranran beside him and explained, It's all this woman who induced me to vote for you. Before the words fall, the man instantly turned into dust and dissipated in place. A woman with long hair sees this situation, kneeling to the ground with a thud. Please don't kill me, please. On the heavenly ladder, a girl is kneeling down to beg for mercy towards a young man. Please don't kill me, please, I am still young. I haven't been in a relationship yet. How to expect it? The young man's cold and unchanging answer is the most damn thing. The girl trembled all over upon hearing this. Cold sweat DC. Just hear a bang. The girl instantly exploded and died. Everyone looked frightened upon seeing the situation. Zhang Ran Ran was even more shocked and her eyes widened. Luo Chen walked towards them with a gloomy face on his face. I saw his gaze coalesce. A touch of golden light flashed away in a flash. With a loud bang. Everyone instantly turns into powder and disappears in place. In the blink of an eye, the entire adversity of the ancient Taoist sect was completely silent. Inside the Shin family courtyard, a maid was carrying a plate and knocking on the door of the room. Young Master Junfeng, your late night snack is ready. Subsequently, the woman warmly pushed the door and walked into the room. I brought it in for you. However, the following scene shocked him. At this moment, Shin Junfeng's face turned deathly gray, sitting motionless on a chair, within the secret territory. Luochen arrived at the inner hall of the ancient Taoist sect unobstructed and unobstructed. I saw a bamboo slip suspended in the giant spirit formation. Luochen was slightly taken aback at the sight of this situation. Unexpectedly, surprisingly, there is a complete cultivation technique of diamond glass body hidden here. However, based on the situation along the way just now, this ancient Taoist school should only be among the creators of horror games. Bottom storage. Otherwise, I won't use my own sex territory to open up secrets either. Even this low-level sect, they all possess such powerful techniques. How much energy should the true creator have? Strangely enough, I broke the game rules, but no one came to stop it. What exactly is their purpose? Thinking of this, Bamboo simplified into a spiritual force that penetrated into the heart of the falling dust eyebrows. At this moment, he suddenly opened his eyes. 
The entire secret realm suddenly shook and shook, and make a loud roar. Screen rotation. Arrived in a valley somewhere. A gray giant dragon is winding and circling on the mountaintop. I saw him suddenly open his big mouth. A golden flame instantly condensed from the mouth, with a loud roar. Flames shot towards the crowd on the ground in response to the sound. The black-robed woman immediately shouted at the silver-haired woman, La Lorraine, Get away from me. My mobility skills are still cooling down. Just finished speaking. With a loud bang, the silver-haired woman was instantly burned to ashes by flames. The black-robed woman looked frightened upon seeing this. What is it? At this moment, the dragon is flapping its wings, let out a roar into the sky, seems to be proclaiming one's dignity to everyone. The black-robed woman looked at the giant dragon in front of her, filled with anger in my heart. I saw him raise his staff with one hand with an angry expression on his face. A giant suddenly appeared in the air. The magic array then condensed countless long swords with spiritual power. Damn beast. My mother flew and killed you today. After speaking, countless sharp swords flew towards the dragon with a swoosh. Unexpectedly, the dragon roared with anger. All the sharp swords were instantly shattered. The armored man quickly stepped forward to stop him. Olivia, calm down. This kind of attack is meaningless to him. Instead, it will provoke him again. The black-robed woman was so angry that she gritted her teeth and gnashed her teeth in disgust. I underestimated this mission. Promising a dragon scale is so difficult. At this moment, a golden-haired man slowly walked towards him. I saw him teasing Olivia with a wicked smile on his face. You are also too naive. This place is full of advanced players. The task is naturally not easy. But being able to die with a beautiful woman like you. It's also worth it. The black-robed woman glared at him fiercely upon hearing this. Is it time to joke now? At this moment. The red-robed woman pointed at the sky and shouted loudly. Everyone, take a look. There is a person on top of the dragon's head. The armored man's incredible lesson. Mavis, what nonsense are you talking about? We tried our best but couldn't get half a step closer to the dragon. How could there be someone above his head? The woman in the red robe immediately refuted Clark upon seeing the situation. I guarantee on behalf of the night assassin, my eagle eye will never be wrong. At this moment, the black robed woman also exclaimed in shock. It seems like there really is someone. I saw Luochen hanging in mid-air with a puzzled expression on his face. What is this place? I remember after absorbing the diamond glass body technique. The entire space began to shake violently. According to the rules of the immortal realm, the secret realms are interconnected with each other. Am I currently in another secret realm? At this point, the giant dragon under Luo Chen's feet was quietly opening its big mouth. The woman in the red robe quickly jumped onto a rock upon seeing this. Then he shouted at Luo Chen with a frightened expression on his face. The little brother over there. Get out of there. It's dangerous. One in the sky. The gray dragon is roaring at a young boy. The young man was slightly stunned at the sight. The red-robed woman at the foot of the mountain immediately shouted at the young man. Hurry up and leave. It's dangerous there. The armored man's panicked face reminded the girl. Mavis, be careful. He may not necessarily be a player. It's impossible for anyone to come in midway through the game. At this moment, the giant dragon suddenly opened its bloody mouth. A golden flame instantly condensed from the mouth. With a roar. Flames quickly shot towards him. With a loud bang, the young man was instantly engulfed by a golden flame. The armored man saw this situation. I let out a deep sigh. It's over. He designated Barbecue. What a pitiful guy. After observing, the woman in the red robe shouted and waited a moment. He's still alive. At this moment, the flames were quickly dispersed by a strong wind. I saw Luo Chen hanging unharmed in midair. He scolded a bug with a murderous expression on his face. Dare to spray saliva at my master. I'm tired of living, right? Unexpectedly, after hearing this, the dragon, put on a rebellious and unruly appearance, immediately let out a roar at him. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen clenched his fist and fiercely smashed it towards the dragon's head. Close your stinky mouth. The giant dragon was instantly repelled by a powerful force. Then there was a loud bang, heavy impact on the mountain. Everyone almost dropped their chin when they saw this. He actually knocked over the dragon with just one punch. How could this be possible? The black-robed woman is full of doubts in her heart. Is this guy a player or not? Why didn't he take action at the beginning? Otherwise, Caroline wouldn't have been killed by the dragon either. 
At this moment, Luo Chen bent down and quickly charged towards the dragon. With a bang, he kicked the dragon's neck with one foot. Then a scream echoed through the entire valley. Everyone exclaimed in disbelief, Is this person the god of war? He probably doesn't want to slaughter dragons, does he? The woman in the red robe immediately jumped off the rock, landing on one foot. This is absolutely impossible. Nothing in this world can penetrate. The voice of the dragon's body has just finished speaking. The armored man pointed behind him with a frightened expression on his face. The woman in the red robe suddenly turned back with a puzzled expression on her face. I saw a huge dragon head falling from the sky with tears in its eyes. Then, with a loud bang, landed heavily on the ground. The two of them were stunned when they saw this. This is too cruel. That guy actually killed the dragon. Golden hair. He even hugged the arm of the black-robed woman with excitement on his face. Olivia, lend me your magic bottle quickly. This dragon blood is extremely nourishing. The red-robed woman gazes at the falling dust in the sky. My heart is filled with doubts. Who exactly is this Easterner? Why do people with such powerful abilities? But it didn't appear in my intelligence network. And Luo Chen looked at the giant dragon in front of him. That's when I realized it. Turns out all of this is not an illusion. I didn't expect this thing to be a true ancient dragon race. This horror game can enslave him as a secret realm test. Its history must be at least tens of thousands of years old. At this point, the black-robed woman took off a dragon scale from the dragon head. A buzzing sound. A portal suddenly appeared behind me. The armored man's face was filled with joy upon seeing this. I didn't expect us to be able to walk out alive. I'm really grateful to that guy. The woman in the red robe locked golden hair's neck. Hurry up and leave here. That Easterner doesn't know if he's a taxi enthusiast. Jean Mao, with a face full of unwillingness, roared and waited a moment. Dragon blood is not yet full. Then everyone quickly left here. Leaving only the black-robed woman staring blankly at Luo Chen. Dragon Slayer, I remember your appearance now. Even though there are countless mountains and rivers, I will definitely find you too. I hope Caroline's death has nothing to do with you. Screen Rotation Arrived in the capital city. Luo Chen looked at his mother with a heavy heart and asked. Mom, I got in the car with you. Can you tell me something now? Xin Yuelan explained with a face full of anxiety. Your cousin Xin Junfeng. Sudden death last night. The old man asked us all to meet for the last time. But I don't want to go alone. Luo Chen immediately comforted his mother. Don't worry, where are you going in the future? I will always be with you. If you don't want to go, there will never be anyone who can force you. After hearing Luo Chen's words, Xin Yuelan showing a face full of satisfaction. At this time, the funeral was already crowded with people coming to offer condolences. Xin Yuelan sees too many people. Then he instructed Luo Chen and Xiao Chen to, you wait here for a moment. Mom gave us the flowers and we'll leave. I saw that after Luo Mama left, Xin Tianjun stood behind Luo Chen with a gloomy expression on his face. Outside the gate, a man is roaring at a little lowly. What's wrong with this little lowly? It is the terrifying blood corpse king. Next second. The man was directly frightened by the girl and was stunned. Just now, Luo Chen accompanied his mother to Xin Juanfeng's funeral scene. At this point, Luo Chen arrived alone on an empty balcony. Xin Tianjun saw the situation. Then he walked towards him with a group of people. I saw him scolding you with a displeased expression on his face. It's Luo Chen, right? Your cousin passed away. You should accompany your mother inside and take a look. What are you doing here? After hearing this, Luo Chen sneered, Where did I get a taxi? What is the relationship between your Shin family and me? Shin Tianjun not only didn't get angry, but also. Instead, you burst out laughing, kid. You're quite self-aware, but I completely understand your current mood. Back then, I suffered endless ridicule and ridicule. It took a full 40 years to achieve what the Shin family is today. If it were me, in their 20s, when you know that you are actually a descendant of a wealthy family in Beijing and Tianjin. Just like you are now, how excited should I be in my heart. Unexpectedly, after listening to his words, Luo Chen burst out laughing from the sky. Shen Tianjun immediately became angry and embarrassed upon seeing this. Why are you laughing? Luo Chen sighed with a mischievous expression on his face, it's really ridiculous. Let's open the skylight and speak frankly. In my eyes, your Shen family is like ants. Shen Tianjun immediately became so angry that his veins erupted. Great, I need to see who the mole ant is. I hope you won't regret it in the future. After speaking, he turned around and waved his hand. Let's go. Subsequently, 
he fiercely ordered his subordinates to have old Deng prepare for it. Go to Tongzhou today. Kill his father for me. Within Tongzhou city. At this moment, Luaba has prepared a table of dishes. He asked the little lowly next to him with a curious expression on his face. You've been here for several days now. I haven't seen you eat anything either. Aren't you hungry? Unexpectedly, little lowly remained expressionless and silent. Luaba had to wave his hand in front of him. Reminder, little girl. I saw little lowly trying hard to sniff the scent. Then he stared closely at Loba's arm, unconsciously drooling out, so hungry. At this moment, he has been constantly tinkering with how to fill his stomach in his mind. But whenever I think of Luo Chen appearing behind me at any time. So, so, the idea of doing something bad was instantly scared away. I can only scream with a face full of madness. Upon hearing this, Loba immediately sneezed. Then he wiped his nose with a puzzled expression on his face. Where exactly did that stinky kid come from? This strange girl. Like a maid every day. Do everything in a hurry. After finishing the work, either stand foolishly. Either wander around the community. Anyway, I won't say a word. But every time Xiao Chen calls, he says don't worry about him. Thinking of this. Luaba sighed helplessly. This little girl is very young. The illness is not mild. How about we schedule a time tomorrow? Take her to the hospital for a checkup. Time has arrived late at night. I saw a group of people, running in a panic in the small forest. Then with a splash, he jumped into the courtyard. The man in black pointed to the villa in front of him. Introduction to Mr. Deng. The front should be our target 001 hole. At this point, Little Loli was standing motionless at the entrance. The man in black pointed to Xiao. Loli reminded everyone that there seemed to be someone there. Upon seeing this, Mr. Deng immediately stepped forward to inquire. Little girl, is this the Luochen family in front of you? Little Loli glanced at him without saying a word. Deng Laoda couldn't make a sound when he saw him. Immediately angry. With a loud snap. I hit the back of Little Loli's head. Then he was lifted up in midair with one hand. I'm asking you a question. Are you mute or deaf? Unexpectedly, Little Loli is still dumbfounded and silent. Dang Lao vigorously roared at her with his horse. Answer Laozi's question. Otherwise, I'll strangle your neck. At this moment, suddenly, a sizzling sound came from the air. I only heard Luo Chen talking about the little blood corpse in the surveillance footage. Can you hear me? Tonight, I will make an exception for you. These people in front of you can all serve as food for you. After hearing Luo Chen's words, Xiaoyulai, immediately turn your head to look at the surveillance footage. Deng, the boss, muttered with a displeased expression about his rations. What kind of thing? Who is talking there? Just finished speaking. Little Loli's eyes lit up. Immediately opened his big mouth towards him. The man was immediately stunned when he saw the situation. What? Followed by a scream of agony. Instantly breaking the silence of the community. I saw little Loli staring at the crowd behind her. Showing a face of evil charm. Everyone saw this situation. Immediately flee into chaos. Run, monster. Luo Chen looked at the red bean milk tea scattered on the ground. Slowly closed the screen. At this moment, Master Zhang has already stood behind him. All the procedures of the Master Shen's family have been successfully completed. We can close the network at any time. After hearing this, Luo Chen did not make a sound. I saw a hint of killing intent in his eyes. What exactly is going on? Can make Xian Zun's mother. Blaming insults at one's own brother. Xin Yuqing, I'll tear up your stinky mouth. Just now. Xin Yuqing is extremely excited to come and report the situation. Good news, the heavenly dragon list has fallen to the limit. And the mysterious billionaires behind Master Zhang will also come to the banquet. After hearing this, Xin Tianjun burst out laughing with a proud expression on his face. That's really great. My husband's 70th birthday. Two experts can come to the banquet. My Xin family will definitely take it to the next level. Expected to become the largest family in the Jiandi region. Someone is ringing the doorbell inside the hotel at this moment. After Luo Chen opened the door, he was slightly taken aback by Li Jai. Why are you here? Is it convenient to see Li Jai give a slight smile? I would like to have a private conversation with you. Later, Luo Chen invited him into the room. Li Jai threw her bag onto the sofa with some dissatisfaction. I heard you were at Xin Juanfeng's funeral. I have scolded Mr. Shen. This guy is really bold. After hearing this, Luo Chen snorted coldly, so what? Are you here to raise a question of guilt? Li Jiayi explained with a serious expression that it wouldn't be appropriate. I came to advise you to leave Jiangi as soon as possible. 
in the identity and status of Mr. Shen. If changing tasks, others may not take it to heart, but you're different. Your father, let Chen Jia miss the opportunity to marry the Jiang family. Mr. Shen has been harboring a grudge in his heart for years. If you stay in Jiangi, they will definitely not let you go. For oneself, also for Aunt Yuelan, I advise you to leave their sight as soon as possible. Luo Chen's indifferent and cold answer. You don't have to worry about this anymore. I have my own plans. Li Jiayi sighed helplessly. I knew I couldn't persuade you. You are too arrogant. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen sneered and said, The day after tomorrow, Shen Tianjun will celebrate his 70th birthday. You should also go, right? Li Jiayi nodded in confusion after hearing this. I saw a playful expression on Luo Chen's face. You will know then. Who is the one who thinks they are right? Screen rotation. Arrived at the scene of Shin Tianjuan's birthday banquet. Inside the Xinjia Mountain Villa Villa. Crowded with people coming to congratulate on their birthday. At this point, a man holding a woman is walking towards the venue. Wife, don't be angry anymore. The old man did this all for the sake of the Shin family. The woman snorted coldly with an unhappy expression on her face. Just because he's hosting a birthday banquet. Can my son Juanfeng's funeral be so messy? The man immediately comforted and said. The old man is just borrowing the name of the birthday banquet. Wu the top person on the Tianlong list, and the mysterious tycoon behind Master Zhang, if they can be present in person, our Xin family's prestige is bound to soar step by step. Don't be angry, then. After attending the birthday banquet today, the Hermes bag I bought for you. Unexpectedly, after hearing this, the woman, immediately yell at him. Is my son's funeral worth just a bag? At least two are needed. The man was momentarily stunned upon hearing this. No problem, just two. At this moment, Xin Yuelan arrived at the birthday banquet alone. Female witness, with a disdainful sneer on his face, he said. Oh, isn't this Yuelan girl? Xin Yuelan immediately greeted him, second sister. The woman immediately asked with a fake smile on her face. I heard that your long lost child has been found. Why not bring it over together? Xin Yuelan explained thoughtfully. She can't come today due to something. However, she actually came to attend today's birthday banquet without telling Luo Chen, and I have already made up my mind. Take Luo Chen away from this land of right and wrong. The woman laughed loudly and said, Oh, he's really a busy person now. I don't even have time to attend my master's birthday celebration. This means earning billions of dollars a year. Xin Yuelan answered with a dull expression on her face. I won't trouble you anymore. If there's nothing else, I'll go first. The woman looked at Shin Yuelan's distant back. Be so angry that you grit your teeth and gnash your teeth. What are you pretending to be with me here? You'll have a good time later. Shin Yuelan in the villa is carrying something. Slowly walked toward Shin Tianjun. I saw her shyly deliver the package over. Happy birthday to dad. This is a gift for you. Unexpectedly, Shin Tianjun. But he refused his offer and took it home. I don't even need it. Upon hearing this, Shin Yuelan was immediately taken aback. What do you mean by this? Shin Yuching saw the situation. A faint smile appeared at the corner of my mouth. What's the point? What did your son do? Don't you know? A bastard raised from waste. Who dares to say that the Shin family is an ant? It's like looking down on no one. How can Shin Yulan tolerate it? Others humiliate their own sons like this. So he immediately shouted at Shin Yuching angrily. How dare you say one more word? I'll tear up your stinky mouth. A trash boy in the eyes of everyone. Surprisingly, he is a great master admired by thousands of people. This made the people of the Shen family, a wealthy family in the capital, instantly dumbfounded. Just now, Shen Yuelan roared at her own green song, Shen Yucheng. I'll tear up your stinky mouth. Shen Tianjun immediately scolded him for being reckless. You're really getting worse and worse, for that ignorant bastard. Surprisingly daring to disobey and be unfilial. Xin Yuelan explained with a look of grievance that her father, Luo Chang, is not like this. After hearing this, Xin Tianjun, with a gloomy cold snort on his face. For the sake of today being a great day for the Xin family, I'll give you another chance. As long as you sever ties with Luo Chen, I can no longer pursue it. Otherwise, you don't have to come back anymore. Just pretend that Xin Tianjun doesn't have your daughter. Everyone saw this situation. They all started laughing and mocking each other. There's a good show to watch now, how to expect it. Xin Yuelan answered with a firm expression on her face that there was nothing to choose from. Luo Chen is my child, throughout my life. After hearing this, Xin Tianjun, 
Suddenly, I was furious. That's great. Just your useless son. I want to take a look. At this moment, a voice interrupted his words. What do you want to see? Take a closer look. Luo Chen is standing not far away. Xin Yuelan was slightly stunned at the sight of the situation. Then he walked over immediately, asking Xiao Chen with a panicked expression. Why did you come over? Luo Chen's face was gloomy. The answer is that you have been bullied by someone. Of course I have to take care of it. Don't worry, mom. The grievances you have suffered before. I will make them pay the price today. Shen Tianjun saw the situation, immediately pointed at Luo Chen and angrily rebuked him. You've seen all of Yuelan, haven't you? How arrogant and ignorant is your precious son? It's like looking down on no one. What can he compare to the third generation of our Shen family? During speech, two men approached with a sinister smile on their faces. After hearing this, Luo Chen showed a cold smile at the corner of his mouth. The garbage from the Shen family is also interesting to compare with me. It's the biggest insult to me. Upon hearing this, Xin Yuching burst out laughing with a contemptuous expression on his face. Yulan Xiaomei, is it possible that your son has a brain problem? This kid is so arrogant. Xin Yuelan saw this situation. He stopped Luo Chen and Xiao Chen with a frightened expression on his face. Don't talk anymore. If it annoys them, something could happen. At this point, a man commanded his subordinates, saying, How many of you are there? Give that kid some color to see. Teach him how to be a good person. Just finished speaking, a group of people immediately walked towards Luo Chen. Xin Yuelan saw the situation. With a frightened expression on his face, he questioned what you were up to. I saw a strong man waving a heavy fist, bursting towards Xin Yuelan. Get lost. I'm about to punch Xin Yuelan in the face. The strong man suddenly felt a jet of air rushing in. Just hear a bang. His massive body was instantly repelled. Then it collided heavily with the wall. Shin Tianjuan's expression suddenly changed greatly. What, everyone almost dropped their jaws when they saw this situation. Is it a great master? Shin Yuelan looked at Luo Chen and Xiao Chen with a puzzled expression on her face. Why haven't you finished speaking yet? He suddenly felt a sudden sense. The scenes from Shang-Chi kept flashing in my mind before. He tried hard to recall that lost memory. Luo Chen saw the situation, immediately walked over to him and asked his mother. What's wrong with you? Xin Yuelan covered her hot forehead and explained to Xiao Chen. I remember everything about Xiang Shi. I saw a golden light flickering on his forehead. After hearing this, Luo Chen was slightly taken aback. I have been staying by my mother's side all this time, just to warm up his damaged soul. I thought it would take some time for my mother to regain her memory. I didn't expect it to heal prematurely under strong stimulation. At this point, Xin Yuelan no longer continues to be polite to her father. Shan Tianjun. Didn't you say that my son can't compare to the three generations of the Xin family? I think you should get to know him again. Xin Tianjun's heart is filled with regret at this moment. At such a young age, Luo Chen actually regards Gui as his master. If we hadn't excluded him so much back then, Xin Jiading will create another brilliant future. Xin Yuelan remained silent when she saw everyone. Then he sneered and said, Why? Are you all mute? Are you saying that? Is my son Xin Yuelan useless? Why don't you continue your performance now? After hearing this, everyone was so frightened that they dared not speak again. After thinking for a moment, Shin Tianjun spoke up and said, Yuelan, I admit that I was too powerful before, but after all, we are one family. Blood is thicker than water. If there's anything we can say, we can talk it out loud. At this moment, a roar interrupted his words. What's there to say? I saw Luoba bringing a small blood corpse to the birthday banquet venue. Shin Tianjun, stop pretending there. Until now. It's already too late for you to do anything. Shin Yuelan couldn't conceal her excitement, old and weak, when she saw the situation. Then he cried and threw himself into Loba's arms. I finally saw you. The first person on the heavenly dragon list. Surprisingly, he is a useless young man in the eyes of everyone. This made everyone present immediately numb and stunned. How could this be possible? Just now. Xin Yuelan was extremely excited and threw herself into Luo Ba's arms. For this moment, they waited for a full 20 years. After Xin Tianjun saw Luo Ba, unbelievably shout out, Why are you still alive? I have already sent old Deng and his team to go. Before the words fall, Xin Yuelan immediately angrily rebuked Xin Tianjun at him. What did you just say? I didn't expect you to be so ruthless. After hearing this, Xin Tianjun looked embarrassed and remained silent. After thinking about it, he, 
then he fiercely threatened. Anyway, it's already at a point where it's impeachable. Don't think that with just one master. Can you do anything to my Shin family? Then he waved his arm. Solemnly declare. The first person on the Tianlong list has already made friends with my Shin family. And promised to attend the old man's birthday banquet. If you really want to oppose my Shin family, you don't want to leave here alive. At this moment, a roar interrupted his words, Shin Tianjun. Who gave you the courage? Take a closer look. The person who came here is Li Jiu, the former number one on the Tianlong list. Shin Tianjun immediately welcomed him with enthusiasm on his face. Originally, it was Mr. Li who came with great pleasure. If there is a loss, welcome from afar. I hope you can forgive me. Mr. Li is able to attend the aging birthday banquet in person. It's really fortunate for three lives. Xin Yuching saw this situation. My heart is filled with doubts as to why he came. Didn't I get rejected when I went to send him an invitation? How to expect it? Li Jiu snorted coldly with a displeased expression on his face, Shin Tianjun. You may have overestimated yourself too much. You can also invite an animal for your birthday. After hearing this, Shin Tianjun, suddenly, his face changed drastically. Li Jiu explained with a disdainful expression that I came here today. It's an invitation from the top person on the longevity dragon list. It has nothing to do with your Shin family. After hearing this, Shin Tianjun couldn't help but laugh and cry. Mr. Li, please help yourself. Unexpectedly, Li Jiu walked up to Luo Chen. Chu Sheng greets Li Jiu and meets Mr. Luo. Luo Chen saw the situation. Without changing his expression, he said coldly, no need to be polite. The father and son of the Shin family were stunned and stunned. What situation? After seeing everyone's reaction, Li Jiu immediately explained to Shin Tianjun. Are you saying that Mr. Luo is just a master? Can't we do anything to your Shin family? So today, I will solemnly introduce myself to you. Now standing on your side, the youth in front of us, it is precisely Luo Wuji, the newly crowned top scorer on the Tianlong list. Just finished speaking, everyone present suddenly froze in confusion. How could this be possible? Xin Yuelan asked Luo Ba with a puzzled expression on her face. When did Luo Chen become the first person on the Tianlong list? Luo Wuji and Luo Bot explained awkwardly in a low voice. Don't ask me. I'm also wondering. Xin Juanfen's parents exclaimed in disbelief. This is simply nonsense. Heavenly Dragon List Master. How could it be a teenager in his twenties? Do you think we Xin family are all fools? Xin Tianjun immediately angrily rebuked the two of them. Shut up, Mr. Xin actually understands better than anyone else in his heart. With Li Jiu's personality, his words are definitely not unfounded and Luo Cheng's skill just now. It seems like we have reached the level of a master. What he finds difficult to accept is, the first person on the Tianlong list is actually Shen Yuelan's son, but I always oppose him everywhere. Shang Shang forced Luo Chen into becoming an enemy of the Shen family. How foolish this should be. Shen Yuqing saw the situation, hurriedly stepped forward to inquire. Dad, are you okay? He looked at the old man's reaction. I also understand in my heart that there is no room for maneuver anymore. The current situation. We have to go all out. Thinking of this, he continues to threaten Dao Luochen. Even if you are the first person on the heavenly dragon list, what can you do? Our Shin family is not a vegetarian in this capital city either. Countless big families have befriended us. There are even divine beings who transcend secular powers. If you dare to touch my Shin family, they will definitely not let you go. Say it now. He asked Master Zhang beside him with a smug expression on his face. I'm right, right, Master Zhang. If you can help us overcome this difficulty today, we are willing to give up 30% of the shares in our collaborative project. After hearing this, Master Zhang, a faint smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Okay, but it needs to be approved by my boss. Xin Yuching saw the opportunity come. Immediately accompanied by a smile, he said. Master Zhang dares to ask. Where is your boss currently located? Master Zhang smiled mischievously and helped his glasses. What and where? Didn't he arrive long ago? Then he pointed to Luo Chen beside him. This young man is the owner of our company. Mr. Luo Wuji. Xin Yuching suddenly thundered like five thunderbolts. Stunned and stunned. No one will believe anything. The young man in front of me is not only the number one on the heavenly dragon list. He is also a mysterious wealthy man in the mouths of the wealthy Xin family in the capital region. Just now, Master Zhang pointed to the young man. Introduce him as my boss, Mr. Luo Wuji. Upon hearing this, Xin Yuchen retreated in disbelief on his face. 
What kind of woman screams in disbelief? It's impossible. You must be acting. Luo Chen is a little brat. How could there be such a big background? Xin Yuelan snorted coldly upon seeing the situation. Zheng Suaping has been involved until now. Whether you admit it or not is meaningless anymore. Now you should understand. Compared to my family Luo Chen, your son, what kind of thing is it? After hearing this, Zheng Suaping dared to be angry and not speak up. Unexpectedly, Xin Yuqing immediately knelt down with a thud. Then he knelt down on both knees and crawled towards Xin Yuelan. Yulan Xiaomei, we apologize to you. For the sake of our siblings having a fight, please forgive me. Because of Luo's crouching sound, Luo's father gave him a big slap in the face directly. Xin Yuqing covered his swollen face and dared not make any more noises. Luo's father held his clothes and taught Xin Yuqing a lesson. Is this scene very familiar? Don't you remember 20 years ago? What did you do to me? Xin Yuqing was so scared that he kept shouting sorry in his mouth. The weak bully continued to roar at him. At first, you didn't threaten to say that if I met you Elan, will you chop up our father and son and feed them to the dog? We are standing here now. You did it yourself. At this moment, Shen Tianjun interrupted his words. Enough, this time you. We won until now. I can only regret it later. Since you both avenged each other, I've also regained face. Please leave here immediately. Unexpectedly, after hearing this, Luo Chen sneered and left here. Shen Tianjun, are you getting old? My head also followed Watt's lead. You guys are the ones who should get out of here. I'm not messing around here for half a day to humiliate you. After hearing this, Shen Tianjun looked puzzled as to what else you wanted to do. Master Zhang next to him immediately explained to Mr. Shen. Wei Gongzi, in order to invest in the project, I have already mortgaged this estate. The debt has been transferred to Mr. Luo's hands. The deadline has expired now. From now on, this address has the surname Luo. Xin Yuqing exclaimed in disbelief that it was impossible. How could the mortgage expire so quickly? You guys are definitely colluding. To put it bluntly, it means joining forces to cheat. Master Zhang sighed indifferently. Your funds are all in the project. We didn't move a single penny. According to the contract, you will receive dividends in three years. How can this be considered fraud? Besides, it was the mortgage you voluntarily made. You can't wrongly accuse a good person. Shen Tianjun immediately grabbed his son's collar. Interrogate Shen Yucheng. How many assets have you mortgaged? Shen Yucheng's hesitant answer is complete. Shen Tianjun saw the situation, blaming at him. How could I have such a foolish son? Shen Yucheng loudly retorted with a face full of grievances. What does it mean to be stupid? You clearly told me. We need to do everything possible to achieve cooperation. Upon hearing this, Shen Tianjun was immediately speechless. At this moment, Luo Chen impatiently and coldly said to Shin Tianjun, Have you always thought that I came to Jiangi? I want to get some benefits from the Shin family. Do you think it's ridiculous now? But you should feel fortunate about it. If it's not, in terms of the relationship between my mother and your Shin family, your Shin family has already shed blood like a river. Li Yingying and his daughter outside the villa hurriedly arrived at the birthday banquet venue. Jiai, hurry up. Their banquet is almost over. Li Jai complained with a face full of grievances. Mom, is my clothes too revealing? At this moment, a group of people were walking out of the hall. I saw Shin Tianjun standing in the crowd with a gloomy expression on his face. The mother and son looked puzzled upon seeing this. Where are they going? Isn't the Shin family celebrating their birthday today? The two men looked helpless, passing by from behind the two of them. Where else is there in the Shin family? Now this is the Luo family. The mother and son were suddenly stunned and dumbfounded. What is it now? Lao Lu walked to the gate. Announce. Everyone who came to attend Shen Tianjun's birthday banquet is listening carefully. The Shen family is now being taken over by my master, Luo Wuji. If you are willing to make friends, you can stay. If you don't want to, please do it yourself. After hearing this, everyone was covered in circles. What exactly is the situation? Should we keep it then? Then the three of them engaged in a heated discussion. We were originally trying to curry favor with the Shin family. As for the Shin family surname, it doesn't matter at all. Besides, I heard that Luo Wuji's strength abandoned Shin Tianjun with dozens of solutions. Let's stay here. At this moment, a roar came from afar. Who is so special? It's Luo Chen. I saw a yellow skinned guy with a small flat head, walked over with a displeased expression on his face. That Huangpi in the villa. Lao Zheng shouted loudly with a small flat head. 
Who's special? It's Los Angeles. Hurry up and get out of here for me. After hearing the commotion outside the door, Luo Mama, a face full of confusion. What happened outside Xiaochen? Luo Chen turned around and comforted, saying that it was okay. Mom and Dad, please rest in the room first. I'll go back as soon as I go. Later, Luo Chen walked out of the house with the woman who had left home, small flat head visible. Immediately explained that the front and middle one is Luo Chen. The yellow skinned guy immediately stepped forward to question, Are you really Luo Chen? Surprisingly daring to move. My Zhou family from Qindao. You're quite crazy, kid. Li Zhou's expression changed greatly upon hearing this. Qin Island Zhou family. Are these two people inspiring the family? Li Meizi asked with a curious expression on her face. Dad, is their family really powerful? Li Jiao explained with a face full of fear that 20 years ago, the master of the entire heavenly dragon list, almost completely slaughtered overnight. Although I don't know why things started, but what can be certain is that, this was done by the Zhou family on Qin Island. The first person on the heavenly dragon list had already entered the martial arts realm, but it was not spared either. At this moment, Luo Chen's face remained unchanged as he calmly answered. Who are you? Zhao Ping suddenly became angry and embarrassed, so you hit me. Do you want to default on your debts? I won't kowtow to you today to apologize. I will definitely take your whole family. Before the words fall, with a loud snap, Luo Chen gave him a big slap in the face directly. A small flat head and a large body, instantly being fanned out for more than 10 meters. Later, Luo Chen's wrist moved with a dull expression on his face. It's really good. The scar forgot to hurt. It seems like I haven't been beaten enough yet. Ikea women were stunned by Luo Chen's actions and were stunned. Huan Pilao immediately summoned a long sword upon seeing the situation. Why do you dare to hit me in front of me? Brother, I think you're tired of living. After speaking, he swung his sword and headed towards Luo Chen. Li Jiu saw this situation. Screaming in terror, he became endoscopic. This guy is actually a beginner. Subsequently, he quickly reminded the crowd to dodge quickly. I saw Luo Chen gently lifting one hand without fear. Instantly condensed into a masonry wall. Easily blocked his attack. The yellow skinned man's face immediately changed when he saw this. What? He actually forced it with his bare hands. At this moment, Luo Chen has already clenched his fist and smashed it at him. A small flat head not far away. Sitting up from the ground with a face full of pain. Unexpectedly, the next scene left him stunned. I saw the entire body of the yellow skinned guy rapidly throwing backwards. Xiao Ping Tu is scared. I have to quickly get up and dodge. Just hear a bang. The yellow skinned man landed heavily on the ground. Xiao Ping Tu's face turned pale with fear upon seeing the situation. Long, what's wrong with you? He looked at Luo Chen. My eyes were filled with despair. Long Gu was actually given a second by him. Has Luo Wuji become a martial saint? How could this be possible? The master once said that there will be no martial saint for less than a hundred years, but he's only in his twenties. I saw Luo Chen command Lao Lu with a gloomy expression on his face. Could you please drive the person away from me? I don't want to kill in front of my parents. At this moment, Luo Chen's parents ran out in a panic. Xiao Chen, are you okay? What just happened? Luo Chen smiled and comforted, saying, It's okay, mom and dad just had two crazy people come over. I have already had someone send me away. Lao Lu walked up to Xiao Ping Tu, pointing a gun at his forehead. Be sensible, hurry up and get out of here. At this moment, Xiao Ping Tu was so angry that he gritted his teeth and gritted his teeth. So he immediately roared at Luo Chen with anger. Let's wait and see. Our Zhou family will definitely launch a military ruling against you. At that time, all the martial saints in the world will be enemies with you. I see how long you can still live. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen remained unmoved by his words. At this moment, a person suddenly walked towards Luo Chen. I saw an old man sneering and explaining. Military arbitration. Nai Wuxing family. The alliance strategy of jointly pursuing hostile individuals. Mr. Luo, I'm afraid it's over this time. Luo Chen gave him a dull glance. The old man pretended to be calm and let out a dry cough when something happened. I have heard of it. Mr. Luo is looking for someone to investigate. Mr. Huang, who brought back the mysterious liquid from Kunlun. Your Excellency is planning to go to Kunlun. Los Angeles stared blankly at the old man in front of him. How can you find him? Of course, take me back and arrange for it. How about you leading the team to Kunlun in three days? Los Angeles immediately inquired about it. What are the conditions? The old man's gaze condensed. 
showing a murderous expression on his face. If the Zhou family treats you, initiate a military ruling. Please don't show any mercy, Mr. Luo. Kill if necessary. Kunlun mountainly Luochen with a small blood corpse, surprisingly treating exploration as a tourist vacation. This made the team that came together momentarily dumbfounded. Just now, an off-road vehicle, slowly driving into the cold and windy Kunlun snow mountain. The man in red on the car asked Mr. Huang with a curious expression on his face, What do you mean by elderly care? What is Huang Lao's faint answer on the side? What does it mean? The man in red immediately explained that. Aren't you asking knowingly? Logically speaking, your strength is strong. Once again entered Kunlun. Priority should be given to having you lead the team. Why do elderly care providers choose newcomers? Jean Mao in the car snorted coldly with an unhappy expression on his face. Isn't that the old man surnamed Yang's surname? However, our entire espionage unit's reinforcement agents. Clearly, it was all brought back by my master. But it's just because of those dragging oil bottles. Huang Lao immediately interrupted his words, Okay, shall we, please say a few words less. Since the boss arranged it this way, he has his own reasons. Then he looked out the window with a melancholy expression on his face. After all, last time I led a small team of 10 people. And I was the only one who went back. The car quickly arrived at the assembly point. Everyone got off the car one after another. Huang sat in his seat and instructed me that I was getting old. I won't go down anymore. You guys go over first. The man in red turned around and looked at the parked RV next to him. I believe this is the captain's car, right? I didn't expect to come earlier than us. Then he explored his head and walked to the other side of the car. The scene in front of him almost startled him and made him fall off. I saw the table filled with red wine and delicious food. Luochen was enjoying the taste of the fine wine with a look on his face. And the little blood lion was eating the chicken with big bites. The two of them vividly regarded exploration as a tourist vacation. After Luo Chen saw them, I asked you all with a smile. It should be the team participating in this mission, right? Come on, come on, come on, sit down and have some food. Everyone witnessed the situation. Filled with anger in my heart. Is there any mistake? Are these two here for tourism? The man in red pretended to be calm and let out a dry cough. Hello, I am Jing Yu, the consultant for this operation. Luo Chen immediately introduced himself to everyone. Jing Yu looked at Xiao Luoli who was cooking, with a puzzled expression on his face. Mr. Luo, who is this little girl? Do we also need to take her with this mission? Luo Chen replied calmly. That's for sure. Everyone witnessed the situation. Everyone started discussing it. This guy shouldn't be a noble young master from any family, okay? I have to take a maid with me when I go out. Jing Yu awkwardly reminded me. Mr. Luo, you need to think carefully. The land of Kunlun is extremely dangerous, even if it's a master. It's also difficult to guarantee that we can go back safely. Besides, this little girl doesn't even seem to be an adult yet. Is this supposed to be put to death? Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Don't worry, his strength is very good. After listening, Jing Yu, looking at little Loli with a disdainful expression on her face, shouldn't it be just the ability to work for food? Golden hair visible. Walk up to him. Whispered a reminder that if it's smaller than what he wants, he can bring it with him. If anything happens. Anyway, it's all his responsibility. Then everyone returned to their own car. Huang Lajian's condition. He asked curiously with a curious expression on his face. Have you seen our new captain? I saw Jin Mao walking over cursing and cursing. What's special, captain? Just a little kid in his twenties. And he's carrying a silly girl with him. I don't know what's wrong with elderly care. Surprisingly, two second-hand goods were brought in. After Huang Lao heard this, silent with a puzzled expression on his face, the leader of the team is so young. What is Yang really up to? Inside an airplane RV, Luo Chen asked maliciously, How is human food delicious? The little blood lion kept shaking its little head, indicating difficulty in accepting. After hearing this, Luo Chen, staring at him with a murderous expression on his face, the little blood lion immediately nodded forcefully upon seeing the situation. Luo Chen touched his little head, soothing, get used to it earlier. It will take at least half a month to enter Kunlun before coming out. The little blood lion could only sigh helplessly. A convoy in the mountains. Driving slowly into the frequently occurring Kunlun mountains, the man in red is looking out the window at the scenery, unconsciously fearful. Kunlun is really eerie, a rare purple glow. It appeared several times in a day here. After walking for so long, 
I haven't even seen a gourd yet. Huang Lao in the car commanded. Let's stop here for today. It's too risky to rush after dark. Then everyone got off the car one after another, started setting up camp and setting up camp. At this point, Luo Chen walked towards them with a small blood corpse. He aimed at everyone. Kind reminder that we have arrived within the territory of Kunlun. I suggest everyone settle for the night in the car. Don't sleep outside. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen's words sank like rocks in the sea. It didn't provoke any reaction at all. Ji Mao muttered in a low, cursing voice. Except for Professor Jing. The weakest is also the master. That idiot. I thought there was something that could threaten us. The blue-haired man let out a cold snort. That young master thinks we may be like him. It's all waste. But if we have a luxury RV, I won't sleep outside either. Huang Lao sneered at Captain Daoluo upon seeing the situation. Where are we now? If you're afraid, don't go into the mountains. It's safest to wait for us in place here. After hearing this, Luo Chen let out a dull sigh on his face. You can do whatever you want. I'll go back to sleep first. Say it now. So he walked over to his RV with his little blood corpse. In the valley at night, the whining sound of the cold wind echoing constantly. On the mountaintop, a huge beast quietly appeared. The beast gazed down the mountain. The team's eyes emitted a terrifying purple light. Screen rotation. Arrived the next morning. At this moment, the sky is just beginning to dawn. The man in the black hat hummed a tune and walked out of the camp. He stopped at the foot of a mountain. So we started shoo, shoo. Unexpectedly, a black shadow flashed past him with a swoop. The man in the black hat noticed something was wrong. Then he suddenly turned back. What was the sound just now? He walked back to the campsite with a puzzled expression on his face. Did I have a hallucination? At this moment, the tent in front of him caught his attention. What situation? How to open the average tent per person? Then he curiously lifted the curtain of the tent. Gentlemen, you little one. Unexpectedly, the next scene completely shocked him. I only saw Ring Jun lying motionless in the tent. Then a burst of screams echoed through the entire valley. After hearing the commotion, everyone walked over with a puzzled expression on their face. What happened? Was that little Lee's voice just now? I saw a man with a black hat sitting paralyzed on the ground, trembling all over, pointing to the tent in front of him. Dead, the gentleman is dead. Jean Mao's incredible rebuke. It's impossible to stop talking nonsense here. Everyone is a master of horizontal refining. Physical strength far exceeds that of the same level. Then he carefully lifted the door curtain. I want to see what's going on. After looking at it, Jean Mao. Immediately, he angrily cursed at the man in the black hat. Xiao Li, are you really confused? Come and take a look. There's not even a single hair inside. The man in the black hat loudly defended himself. This is impossible. I saw his body clearly. Golden hair immediately roared at him. So what you're saying is that we're blind. Luo Chen sniffed the scent in the air. Immediately sensed something was wrong. This matter is not that simple. Although no bodies were found here, but there is a clear smell of blood in the air. At this moment, a voice came from afar. Yo, why are everyone getting up so early? I saw Ren Jun holding a rabbit in his hand, slowly approaching them. Do you guys put this aside for the morning meeting? The man in the black hat almost dropped his chin when he saw this. Ren Jun, why are you still alive? Jean Mao immediately stepped forward and reprimanded the gentleman. Where the hell did you go? Chen Jun immediately explained that this was not about waking up and having nothing to do. Run out and have some game to treat everyone. Ruachin's face was gloomy as he taught him a lesson. I didn't even tidy up my tent and went hunting for game. You clearly left the team without reporting. I have the right to disqualify you from participating in this mission. Upon hearing this, Rin Jun became dissatisfied and shouted loudly. What do you mean? At this moment, Huang Lao immediately stepped forward to plead for his mercy. Captain Luo, the gentleman has never been in the armed forces before, so some rules are not very clear. I hope you can save my face for me. Don't have the same opinion as him. After hearing this, Luo Chang leaned in front of him. With a serious reminder on his face, he said that this guy has a problem. I suggest keeping him in place. Huang Laoza snorted coldly with a disdainful expression on his face. I'm a bit nervous. I have explored his aura. It is Run Jun who is infallible. What's going on? The old man bears the responsibility. Besides, he is a great master. It's much stronger than the trash cans in your car. Ruachin was too lazy to argue with him when he saw the situation. Okay, then just be happy. Subsequently, 
Huang Laochong's team ordered everyone to prepare quickly. We can only rely on our feet to walk the next path. So, so. Everyone walked into the mountains with the howling cold wind. The little lowly in front of me is going crazy. How terrifying is it really? Just one move. He killed a fierce beast. Just now. The exploration team walked into the territory of Kunlun on foot. Unexpectedly, as soon as we entered the mountain, it started to snow heavily with goose feathers. Jean Mao and the average person also lost the main force as a result. Ren Jun pointed to the forward ship and it fell. Ah we, why don't we find a place to hide first? We'll search for them when the snow stops. After thinking for a while, Tang Hui agreed to his suggestion. Meanwhile, Huan Lao and Jing Yu struggled all the way to the bottom of the cliff. Jing Yu panted heavily and suggested to Huang Lao that Huang Lao, I can't hold on anymore. Can we take a break for a while? Huang didn't refuse that line even when he saw the situation. Please take a break first. I will learn later. Thank you. I will use probing techniques to locate them again. At this moment, he also had a murmur in his heart. I just heard Tang Hui and the others talking. Why did the person suddenly disappear? At this point, Tang Hui and everyone have already walked to a cave. Tang Hui asked the gentleman with a curious expression on his face. You should be here for the first time, right? Such a heavy storm and snow. How do you know there will be a cave here? After listening, Ren Jun did not answer. But it suddenly stopped. This caused Tang Hui to accidentally hit him. So he cursed and yelled, What the hell is this plane? Why did you suddenly stop? Unexpectedly, the next scene frightened him and left him speechless. I saw everyone shouting and slowly turning around. Like a starving beast emitting a terrifying aura all over. Then a scream echoed through the entire valley. Screen rotation. Arrived here in Los Angeles. At this moment, he suddenly felt something was wrong. So he immediately called the other two people to stop. The man in the black hat looked puzzled when he saw this, Captain Luo. What's wrong? Los Angeles has calmed down. Reminder, there are people fighting over there. Then he led the two of them to fight over there. I saw two people in front of the cave. A fierce battle is underway. Huang Lao seems to have changed a person. Roar loudly at the little beast. Dare to act recklessly in front of your eldest son. After seeking death, he rushed towards the human army. Unexpectedly, his arm suddenly stretched several times longer. After turning a corner, he thrust fiercely at the back of the human army. Immediately, his arm pierced his body in an instant. Ren Jun was slightly stunned at the sight of the situation. Just listen to a swish. He turned into base powder and dissipated in place. At this moment, Huang Lao had a grateful expression on his face. Thank you very much, 8th Master. What is hidden in his body? Someone replied. It's just a small matter. Say it now. The mysterious force slowly dissipated from his body. Huang Lao immediately breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, the black-haired man ran over in a panic. Huang, are you okay? When he saw Tang Hui lying on the ground. Scared hind legs. What happened to Huang Lao? Huaij, what's wrong with this? Huang Lao explained lightly that it was Rin Jun who did it. He has been possessed by the snow spirit, but I just killed him. After seeing the corpses on the ground, the little blood corpses, suddenly, my eyes lit up, so he immediately ran over with an excited face on his face. Unexpectedly, the falling dust grabbed him and didn't go over. Later, Luo Chen reluctantly carried him aside. I finally managed to suppress this guy's nature. If he were to see fresh corpses again, I'm afraid I can't hold back anymore. Huang Lajian's condition. Then he entered Kunlun with a contemptuous mockery on his face. We should be prepared to sacrifice at any time. I can't even see a dead body. Why don't you go back early? After hearing this, Luo Chen, with a gloomy and cold expression on his face, he said, If you were willing to listen to me at that time, neither of them will die. Huang Lao immediately shouted at him angrily. What do you mean? Are you trying to put this obstacle on my head? Luo Chen gave a slight smile. It should be like this. Jin Yu saw this situation. Immediately stepped forward to comfort Captain Dallo. Can you just say a few less words? Tang Hui is Huang Lao's most beloved disciple. Don't provoke him anymore. Huang Lajian's condition. I didn't continue to argue with him either. Little fish, we need to continue our journey. You must reach the first entrance before dark. However, his heart was filled with hatred. Lucky child. Let's wait and see. I have a way to make you have no return. Then everyone went on a long journey. Finally arrived at the first entrance of Kunlun's secret realm. Huang Lao reminded everyone to walk another 10 kilometers forward. It is the place where mysterious liquids are collected. Luo Chen looked at. 
The red flowers on the ground couldn't help but wonder. This sacred mountain, Kunlun, is known as the hometown of the gods. How could there be a flower symbolizing death on the other side? Could it be that Kunlun has encountered some unexpected events? That's why those gentle snow spirits will attack humans. Jing Yu approached the flowers with a puzzled expression on his face. What kind of flower is this? So beautiful, Luo Chen immediately stopped the way and never touched him. Unexpectedly, Huang Lao heard a mockery. What's so much fuss about? It's just flowers and wild grass. What can't be touched? Luo Chen glanced at him upon seeing this, and there was clearly a problem with the flower. You, as a divine communicator, can't you tell? Huang Lao snorted coldly with a displeased expression, I'm here. What's there to be afraid of? However, he was secretly planning a conspiracy. Picking this flower will definitely cause snow spirits attack. Last time I came here, it's because half of his people died. I won't take action later. Undoubtedly, those with this surname will die. At this moment, suddenly, a roar came from the valley. I saw only two wild beasts that looked like cats, but not cats. Standing in front of everyone, Jing Yu exclaimed in terror. What is this thing? Huang Lao mocked Captain Daoluo without changing his expression. Previous World War I, the old man's vitality has been severely damaged. At present, we can only protect Professor Jing. If you're willing to kneel down and beg me, I can also take good care of you. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Then I ordered the little blood corpse next to me to hand it over to you. After hearing this, little blood lion immediately put on a fierce and fierce appearance. At this point, there was a wild beast quietly appearing behind Luo Chen. The man in the black hat quickly reminded Captain Luo, be careful behind your back. I saw the little blood lion sprinting up all the way. Then, with a fierce expression on his face, he extended two sharp claws. With a swoosh, instantly solved the huge beast. What shocked everyone upon seeing this? Is this girl also a psychic? Two giant beasts in the mountains were unexpectedly killed by a small one. Loli was so scared that she retreated one after another. This completely shocked Huang Lao on the side. The little girl who communicates with the gods has such strength. Unexpectedly, a figure suddenly condensed in the air. Luo Chen was slightly stunned at the sight of the situation. Is he the snow girl who claims to be the lord of the snow mirror? It seems that the proliferation of flowers on the other side, and these abnormal snow spirits were all driven by him. However, there are countless powerful Taoists in Kunlun. How can they tolerate such monsters, causing chaos at my own doorstep? At this moment, the snow girl slowly lifted her arm. A piercing chill suddenly attacked the small blood corpse. I saw the air around Xiaoxue instantly condense into ice. In the blink of an eye, her entire body was covered in a layer of cold ice. Then the snow girl vigorously waved her arm. Countless icicles appeared instantly in the air. The icicles then shot fiercely towards the ground. Huan Lao saw this and quickly bounced and leaped to dodge. Then he stood with one hand on his chest. Give a big shout to Chang Baiyi. Help me, my words have just finished. That mysterious force once again entered his body. Watching Snow Girl rush towards him. Upon seeing him, Chang Baiyi immediately exclaimed in surprise. Surprisingly, she is a snow woman. Get the fuck out of here. If he gets tangled up, he'll be dead. I don't want to provoke this thing. After speaking, it quickly dissipated from Huang Lao's body. After hearing this, Huang Lao pleaded with a frightened expression on his face to the eighth master. You can't leave me behind. At this moment, the snow girl squeezed his neck tightly. Immediately, he was lifted up in mid-air with one hand. Huang Lao had no choice but to plead with Captain Luo Chen. Help me. Jin Yu exclaimed in terror upon seeing this. Huang Lao Luo Chen's indifferent and indifferent answer. You want me to save you. Okay, but you have to kneel down and beg me. After hearing this, Huang Lao's face was full of anxiety, but he stuttered and couldn't say a word. Luo Chen looked at him. I shook my head helplessly and looked at you now. It seems like there's no way to kneel down. At this moment, the man with a black hat immediately stepped forward to plead for his mercy. Captain Luo, after all, we all met once. Please help Huang Lao, please. After Luo Chen glanced at him, I secretly thought to myself, this kid is the only one on this road who really makes me the captain then give him face. So Luo Chen readily agreed to his request. That way, even if you saved his life. Just finished speaking. Just hear a bang. Lowercase instantly breaks free from constraints. Luo Chen immediately instructed the maid to do so. You put in a lot of effort and won. His reward is optional. After hearing this, Xiu Xue immediately came to her senses. With a roar and a whoosh, he rushed towards the snow girl. 
The snow girl immediately threw Huang Lao aside upon seeing the situation, then wave your claws to resist. Just hear a loud bang, air explodes instantly. Shuling saw this situation, scared and unable to continue obstructing. Luo Chen immediately turned around and walked towards the mountains. Just leave this to him. Let's hurry and make our way. How to expect it? Huang Lao blocked everyone's way with a sly smile on his face. May I ask where to go? Eat that silly girl. It's the worst decision of your life. Luo Chen was slightly stunned when he saw the situation. It's a bit interesting. I saw Huang Lao burst out laughing with a proud expression on his face. There will be no danger on the road ahead. Do you think I would let go of such a great credit? Jing Yu and the Black Hat Man were shocked upon hearing this. Huang, what do you mean? Luo Chen could tell his intention at a glance. Can't you tell that? He's going to kill us. Exclusive credit. The man in the black hat immediately scolded Huang Lao towards him. Captain Luo just saved your life. How can you seek revenge? Huang Lao snorted coldly with a cheap smile on his face. So what? Don't worry, I will make your death less painful. The man in the black hat was so frightened that he dared not speak again. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen walked up without fear. Are you getting old? Head also what? Who gave you the courage? After hearing this, Huang Lao sneered and said, Are you just relying on me, kid? Are you with that girl? He's not by your side again. Besides, the old man found out that the girl's intelligence was problematic. I killed you. He will never seek revenge for you. Luo Chen sighed with a dull expression on his face. He won't take revenge on me, that's right. But his intelligence is much higher than yours. Huang Lao immediately clenched his fist with an angry expression on his face. The dying person is still so arrogant. Finding dead words yet to be heard. Just hear a bang. Luo Chen gave him a heavy punch directly. Huang Lao immediately turned a circle. Face down collided with the ground. The other two of them almost dropped their chins when they saw this. What? I saw Huang Lao struggling to get up from the ground. You, the one who communicates with the gods, are also a person who communicates with the gods. How could this be possible? A master of divinity in the hall. Unexpectedly kneeling in front of a mysterious young man. I saw the old man exclaiming in disbelief. How could this be possible? The young man smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth and said that your intelligence is not high. Indeed, I have not wronged you. You don't even think about it. Why is that little guy obedient to me? After thinking for a while, the old man immediately kowtow and begged for mercy, Captain Luo. Just now, I was momentarily confused. Because adults don't remember to talk to petty people. Because of falling fingers, listen to a bang. The man in the black hat looked frightened upon seeing this. What exactly is the origin of Captain Luo? The connected reviewers were powerless to fight back in front of him. No wonder Mr. Yang would make him the captain. At this moment, Luo Chen suddenly turned around and looked behind him. The two of them trembled with fear upon seeing the situation. I only heard Luo Chen calmly say that it's too dangerous inside. You guys should wait for me here. After hearing this, the two immediately bowed and said goodbye, Captain Luo. Take your time and then. Luo Chen entered the depths of the secret realm alone. I don't know how long it has been. He came to a stone tablet. Looking at the stone tablet in front of me, he couldn't help but sigh inwardly. It seems to be a mother character. Is it possible that the original inscription on this is the three characters Queen Mother of the West? Although this stone tablet looks broken. However, there is still a strong pressure remaining. If there is no too much gold to protect the body, I'm afraid I'm already in a state of despair. At this moment, he curiously touched the stone tablet. Unexpectedly, the stone tablet suddenly made a loud roar. Luo Chen was slightly taken aback at the sight of the situation. I didn't expect it to be just a moment. The atmosphere here has become so enchanting. He didn't stay any longer after thinking about it. So he walked towards a cave. Unexpectedly, one person and one sword appeared on the stone pedestal at the entrance of the cave. The Taoist in front of me. It looks like he should have died for thousands of years. The aura just now. It seems to emanate from him. But although he was threatened with pollution, but still retains half of its holy power. From this perspective, it can be seen that this person had extremely advanced cultivation before his death. Everything that just happened. Still unable to stop Luo Chen's progress. How to expect it? The Taoist behind suddenly spoke up and asked if you were not afraid. After hearing this, Luo Chen did not pay any attention to the Taoist. Continuously questioning with some impatience. Why aren't you afraid? Luo Chen remained silent without looking back. 
The Taoist was instantly furious upon seeing this, so you should be afraid. You have to be afraid. This time, Luo Chen finally turned back slowly with a puzzled expression on his face. Unexpectedly, the next scene made him feel a sudden surge. I saw the Taoist wielding a long sword and fiercely thrusting towards him. Luo Chen quickly raised one hand to resist. Just hear a bang. A golden barrier blocked the Taoist's attack. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth and told me, What happened here? The Taoist replied with a frightened expression that he had arrived. They're all dead, they're all dead. After hearing this, Luo Chen looked puzzled as to what you were talking about. Who are they again? However, the Taoist teacher burst out laughing with a strange expression on his face. Black will eventually annihilate the earth. All living creatures become a sea of corpses. Even immortals cannot escape death. After speaking, he clenched his long sword and exerted a fierce force. When Luo Changdun felt, a powerful pressure is attacking oneself. Unexpectedly, where the two collided, suddenly emitted a dazzling light. Then the scene in front of him disappeared instantly. Immediately after, a crack suddenly appeared in the void. The cracks are getting bigger and bigger. The light is also getting stronger and stronger. In the blink of an eye, he retreated into a brand new world with his entire body. Luo Chen looked at the scenery in front of him. A great change in expression. I saw a towering tree in front of me. A dazzling light shone around the big tree. Is this a divine tree? Fusang's just hit triggered the space formation. It seems that this is the real interior of Kunlun. After thinking about it, Ruachen. Then he vigorously bounced upwards and leaped. Prominent discovery. A black giant is lying at the root of a big tree. I saw a golden liquid flowing out of the tree trunk. Entering his body, Ruachen looked at everything in front of him, muttering to oneself. Is this a demon fetus? Rumors have it that some great experts will seal oneself in a feng shui treasure trove, then absorb the morning primordia and moonlight in embryonic form. Used to nurture an unparalleled and powerful body. However, this Fusang divine technique is the land of the gods. How could they tolerate this demon fetus competing for fate, nurturing the body? At this moment, let out a roar from the demon tire. Ordinary people stand still. How can I intrude into my territory without authorization? After hearing this, Luo Chen had an angry expression on his face. What dares to say that I am a mortal? After hearing the demon tire, the arrogant aura is even more vigorous. Before I get angry, I advise you to leave here immediately. Otherwise, the words will not end. Luo Chen stepped on him with one foot. The mere demon fetus is so arrogant. Has your father never taught you how to respect your elders? Within the demon fetus, a woman is roaring at the young man outside. The mortal old lady is the descendant of the demon god, waiting for my birth. Eternal will be the ultimate sacrifice. How can we tolerate blasphemy like this? Unexpectedly, Luo Chen's face showed a playful expression. Stop stuffing garlic here. You're still a long way from Pak Ku. After hearing this, the woman had an angry expression on her face. So how ignorant is that? Fetal body as solid as gold soup. Looking at the world, no one can break through it. Ruachin sneered and said, Physically, I can't hurt you. But if you feel mentally nauseous, you can still do it for a while. The woman suddenly looked puzzled as to what you were going to do. Just finished speaking. Completion, bouncing, and leaping. Quickly arrived at the sky above the demon tire. Looking at the golden liquid in front of me. He couldn't help but sigh inwardly. There are very few rumors about the Fusang divine tree. Only then can there be the gold that can melt all things from the fire. This demon fetus can find this treasure land. I believe it took a lot of effort as well. Female witness, with a contemptuous sneer on his face, he said. Don't even think about getting rid of the fire gold. In your mortal body, just touching is enough to make you fly into ashes. How to expect it? Luo Chen plopped into the golden liquid. The woman was momentarily stunned at the sight of this situation. What situation? Is this guy here to be funny? Then Luo Chen stretched his arms in the liquid, sitting cross-legged. Although there is too much gold and isolation damage, but I still feel as if my soul has been ignited. I saw that the liquid was quickly intercepted and completely depleted by Luo Chen's body. The woman's expression changed greatly upon seeing this, but this mortal did not die. He was able to quickly withdraw from the fire to this day. How could this be possible? Originally, a large amount of liquid. Under the influence of Luo Chen, it has become extremely rare. This fills the woman's heart with anger. Get out of here, mortal. The opportunity that I found through countless hardships, how can you easily possess it? How about a slight smile on the corner of Luo Chen's mouth? 
Is my shower water delicious? After hearing this, the woman's veins burst with anger, and I'm going to kill you. Time passed by like this, minute by second. Luo Chen is constantly absorbing this precious gold from the fire. At this moment, he suddenly opened his eyes. It seems that our body has reached its limit. If we continue to absorb it, I'm afraid even too much gold cannot be suppressed. Want to completely refine it. It seems to have taken a lot of effort. Fortunately, this place is not far from Yao Qi. To increase refining speed, we need to obtain a bucket of water from the Yao pool as soon as possible. Thinking of this, he stopped absorbing it and suspended in mid-air. Thank you very much for your hospitality. The rest of the gold from the fire will be left for you. This has caused extreme dissatisfaction among the women. Leave you a big-headed ghost. I still want to package it, but I can't do it. After hearing this, Luo Chen chuckled and kept a trace of his character. Good to meet you in the future. White Yu. Watching Luo Chen leave, the woman gritted her teeth in anger. You wait for me. I must kill you when I go out. After Luo Chen left Shinshu Fusong, the tradition of Kunlun inner diameter can be divided into two schools. One is the heaven and earth lineage of Kunlun underground palace. The second is the destination of Luo Chen's trip, the holy land of Yaoqi, forged by Queen Mother of the West. After observing, Luo Chen quickly flew to the shore of Yaoqi Lake. Unexpectedly, the situation in front of him immediately stunned him. I saw a suffocating aura of death pervading the surroundings. The ground was covered with dry corpses. Judging from the attire of these women, they should be from the holy land of Yao Qi, but as the only two super orthodoxies on earth. Even in the immortal realm, I dare not easily offend you. How could such a large-scale slaughter occur here? It seems that this place is not suitable for long-term stay, so he quickly walked to the side of Yao Qi, under the influence of spiritual power, quickly collected the remaining water from the Yao pool. He looked at the holy water in his hand. I can't help but sigh that even the land of gods has suffered. I'm afraid there will be even greater disasters in the future. Between two girls in the snowy mountains, we are engaged in a decisive battle. One is the snow lady, who is known as the lord of the snow mirror. The other is the terrifying blood corpse king. Who do you think is cuter? At this moment, the two of them roared angrily but did not continue the battle. I saw the snow girl panting heavily with a tired expression on her face and the little blood lion even let out a tired plop, lying on the ground. Then he gasped heavily and panted heavily. Unexpectedly, she suddenly stood up with a swoop, jumped behind and rotate 180 degrees in place. A magnificent turn came. Then he ran towards the distance in a gloomy manner. The snow girl was slightly stunned at the sight, so immediately he desperately chased after Shao Shushi. How to expect it? A little poem plopped into someone's arms. Take a closer look. The person who came is Luo Chen. After Snow Girl saw Luo Chen, a series of frightened retreats. The little blood attendant shouted at him with a face full of arrogance. Luo Chen immediately comforted the little blood attendant. Instruct the other two to invite Professor. Could you please help me send this guy back to Tonjo? After hearing this, little blood attendant anxiously pointed behind him. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen chuckled and once he was entangled by the bloody girl, never give up or die. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about it either. Anyway, both of you are immortal things. I guess no one is better than that. Why don't you just bring him back with you? Upon hearing this, Xiao Xie's face immediately froze. But Snow Girl showed a wicked smile on her face. Screen rotation. Arriving at Boqing Station, Luo Cheng comforted on the phone and said, Don't worry, Mom. I will be back no later than half a month. You happen to have a moment with my dad. Two-person incident. Then he furrowed his brow. Hanging up the phone. Since leaving Kunlun, the metal of the fire within the body becomes extremely violent. If not refined again, I'm really going to die of physical abuse. At present, we need to find a place to live in this small town first. Then Luo Chen walked out of the station. Start searching for accommodation. At this moment, a woman introduced herself to Luo Chen. Only this one building is left. How about I take you inside and take a look? Luo Chen's faint answer was that there was no need to look at the house. Just sign the contract directly. At this moment, a voice can be heard from afar, costing 50,000 yuan per month. I saw a golden-haired man standing at the door with an arrogant expression on his face. Deposit 3 to pay 6, a discount of 500,000 yuan in total. May I ask if you want to rent it or not? No rent, get out of here. The woman quickly stepped forward. Embarrassed, he explained not to listen to his nonsense. This house costs 2,000 yuan per month. 
Just deposit one and pay three. The man's blood-colored squinting embrace wrapped around his heart. You rent the house to me. Let's live together. Besides, I'll give you another 30,000 yuan a month. Isn't he fragrant? Just this poor person. He can't even afford to rent 1,000 yuan. After listening to it, the woman immediately roared at him, Chui Hao, please don't pester me anymore. Waiting for the house to be rented out. I will immediately return to the provincial capital. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen coldly said that he had rented 50,000 yuan. Men see this. Suddenly becoming angry with embarrassment, are you really finding fault? I'll kill you now. Because Luo Luo Cheng gave him a heavy punch directly. Then, with a loud bang, he fell heavily to the ground. The man covered his swollen face, blaming at Luo Chang, how dare you hit me? You wait for me. I will definitely keep you from leaving the thin city. After speaking, he quickly got up and fled in the wilderness. At this moment, Luo Chang spoke up and said, I won't rent a house anymore. The woman hesitated awkwardly and couldn't say a word. Unexpectedly, Luo Cheng turned around and smiled slightly. How much does it cost? I bought it. A young man sitting cross-legged in the courtyard, closed eye cultivation. I saw around his body. Countless golden spiritual energy surges violently. At this moment, he suddenly extended his arms. With a loud bang, spiritual energy spurts out in an instant. Immediately, a scorching breath quickly spread around. Even the door number was instantly melted away. If there is silence, palpate the brainstem. I secretly sighed in my heart with my current awakening of three levels of strength. Forcibly refining and leaving the fire is indeed a bit difficult. Even if practicing diamond glass body synchronously, it is also difficult to consume the burning power it generates. Just now, I almost couldn't suppress it. But if we release the excess energy in one breath, I'm afraid the entire county town will suffer. The only way at the moment, only by slowly guiding through the ground. A girl from the neighboring neighbor's house is also entering. Practice. I saw the young girl sweating profusely from the heat at this moment. He muttered with a puzzled expression on his face. Why is the weather suddenly getting hot? The old man remained unmoved after listening. You need to calm down and nourish your chi. The girl turned around with a puzzled expression and explained to her ancestor. Don't you think today's weather is very strange? The summer in Buqing is not so hot either. The old man, with a serious face, scolded Xiaoyu. As my young Tiangong's closed door disciple, you, in the future, they will be the ones who inherit the power of judgment. If a slight change in the outside world can affect you, so how can you build a great road? After listening to it, the woman, I had to continue practicing with a helpless expression on my face. Screen rotation. Arriving at the coast of Qingdao Island. At this moment, Xiao Ping Tu was kneeling in front of an old man. Congratulations to our ancestor for leaving the stage. I believe you have already entered the second level of divine powers. The old man sighed helplessly. I'm still just a little short of that. After all, internal power cultivation cannot be compared to spiritual power cultivation, unless one can practice internalization. Otherwise, we will never be able to catch up with practitioners of the Dharma. But you've been waiting here for half a month. What is the so-called matter? Xiao Ping Tu stuttered and said, Brother Zhou Long was killed by someone. The old man's expression suddenly changed greatly. Who did it? Xiao Ping Tu quickly explained that. It's a young man named Luo Wuji. The old man exclaimed in disbelief and found it absurd. Long air has already mistakenly entered. Is it something that a young person can defeat? Small flat head immediately kowtow. Ensure that this matter is absolutely true. The old man saw the situation. With a puzzled expression on his face, he muttered to himself. Is it some old guy from the cultivation world who disguised himself? After thinking about it, he immediately command me to quickly pass on my command. Initiate a military ruling against Luo Wuji. Late at night, two cars are slowly driving towards Buqing Alley. Jean Mao got off the car, pointing to the house in front. Command, you all listen to me now. After entering, I'll cut off anyone I see. After speaking, he took people with him. The crowd charged towards the house. That kid dared to give me a big pussy on the street. Today, I will definitely let his whole family die. At this point, a subordinate pointed to a row of houses ahead and asked, How, which building should we enter? The houses on this street are all about the same length. Upon hearing this, Xin Mao immediately gave him a big slap in the face. You ask me, why do I ask who? I haven't been here a few times either. Anyway, those with door numbers starting with 4 are right. A man pointed to the neighboring house and shouted loudly. This house doesn't have a house number. 
Only the building next to it starts with four. Golden hair visible. A sinister smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. That's it here. Hurry up and knock the door open for me. In the room, the woman was suddenly awakened by the sound of a door opening. I saw Jean Mao rushing in with a group of people. The woman quickly got up and walked out of the door. Who is it? Jean Mao showed a mischievous smile on his face upon seeing this. Oh, there's actually a beautiful woman here. So he immediately ordered his brothers under his command. First, tie up Jin Niu for me. Wait until we catch that kid. Everyone, enjoy it as you please. At this point, the old man stroked his beard and whispered a warning to bid farewell, causing death. Feel free to do anything else. After listening to it, the woman, with a resolute expression, he moved his wrist. Ancestor, rest assured. I will make their lives more difficult than death. Late at night, a group of men broke into a woman's house. How to expect it? The woman is an extraordinary endoscopic dancer. At this point, a chubby little man rushed towards the woman with a satisfied expression. Little sister, don't be nervous. Brother will take good care of you. I saw the woman hit the punch with one strike, directly smashing into the man's abdomen. The clothes behind the man were immediately shattered by the shock. Immediately after, his massive body was instantly repelled. Then the woman waved her palm, shuttled through the crowd like a phantom in the air. After everyone let out a scream, they all fell to the ground. Jean Mao saw this situation, suddenly panicked and panicked. He glanced at the flowers and plants behind him, suddenly realized, no, that's right. Tang Xian hasn't come back to live in half a year. Who is taking care of these flowers and plants? Did the woman walk up to him at this moment? I patted the dust on my hands and said, okay, who sent you here? Jean Mao explained awkwardly, if I say I walked the wrong door, do you believe it? The woman immediately scolded him for not pretending to be garlic here. Believe it or not, I have to make you drink kanji for the rest of your life. Upon seeing this, Jean Mao quickly pointed to the next door and said, I said, it's the man who just moved in next door. The woman was immediately furious upon hearing this. What is it now? Luo Chen is sitting cross-legged in the courtyard practicing. Colleagues from refining and refining the fire practice diamond glass body. Sure enough, I didn't disappoint him. Plus, this divine seed with its own defense. In just one day, his diamond glass body has already become small. Luo Chen stood up with a tired expression on his face. At this moment, the door was suddenly knocked open with a loud bang. I saw a woman wearing golden hair, walked in cursing and cursing. Come on, tell me who hired you. Jin Mao pointed to Luo Chen, whose face was covered in circles, and it was him. After listening to it, the woman. I immediately stepped forward and questioned you, kid. You have a lot of courage, in order to take over this house, surprisingly daring to commit murder with a full chest. Jean Mao looked at the situation in front of him, secretly secretly delighted with the little brat, unexpectedly intentionally removing the door sign. Since you're playing murder with borrowed weapons, I'll just give you a trick to deal with. At this moment, Luo Chen coldly answers who you are. Do I know you? After listening to it, the woman immediately point at him and curse at him, don't play garlic for the old lady. Be obedient and waste your legs, kowtow and apologize. Otherwise, you won't be able to leave Butching alive. Luo Chen saw the situation. A playful expression appeared on his face. Did you take gunpowder today? At least we need to figure it out before we start looking for trouble. I saw Jean Mao blowing his whistle proudly. After listening to Luo Chen's words, the woman, becoming more violent. You kid, you're really not shedding tears until you see the coffin. I want to see how much you have. After Xiao Ningnai finished speaking, he waved his palm and fiercely patted Luo Chen. Unexpectedly, an air wall suddenly appeared in the air, blocked his attack. The woman looked at the golden shield in front of her, suddenly numb and stunned. Endoscopic protector, is it a great master? At this moment, Luo Chen slowly lifted his arm with a murderous expression on his face. I want human life without distinction. At such a young age, it is so vicious. At this moment, Yang Tian Gang ran in a panic. Stop talking, I haven't finished yet. With a loud bang, the woman was instantly shaken back. The old man immediately stepped forward and supported his disciple Xiao Yu upon seeing the situation. What's wrong with you? I saw a vivid red mark on the woman's abdomen. Dan Tian is exhausted. Complete loss of internal environment. This kid has ruined Xiao Yu's cultivation. Thinking of this, the old man's hatred surged into his heart. So he immediately rushed to the city of Los Angeles and roared angrily. You, 
How dare you destroy the only seedling that the old man has painstakingly cultivated. Today you're just a thousand cuts and cuts. It's also difficult to dispel the hatred in my heart. Just finished speaking. A powerful spiritual force rapidly spreads to all sides. The golden hair was instantly shaken back. Immediately collided with the stone wall. I saw the old man slowly lifting his arm. A golden spiritual power winding and circling. Spitting out from his body. Then it transformed into a golden dragon. Raging towards Luo Chen. Luo Chen saw the situation. Quickly lift your palm to activate spiritual power. This old guy. Surprisingly able to apply the inner cannon to this extent. Sure enough, it's not simple. After seeing Luo Chen's reaction, the old man. Immediately ridicule. The inner diameter of the protective body at the level of a master. Also diluting to resist my attack. It's simply beyond our control. Just hear a bang. The golden dragon collided with the shield. How come the shield is intact and undamaged? And the giant dragon was shattered by the shock. The old man's expression changed greatly upon seeing this, and he was actually fine. How could this be possible? Looking at the entire Huabang martial arts world, who can shoulder my blow? Thinking of this, he immediately gave a feigned calm sneer. You have some skills, kid. Still a qualified opponent. After hearing this, Luo Chen smiled slightly. What opponent? You also deserve it. Luo Chen doesn't even pay attention to the telepathic person in front of him. Opponent, you also deserve it. The old man immediately burst out laughing with disdain on his face. I have lived for over 200 years. Countless geniuses have died under my command. Being so arrogant like you is still the first one. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen sneered with an ignored expression on his face. It's really ridiculous. A self-righteous and like you. I didn't say much, but I also killed eight figures. After hearing this, the old man suddenly became angry and embarrassed. So immediately, his fingers stood on his chest. Roaring loudly at Wang Koxia is simply shameless. Today, I will surely defeat you and turn your ashes to ashes. After speaking, in mid-air, instantly condensed into a huge golden pong. Luo Chen was slightly taken aback at the sight of the situation. I saw the old man raise his hand and suddenly wave downwards. Immediately, golden palms quickly descended from the sky. With a loud bang, it hit the ground. I don't know how long it has been. The smoke finally dissipated. The old man stroked his beard with a proud expression on his face. I can die under the ultimate 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 move that I have been practicing for many years. You're lucky enough to have three lives, kid. Unexpectedly, Jean Mao pointed behind him with a frightened expression on his face. Look behind me. The old man turned back suddenly with a puzzled expression on his face. Only seeing. Luo Chen greeted him unscathed. Hello, ah. The old man was thunderous at the sight of the situation. Stunned and stunned. This is impossible. Why didn't you die? I just clearly used my power. Luo Chen's face showed a playful expression. With your scraping skills. Who gave you the courage? The old man looked frightened upon hearing this. Who the hell are you? At this moment, the woman slowly woke up from her sleep. He looked at the scene in front of him. My heart is filled with joy. Great, our ancestors are here. That kid must die. Unexpectedly, the old man knelt down with a thud, begging for mercy. It's old and reckless. I hope you have a large amount, sir. Spare my life. The woman immediately felt flaxen upon seeing the situation. Stay in what situation? Half a month later, the time has come. Kun Lun built palace. Shin Tian Jun is currently standing in front of the screen. Sword Immortal, this matter is up to you. The Sword Immortal played with the round beads with a dull expression on his face. The leader Joe's family has already initiated a military ruling against him. Why do you need to do this again? Shin Tianjun clasped his fists and explained that. Rumors have it that although Luo Wuji is young, but it has reached the realm of five victories, relying solely on the strength of the Zhou family, afraid of any mishaps. I hope Sword Immortal can take action, help my Shin family take home their business. All other gains belong to Kunlun Sword Technique. Sword Immortal opens the screen. The cold answer was, I am aware that. I'll go down first. Then Shin Tianjun walked out of the palace with a proud expression on his face. Luo Chen, I will make sure you die without a place to bury yourself. Within the armed team, Su Lingchu called Luo Chen with a panicked expression on his face. Something big is not going well. It is said that the Zhou family summoned five martial saints, initiate a ruling against you, and the European Union assassin who befriended Zhou Qianquan. Also heading towards Qindao. How about you go back to the armed forces first? I promise no one dares to touch you. 
Unexpectedly, Luo Chen rejected his kindness in one fell swoop. No need, I have already arrived. Su Lingchu immediately inquired about it. Where have you been? Luo Chen's cold answer. Please go to the screen for a moment. Arriving at the coast of Qingdao Island. At this moment, Zhou Qianquan's face was full of doubts. Has the leader not received any news yet? There was a reply half a month ago, but I haven't been in touch lately. The old man thought for a moment and sighed, so there's no need to wait for him. You go prepare first. Anyway, I'll wait for five people. Killing a high-level practitioner is more than enough. Small flat head visible. Hurriedly clasp your fists and say goodbye. Late to retire first. Then he slowly walked down the mountain. I saw one of my subordinates running over in a panic. Fourth young master is not doing well anymore. Someone broke into the north dock. We have all been defeated. After listening, Xiaoping too. Suddenly, his expression changed greatly. What did you come for? The subordinate immediately explained that the person claimed to be Lu Wuji. Five famous martial arts saints gathered in the sky, just to deal with a person, a mysterious teenager around the age of 20. Everyone witnessed the situation. They all shouted loudly for their ancestors to come. Even the sky martial saint, who is on par with his ancestors, has arrived. At this point, the elderly leader was the first to land on the ground. You are Luo Wuji. After hearing this, Luo Chen gave a faint answer. I believe you must be Zhou Qianquan. It doesn't look very good, does it? I'm far behind the old man next door. The old man's veins burst with anger upon hearing this, so he immediately angrily rebuked Luo Wuji at him. Hello, you have a lot of courage. In the face of a military ruling, he dares to come to his doorstep and provoke. Today is your deadline. The bald man next to him sneered with a disdainful expression on his face. Is it this kid who knows he can't escape death? I want to take this opportunity to make a name for myself. Luo Chen sneered at the old bald donkey. I just feel that. It takes too much time to wait for ants to crawl into the house and then stomp on them to death. It's better to just bring them to their lair for convenience. After hearing this, Big Bald was furious and flew into a rage. How dare you say we are ants? Seeking death. Zhou Qianquan immediately coldly said goodbye to this kid and talked nonsense. Kill him quickly. At this moment, a sound coming from the sky, wait a moment. I saw the sword immortal's foot on the long sword hanging in midair. A few people, don't be in a hurry to start. I have something else to say to him here. Zhou Qianquan was slightly stunned at the sight of the situation. Sword immortal Su Jing Tian. How did he come? Is this Luo Wuji a Kunlun swordsman? It's not easy to handle now. Thinking of this, he immediately clasped his fists to greet the senior he had met. At this moment, the sword immortal's one-handed backrest slowly falls to the ground. Then he spoke to Luo Chen and said to him, You're so young. Just use martial arts to connect with the gods. He is indeed a rare genius in the world. Unfortunately, our Kunlun swordsmanship hates those who prioritize defying the heavens the most. After listening to his words, Zhou Qianquan, unbelievably yelling out in one go, divine shooting endless, not even a practitioner of the Dharma, are you really only in your twenties? Sword Fairy pointed to Shin Tianjun behind him, continuing to say, as long as you return the Shin family property, and kowtow to your master to apologize, I can make an exception and invite you to join me in Kunlun Sword Art, when the time comes, no one will dare to touch you at all. Can Shin Tianjun quietly remind him of his dissatisfaction? Sword Immortal, didn't we agree to come and kill Infinite? The Sword Immortal immediately gave him a fierce glance. If you ask me to do something again. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen sneered upon hearing this. Then he pointed to everyone, including the Sword Immortal. Just put it bluntly. In my eyes, all of you here are trash. Just finished speaking. Zhou Qianquan and De Guangtu were stunned and dumbfounded. The sword immortal even showed a murderous intent on his face, but Shin Tianjun almost laughed out loud. Is this kid suffering from delusions? It's really ridiculous. He's dead today. At this moment, sword immortal waved his hand with a displeased expression on his face. Everyone, please do as you please. I will never interfere with my Kunlun sword skills. Just finished speaking, Zhou Qianquan immediately rushed up. Then he bounced and leaped into midair. I saw the surrounding seawater suddenly rise into the air, transforming into a giant dragon. If there is no limit, I will sentence you to death now. Xiao Ping Tu saw this situation. Suddenly, I felt a sense of fear in my heart. Is this the power of the martial saint? With just one move, it has such power. The sword fairy sword shape couldn't help but sigh inwardly. Rumors have it that thousands of years ago,
The spiritual power between heaven and earth is due to some reason, becoming increasingly thin. So the practitioners took a different path, created a martial arts path primarily focused on cultivating internal power, and gradually mastered the method of transforming internal power into spirit, but most likely it has been lost, and only some martial arts families proudly spread it, from Zhou Qin Kuan's moves, he has condensed a true element close to spiritual power, in time, one can fully grasp the internalized spirit, this kid surnamed Luo is definitely not his opponent. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen faced, the giant dragon fearlessly inserted its hands into its pockets. I saw him slowly lift one hand and gently stroke in the air. Then the dragon was instantly split in half. Then he flashed behind the old man with a swoop. The old man was taken aback at the sight. At this moment, Luo Chen quickly raised his palm. He was slapped in the face with a loud bang. The old man immediately gave a loud bang. Heavy impact on the ground. Big bald head visible, crying out in terror. This kid is indeed a practitioner of Buddhism. After hearing this, Sword Immortal firmly refuted the impossibility with a resolute expression on his face. I can guarantee that. He just used the phantom. Big bald but unbelievable to his words. How could this be a phantom? At his age, even if he cultivates from his mother's womb, it's also impossible to crush the martial saint. I saw Luo Chen sneer with a mischievous expression and say, Martial saint of the Zhou family. Is it just this level? The old man next door is hundreds of times stronger than you. A mysterious young man in the sky is just a big pussy. Unexpectedly dropped the five sacred fans of the hall to the ground. Is the five saints of the Zhou family at this level? The old man next door is several times stronger than you. At this moment, the old man struggled to stand up from the ground. So he immediately roared at the young man. It's really despicable. Even if I destroy my lifelong skills today, I'm going to kill you too. After speaking, he extended his finger and stood on top of his head, wielding a sword. Just finished speaking, countless gray lightning bolts appeared instantly in the sky. Sword Fairy with a sword-like expression, shocked. Is it the seven-star dragon sword? How could Zhou Qianquan still have such a divine artifact? I saw flashes of lightning quickly condensing into a long sword. Then with a whoosh, he inserted himself in front of the old man. The old man burst out laughing with a proud expression on his face. I once used this sword to kill 58,000 people. Today, the artifact is online. I will sacrifice my life to make it a sacrifice. After speaking, he reached out and picked up his long sword to die. Just hear a loud bang. A huge sword thrust fiercely at the young man. Upon seeing this, the bald man immediately shouted loudly, Brothers, go up together. Jointly execute Luo Wuji. Then four martial saints leapt up in one fell swoop. Simultaneously launch an attack on Luo Chun. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen sneered fearlessly. A group of ants also fantasize about defeating the giant deer. It's simply beyond our control. After speaking, he suddenly waved his arm. Immediately, a golden shield appeared in the air. Just hear a bang. The sword energy was hard and shattered by the shock. Zhou Qin Kuan saw this situation as if he had exploded with thunder on his head. Stunned and stunned. What is it now? Luo Chen slowly lifted his palm. Immediately, with a soft swish, it passed in front of me. Instantly repelled the four martial saints rushing towards them. Everyone fell to the ground with a loud bang. After the smoke dissipates. Only then did I realize that everyone was already dead. At this moment, Luo Chen slowly landed on one foot. The old man was frightened and retreated one after another when he saw the situation. What kind of monster is this guy? He effortlessly. Easily resolved my ultimate move. Luo Chen walked towards him with a sneer. May I ask if you have any last words? Zhou Qianquan not only did not beg for mercy, but also, instead, he continued to threaten that you couldn't kill me. I am the martial saint obtained through military judgment. Our alliance leader will never let you go. Unexpectedly, after hearing this, Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Is your alliance leader Yang Tian Gang? Zhou Qianquan immediately reprimanded him. Ashamed and impolite. Leader's name. How can we tolerate blasphemy like that? Luo Chen's face showed a playful expression. Do you hear me? Your little brother is using you to threaten me. Not coming out now. When are you planning to wait? I saw an old man supporting the brim of his hat, walked out of the crowd. Then he sighed helplessly. Take a closer look. The person who came is Yang Tian Gang. Zhou Qianquan immediately welcomed him upon seeing the situation. Since you have arrived, why are you hiding? After hearing this, Yang Tian Gang awkwardly touched his forehead then immediately roared at him, 
Because I am the old man next door that he calls me. Because I have no face to see. Because I am his defeated subordinate. Because I can't afford to provoke Luo Wuji. You should understand now, right? Upon hearing this, Zhou Qianquan thundered like five thunderbolts. Almost startled my chin. What is it now? Yang Tiangang explained to everyone present. You all listen to me now. This is a personal grudge between Mr. Luo and the Zhou family. It has nothing to do with my military judgment. After hearing this, everyone was too scared to continue making noise. Then he walked up to Luo Chen. Chu Xinbao's fist, Mr. Daoluo. Look at this. Luo Chen saw the situation. Wave your hand and you can leave now. Sword Immortal saw the situation. A wave of killing intent surged in my heart. This kid can sweep all the martial saints with his own strength, since it can't be used by me. In the future, there will inevitably be great disasters, and it's better to be amazed than to be amazed by the heavens. Thinking of this, he suddenly felt a strong wave of spiritual power. At this moment, Zhou Qianquan's face was filled with pride as he looked up and laughed heartily. Here he is, finally here he is. My final trump card. Goddess of Death. Only seen in the sky. A terrifying skeleton fantasy suddenly appeared. Yang Tiangang saw this situation. Suddenly, there was a burst of excitement. Goddess of Death. Is it that one? The shadow assassin, known as the strongest assassin in the European Federation. Zhou Qianquan glanced at Empress Luo Chen, laughing at those surnamed Luo. You're dead today. I don't believe even the Goddess of Death can't cure you. And the sword immortal gazed at the scene in the air. I couldn't help but sigh in my heart. Undoubtedly a renowned top killer. Even the aura of this appearance is deadly. It seems that even if I don't personally take action, even Luo Wuji cannot escape death. At this point, the skeleton instantly dissipated into strands of black breath. Immediately, quickly coalesced into a female figure in midair. Zhou Qianquan saw the situation, quickly pointed to the falling dust behind him. He let me go to the Zhou family. Kill my descendants. You must take out this bad breath on my behalf. I saw a woman slowly walking out of the black mist. Mr. Zhou, there's no need to panic. I am here. I will definitely fight for you. To return to justice, unexpectedly, Luo Chen gave him a hee hee smile. Hello, beautiful woman. Female witness. Suddenly, I was so scared that my hair exploded. Dragon Slayer. The girl in front of me is so fierce and vicious. It's the shadow assassin who claims to be the goddess of death. Unexpectedly, I was scared to death by a mysterious young man. Dragon Slayer. Juvenile witness. With a slight smile. I heard you came to kill me. After hearing this, the girl immediately bowed down to apologize. Dear Lord Dragon Slayer. I have no intention of offending. I hope you can forgive my crimes. Just finished speaking. The surrounding air instantly quieted down. The elderly were even more shocked and stunned. Dragon Slayer forgives crime. What exactly is the situation? At this point, Luo Chen turned around with a stubborn expression and looked at Zhou Qianquan. The helper you called seems to dare not take action against me. How about you send a barrage and ask the people in the comment section? Zhou Qianquan exclaimed in disbelief. Who the hell are you? I saw Luo Chen walking towards him with a murderous expression on his face. A dying person. Why do you need to know? Zhou Qianquan immediately showed a frightened expression on his face. Please don't kill me. Before the words fall. Just hear a bang. He died instantly due to physical abuse. Yang Tiandang saw this situation. Suddenly, I felt a sense of fear in my heart. Since its establishment, the military tribunal has. We have recruited a total of eight martial saints. Everyone is a peerless expert who has experienced countless battles. Today's battle. Surprisingly, more than half of it fell down. No one in Huabang martial arts can compete with Luo Wuji. At this moment, the sword immortal quietly grasped the seven star dragon sword on the ground. Luo Chen reminded with a serious expression on his face. That's not something you should touch. Put it down for me. Unexpectedly, after hearing this, the sword immortal. But with a disdainful expression on his face, he sneered and said, Why? It seems that Mr. Luo still wants to fight me, but he can't do it. Then he disregarded Luo Chen's warning. Resolutely picked up the long sword. Don't think you've won these warriors. You can do whatever you want. Looking at the entire cultivation world. Who dares to touch my Kunlun sword technique? Not to mention you. A small Luo Wuji. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen showed a murderous expression on his face. Your last chance is gone. I saw Sword Immortal's fingers standing in front of my chest. Activate spiritual power. Then the long sword hummed and hung in midair. I want to take a look. 
a person of only five paths. How to compete with the spiritual practitioners in my Dharma realm? After speaking, he suddenly waved his arm. The long sword thrust towards Luo Chen with a swoosh. Shen Tianjun saw this situation. It's simply a burst of joy. There is a way to heaven, you won't go. Hell has no door, you break in. Offended Kunlun swordsman. Ten lives is not enough for you to die. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen slowly raised his one hand with a mischievous expression on his face. Who told you that I am a person of martial arts? After speaking, he immediately activated his spell skill, the shapeshifting illusion. Just finished speaking. The positions of the two instantly changed. I only heard a popping sound. The long sword pierced into the body of the sword immortal. Then he spat out the overnight red bean milk tea. You are actually a practitioner of the Dharma. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Tang Tang Sword Immortal. Unexpectedly, I was severely injured by my little trick of carving insects. It's really ridiculous. Sword Immortal was instantly angered by his words. The number immediately drew out his long sword. How dare to tease this work like this. I will shatter your body into countless pieces. After speaking, he clenched his long sword tightly, with a swish and a sudden wave. A sword aura instantly appeared in front of me, leading towards Luo Chen in a transverse direction. I saw Luo Chen calmly lifting his arm, with a loud roar. Suddenly, a golden giant sword appeared behind me. Then he shook his hand and waved forward. The golden giant sword rushed forward horizontally in response to the sound. In an instant, it pierced through the purple sword that was cutting horizontally. Then he quickly approached the sword immortal straight ahead. Sword Fairy quickly raised his shield in a sword-like manner to resist. Just hear a click. The shield was instantly shattered by a giant sword. The Sword Fairy's sword-like appearance immediately revealed a face of fear. Shintong Third Order. After the smoke dissipates, he struggled to stand up from the ground. What kind of monster is Luo Wuji? His move just now. The level of the third level divine power of the unparalleled teammate. At this moment, Luo Chen slowly walked towards him. Shen Tianjun saw this situation. Completely hopeless. It's over. Even the Sword Fairy is not his match. The Shin family will never turn around again. Suddenly, the Sword Immortal knelt down with a thud, begging for mercy. Senior, please spare my life. Tang Tang Kunlun Sword Immortal. Unexpectedly facing a mysterious young man in his twenties. Kneel down to beg for mercy. Master, I am blind. Please spare my life. Ruachin sees the situation. A cold smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Do you agree or disagree? Sword Immortal immediately answers, being fully immersed in the lower server. Although he said so, but my heart is filled with hatred. This kid is indeed too young. When I go back, I will definitely call for reinforcements. Master will definitely crush this road endlessly. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen calmly said to him, Since you have already taken it, then rest assured and embark on the road. Sword Immortal's face was instantly shocked. What? So he immediately shouted at Luo Chen, I have surrendered. You can't kill me. But it doesn't follow the rules. I saw Luo Chen slowly lifting one hand with a gloomy expression on his face. My rules are called rules. After speaking, I only heard a bang. Sword Immortal instantly explodes and dies. Screen rotation. Came to Qingqing Mountain. A white-haired man is kneeling on one knee. Master Kunlun Sword has allied with Qingcheng Mountain for a hundred years. Now, with a false alarm. Sword Immortal killed by someone. Qingming invites himself down the mountain to seek revenge for him. I hope Master agrees. After thinking for a while, an old man. I agreed to his request. You have already achieved great success in farming coins. It's time to experience it again. Be careful when going this time. The man immediately clasped his fists in gratitude. Thank you very much, Master. Inside the Emotional Island Hotel. At this moment, Luo Chen is sitting on the sofa. Speak indifferently. Tell me, how much do you know about horror games? Mavis calmly poured a cup of tea. The Dragon Slayer speaks very directly. Do you want to know how much? But speaking of which, for us assassins, intelligence is the most precious. Something, Luo Chen could tell at a glance that he was being cautious. If there are any conditions, feel free to mention them. Mavis gave a slight smile at the corner of his mouth. Alliance Luo Chen readily agreed to his request upon seeing the situation. I learned from Mayweather's mouth that horror games are prevalent worldwide. Even on the newly unearthed Qin Emperor's tomb slips in Huabang, they all record a lot of things about horror games. Before the outbreak of modern population, 
Almost everyone has participated in horror games. After hearing this, Luo Chen looked curious. What is their purpose in doing this? Mavis replied, Star of the Stars. According to data from the scientific community, there are approximately 7 times 1020 second power stars in the universe, calculated by probability. Only within the Milky Way galaxy, there should be a huge number of intelligent civilizations existing. However, so far, the entire starry sky is silent. The real reason is that those living planets. Lack of life. The birth of a crucial star of stars. Hear this. Luo Chen couldn't help but sigh in his heart. Although the Tai Huang Jing is praised as the strongest martial arts technique of all time, but there are still flaws. If we could obtain the star of the stars, must be able to make up for deficiencies. In this way, I won't be harmed by any traitors in my past life. At this point, Mavis continued to introduce to Luo Chen, the reason why horror games constantly attract players. It's just to find someone suitable for the star of the stars. As for what other purposes are there, I don't know for sure. After hearing this, Luo Chen immediately asked, just through the game, are you looking for suitable candidates? Mavis explained that it's not entirely. Actually, horror games are divided into two types. The first method is for the game to actively summon players to enter. The second type is for players to actively participate. Horror games set game levels around the world. Only those with strong abilities dare to explore the truth. I heard that the game level set in Goryeo is about to open. And this time's reward. It's the clue to the star of the stars. Hear this. Luo Chen asked, it seems like you're here this time. It's to participate in this selection. Mavis suddenly looked embarrassed. You overestimated me too much. Although my strength is still good, but still vulnerable to true strength. For example, Tolev, the son of the Snow Country Wolf King. He is one of the seated players for this selection. After hearing this, Luo Chen became somewhat curious. It seems that there are more than one strong person like this. Mavis immediately introduced that it was right. With Mr. Luo's strength, there shouldn't be any problem. I believe I can also gain a place among the list of players. How to expect it? Luo Chen's face showed a playful expression. I didn't treat these players as opponents. Just finished speaking. Mavis immediately stood up in shock. What does it mean? Do you want to be enemies with the forces behind the horror game? Luo Chen saw the situation. Does a slight smile on the corner of my mouth seem like I'm joking? After listening, Mavis sat back on the sofa to remind Mr. Dallow. Please forgive me for being blunt. The forces behind this horror game. No one can shake it. Luo Chen spread out his hand with a dull expression on his face. That's because I haven't encountered it yet. Mavis was completely shocked by Luo Chen's words. This guy is definitely crazy. Being with him is undoubtedly a fire to the body. The girl in front of me. I was completely shocked by what Luo Chen just said, so he immediately stood up and said goodbye. Since that's the case, then our alliance will expire. Luo Chen said coldly upon seeing the situation, it's a pity. You missed a good opportunity. Mavis sneered to himself. Is it a good chance to die? Thinking of this, he turned around and looked at Mr. Luo Chen Luo. Since it was me who broke the contract, that's as compensation. Let me offer you some small help. One hour later. There will be someone related to Goryeo's horror game. Come see you. After speaking, he walked out of the room with a helpless expression on his face. Hope one day, we won't become enemies. Time has arrived at night. A gray-haired man walked into Luo Chen's room. Hello Mr. Luo. I will continue Gao Li Wu's the final say. Luo Chen said coldly with a dull expression on his face. Speak directly if you have something to say. The man immediately explained his purpose of coming. Please ask Mr. Luo to participate in the horror game. Protect me, wrong family, and be comprehensive. After hearing this, Luo Chen sternly reminded him with a serious expression on his face. Didn't that woman tell you what I said? Rong Zaishu immediately expressed that. It's precisely because Mr. Luo doesn't intend to submit to the game. I just came to visit now. His words successfully aroused Luo Chen's curiosity. Oh, if it's a bit interesting, just sit down and talk about it. So Rong Zaishu walked up to the sofa and explained. This time, a horror game featuring Goryeo is set up. It's to make all players compete for the crystal skull that can open the Stargate. As he spoke, he extended his finger to activate the ability. I believe Mr. Luo has already noticed. The energy on me is neither internal strength. It's not spiritual power either. This energy is something called a superpower. It's precisely because I am a level 6 artist. That's why we can summon wind and rain in Goryeo the so-called artists, 
After the human body develops its potential, a person with a special ability, there are a total of nine levels. First level weakest, level nine strongest. The strength of a level three artist is equivalent to that of a great master of Hua Bang, and above level five is the level of Tongshan. But my power comes from a sacred well of the Rong family, not obtained by oneself. However, the target of this game is a crystal skull. It will descend into the holy well of my family. Hear this. Luo Chen has already understood his purpose. Are you worried that the player is trying to steal the crystal skull and destroy that holy well, right? Upon hearing this, Rong Zaishu replied, Indeed, that's true. It is said that at least 8 level 8 artists participated in this game. To show sincerity, I have specially prepared this for Mr. Luo. After speaking, I will take one. The golden fruit was handed over. This object is a foreign object that is one of the sources of artists' abilities. Completing specific tasks in horror games can earn you. But the one I gave you is not from a horror game, but rather the magnificent scenery of our own family. Luochen looked curiously at the fruit in his hand. This thing looks somewhat similar to a divine tomb, but the energy fluctuates from high to low. Extremely unstable. This horror game can create this kind of thing. It's really surprising. After thinking for a while, Luo Chen, he readily agreed to his request. Okay, I'll take on this matter. Upon hearing this, Rong immediately clasped his fists and thanked him. Thank you very much, Mr. Luo. Thank you very much. I will never forget it. Two days after the time arrived, Luo Chen slowly walked out of the airport. I saw someone waiting at the exit to greet me. At this moment, the phone's ringtone suddenly rings. The caller is armed. Not good for Su Lingchu anymore. Mr. Luo has an accident. Did you kill Su Jingtian of Kulun Sword Technique? Now the practitioners of the whole Qingqing Mountain. Everyone is looking for you everywhere for revenge. It is said that they also sent their own sex representatives. On the first day, clear the busy schedule. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen's faint answer told them. Just come to Goryeo Prefecture and find me. I haven't waited for Su Lingchu to finish speaking yet. He hung up on the phone. Su Lingchu saw the situation, can only sigh helplessly. Mr. Luo has a really big heart. Screen rotation, arrived in the secret realm. The people around were all discussing with surprised expressions on their faces. Is this another entry into a horror game? Luo Chen looked at the noisy situation in front of him, can't help but sigh inwardly. There are quite a few people participating in the game this time. At this moment, an old man wearing a black robe, appearing in front of everyone. Welcome everyone to participate in this battle for meritorious service. Only here can one obtain 10,000 merit points. Only qualified to participate in the experiment of searching for crystal skeletons. Currently, everyone has a system that distributes 10 points of merit. However, accumulation can be achieved through transactions or snatching. The deadline is 12 hours. Everyone was immediately shocked. What are you joking about internationally? Defeating 1,000 people can earn 10,000 points. Can we just give up directly? The black-robed man immediately explained that. Even if eliminated, this battle will not be erased. If you want to give up, just trade all the merits to others. As for the snatch, I think everyone should be very clear in their hearts. After speaking, the black-robed man slowly disappeared into place. Everyone immediately cheered and jumped with joy upon hearing this. Unexpectedly. How could this horror game still have such a friendly gameplay? But Luo Chen's face remained unchanged as he muttered to himself. Even here, all of them add up to only 3000 points. There should be a more advanced trial area available. Thinking of this, he crouched down and began to investigate. At this moment, a scream suddenly came from afar. Within the secret territory, a tall and powerful man is pinching a man. It's really exciting to shout about this game. It's a perfect killing paradise. After speaking, he slammed the person to the ground with a loud bang. Then he laughed proudly as he looked up to the sky. I don't want any merit. Today, I will definitely kill to the heart's content. Everyone witnessed the situation. They all fled in chaos. Surprisingly a fourth level artist. How could there be such advanced players in the novice village? The strong man saw the newbies fleeing everywhere. He immediately chased after him. Want to run? No one in this world can escape my grasp yet. Unexpectedly, a mysterious young man, standing among the crowd with an unchanged expression. Through exploration, it can be seen that, there is a city with about 10,000 people located 100 kilometers away. Then he cast a dull glance at the crowd. The guys here have so few merits, 
They're really pitiful. Let's go there and take a look. Thinking of this, he set off for that city. I saw the strong man behind me. After seeing his reaction, I was slightly taken aback. So he immediately roared at the young man, the little miscellaneous. How dare you ignore me? After speaking, he clenched his fist and fiercely threw it at the young man, seeking death. Unexpectedly, the young man spoke with a gloomy and cold expression about the stove. Just finished speaking. Just hear a bang. The strong man instantly exploded and died. Everyone was immediately shocked upon seeing the situation. What is it now? A woman with long hair slowly walked towards the crowd. I saw a faint smile on the corner of her mouth. With just a slight pressure, you can instantly kill a level 4 artist. What an interesting guy he is. Screen rotation. Arriving at that city. At this moment, Luo Chen has arrived at the entrance of the city gate. After the bodyguard at the door saw him, showing a face full of disdain. So he immediately reached out and stopped Luo Chen. Merit points are less than 100. No entry allowed. Upon seeing this, Luo Chen coldly asked how many points you had. The man next to him immediately replied, I'm 205. What are the issues? After hearing this, Luo Chen calmly said, Did I lower you down? I can go in now. After hearing this, the man immediately shouted at him with anger and recklessness. Even a novice dares to challenge Jin Feng City. Our lord is a level 5 artist. At this moment, suddenly, a voice came from behind, guarding someone. It was the long-haired woman who appeared in the novice village. 100 merits, I'll help him out. Can you put us inside now? After two bodyguards saw the woman. Immediately, Luo Chen was released and walked into the small forest in the city. Luo Chen was curious and asked why he wanted to help me. We don't seem to know each other, do we? Unexpectedly, the woman chuckled at him. Aren't we already acquainted? Please state the key points. Female witness. Immediately introduce myself. My name is Chiba Huizi. He is a level 3 artist. After seeing your skills in the novice village, I just want to hug your thigh. Luo Chen looked curiously at the woman in front of him. Maybe you too. To compete for the crystal skull. After hearing this, the woman quickly explained that you were too worried. I just want some merit points. After all, this merit value is not just an assessment standard. Still the only benefit of this horror game. It can be used to exchange for bloodline power. And jobs tears fruit. At this moment. A group of people suddenly emerged from within the city. He ran out in a panic. I saw only one of the men. Accidentally stepped on a stone block. Then he fell to the ground with a loud bang. Female witness. Hurry up and help the man up. Are you okay? What happened? The man explained with a frightened expression. You must not enter the city. There is a cultivator from the painting gang fighting around the city. Eight level four artists working together are not his opponents. The man's words successfully aroused Luo Chen's curiosity. Painting gang practitioner. After thinking for a while, the man. He immediately replied, it seems like his name is Ching Meng. After hearing this, Luo Chen was slightly taken aback. Ching Meng actually found it. Thinking of this, he resolutely walked towards the city. Let's go, let's speed into the city. At this moment, the Lord's Mansion is blazing with flames. Just hear a bang. A figure smashed onto the stone wall. After the smoke dissipates. Only then did I realize that. A red-haired man is holding his chest in pain on his face. A soldier saw this and quickly approached to inquire with the Lord of the city. Are you okay? At this moment, the green light above the sky. He was laughing with a proud expression on his face. The impressive Lord of Gingfeng City is so resistant to being beaten up. Goryo alone is nothing more than that. The soldier gritted his teeth in anger after hearing this. And a man immediately roared and acted recklessly at him. The practitioners of the Simida Huabang Dharma are so arrogant. Let's go together. If there's no signal, he won't die. How to expect it? A masked man immediately stepped forward to stop him from acting impulsively. This person is from Qingqing Mountain, which is known as the School of Warcraft. The dragon spirit by he cultivates even without spiritual energy. It can also exert extremely terrifying power. I saw Qing Mong extending his palm. With a disdainful expression on his face, he sneered and said, I didn't expect it. You Goryeo alone are so garbage. I'm curious about how much merit this Shakwin city lord can have. Just finished speaking. Suddenly, a sneer came from behind. He he, you can guess. After hearing this, Ching Meng turned back suddenly with a frightened expression on his face. What? An old man in the sky is reprimanding a man, who specifically said that Goryeo is all trash. Is it you? 
The man was immediately shocked upon hearing this. Everyone saw the situation and shouted loudly. It's great, the gods of Jean Foam City are difficult to deal with. The master has arrived. That kid is doomed. At this moment, Luo Chen brought Chi Bahuizi to the scene of the Lord's Mansion. After he saw the condition of the sky, slightly stunned, this force, the man with white hair was frightened and quickly fled in panic. There's actually an 8th level artist in this damn city. It's embarrassing now. Unexpectedly, the old man calmly lifted one hand. Since I have already sensed my strength. If you don't behave well, you'll be captured with your hands tied up. Say it now. Countless black threads burst towards the man with a roar. Then the black silk instantly wrapped around the man's arm. The old man holds black silk in his hand. With a smug reminder on your face, the more you struggle, the more painful it will be. I saw black silk quickly tying around the man's body. No matter how hard he tries, it won't help. So he pleaded with pain on his face, senior, to spare his life. I know I was wrong. Just finished speaking. The old man flashed in front of the man in an instant. Then he lifted his knees and legs, kicking the man fiercely into the sky. Just hear a loud bang. The man fell heavily to the ground. The old man then slowly landed on one foot on the ground. Qingcheng Mountain Dharma practitioners have such backbone. I saw Ching Mong trembling all over with fear, tears streaming down my face. The old man saw the situation. With a disdainful sneer on his face, he said as long as you kneel down obediently, hand over all the merits, and acknowledge that all Huabang spells were stolen from Goryeo. Practitioners are all garbage. I will reluctantly spare you. Upon hearing this, Ching Mong immediately kowtowed and apologized. You're right. My drawing spells are all garbage. I hope Senior can spare my life. The old man immediately burst out laughing with pride on his face. He's such a good dog. You can go now. Everyone saw this situation, suddenly cheering and jumping with joy. Undoubtedly, she is the godly detective mother of Goryeo, first time masked man. He even put on a proud and forgetful appearance. Do you dare to come to my Goryeo and act wild, even if you help me with garbage? It's simply beyond our control. At this moment, with one hit, the punch quickly approached his face. Then, with a loud bang, the masked man instantly fell to the ground, so he immediately covered his swollen face. Get up and roar, who's really hitting me? I saw Luochen scolding him with a domineering expression on his face. Even a mere ant dares to desecrate our Huabang magic. The old man beside sneered and said, Are you trying to stand out for those broken dogs, kid? Upon hearing this, Luochen showed a murderous expression on his face. Wrong, I need to draw a spellproof for me. Shiba Huizi seized the situation. Immediately, with a panicked expression on his face, he stepped forward to remind him. Mr. Luo, the other party is an 8th level artist. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen said with a firm and cold expression on his face. It's okay if he does this. It's precisely to attract the attention of horror games. That level 8 artist is just qualified just now. The old man slowly walked towards Luo Chen. Which Huabang sect are you from, kid? Luo Chen immediately replied. I have formed my own sect. The old man's face was full of ridicule upon hearing this. It looks like it's a loose repair. Even the prestigious and upright faction of Huabang is not a match for me. Even casual cultivators dare to be so arrogant. Luo Chen waved his hand playfully with a playful expression on his face. How about we give it a try? The old man immediately waved his arm in anger when he saw the situation. Immediately, countless black threads shot out from behind. Die for me. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen fearlessly closed his eyes tightly. Suddenly, he let out a loud shout of determination. Just finished speaking. All the black threads in front of him instantly stopped in mid-air. The old man's expression upon seeing the situation. How could this be a big change? How could a mere fixed spell have such power? Even the old man's body cannot move. I saw Luo Chen with his hands crossed in his pockets. Slowly walked up to the old man. Listen carefully to me. I hua bang magic. One thought moves the world. True words spread far and wide. How can we tolerate ants to desecrate us? After speaking, he quickly extended his palm. Just listen to his one sound. Just gave him a big slap in the face. The old man immediately fell heavily to the ground. Luo Chen continued to warn, please remember, the guy you defeated is an unknown person. The power of Hua Bang. How can you imagine such ants? The old man immediately covered his swollen face and begged for mercy. It's because the villain realized their mistake. Please spare your life, Danang. After hearing this, Luo Chen snorted coldly, knowing that he was wrong. Just hand over all the merits. Give it less. 
Let you fly to ashes. I saw the old man struggling to stand up from the ground. Immediately pass through the mind. Transferred 400,000 merits to Luo Chen. At this moment, his heart was filled with hatred. It's like deceiving people too much. A gentleman seeks revenge. Ten years is not too late. In the future, I will make you pay back a hundred times more. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen suddenly pointed to the crowd. Shouting loudly, can't you understand human language? What I'm talking about is everyone in the city. The young man in the secret realm, roaring at the entire city. Give me all your merits. Everyone was immediately shocked. This kid is so arrogant. This city has tens of thousands of billions of people. The woman next to her saw the situation. Hurry up to stop it. Mr. Luo, even if your magic is so gluttonous, it is difficult to be enemies with powerful officials just by one person. After hearing this, Luo Chen sneered and said, So what? Even if we are enemies with the world, I am also fearless. After speaking, he shouted to everyone in the crowd again. Immediately surrender one's merits. Otherwise, there will be no mercy for killing. His words completely angered all the artists in the city. Let's go up together. With so many of us, he won't die without a signal. Do we really consider ourselves Korean artists to be vegetarians? And behind him, the old man had a sinister smile on the corner of his mouth. This kid is doomed. Even if level 9 aliens come, they dare not speak recklessly. Slaughtering to Jinfeng City is happening at this moment. A golden crack suddenly appeared in the sky. Immediately burst out countless golden lightning bolts. After a thunderous lightning strike, the ground exploded instantly. Immediately after, a huge long sword accompanied by lightning, slowly descending from the sky. I saw fallen dust holding one hand high above his head. The sword's words have just finished. The golden giant sword fiercely plunged downwards towards the ground. Chiba Huizi was stunned when she saw this. Everyone, hurry up. This is not right. The old man was even more frightened and retreated one after another. Is this kid cheating? Just hear a loud roar. The golden giant sword plunged fiercely into the ground. Immediately, a destructive force rapidly spreads to all sides. After the smoke dissipates, unexpectedly discovered that the entire city was instantly flattened. The once bustling Jinfeng city. In the blink of an eye, it turned into three people. The old man saw the situation. Soft legs, kneeling to the ground. The stunned woman exclaimed with a frightened expression on her face, slaughter the city with one sword. How could this be possible? After Luo Chen checked his achievements, but he sighed with dissatisfaction on his face. Why is it only 1.1 million? It doesn't seem like there are many, right? The old man immediately trembled and suggested, I have been working hard in Goryeo for 20 years, only managed to gather 400,000 yuan. You're just one day away. Luo Chen interrupted his words with a disdainful expression on his face. A mere 10,000 people, still in use for 20 years. The old man was immediately speechless upon hearing this. Who exactly is Mr. Luo? How could there be such courage? Luo Chen saw the situation, staring at him with a serious expression on his face. The old man with a frightened expression reminded him with some opinions. Anyone who participates in the battle for merit, all of them are seedlings screened by the game. If slaughtered indiscriminately, they will definitely intervene. Besides, the Artists' Association will also come knocking on their doors. After hearing this, Luo Chen looked curious. Artists' Association. The old man immediately explained that it was from Quan, composed of ball artists, used to balance the relationship between artists and ordinary people, the organization and the leader of this association. It's the famous artist king. His words made the woman suddenly show a look of fear. But Luo Chen said indifferently without any concern. Is it very impressive? The old man immediately replied, of course. Rumor has it that he has broken through the barrier of episode 9. But no one knows how strong it really is. No one even knows whether it's a man or a woman. This massacre will definitely catch his attention. At this moment, a killing intent surged in the woman's heart. So she slowly lifted her one hand. Quietly activate abilities. I saw countless sharp swords converging in mid-air in an instant. Then she waved her arm. The sharp sword thrust fiercely towards Luo Chen with a swoosh. The old man exclaimed with a frightened expression at the sight, level 8 wild. Be careful what happened. All the sharp swords were suppressed by a powerful force, instantly shattering. The woman froze at the sight of the situation. I saw Luo Chen turn around with a fierce expression of killing intent on his face. The woman immediately felt it. The throat was tightly gripped by a force. Then Luo Chen reached out with one hand. 
he was lifted up halfway through the air. The woman exclaimed in disbelief, how could this be? You slaughtered the entire city. How could there still be extra strength? Luo Chen saw the situation. With a serious reminder on his face, he gave you three words. Say that cleaning is done by. Otherwise, it will make you smoke and ashes. After hearing this, the woman immediately loudly begged and begged for help. Don't kill me. I am willing to hand over the hidden treasure that one person has lost. His words successfully aroused Luo Chen's curiosity. So he released his hand and let the woman down. The woman immediately collapsed on the ground, breathed a sigh of relief. Thank you very much for sparing your life. At this moment, Luo Chen slowly walked towards him. There is only one chance. You need to think carefully about it. I saw the woman trembling all over. Hesitated for a moment. After thinking for a moment, he immediately took out a golden key. You must be interested in this thing. A woman in the secret realm is facing forward. A young man handed over a golden key. You must be interested in him. The old man looked shocked upon seeing this. Surprisingly, it is a shame of the secret realm. The woman immediately introduced herself. This is exactly what the one man king brought out from the second secret realm. The key to unlock the first secret realm of Bay Ao Immortal Palace. Luochen looked at the old man's reaction with a curious expression on his face. The old man from Bao Xiangong immediately explained to him, that's the most difficult secret realm in horror games. Just a clearance reward. It has caused countless heroes to fall here. But the only key was taken by the alien king, and sealed until now. Therefore, the horror game placed the second ranked bounty mission. Change to assassinate the alien king. Hear this, Luochen couldn't help but sigh in his heart. Dare to confront horror games and receive a bounty for assassination. Still alive to this day. This alien king does have some skills. Thinking of this, he immediately inquired about it. How could this key be in your hand? The woman had no intention of continuing to conceal anything after seeing this situation. He transformed directly into an old lady. Actually, my true identity is the maid of the alien king. I found it in his dormitory while he wasn't paying attention. After hearing this, the old man reminded with a frightened expression on his face. You're really brave enough. Are you not afraid of being chased by him? The woman suddenly showed a frightened expression on her face. Of course I'm afraid. That's why I'm hiding under my name. Goryo Ruachin saw this and slowly walked towards him. Are you afraid that I will implicate you in the slaughter of the city for the rest of my life? The woman's hesitant explanation. Indeed, that's true. But besides that, I want your merits even more. This way, it can be exchanged for horror games. The strongest consumable treasure. The old man suddenly realized after listening. Is it possible to make a first class artist? In a short period of time, achieve a battle comparable to the power of artist Wang. Speaking of which, the woman immediately begged me desperately just to survive. I was forced to do this out of helplessness. I hope Mr. Luo can give me a way out. At this moment, a black thread suddenly penetrated the woman's chest. I saw the old man lifting his hand to activate his skill. The woman spat out the red bean milk tea that was about to be served overnight. Why are you talking? Because Luo Ji heard a sound. The woman died instantly due to physical abuse. Luo Chen stared at the old man with a puzzled expression on his face. The old man immediately knelt down to the ground, explained that this person just exposed his aura. Therefore, the alien king must be able to detect. This will definitely bring you danger. The southern Zen took the initiative to erase it. I hope God Luo can forgive me. Luo Chen said with a serious and cold expression on his face. It seems like I know the key is on me. Not just him, right? Upon hearing this, Nanshan immediately cowed out and begged for mercy. I will definitely keep my mouth shut. Nan Shanding vows to die and be loyal to the god of Luo. Luo Chen didn't argue with him even when he saw the situation. Notify Gao Li Rong to speed up and meet me. Screen rotation. Arriving at the Rong family. At this moment, Rong continued to walk behind Luo Chen. Congratulations, Mr. Luo. This battle alone earned a million merits. He is truly invincible in his divine bravery. After hearing this, Luo Chen did not turn back. How is the situation? Rong Zaishu immediately explained that the current situation is not too good. The next trial will have over 100 top experts. Luo Chen gave him a stern glance without changing his expression. Have you all arrived in Fuzhou? Rong sighed after listening again, but that's not the case. Most people are lurking outside the city, waiting for the opportunity. I believe everyone wants to reap the benefits of fishing. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen walked away with an ignoring expression on his face. 
No harm, even if it's against the world. I am also determined to win. After speaking, Luo Chen walked out of the room. Then he went to the next room. Has the item been brought back? Upon seeing the Southern Zen, immediately pull out a strange fruit. Redemption completed for the owner. Please take a look. As he spoke, he handed over the exotic fruit. Luo Chen looked curiously at the fruit in his hand. Do you really have the power to rival the alien king? Then he placed it in midair and activate the mind to drive the exotic fruit. After a while, he rubbed his chin and muttered to himself, Why can't I use my mind to drive this thing? Blue Zen immediately stepped forward to explain, to the master's words, this treasure. Although it can quickly enhance the body's abilities in a short period of time, but the premise is that the user must have a special ability in their body to do so. After listening, Ruachin seems to understand the reason behind it. That is to say, I have to become an artist first. Lan Chan immediately replied that this should be the case, but as a profound practitioner like you, becoming an artist is not that easy either. At least one ordinary alien bone needs to be prepared. Hear this, Luo Chen immediately pulled out the previous one, the fruit that Rong Zai continued to send. Is this okay? Lan Chan was shocked when he saw it. Surprisingly, it is a high-level foreign country. At this moment, he suddenly felt a sense of fear in his heart. A foreign country at this level. I'm afraid I can't even get credit for it. Luoshin really has a great background. Thinking of this, he pretended to be calm and let out a dry cough. Report to the owner. Just having one strand is not enough. Unexpectedly, Luo Cheng didn't even think about it. Just put a strand directly into my mouth. The blue cicada was instantly shaken off upon seeing this. Something went wrong with the young man in front of me. I was originally the first generation immortal in the cultivation world. I am planning to become an artist now. He swallowed the exotic fruit in his hand without even thinking about it. Lan Chan showed a frightened expression upon seeing this. If something goes wrong, the cultivator will directly devour the exotic fruit. Will generate strong hedging within the body. If there is no specialized magical tool to protect the body, he will die on the spot. I saw Luo Chen suddenly feel his heart beating like thunder. His gaze condensed. A touch of golden light flashed away in a flash. It's like a raging fire instantly ignites inside the body. Originally, the imperial gold inside him, attempting to suppress all the spiritual power he cultivates, and it's constantly driving away the fire. To this day, the destruction of foreign lands. At this moment, his body is completely out of control. If we want to continue, a wave of energy will completely dissipate. This is the end of the matter. Luo Chen had to make up his mind to take a gamble. Nan Chan's reaction as he watched Luo Chen. I couldn't help but sigh inwardly as a high-level practitioner. The greater the danger of devouring a single strand, if not immediately interrupted, the master is bound to die without a complete body. The only way at the moment is to cut off the meridians, barrier spiritual power. Thinking of this, he immediately activated his powers. No wonder Southern Zen is impolite. After speaking, he waved his arm. Immediately, countless black threads rushed towards Luo Chen. Unexpectedly, a protective weapon appeared around Luo Chen in an instant. With a loud bang, it blocked Nan Chan's skills. Upon seeing the Southern Zen, suddenly, his expression changed greatly. What? Then he immediately asked the owner. Are you okay? Luo Chen breathed a sigh of relief. A light answer is okay. Fortunately, he timely sealed off the power of too much gold, to avoid the risk of being destroyed together with the ancient world. But I haven't figured out why it repels the ancient world. Unable to activate Tai Huang Jing again. Fortunately, he has successfully become an artist at this moment. Screen rotation. Arrived in the suburbs. I saw a man standing at the top of the mountain. After trying hard to sniff the scent in the air, he immediately report to Lord Bolev. It's time we set off. Although there are over 200 people gathered below. But there are only 5 8th level artists. The rest are mostly people who eat melons. A man wearing a black cloak while speaking, walked towards him. Don't worry, there is still some time before the crystal skull is born. Besides, the more powerful guy hasn't appeared yet. At this moment, a woman's voice came from behind. Are you talking about me? I saw a woman wearing a purple long dress, coming out of a black aura. The man with glasses was momentarily stunned when he saw this. Is this power a blood race? So he immediately extended his palm and stopped the woman in front of her. Lord Tolev, young, what do you expect from your heart? Tolev remained calm and said, don't get excited. He is not an enemy. 
The grudges between our wolf tribe and blood tribe have nothing to do with him. After listening to it, the woman. I didn't expect Mr. Tolev to be so calm, sneered. Bolev walked slowly towards him. I can see you here. It's really surprising. With your personality. How are you interested in this kind of heartbreak? A faint smile appeared at the corner of the woman's mouth. I'm just here to seek revenge. There's a guy who doesn't know how to live or die. Kill my blood servant Goulard. He's hiding in the house below now. After Tolev listened, immediately expressed that I wish you to get rid of that person. Then you help me get the crystal skull. How can a woman think about it and then? With a smug laugh on his face, it's so great. Tolev immediately asked who that guy was when he saw the situation. The woman replied with a gloomy expression, if there is no limit to it, time has arrived at night. At this moment, a terrifying aura was emanating from the ancient well, people participating in the game. They also arrived at the trial site one by one. Inside Rongjia's house, Rong continued to walk behind Luo Chen and reminded Mr. Daluo, please accept this item. In case of unexpected needs, Luo Chen looked curiously at the item in his hand. This is Rong Zaisu. Immediately introduce the Rongjia scenic area. The teleportation array I set up earlier is hidden inside. You just need to inject the power into this pottery flute. You can cross the protective barrier and directly enter the scenic area. After Luo Chen took the pottery flute, silent with a puzzled expression on his face, Rome quickly clenched his fists and explained when he continued to see the situation. As long as the goal can be achieved, why bother with the means? The blood-stained mouth of Rome's house. The ancient well is crowded with people coming to try it out. Suddenly, a black whirlwind comes howling and howling. Take a closer look. The person who came was Tolev and the woman from the blood tribe. Everyone suddenly looked frightened. Level 8 peak at a glance. Surprisingly, it is Tolev, the son of the wolf king. A black-haired male company. Busy pulling his companions away from here. Hurry up, let's go. If we start fighting later, no one can run away. At this moment, a white-haired man is sitting. Black clouds flew into the sky. I knew Tolev's crazy dog would definitely come. But who is that woman next to him? However, the black-robed man behind him did not pay any attention. Big Beard looked puzzled upon seeing this. Heavenly ghost. You old kid, why didn't you say a word today? This doesn't seem like your style. I saw Luochen holding a pottery flute and arriving at the trial site. The black-haired man was slightly stunned when he saw him. How is it that one person, one person? So he immediately stopped him and never went over. War is about to begin. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen continued to walk inside without saying a word. This caused extreme dissatisfaction among his companions. Are you really deaf? Even level 7 artists have already left the stage. Not to mention you, a first class artist. It's simply beyond our control. The black haired man quickly approached and comforted, saying, Forget it, he's willing to go his own way. Let him go. At this moment, an old man walked towards the two of them. You are the ones who overestimate your abilities. After listening to it, the man immediately scold him, you old immortal. What are you saying? Before the words fall, the old man quickly drew his sword. With a swoosh, it was cut in half horizontally. Then he withdrew his long sword. Speaking indifferently, although I am indeed of advanced age, but I can't tolerate second class being so rude. The black-haired man saw this situation, scared to the point of not making any further noises. The old man slowly walked behind Luo Chen. As a strong person. But we have to tolerate these ants provoking us. It may damage the reputation of our practitioners in Huabang. I'm right, right. The words of the old man Luo Wuji. Immediately caught the attention of Tolev and his companions. The two of them immediately stared at Luo Chen with murderous intent on their faces. I saw a slight smile from the corner of Luo Chen's mouth. Oh, is it someone who has achieved great success in Kulun? The old man sneered with a disdainful expression on his face. I didn't expect you to be so calm, kid. It is already known that old master Xiao. If you're not obedient, kowtow and apologize. At this moment, Tolev quietly arrived behind Luo Chen. Luo Wuji, did you kill Gulard, the blood servant of the count? But you don't look very good either, do you? After listening, Luo Chen muttered thoughtfully. Gulard seems to have indeed stepped on and killed such a bug. Perev immediately roared at him with open teeth and claws. How could you be so arrogant, kid? I want to see what you really have. At this moment, Rong Zaishio suddenly shouted at Luo Chen, Mr. Luo. The crystal skull is about to descend. Use that pottery flute quickly. The big beard in the sky suddenly froze. Tao Di, 
he just realized now, Luo Chen is holding a mysterious item in his hand. After thinking for a moment, he suddenly realized, there is actually a teleportation array on that device. The location of the link is exactly where the crystal skull descended. Just finished speaking, the heavenly ghost flashed in front of Luo Chen in an instant. Luo Chen, right, handing over the pottery flute. I can guarantee that you are safe and sound. Tolev immediately reprimanded him. What do you mean, heavenly ghost? Do you want to go against me? The heavenly ghost answered calmly. So what? It seems like you've never defeated me before, have you? At this moment, Big Beard in the sky quickly stood up. If Wuji and our alliance, that's your only way of survival. The old man saw this situation. With a displeased expression, he cursed to himself. What a bunch of despicable people. I saw Luo Chen slowly lifting his arm. Could it be that you want this? Big Beard excitedly extended his palm. That's right, hand over the pottery flute. I guarantee you won't die. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen snorted coldly with an ignoring expression on his face. Immediately, he pinched the pottery flute in his hand into pieces. Rong continues to see collision. Suddenly, Flax froze. Mr. Luo, this is an opportunity to seize the crystal skull. Luo Chen extended his palm, throwing fragments onto the ground. If I have no limits, no need for prior action. Rong continued to listen with a frightened reminder on his face. But they are numerous and powerful. What did you expect, Luo Chen? But without any fear, he put his hands in his pockets. So what? Kill them all, that's it. Everyone was immediately shocked. What? The woman, with a wicked smile on her face, joked at Tolev and said, I didn't expect even you to be looked down upon. Holov snorted coldly with an unhappy expression on his face. It said that I'm crazy. He's even crazier than me. The old man's face was gloomy and silent. Before I retrieve the seven star dragon sword, he can't die yet. I believe he was just trying to disrupt the situation. This Luo Woji is really cunning. And Big Beard also guessed Luo Chen's purpose. It's to take advantage of the chaos and get out of it. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen suddenly burst out laughing from the sky. Big Beard looked curious upon seeing this. What are you laughing at? Luo Chen's face showed a playful expression. I'm laughing at you bunch of ants. Rather judge the situation through various boring speculations. I don't want to believe that Luo Wuji can kill all of you. Don't you believe me, Luo Wuji? I can kill all of you. After hearing this, everyone looked shocked. What? Palefu immediately shouted at him loudly, really crazy. I will definitely open this kid's mouth and pierce his belly today. The blood clan woman next to her had a mischievous smile on her face and joked. Why are you so rude? Only the blood of a living person is the sweetest. And the old man behind him saw this, suddenly becoming angry with embarrassment. If Wuji obediently hands over the seven star dragon sword, I will definitely give you a good time. The big beard in the sky was even more enraged and his veins were bulging with anger. You all get out of my way. This kid dares to defy the dignity of being alone in Bayo. Today, I betrothed and killed him by hand. How to expect it? But Luo Chen's face showed a playful expression. What's there to argue about? Let's go together. At this moment, Tiangui was the first to walk towards Luo Chen. Just because you don't have the qualifications to kill you yet, I'm enough alone. After speaking, he extended his palm, suddenly grabbing towards midair. Immediately, a black aura quickly spread around. Big beard visible, quickly and loudly stopped the heavenly ghost from actually competing with me. In the hands of the heavenly ghost, suddenly, a black spear appeared. The spear emits a terrifying aura of death all over its body. Big beard sees this situation. Suddenly, a face full of fear appeared on his face. Surprisingly, it's the airy spear. He's not a heavenly ghost. Tolev suddenly realized. This artifact is a level 9 artist. Black Phoenix. The Blood Clan woman exclaimed in disbelief. This is not his essence. The Black Phoenix is still trapped in the third secret realm at this moment. Rumors have it that the person who died under the Spear of Ares, his soul will be enslaved. This guy, it should be a soul warrior controlled by the Black Phoenix. At this moment, the black-robed man picked up his spear and pointed it at Luo Chen. Luo Wuji, you can deceive others, but he couldn't hide it from my eyes. You forcibly transformed into an artist. I have already consumed most of my cultivation. You are not worth mentioning now. Luo Chen smiled nonchalantly. It's enough to deal with you bunch of ants. After the black robe sounded unpleasant, I snorted coldly. You're so arrogant, kid. Then let you taste the power of my spear. Just finished speaking. 
He clenched his spear in both hands, swiped forward suddenly. Immediately, a black aura appeared in the air. Violent departure towards Luo Chen. Luo Chen saw the situation. A slight smile from the corner of my mouth gives you a chance to join forces. Unexpectedly not cherishing it properly. Then no wonder I am merciless. After speaking, he slowly lifted his arm. Place a strange silk in front of you. With a bang. The black aura was instantly condensed by a shield of abilities. Easy gear down. Immediately after, the shield rapidly expanded. Immediately dispelling the black aura completely. In the blink of an eye, sand and rocks suddenly flew around. Smoke filled the air. Even the ancient well was hit with a gap. At this point, Tolev was instantly knocked down to the ground by a powerful impact force. The black robed man, on the other hand, half knelt in place with scars and scars. I saw him holding onto the spear with both hands, gasping heavily for breath. After the smoke dissipates, Luo Chen slowly walked towards them. Oh, there's still someone who hasn't died yet. As a werewolf, Tolev would never believe it. I have already activated the body of the Wolf King. Even river leopards find it difficult to breathe a single breath. But even the move of falling dust is difficult to resist. The injury I just received. It has far exceeded its own recovery limit. Thinking of this, he struggled to stand up from the ground. I am the strongest genius of the wolf tribe for hundreds of years. How could one die in such humiliation? How to expect it? He suddenly spat out the overnight red bean milk tea. Then my body collapsed, kneeling to the ground with a thud. Following that, the whole body was heavily smashed onto the ground. Luochen looked at the dead Tolev. I couldn't help but sigh inwardly. All five organs and six internal organs have been shattered. Surprisingly, it can still be maintained until now. Werewolves are truly one of the most tenacious races. At this moment, the black-robed man trembled all over and let out a dry cough. It's all my fault. If we work together, it's definitely not like this ending. After hearing this, Luochen sneered and said, It's a bit late to say these things now, isn't it? The black-robed man immediately replied, For those dead guys, perhaps so. But for me, it's just the beginning. As he spoke, his body suddenly turned into powder, starting to slowly dissipate. Please help me put away this Ares robe. I will use it to wrap your soul sooner or later. Screen rotation. At the moment when the crystal skull descended, Luo Chen saw the situation, slowly walking towards the damaged ancient well, reached out his palm and lifted it into midair. Then the crystal skeleton quickly flew into his palm. At this moment, suddenly, a voice came from behind. Congratulations to Mr. Luo for fulfilling his wishes. I saw Ron clasping his fists and thanking Su Zheng. Thanks to your divine bravery. Only then did I preserve the splendor of my Rong family. Thank you very much. But you killed Tolev and others. I'm afraid it will cause you a lot of trouble. Besides, the essence of the Black Phoenix is also. He must have known if he didn't show up. This crystal skull has fallen into your bag. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen interrupted his words with a serious expression on his face. So what? I am fearless, but then I'll come back to it. Who said I have now obtained the crystal skull? Luo Chen is holding a crystal skull. With a serious and cold expression on his face, he said. Who said I have already obtained the crystal skull? Rome continues to see the situation. I was momentarily stunned. Mr. Luo, isn't this crystal skull in your hands? Just finished speaking. Luo Chen crushed the crystal skeleton in his hand with one hand. Rong, if you continue to be your true master, is that easy to deceive? Rong continues to see the situation. Quickly explained that Mr. Luo, even if you lend me 1000 courage, I dare not lie to you either. Unexpectedly, Luo Cheng's face showed a playful expression. You're not lying to me, but rather deceiving everyone to tell me, right? Crystal Skull. Upon hearing this, Rong Zaishio looked frightened. Then a faint smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, Mr. Luo. This joke is a bit too much. At this moment, Luo Chen slowly tapped Jen Huazi. It has to be said that, even Oscar owes you a little golden man. When you first came to find me, I just feel a bit strange. If you're just protecting the Bible, you can completely surrender the crystal skeleton voluntarily. They won't release this mission either, and you don't need to seek my help either. Unless you can't get the crystal skull or they cannot be handed over. From your series of operations, clearly, this is the second scenario. But why would you be willing to let it fall into my hands? Rong Zaishio quickly defended Mr. Luo with a panicked expression on his face. You misunderstood. With my abilities, how could I possibly get it? Luo Chen throws away Huazi. 
Then he sneered with his ability to play horror games. How could you not be sure if you have the ability to get him? How about it? Let me explain the whole story of this matter. In order to obtain the Star Trek tour, the play has been searching for it all along. A crystal skull that can open the Stargate. Although you have hidden it well, but it still exposed its whereabouts. The horror game is based on your approximate location. Published a bounty mission. You didn't choose to run away when facing a crisis, but rather, he played a trick and staged a golden cicada shedding its shell. So he fabricated a lie and pulled me into the game, to prevent crystal skeletons from falling into the hands of horror games. From then on, I also became a scapegoat. Yes and no. Rome did not intend to continue concealing after listening again, immediately burst out laughing with a proud expression on his face. That's right. It seems like I underestimated you. Lousy is the last generation of one of the 13 crystal skeletons. This is the end of the matter. Everyone knows now. The crystal skull is in your hands. You must be humble about this black pot. Besides, you actually killed so many experts. Luo Wuji, you are doomed. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen approached him with a stubborn expression on his face. Don't you feel curious? I already know the story behind it. Why do you still have to do this? Let me tell you this. Whether it's various experts or horror games. I, Luo Wuji, didn't even pay attention to it. Rong Zaishio sneered with a disdainful expression on his face. I didn't expect you to be so arrogant. The power of horror games cannot be imagined. He doesn't control anyone or any force at all, but rather the entire human race. Yuan Tiangong's 2A Bay diagram is not a prophecy either, but rather a plan for horror games to control human history. After hearing this, Luo Chen remained silent and remained expressionless. Rome laughed heartily as he saw the situation in the preface. Horror games existed long before they became famous today. At that time, the earth was not even called this name. Luo Chen interrupted his words with a gloomy expression on his face. Is it called Zhangxian Star? Rong's expression suddenly changed during Su's continuation. Who the hell are you? Why do you also know this name? Actually, when Luo Chen first heard about it, he was also very surprised. Zhangxian Star is the term used by the immortal realm to refer to Earth. Presumably before a certain point in time. A major event has occurred on Earth. Only then did it make the famous Tibetan immortal star. It has become the same as it is now. At this moment, Long Zaishio suddenly waved his hand to Luo Chen. Keep talking. Netizens must be cursing us. There's so much nonsense. It's time to say goodbye. No, it should be a farewell. Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. Do you feel like you can run away? I saw Rong waving his swift arm in the formation. Immediately, a teleportation array appeared on the soles of the feet. I'm telling you so much nonsense. Just to cast spells. Take a good look. How did I escape from your sight? Luo Chen sneered and said. You're not afraid of the strong wind. Your tongue flickers. Upon hearing this, Rong Zaishio immediately pointed at Luo Chen and mocked him. I can't even catch a horror game. Besides, you're just a human being. Just finished speaking. Luo Chen squeezed his neck tightly. Then he lifted it up in mid-air with one hand. Rong Zaishou exclaimed in disbelief. How could this be possible? Even if the prospective king comes, I can't interrupt my transmission either. Luo Chen gave a mischievous smile on his face. Although earth spells do have nothing to do with you. But for me, it's not worth mentioning. Upon hearing this, Rong Zaishou suddenly realized. You are actually related to that world, but you. Don't be too proud too early. Soon you will touch that. If we can't break through him, don't try to compete with horror games. Before the words fall, with a sudden force from the palm of his hand. Just hear a bang. The dragon continued to explode in an instant and died. And then a real crystal skull, appearing in the palm of his hand. Interrogation room. A man is being tied to a pillar. Continuously screaming in agony. The man in green next to him questioned him, except for those level 9 artists, outside the breath of the eastern cultivators. Do you have any other clues? If you don't want to die, play it as soon as possible. The man with glasses explained innocently. It's really nothing. At that time, Lord Tolab insisted on keeping me in place. When I arrive at Gujing, I only saw his body. All I know is this. Please spare me, Lord Wolf King. Men see this immediately pinching his neck and reprimanding him. Failure to protect Lord Tolev is a capital offense. Not even useful information can be found. How could you have the face to plead with Lord Wolf King? At this moment, a person slowly walked towards them. You two brothers, don't perform the bitter meat trick here anymore. 
Men see this, slightly stunned. Lord Wolf King, I saw the Wolf King command with a gloomy expression on his face. Time to find the culprit. Otherwise, both of you will have to die. Within Jingji City. At this moment, Qing Meng is sitting in the office inquiring, How are things going? Xiaopang nervously replied, Report back online. According to the informant's report, Lu Wuji has arrived at the Goryeo mansion. After hearing this, Qing Meng. Suddenly, there was a burst of excitement in the Goryeo mansion. Xiaopang quickly explained that it was correct. If you want to go, we can arrange it now. When Qing Meng thinks of the southern Zen, in an instant, there was a chill in the spine. So he rejected his suggestion without hesitation. We don't need to find a way to force him back. If he had no ability, he would have the ability to kill Su Jing Tian. What the hell are you going to compete for, the Heavenly Dragon King? I'm sure he's also a greedy person. A vain ordinary person. Think of a solution from this point. After hearing this, Xiao Pang smiled mischievously and came up with a bad idea. Shang Xian Gao Ming. But if we only use public opinion, it may not be enough. I heard that Luo Wuji has a named disciple in Tangzhou, and his parents also moved back from Jiangi. To hit a snake, you need to hit seven inches. Screen rotation. Coming to Goryeo. I saw a crystal skull hanging in the middle of the hall. Lan Chan breathed a sigh of relief, sweating profusely. Report to the master. The spell to hide the breath of the crystal skull has been completed. That horror game shouldn't be able to find you for now. Unexpectedly, Luo Chen said coldly with a dissatisfied expression on his face. It's still far from enough. The spell you cast can only last for a maximum of one day. Further reinforcement is needed. Lan Chan suddenly trembled all over. What? We have to continue tomorrow. Luo Chen immediately replied. Not just tomorrow. The day after tomorrow, too. After hearing this, Lan Chan looked puzzled. Before, you didn't even care about slaughtering the city at first sight. Why do we have to find ways now? Avoiding horror games. Luo Chen explained calmly. Make strategic adjustments based on knowing the other party's intentions. What's so strange about it? But then I'll come back to it. I really should thank this crystal skull. Speaking, he recalled the situation that occurred during the battle. After turning into a stone and completing it, helplessly sealed the titanium gold inside the body. Therefore, we can only choose to activate that exotic fruit to deal with numerous experts. However, the energy he contains, not as powerful as imagined. Even when combined with one's own cultivation, I also couldn't achieve a real flash sale against level 8 artists. I thought that exotic fruit seemed just a scam. Fortunately, there is too much gold in the body. Let Luo Chen perceive the clues of the matter. Actually, after activating the fruit, his body's abilities instantly skyrocketed. At the level of 70% awakening, but it was driven by a force comparable to the will of heaven and earth, suppressed to around fifth floor. And this mysterious suppressive force, it should be what M. O. Gon said. So, in this way, he has basically figured it out. The key layout of horror games. Thinking of this, Luo Chen smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth. I almost feel like fighting my master. Within the Tongzhou Lujia Fist Arena, at this point, Yi Xuanxuan, the little disciple of fallen dust, is practicing boxing. Hong Biao walked behind him with a puzzled expression on his face. Miss, you have something to do with me. Yi Xuanxuan is visible. Then he called Master Yu over. Let's take a look at this first. After speaking, he handed over his phone. I saw several popular messages prominently displayed on my phone. After Hong Biao looked at it, he snorted coldly with a displeased expression on his face. What is this Qingqing Mountain? How dare you slander Mr. Luo like this? Master Yu quickly explained that. Qingcheng Mountain is in harmony with Shaolin. Wudog is a renowned sect for practicing Buddhism. This Qingmon is the first genius in his door. This time, Mr. Luo is probably unlucky. Hong Biao's face was shrouded in circles after hearing this. The world of law and car repair. I'm quite familiar with it. At this moment, Yi Xuanxuan shouted with a firm expression on his face. What do you care about him? He's green and black. As long as it's the enemy of the teacher. My Yi family will spare no effort to fight against him at all costs. Go to the coffee shop. Lambert is in negotiations with a chubby guy. Mr. Huan, the contract we previously discussed. Why do we need to change our mind temporarily? After hearing this, Xiao Peng explained with a mischievous smile that Miss Bell, although you are the lead actor in this play, but the manufacturer is Luo Wuji's company. Now rumors about him are causing a stir. If it is released at this time, I'm afraid it will have a negative impact. 
As he spoke, he changed his color and stared blankly at Lambert. If it has to be released, it's not impossible either. As long as Miss Bell is willing, pay a small price. After speaking, he reached out his hand to Lambert. Lambert immediately withdrew his hand. What exactly do you want to do? Xiao Pang sees symptoms. A faint smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. I will name someone with the surname Dao and ask you to come over. Don't you understand what I mean? Just finished speaking. My best friend on the side immediately scolded Huang Yigong towards him. Hello, you have a lot of courage. If Mr. has returned, I definitely won't let you go. After Huang Yigong heard this, with a smug expression on his face, he threatened, Oh, yo, you four-eyed chicken, how dare you threaten me? To tell you the truth, Xingcheng Mountain's green on Immortal has set up an absolute net. If he has no limits, he just needs to come back. It's definitely hard to escape with just a few wings inserted. Then he turned his head to look at Lambert. And as his woman, you, it will definitely be implicated. I advise you to follow me early and obediently. As long as I am satisfied, you still have a chance to become my royal second wife. Otherwise, the words will not end. Just hear a snap. Lambert gave him a big slap in the face directly. Little Pang immediately covered his swollen face, blaming at eat, how dare you hit me. I saw Lambert scolding him with a firm expression on his face. You can insult me, but we cannot slander Mr. Luo. After listening, Xiao Pang stood up fiercely and fiercely. It's like not seeing a coffin and not shedding tears, waiting to see Luo Wuji's body. Look at what other good looks you have. After speaking, he ordered someone to come to the crowd behind him. Tie these two women up. Subsequently, a group of subordinates walked over with a mischievous smile on their faces, as instructed. Screen rotation. Arrived at Tongzhou Airport. At this moment, a man threw his phone to his companion. The man in green took the phone and looked puzzled. At this moment, the man next to him immediately explained. The intelligence sent by the Wolf King Sentinel. It records the period during which the crystal skull descended. The names of all practitioners entering and exiting Goryeo. But according to the information, there are only two people who can compete with level 8 artists. One is the sword master of Kunlun swordsmanship. The other is Qingcheng Mountain's first day of being blind. As for the boy named Luo Wuji, only in their 20s. Besides, it's still a scattered matter. Xiao cannot defeat Lord Tolev at all. Subsequently, the two unanimously decided. Let's first get in touch with the two most suspicious people. The Windbreaker Man plans to go find Qingmeng. And the man in green went to Kunlun for construction. Tongzhou Ru family. Red flags throughout the venue, looking at computer screens, crying out in fear. Miss, the situation is not good. Yi Xuanxuan is visible. With a puzzled expression on his face. What happened? The red label immediately explained that. Behind this green on. Surprisingly, it is the leader of Jiangi Media, the royal family. All the media under their command. They are maliciously slandering promises. What's even more infuriating is that, Tianlon List Replacement Conference, the Yu Xingha rescued by Shang Luoyi, also standing on their side, Master Yu approached with a curious expression on his face, is it Yu Xingha, who ranks second on the original Heavenly Dragon List? Hong Biao explained with an angry expression that it was correct. Back then, Western expert Goulard almost made it to the Heavenly Dragon List. If it weren't for Lord Luo's timely intervention, that old gang is already dead. After speaking, he slammed onto the table with a loud bang. He's not grateful, let's forget it. Surprisingly, he fell into a well and fell into a rock. I have never seen such a shameless person before. After hearing this, Yi Xuanxuan muttered to himself, even the master of the heavenly dragon list, such blatant provocation, do you think so? They thought this illiterate person could really defeat the teacher. At this moment, a loud noise came from afar. I saw a Dao being repelled by someone throwing backwards, as later generations led a group of subordinates into the entire venue. Take a closer look. It was Qingqing Mountain that was blind. He shouted arrogantly, whose name is Yi Xuanxuan, the white-haired man in the whole room, with a face full of arrogance and shouting, whose name is Yi Xuanxuan. A young girl greeted her with a puzzled expression on her face. Who are you? Unexpectedly, an airflow suddenly hit the girl's shoulder. Master Yu on the side suddenly changed his expression. The cultivator's red ferret sees the situation. Immediately run forward to help Yi Xuanxuang. Miss, are you okay? I saw that the green light was fierce and fierce, severely reprimanding. It's now my time to ask questions. Do you understand? After listening to the red label, immediately roar at him. 
How dare you touch my young lady? No matter what kind of bullshit cultivator you are, I fought with you today. After speaking, he clenched his fist and rushed towards Ching Meng. Yi Xuanxuan, with a panicked expression, quickly stopped him millions of times. Just finished speaking. Just listened to a clang sound. Hong Biao was instantly shaken back by a burst of gas. Upon seeing this situation, Master Yu, suddenly, I felt a sense of fear in my heart. This is clearly the entry of the three-body civilization. Village had discharge bucket. Naked disregard for martial arts ethics. Subsequently, he glanced at Hong Biao on the ground and all the young men went up. How can I be a shrinking turtle? Thinking of this, he immediately put on an attacking posture. Ching Meng cursed at him with an unhappy expression on his face. Get out of here, old man. I saw Master Yu's body instantly bleeding profusely. Immediately, my body softened, kneeling to the ground with a thud. Yi Xuanxuan is visible, shouting out in terror, Master Yu. At this moment, Ching Meng looked disgusted and spat in disgust. Really? It's a bunch of trash. The younger brother behind him sneered with disdain on his face. Is the people around Luo Wuji at this level? Surprisingly, he even claimed to be the first genius of the painting gang, who gave him the courage on earth. Yi Xuanxuan was instantly furious. A practitioner defeats several ordinary people. What is there to be proud of? Just you bunch of trash. Even lifting shoes for the teacher is not suitable. After hearing this, the younger brothers were so angry that their veins were bulging with anger. This stinky girl is really crazy. Watch me fly today. Ching Mon immediately waved his hand to interrupt his words. Oh, it seems that you are his disciple Yi Xuanxuan. Where is Luo Wuji? If you want to survive, call him over. Yi Xuanxuan replied with an angry expression on his face. Unfortunately, I can't reach the teacher now. Otherwise, none of you will be able to leave this place alive. After hearing this, Ching Mon not only didn't get angry, but also, instead, he laughed heartily. It's simply shameless to talk big. If he has no limits, if he really has this ability, why do you still have to be a shrunken turtle? Don't say he's just a casual person. Even if the heavenly king Laozi comes, I don't take it seriously either. A sound came from behind at the right time. Is that right? After hearing this, Ching Mong turned back with a puzzled expression on his face. I saw the man in the windbreaker standing behind with a gloomy expression on his face. You are Ching Mong, who claims to be the first person in the painting gang. The younger brother on the side immediately pointed at him and cursed angrily. Where did you come from? For I'd forced slaughter. How dare to call the name of the immortal directly, before the words fall. With a swipe, the windbreaker man instantly cut off his pickled pepper chicken feet. Everyone looked frightened upon seeing the situation. Ching Mong's scalp was even numb from being scared. Surprisingly, it's a werewolf group. Then he immediately looked at Pei Xiao with an awkward expression on his face. What can I do for you, brother? There shouldn't be any grudges between you and me, right? I saw the man in the windbreaker with a fierce questioning expression on his face. Have you been to Goryeo recently? Ching Mong replied hesitantly after listening. What's wrong? He muttered to himself with a face full of fear. Did I accidentally kill a wolf tribe member in Jinfeng City? How could this be possible? Their special aura is easily distinguishable. How did the windbreaker man stretch out his claws? Shouting loudly at him means you're right. The green on is like a thunderbolt upon seeing its appearance. Stunned and stunned. How can a sleeper be an 8th level artist again? Screen rotation. Arrived at a homestead. I saw Bluebell and his best friend tied to the seat. Xiao Pang looked puzzled and asked his subordinates to go online in person. How's it going over there? The subordinates on the side expressed that. I have found Luo Wuji's disciple. But Luo Wuji never made any movement. After hearing this, Xiao Pang's heart began to murmur. It is said that Xuanxuan was just his named disciple that night. Is Luo Wuji completely indifferent to his life and death? Thinking of this, he continued to ask if the parents of Ruo Wuji had found them. The subordinates answered without hesitation and found it. They are hiding in Panlong Bay. After listening, Xiao Pang, immediately wave at him. Command to send someone to keep an eye on me. Once Ching Meng Shangxian finishes handling it, he will immediately take action. After speaking, he felt his chin with a proud expression on his face. I don't believe it. He Luo Wuji can ignore the life and death of his parents. Lambert listened to their words. Suddenly, a face full of fear appeared on his face. I saw in his eyes. Filled with endless sadness and despair, Xiao Pang sees symptoms, walked towards him with a mischievous smile on his face. Miss Bell, don't worry, wait for us to kill Luo Wuji. I will definitely take good care of you. 
renting in the house. A girl is roaring at a group of men. My Lambert just starved to death. I won't eat a single grain of rice from you either. After listening to the aircraft's nose, with a cold snort on his displeased face, he said he likes to eat or not. Subsequently, he turned his head and ordered his men to continue tying up this girl, tie it up with a big bald head, and sealed his mouth with tape. So he walked out of the house with a proud expression on his face. Then the door slammed shut with a loud bang. Bluebell looked at the broken plates on the ground. Suddenly, a plan came to my mind. Screen rotation. Arriving at the Lou family. All in the room was a man in a windbreaker looking at the green blind lying on the ground. I swear to myself that it's really his mother garbage. At this level, he still claims to be the first person in the painting gang. It seems that I found the wrong person. At this moment, his phone suddenly rang. Just listen to the other end of the phone. Someone is asking how things are going. The windbreaker man stepped on the green on corpse. Answer, I haven't used any moves yet. I was scared to death. It shouldn't be him. How are you doing over there? At this moment, the man in green is sitting on the plane heading to Tongzhou. He replied on the phone that Kunlun Sword Art expressed. The people who went to Goryeo before were their swords and shields, but its destiny card has been destroyed. I guess it's already dead. But I got an important clue. The reason why that sword lord went to Goryeo. It's to seek revenge against a weaker and boundless guy. The reason is that he, a high-level practitioner in our sect, died in the hands of that person. After listening to the Windbreaker Man, a thought-provoking faint answer understood. Let's talk about it when you arrive in Tongzhou. Then he furrowed his brow. Hanging up the phone, I saw the little brothers around me, a face full of fear and confusion. Unexpectedly, the man in Red's phone suddenly rang. The man in the Windbreaker immediately ordered to pick it up upon seeing the situation. The person making the call is the front of the plane. How are you doing over there? Prince go online. The man in red replied hesitantly. We haven't finished this yet. This Yi Shuang Shuang. I don't know the whereabouts of Lu Wuji either. I only listened to the advice from the aircraft head on the phone. Then let's take plan B. I will send you the location of his parents right away. Hear this. The windbreaker man clenched his fist with a fierce expression on his face. If there is no limit, please wait for me. Renting in the house. Lambert's anxious expression on his face. My best friend next to me. After seeing his reaction, the woman looked puzzled. I saw Lambert stretching out his 1.8 meter long leg. Then he kicked a fragment in front of his best friend. The woman only understood when she saw the situation. I don't know how long it has been. My best friend finally cut off the rope in her hand. Then he quickly got up and came to Lambert's front, teared off the confession from his mouth. Lambert whispered a reminder to Sister Donna. Listen to me first. Please pretend to be still tied up here, please. Wait. I'll jump out of the window. When they came after me, take the opportunity to escape. Hurry to Villa 2 in Panlong at your fastest speed. Tell Luo Chen's parents about the situation. After hearing this, my best friend, asking with a worried expression, but what do you do? Lambert answered with a firm and reassuring expression on his face. I won't be okay. Anyway, we cannot let Luo Chen's family be harmed. During speech, my best friend quickly untied the rope from him. So he immediately jumped onto the windowsill. I saw Lambert on the second floor. And there's also something under the window. He gritted his teeth in a rain shelter. Without hesitation, he jumped down. However, the sole of the foot slipped. Unable to stand on the canopy. With a heavy thud, the foot fell to the ground. He climbed up from the ground with a face full of pain. I just realized that my ankle was unfortunately twisted. Unexpectedly, the bald man upstairs quickly discovered the clues. So he immediately shouted, boss, it's not good anymore. Lambert ran away. After listening, the boss, command the bald head to guard the four-eyed girl inside the house. The others are following me. The woman panicked at the sight of the situation. At this moment, Lambert struggled to move along the road. He desperately fought for more time for Sister Nye, although enduring excruciating pain, but never willing to give up, even if it's death. I also want to tell Luo Chen the news. At this moment, a sound of horns could be heard from afar. I saw a locomotive slowly stopping in front of him. Take another look. The person who came is the former rival of love, Xia Jingjing. A long-legged girl is riding a motorcycle on the street. Stopped in front of a young girl. How could you be here? Say it now. He quickly helped the injured Lambert to sit in the car. Then he got on the bike and asked what had just happened. Lambert didn't have time to explain. With a panicked expression on his face, 
he urged me to be sent to Panlong Bay quickly. Xia Jingjing looked puzzled upon hearing this. Panlong Bay, but the words haven't finished yet. Just hear a bang. Suddenly, someone fired a shot at them. Xia Jingjing was momentarily stunned when she saw this. I saw the front of the plane reprimanding its subordinates with a displeased expression on its face. Are you wearing tires? Huang always wants to catch alive. Lan Bai'er immediately shouted to Xia Jingjing, let's go. Upon hearing this, Xia Jingjing immediately increased her throttle. With a loud bang, riding a bike with Bluebell and rushing out. Screen rotation. Arriving at Panlong Bay. After seeing the news online, Luaba, angrily tapping the computer. Xiao Chen has no grievances or enmities with them. Why do they do this? I'm so angry. On the side, Luo Mama flipped through a magazine. Dan Dan is saying something urgent. My son has been with you for so many years. You actually don't understand him. Xiao Chen is not the one who is at a disadvantage. But Luo's father started shouting with a curious expression on his face. At least he should come out and respond. I can't just watch these people defame me eagerly. How to expect it. But Luo Mama didn't care at all. He he smiled, compared to this. I care more about. When can he bring a daughter-in-law back? After all, there can be many enemies. But there is only one lover. On the highway. At this moment, Xia Jingjing was speeding with Blue Bell. And behind them, there is a car chasing closely behind them. Lambert said he needs to find a way to get rid of them as soon as possible. But Xia Jingjing said she couldn't even contact the support team. Maybe they installed shielding equipment in the car. After hearing this, Lan Bayer anxiously shouted, What should I do? Even if we bring the news back to Panlong Bay, even the completed parents didn't have time to run away. Xia Jingjing answered calmly, What are you afraid of? Just their poor marksmanship. Waiting for Panlong Bay. I can definitely bring them down. Just finished speaking. A bullet suddenly hit the brake disc. The man in the car burst out laughing with pride on his face. Hit me, finally hit me. The nose of the rear seat aircraft. But with a displeased expression, he kicked the seat in front of him. Your happy chicken feathers. Are all the bullets special? You finished shooting them. The two colored balls are not so difficult to rotate. I saw Xia Jingjing desperately gripping the armrest to stabilize the car body. Turn the direction directly in the next second. Driving into the nearby jungle. The nose of the plane immediately commands to get off the plane as soon as it sees the situation. Follow me. At this point, Xia Jingjing shouted at Lan Bayer with a frightened expression on her face. It's over now. The car can't even stop. Hurry up and hold me tight. Upon hearing this, Lambert immediately hugged him tightly. Xia Jingjing suddenly felt a surge of electric shock in her heart. This soft and fluffy feeling is so amazing. Intoxicating. While he was wandering around with a lewd expression on his face, Bluebell immediately shouted at him, Xia Jingjing, quick look at the road. I saw a cliff at the end of the forest. Then the two of them accompanied the car, rushed into the half Panlong Bay Villa. At this moment, the little blood lion and snow girl are squeezing watermelon juice. After snow girl opens the lid, the little blood lion immediately approached. Then he raised the straw in his hand and let out a howl. The snow girl immediately understood the situation. So he activated his spiritual power to condense the juice onto the straw. Immediately, a homemade ice cream came into view. At this moment, a scream came from afar. I saw Bluebell and Xia Jinjin falling rapidly from the sky. Inside Pan Longwen Villa, Snow Girl is making homemade ice cream with a small blood corpse. Unexpectedly, a scream suddenly came from afar. Only seeing, Lambert and Shaken are rapidly descending from the sky. The snow girl immediately lifted her one hand and activated her spiritual power upon seeing the situation. Immediately, an ice layer quickly condensed into the air. Just listen to a splash. Two people successfully landed. Lambert stood up and scratched his head with a puzzled expression on his face. What situation? Then he took off his helmet and breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, Shushua licked the ice cream and walked up. Lan Bayer was momentarily stunned at the sight. After seeing him, Little Bloodshot felt a tinge of joy in his heart. Is it pie falling from the sky? Lan Bayer quickly stood up and explained to him that she was sorry. Little girl, we didn't mean to. Just finished speaking. Little Blood immediately opened his big mouth and howled at him. At this point, upon hearing the commotion, Luo Chen's parents immediately walked out of the room. What just happened? When Luo's father saw Lan Bayer, he was immediately taken aback. Miss Bell, Blue Bell sees the situation. Hurry up and greet Uncle Luo. Luo's father immediately asked with a puzzled expression why you came. 
Don't say hello in advance before coming. After hearing this, Lambert gave an awkward hee hee smile on his face. I haven't had a chance to answer yet. Just heard someone coming from the side. Voice, you are Blue Bell. I saw Luo Mama standing on the side with a gloomy expression on her face. Such a powerful aura. It must be Luo Chen's mother. Lan Bayer didn't have time to think much about it. Immediately answering, hello. At this moment, she is in a state of panic in her heart. It's over it's over. Not only did I not put on makeup today, still getting dirty all over. Unexpectedly, Luo Mama grabbed Lan Bayer's hand in one go. Surprisingly even more beautiful than in TV magazines. Miss me, Shin Yu, Blue Moon, countless people. I was captivated by a woman like you. No wonder Xiao Chen's father keeps nagging all day. A handsome beauty like you. Who doesn't like it? After hearing this, Luo's father awkwardly scratched his head. Lambert, on the other hand, shyly covered his scorching face. Auntie, you are also too good at praising people. If Luo Chen thinks the same way, that would be great. While he was still immersed in his fantasies, Xia Jingjing walked over. You're here to spread the word. It's still a reverse proposal. At least you have to lift me up first before getting close. Upon hearing this, Lambert immediately came to his senses and suffered. I almost forgot. But Luo's mother was staring at Xia Jingjing, feeling my chin and murmuring. I didn't expect there was still one hidden that looked good. That stinky kid has a lot of good luck. I saw Bluebell suddenly turn around, shouting uncle and auntie. Hurry up, some people are trying to harm you. At this moment. It's already late to hear a roar coming from afar, wanting to run. Take a closer look. Xiao Pang is rushing in with a group of people. I saw him playing with his long stick with a wicked smile on his face. I didn't expect Lu Wuji's lair to have such a high level of security. It's really a his mother's surprise. Dad Luo saw the situation. Immediately angrily rebuke him for what you want to do. After hearing this, Xiao Pang showed a mischievous smile on his face. What do dying people need to know? Be good and hand over Lambert and that law enforcement officer. I will make your death not so ugly. But Luo Mama remained calm and composed, holding on to the two beautiful women. Let's all hurry inside the house. The decoration of this house. As solid as gold soup. They can't even get in. Xiaopang still threatened with a smug expression on his face. If you fall into the hands of the prince and the immortal, it's uncertain how much suffering one will suffer. The little brother behind him immediately shouted at him, boss. They ran away. I saw Luo Chen's parents with two beautiful women. I have already run into the house. Xiao Pang has an angry expression on his face when he sees this. Hurry up and chase me. Except for Lambert and the law enforcement officers. Kill everyone else. Just finished speaking. Everyone immediately rushed up. At this moment, Snow Girl and Little Snow. It's like putting on a show of teeth and claws. Activate preset commands. Close the door and fold it down. The snow girl immediately waved her arm. Activate spiritual power. The ice wall suddenly rose from the ground with a loud bang. In the blink of an eye, everyone was tightly surrounded by four ice walls. Everyone looked frightened upon seeing the situation. I saw Shoshua jump onto the ice wall with a roar. Then he waved his claws and charged down. Everyone immediately raised their pistols and fired quickly. Just a scream echoed through the entire villa. This little lowly. Originally a terrifying blood lion king, but now he has been subjected to the crazy abuse of werewolves. Just now, a group of people stormed into Luo Chen's hometown with a fierce expression on their faces. But she was surrounded by Snow Girl's strong military force. The little blood lion roared and rushed in when it saw the situation. During the crazy output process, a crack was created on an ice wall. Then with a loud bang, it was smashed into pieces. I saw everyone lying motionless on the ground. Xiao Pang crawled back and forth one after another. Faced with the bitter plea of his subordinates, he quickly dodged. Surprisingly, he extended his stinky foot and kicked it back. At this moment, the little blood lion extends its claws, emitting a terrifying aura all over. Xiao Pang exclaimed in horror at the sight of the situation. Busy online, come and save me. Before the words fall, the little blood lion immediately swung its claws and rushed forward. I'm about to pounce on Xiao Pang. Unexpectedly, with one hit, the fist suddenly swung fiercely towards the little blood lion. Next second direct. It hit him hard in the face. Just hear a bang. The little blood lion was instantly repelled. Immediately collided with the ice wall. The snow girl was momentarily stunned at the sight of this situation. The person who came is the long-robed man who killed the Qingmong immortal. I saw him snort coldly with an unhappy expression on his face. 
Is Luo Wuji really good at pretending to be a grandson? Even the watchdog is several times stronger than the green on. Surprisingly, he still allowed himself to show off his power. At this moment, the little blood lion wiped its saliva and got up. Then he roared and violently left towards the robed man. Unexpectedly, the man suddenly turned sideways, easily dodged his attack, so he sneered with disdain on his face. Oh, my goodness. Angry, he's such a good dog. After speaking, he lifted his knee and kicked his leg towards the abdomen of the small blood corpse. Just hear a bang. The little blood corpse was once again repelled. The robed man walked slowly towards him with a sneer. You can't beat me. Quickly let your master come out and suffer death. At this moment, an ice cream whizzed as it flew towards the man's back. The man immediately lifted his arm to resist. But still, the ice still pierced through my arms. The man was slightly stunned at the sight. I didn't expect there were two. At this moment, the little blood lion was howling. Seizing the opportunity, he pounced again. Unexpectedly, he was unfortunately hit by a heavy punch again. The little blood lion immediately fell to the ground with a thud. The person who came is the man's biological brother, the man in green. This dirty creature smells really bad. It's disgusting even more than a vampire. The man in the robe proudly pulled out the ice cream. Sorry. We are also two people. The snow maiden immediately put on a defensive posture upon seeing the situation. The man in green showed a wicked smile on his face. I like the larger one. I'll leave the small one to you. After listening to the long-robed man, put on a proud and forgetful appearance. Just what I want. Screen rotation. Arriving at the armed forces. Su Lingchu answered the phone with a puzzled expression on his face. Just listen to the other end of the phone. A subordinate shouted at him, Su Xiao. An accident occurred and it was discovered that one person from Jiujie had entered the country without permission. Foreign armed forces failed to intercept. After hearing this, Su Lingchu looked shocked. What? Luo Chen is sealing the crystal skull in the room. The man on the opposite side complained with a tired expression, saying, Master, haven't you finished yet? My body is almost hollowed out. The kind that cannot be replenished even when driving towards the nutrition express line. Luo Chen immediately gave a cold answer, which was just a little short. Upon hearing this, Nan Chan immediately trembled all over his body. You said the same thing yesterday. I think it's just a little bit right. At this moment, Luo Chen suddenly felt something. So with a serious command on his face, he thanked him. Let's terminate the formation first. There was a thief at home. Screen rotation. Arriving at Panlong Bay. At this moment, the man in the robe is lifting his leg and kicking towards the belly of the little blood lion. Then he clenched his fist and flashed behind him. I only heard a bang and it hit the back of the little blood lion. Directly fly it out for more than 10 meters. The man in the robe sneered with a smug expression on his face. Your fighting skills are really his mother childish. At best, it's just a sandbag for practicing boxing. At this moment, a strand of ice wrapped around his arm. I saw the snow girl fighting against the green clothed man at the same time. He also reached out and stopped the robed man who was beating the rider. The man in green immediately reprimanded him. It's hard to keep oneself safe. Still thinking of meddling in others. Do you really think that lousy doesn't exist? After speaking, he hit the snow girl's chest with his fist in one blow. Watching his little sisters being bullied. Little blood attendant struggled to get up from the ground. The man in the robe quietly walked behind him. Where are you looking, little brat? Little blood attendant slowly turned around after listening. At this moment, a fierce expression appeared on his face. Immediately, with a roar, the seal was lifted. The man in the robe was slightly stunned at the sight. I saw Xiao Xue wielding force. Claw charged towards the man in green. The man in green immediately extended his arm to resist. Afterwards, a gray mark appeared on his hand. Is this a corpse venomous little blood lion? Immediately extend your sharp claws and roar at him. The robed man rushed up immediately upon seeing this, little brat. Your opponent is me. Unexpectedly, he was suddenly stopped by a mysterious force. He turned back suddenly with a puzzled expression on his face. I saw the bandage on the snow girl's face slowly loosening. Immediately, a pair of clear and bright eyes appeared. At this moment, he is using his ultimate ultimate move to get lost in the snow. The man in the robe was indeed a bit surprised at first. Is it a mental trick? But he quickly broke free from his constraints. Fool. The werewolf's demonic excitement is the natural enemy of such spells. Even if you drain all your strength, it's also difficult to cause any harm to me. After hearing this, Snow Girl did not give up, but continued to use one's own big moves. The man in the robe saw the situation. 
to scold the ignorant guy towards him. Lousy, let's see which one of us consumes more energy than the other. Just now, a sharp thorn instantly pierced through the body of the robed man. The robed man can't believe it's impossible. Absolutely impossible. The strength of this snow girl is at most at the level of a level 7 artist. Even if I hit him, I started practicing from my mother's womb. It is also impossible to possess such vast spiritual power. And at this moment, a mockery came from the sky. Even if we go to remove our skin, we dare not compare our lifespan to stars. The man in the robe roared who? At this moment, Zhang Daxian slowly walked out from behind the snow girl. I saw him slowly say, don't be nervous. I'm just correcting your opinion. This may save me a lot of trouble. Blood girl as a carrier of blood meridian complaints. It is itself a concretized spiritual force. That's what we call ghosts. His characteristics are quite obvious. It is to release skills by paying lifespan. So most ghosts. Everyone likes to use efficient skills. For example, possession or curse, etc. Things like mental confinement that require continuous casting. High consumption and inability to quickly kill enemy skills. Almost just chicken ribs. But the uniqueness of Xuan Nu lies in. It can achieve almost perfect energy circulation. The vast majority of consumption during the casting process will be quickly recaptured and absorbed by him. The man in the robe was shocked and said, Isn't stepping on a horse like yours a perpetual motion machine? Master Zhang slowly said at this moment that he could understand it this way. So even my director, who has system cheats, not willing to provoke him. Unless you can live forever and never die. Otherwise, you won't be able to kill him at all. After all, only magic can defeat magic. The long-robed man's incident is not surprising either. Ha ha, you guys can only stop me by these means. When my companion kills that little blood lion, you guys still can't run away. I saw Master Zhang raise his hand and cast a mirror image. In the picture, the man in green is lying motionless on the ground at this moment. The man in the robe looked incredulous, watching the hunting lying on the ground. You can't possibly kill us werewolves. Don't you know the way to kill a werewolf? Can only destroy both the head and heart simultaneously. Otherwise, even if split in half, it will heal quickly. At this moment, Master Zhang whispered in his ear and joked, He's dead to the death. The dementia little fool in your mouth. But guys as dangerous as Snow Maiden. Infected with his corpse poison, the resilience that you werewolves are proud of. It will also completely fail. At this moment, the little blood lion is opening its small mouth in the blood basin to feast on the werewolf on the ground. At this moment, the man in the robe looked incredulous, watching everything happening in front of me. Just now, the robed man was watching his fallen companion hunt on the ground. It's been so long now. As a werewolf, the hunting has not yet recovered. It looks like it's really cold now. At this moment, he regretted his initial rival in love. Regretting not notifying Lord Wolf King in a timely manner. Otherwise, it wouldn't be like this result. At this moment, Master Zhang slowly walked out. Snow Maiden and Little Blood Attendant said, This werewolf is not in a hurry to kill yet. We'll handle it when the owner comes back. During this period, you two have worked hard to continue controlling him. Although I'm a bit curious why I'm doing this. Approximately, is it the master who lured and killed some important figure of the wolf tribe? Speaking of which, these two werewolves may not be at the top level. But if it weren't for encountering the snow woman and the cute little blood lion, I'm afraid ordinary practitioners of the same level, only the crushed portion. They will inevitably obtain the supreme ruler of the wolf tribe, the confession of the snow country wolf king. One of the top 10 global combat power rankings of the snow country wolf king. With his abilities, I'm afraid it won't take long. You will discover what is happening here. The elite of werewolves are slaughtered. I'm afraid I'll be there in person soon. If the owner hasn't returned by then, the ending may be unimaginable. Just as Zhang was thinking about a series of things, a golden light descended from the sky. Bursting towards the snow maiden. Zhang Dashi quickly shouted, get away. Snowy girl hearing the sound, but there's still not enough time to dodge. This golden light was directly blasted open. And at this moment, the long-robed man who had been controlled and unable to move. I also looked at everything that happened with an incredulous expression on my face. What exactly happened here? As the ice wall beneath my feet dissipates, I can move again. 
Master Zhang was greatly shocked in his heart. Not good, how did we encounter the worst case scenario? A figure appeared in front of a few people, slowly walking towards them. The person who came is the Snow Country Wolf King. At this moment, Xiao Xue let out a roar. Jump up directly. With his mouth wide open, he violently charged towards the Wolf King. And I haven't met the Wolf King yet. Little Blood Warrior feels like he's been hit by something, and then he fell hard to the ground. Zhang Dashi couldn't believe it. He watched everything that happened. What should I do? His speed is too fast. I can't see any action from him. The small blood force was knocked to the ground. Is this just? It is the ninth combat power in the world. At this moment, the Snow Maiden immediately launched her strongest move against the Wolf King. Lost territory. With a scream of agony, Snow Girl goes to Fair. Zhang Dashi was shocked. No, his attack didn't come from him. If I hadn't misread earlier. This guy never moved a step from beginning to end. This is the domain skill of the Wolf King. Snow Girl's mental attack is completely unusable. And small blood requires close proximity. Fighting the Wolf King in close combat is even more deadly. It's over now. And the Wolf King completely ignored the three of them. Walk straight towards the villa. Three people shocked. Quickly stop him. Don't let him go. Then the three of them stormed towards the Wolf King. But I haven't been close to the Wolf King yet. I was directly knocked away by the Wolf King's domain skills. It's just trash. Sorry, master. The three of us working together cannot delay the werewolf's footsteps. It's because we're too useless. Just as the Wolf King approaches elsewhere, five members of the Bloodshot descended from the sky. Stand in front of the Wolf King. Bloodshaw members descend from the sky, blocked the Wolf King's footsteps as he advanced. Is this the Snow Country Wolf King? Although I don't want to admit it. But this guy's aura is no less than that of Professor Luo. What are you afraid of, wolves? Isn't it just a dog that hasn't been domesticated yet? Let's domesticate it now. Don't be careless. Enemies won't stop there like General Luo did. Subsequently, the five members of the Bloodshaw surrounded the Wolf King. The Wolf King sneered contemptuously at this moment. Do you know why I hate painting gangs? Then the tone became angry, exploding astonishing power. Because the climate here is humid and hot. So that's why you insects are here. Immediately after, a Snow White Wolf King phantom appeared. Eyes full of fierce light. All die for me. At this moment, Sue burst out laughing and rushed over. Speaking sternly, Mr. Wolf King, leap forward without authorization. Violent challenge. It is already a serious crime that violates international regulations. Taking advantage of the fact that it has not yet led to more serious consequences, I advise you to leave me immediately. We still have room for peace talks. But if you kill our armed members of Huabang, and then my eyes turn cold, that's equivalent to declaring war on our Huabang. The Wolf King said indifferently. Declare war, General Su. Don't make a mistake. It was Luo Wuji from your Huabang who killed my son first. Even the guards sent by this king to investigate the truth. I also suffered from your cruel hands. If it weren't for the fact that this king has been secretly tracking, I don't know when I will be able to avenge myself. You're telling me to declare war now. If Mr. is not here, who are you planning to seek revenge against? I remember both cultivators and artists. You must abide by the rules of the Ministry of Revenue and your family. The Wolf King roared loudly. Expose harmful fangs. This king doesn't care. I am determined to kill the entire family of Luo Wuji today. Revenge for the son of this king. Who dares to stop this king? I want whoever dies. Later transformed into the body of the Wolf King. You don't understand. Must be obstructed, right? I saw everyone blocking in front of the Wolf King. No step back. Could it be that the Wolf King was driven by personal grudges? To declare war against Huabang at the cost of one's own life and the country. Stop it, you cunning yellow-skinned monkeys. The Wolf King exploded and rose up. I would like to reiterate once again, my lord, who dares to stop this king? I asked him to accompany Luo Wuji's entire family for burial. Bluster. Come if you have the seed. It's you who want to die. Continuing. 